Battle through the heavens. Chapter 1551 to Chapter 1600 Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys! Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 1551, Kill The blood bead whistled through the empty space. Finally, it smashed into Xiao Yan in front of many pairs of eyes. At that moment, everyone's heart suddenly tightened. No one can hinder this king. The scarlet eyes of the northern dragon king stared intently at the point of collision. A wild laugh escaped his mouth, but this laughter had barely started when it was suddenly halted. He was just like a duck whose throat had been broken. Ch Chi Xiao Yan displayed a calm expression that the shocked northern dragon king took in with his eyes. A circular lifelike pink fire wave spread from his palm. At the middle of the fire wave was the blood bead, which contained an endless bloody scent, but at this moment, the bloody aura contained in the blood bead swiftly paled as purifying demonic lotus flame purified it. How is this possible? Just which heavenly flame is this? The northern dragon king immediately roared out when he saw the blood bead slowly rotating over Xiao Yan's palm. It had not exploded. After the blood bead had landed in Xiao Yan's hands, the northern dragon king had sensed that his connection with it had been cut. The purifying demonic lotus flame can purify all things. Even souls can be purified by it. Xiao Yan's pink crystal-like hand slowly rose. A pink flame whistled from it and surrounded the blood bead. The bloody aura in the bead was swiftly being purified. Purifying demonic lotus flame. How can this this brat actually possess the purifying demonic lotus flame? The northern dragon king suddenly narrowed his eyes. Even though he felt extremely furious in his heart, a chill still surged from it. The reputation of the purifying demonic lotus flame was something that the ancient void dragon tribe was familiar with even though they had not traveled to the central plains in many years. Xiao Yan ignored the shock of the northern dragon king. A flame danced in his hand as he slowly lifted up. A pale pink light ball the size of a human head appeared in his hand. It was the blood ball from earlier. However, the blood aura within it had been completely purified, and Xiao Yan could sense the lingering souls within it. They were the souls of the members of the ancient dragon tribe the northern dragon king had devoured. The people inside are begging me to return this to you. Xiao Yan glanced at the Northern Dragon King and smiled. He flicked his finger. The human head-sized pink bead suddenly shot out. This time around, its target was the Northern Dragon King. Bastard. Shock immediately surged onto the Northern Dragon King's face after seeing this bead target him. He turned around and withdrew without uttering anything else. He was too aware of just how terrifying the energy within the dragon bead was. If he was struck by it, he would really be finished this time around. Swoosh. Although the northern dragon king pulled back quickly, the pink bead was even faster. Many human faces surfaced on the pink bead as it rapidly flew. They looked at the northern dragon king with all the fury they felt. A light flashed and swiftly flew toward the northern dragon king. After which, it caught up with the northern dragon king in front of many pairs of eyes before exploding in front of his stun shrunken eyes. Bang. A frightening energy storm wildly swept apart from the point of explosion. Wave after wave of the energy storm scattered over half of the bloody dochi that had filled the dragon island below. Has he won? The members of the ancient void dragon tribe widened their mouths as they stared at the terrifying energy storm. They faced each other. A moment later, a wild joy quickly surged in their eyes. Cheers rebounded across the sky like thunder. Mr. Xiao Yan is extraordinarily strong. He is even able to purify the bloody dochi in the dragon soul bead. Those elders from the eastern dragon island revealed joyous faces from having escaped a calamity. It seemed that the heavens did not intend to eliminate their tribe. The dragon emperor's good friend is really a blessing to our ancient dragon tribe. Mr. Xiao Yan has repeatedly rescued our tribe. We will never be able to repay this grand favor. Elder Zhu Li fondled his beard. He immediately glanced at the first elder of the Eastern Dragon Island and the others. Mr. Xiao Yan has indeed blessed our ancient dragon tribe us with a grand favor. The first elder hesitated and nodded after noticing Elder Zhu Li's eyes. He continued in a low voice, I understand your meaning. Once our ancient dragon tribe reunites, our tribe will ally with the Sky Mansion Alliance. Elder Zhu Li only smiled and nodded after hearing this reply. Zian had mentioned forming an alliance with the Sky Mansion Alliance two years ago, but there had been many different opinions expressed back then. Hence, a decision had not been reached, but Xiao Yan had once again intervened and rescued them. Given this favor, no one could afford to object again. Zian sighed in relief within her heart after hearing the conversation between Elder Zhu Li and the First Elder. 
These stubborn old fellows were finally willing to abandon their old pride and agree to the alliance, which would significantly benefit both parties. The energy storm, which had originated from the explosion, raged for a moment while everyone's faces were filled with joy. Only then did it slowly disappear. An unusually miserable figure appeared in front of everyone after the storm scattered. The Northern Dragon King is still alive. Many people felt somewhat startled in their hearts when they noticed that the Northern Dragon King was still hanging onto his life by a breath despite appearing extremely miserable with a relatively sluggish aura. Even such a frightening attack could not kill this fellow. This person's life was indeed incomparably strong. The body of an ancient void dragon is indeed strong. Xiao Yan studied the scene. His brow was slightly lifted. He naturally understood that the Northern Dragon King would have already been turned into dust if he had not relied on the strength of his physical body. Hoo hoo. The Northern Dragon King heavily panted as his dim and scarlet eyes cut at Xiao Yan in an extremely vicious manner. He had never expected to end up being seriously injured by Xiao Yan's hands. Xiao Yan, you better remember this. This king will definitely return and have his revenge. Although he had managed to retain his life, the Northern Dragon King was also extremely weak. He ferociously glared at Xiao Yan as he let out a furious roar. After which, his body suddenly shot backwards. It seemed like he was planning to escape. Do not allow him to escape. Zi Yan immediately became anxious upon realizing he was attempting to flee. She hurriedly cried out. Last time around this fellow had managed to escape and had caused the trouble they were dealing with now. If he were allowed to flee again, the ancient dragon clan would never be at peace. Of course, her reminder was unnecessary. Given Xiao Yan's character, he would naturally not allow a threat to escape. Hence, the fire wings on his back were flapped as soon as the Northern Dragon King moved. He immediately began to chase down the Northern Dragon King with lightning-like speed. You wish to kill this king? In your dreams. The eyes of the Northern Dragon King turned cold after Xiao Yan closed in from behind. He waved his hand and ten figures flew from the Northern Dragon Island. After which, they thrown towards Xiao Yan like cannonballs. Xiao Yan frowned when he noticed that this Dragon King was attempting to use flesh bombs. The speed he was progressing at slowed. He was preparing to rescue those human figures when ten seven-colored lights suddenly shot from behind him. They whistled and wrapped around the ten figures before moving them out of the blood formation. Quickly capture that fellow. Kai Lin's voice echoed beside Xiao Yan's ear as she resolved the problem refariding those flesh bombs. I. Xiao Yan sighed in relief once these obstructions were eliminated. He did not have time to say anything more as the fire wings on his back were flapped. His speed suddenly soared. Within a couple of flashes, he had appeared above the Northern Dragon King's head. A cold laugh appeared as his crystal hand reached for the Northern Dragon King's head at a lightning-like speed in front of the Northern Dragon King's panicked eyes. This king will fight it out with all of you. A ruthlessness filled the Northern Dragon King's heart along with a panic when Xiao Yan was hot on his heels. A seal was formed with both hands before his body began to rapidly rapidly. From the looks of it, he was actually planning on self-destructing. Mao. It was naturally impossible for Xiao Yan to allow the fight to end by receiving a serious injury at this moment, so an enormous spiritual illusory figure quickly appeared on the surface of his body. The yellow spring divine anger ruthlessly smashed into the Northern Dragon King's body. The powerful spiritual attack caused the Northern Dragon King's soul to feel an intense pain as his swelling body also shrank. The Northern Dragon King's head felt a chill after he forcefully suppressed the intense pain emitted from his soul. Xiao Yan's hand had gently landed on the top of his head. Don't kill me. You win, you win. I will not bother about the matters of the Three Great Dragon Island. In the future, I will no longer be the Northern Dragon King. The body of the Northern Dragon King stiffened when Xiao Yan's hand landed on his head. A hurried cry was emitted from his mouth. Haha, you really change your stance too quickly. Xiao Yan smiled and spoke as he scanned the Northern Dragon King in front of him. Let me go. I will never appear in front of any of you in the future. The Northern Dragon King raised his hands. His scarlet eyes were flickering. Not a bad idea. However, killing you will be easier. Xiao Yan grinned. The next instant, his smile was withdrawn before it turned into a chill that shook one's heart. A hot hidden force swiftly invaded the Northern Dragon King's head, turning the interior into a complete mess. Even though the Northern Dragon King's soul was swiftly vaporized into nothing by the terrifyingly high temperature of the purifying demonic lotus flame. Xiao Yan withdrew his hand while he stood in the emptiness. The body of the Northern Dragon King in front of him slowly collapsed like a pile of mud. Xiao Yan's tightly clenched fist was slowly relaxed, revealing two beads containing a bloody stench. They were both filled with a violent energy. The surroundings were completely quiet. Many pairs of eyes stared at the Northern Dragon King, who eyes were still wide open and filled with a ruthlessness. All of them sighed. This Northern Dragon King might have been extremely ruthless, but he was still a dignified expert. However, this dignified expert would not be left with a good reputation within the ancestral books of the ancient dragon tribe. Xiao Yan's crystal clear body gradually paled. He returned to his original form. An ashen expression appeared on his face. After which, he glanced at the Northern Dragon King's body in his hand and lifted his brows with a great interest. This body was not a bad treasure. 
Chapter 1552, Refining a Puppet Ziyin hurried over in a flash while Xiao Yan was holding the corpse of the Northern Dragon King. Her eyes were complicated as she glanced at the Northern Dragon King, whose face still contained a dark, ruthless, and ferocious appearance. She softly sighed. The ancient void dragon had been battered after so many years of internal strife. The disappearance of the Dragon Emperor back then had left the tribe in turmoil, a harrowing problem. 50-60% of those from the Northern Dragon Island have already been killed by the Northern Dragon King. This adds to the serious damage our ancient dragon tribe has already suffered. Fortunately, the western and southern islands have not suffered as many loses. This time around, the three great dragon kings have all been killed. No one will be able to stop the tribe from being united. Ziyan glanced at the dragon island below, which was still covered in a bloody aura, as she softly analyzed the situation. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. Although the eastern dragon island had been victorious, the price of this victory cost Ziyan far too much. As the dragon emperor, she put the needs of the tribe first. Regardless of whether it was the Eastern Dragon Island or the other three Dragon Islands, every person belonged to the ancient Void Dragon Tribe. It is ultimately a good beginning. With you, a Dragon Emperor uniting the ancient Dragon Clan, it is not impossible for the tribe to regain its glory. Xiao Yan was quiet for a moment. All he could do was attempt to comfort her. He knew that the strength of the ancient Void Dragon Tribe was no longer what it had been in the past after experiencing the chaos from the three great Dragon Kings, but he could not damage Xian's confidence at this moment. Xian softly sighed. She was aware of the differences between the current ancient Void Dragon Tribe and the one in the past. It should be known that the ancient Dragon Tribe at its peak was comparable to a super faction like the Gu Clan, but the experts of her tribe had either died or had scattered. It would be difficult for her to hold it together alone. There was just no telling how long it would take to recover to its peak. Haha, you should not remain depressed. You possess the legendary Dragon Phoenix Constitution. As long as you are given sufficient time, you will be able to surpass the previous Dragon Emperors. At that time, recovering the ancient Dragon Tribe to its peak will no longer be empty words. Xiao Yan patted Zi Yan's head and laughed. Zi Yan smiled upon hearing these words. She braced her attention since Xiao Yan was right. Although the present situation of the ancient dragon tribe was not very good, she still possessed the legendary dragon phoenix bloodline. If she unleashed this bloodline to its limit, she would not be inferior to any dragon emperors. This included her missing father, whom she had never met, the previous dragon emperor. Thank you very much. If the both of you had not hurried over. A smile rose onto Zi Yan's face as she replied with words of thanks. There is no need to say such courteous words to me. Xiao Yan shook his head. Suddenly, he waved the Northern Dragon King's corpse in his hand at Zi Yan and asked, Can you give this to me? Huh. Zi Yan was startled upon hearing this question. She was confused and asked, What do you need his corpse for? This fellow has an unbelievable constitution. He has even been tempered by the transforming dragon demon formation and is now frighteningly strong. If he can be refined into a puppet, it would be an extremely strong one. Xiao Yan hesitated and explained. The sky demon puppets he owned had been left in the star realm as guards. The ingredients that were used to refine them limited the growth of the sky demon puppet to the Dozun class. It was impossible for them to advance any further. A helper of that strength was completely useless to the current Xiao Yan. Hence, he had come up with the idea of refining the Northern Dragon King's corpse into a puppet. After all, the Northern Dragon King had already died and could only be used as trash. According to the rules, strong ancient dragons are normally buried within the dragon tomb. Zi Yan knit her brows and glanced at Xiao Yan's helpless face. However, you have lent a hand to our tribe this time around and it is only right for you to ask for a reward. Currently, those from the tribe hate this person. If I were to really bring him back, I don't think he would be allowed to be buried in the dragon tomb. You can take his body if you have a need for it. Haha, in that case, I will thank your majesty, the dragon emperor. Xiao Yan smiled and replied after listening to this girl's official response. Zi Yan laughed in a delicate voice, the both of you should rest on the eastern dragon island for now. The three great dragon kings have already been killed. I will need to start the preparations for reorganizing the four great dragon islands. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. There was still something he needed to do within this empty realm. In any case, he had no pressing matters at this moment. He would refine this puppet before leaving. In the future, the puppet would be a good helper when he fought against others. Zi Yan chatted with Xiao Yan for a moment after he nodded. After which, she organized the experts within the tribe and then entered the northern dragon island after the bloody Dochi scattered. They were going to find the tribe members who had luckily survived. After the three great dragon kings were killed, the ancient void dragon tribe, which had been dealing with serious internal strife, finally cleared all obstacles. The four great dragon islands ceased voicing any objections because of Ziyan's title as the dragon emperor. The northern dragon king had slaughtered the members of the tribe and had chilled the hearts of all the ancient void dragons. Naturally, no one was furious over his death. The western and southern dragon kings had both perished to the hands of the northern dragon king. This news would undoubtedly make the northern dragon king more hated. With the urging from so many factors, the unification of the four great dragon islands was unexpectedly smooth. The four great dragon islands that floated in the empty realm were merged together with the help of the combined might of many of the tribe experts. From this moment on, the ancient void dragon tribe could finally be considered reunified. 
In the future, there would no longer be four great dragon islands. There would only be one ancient dragon island. While the ancient void dragon tribe was extremely busy with the unification process, Xiao Yan and Kai Lin chose to remain on the dragon island. Xiao Yan rested for a couple of days and returned to his peak condition. This time around, the aim of his retreat was to refine a puppet using the body of the Northern Dragon King. The strength of the Northern Dragon King when he was alive had almost reached the sixth star of the Doshin class. Xiao Yan had become excited because the physical body of this king was many times stronger than an ordinary six star Doshin. This body was the best material to refine a puppet with. If it could be successfully refined, it would undoubtedly be a great help to Xiao Yan. This puppet would be extremely important to both him and the Sky Mansion Alliance. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he stood in a chamber. The air in front of him contained hundreds of objects that were flickering with mysterious glows. These glowing objects were the ingredients needed to refine a puppet. A top quality body like the Northern Dragon King was extremely rare, so Xiao Yan naturally needed to use the best ingredients in order to refine this body. Xiao Yan's eyes carefully swept over those ingredients in front of him. He verified that everything was present before nodding with satisfaction. He had rummaged through the stores of the Dragon Island in order to collect these ingredients. Just thinking of the pained eyes of the warehouse guarding elder caused Xiao Yan to involuntarily laugh out loud. Xiao Yan only waved his hand after completing his check. A figure, which was many times stronger than an ordinary person, floated in front of him. This was the main ingredient required to refine the puppet, the body of the Northern Dragon King. The current Northern Dragon King's eyes were both tightly shut. His expression was pale and void of life. However, his body was still tense. It was impossible to leave behind a scar even if one hacked at it with a knife. The physical body of this Dragon King had already been strengthened to a frightening level. At the very least, Xiao Yan admitted he was no match for it. The ancient void dragon tribe was indeed blessed by a strong physical body. Xiao Yan swept his eyes over the northern dragon king's head. Those three faces still appeared a little ferocious at this moment. He involuntarily shook his head. The reason this person's physical body was so strong was because he had devoured the western and southern dragon king's blood and flesh. Puff. Xiao Yan widened his mouth after withdrawing his gaze. A cluster of pink flames was spat out of his mouth. After which, they swelled with the wind and turned into a huge furnace in the air. Subsequently, he waved his hand and threw the body of the Northern Dragon King into the furnace. Sizzle sizzle. The skin of the Northern Dragon King erupted with a sizzling sound the moment the Northern Dragon King's body entered the fire cauldron. Strands of blood continued to flow out before vanishing into nothing because of the high temperature. Xiao Yan was expressionless as this blood disappeared. He had refined a puppet in the past and naturally understood that this was a tempering process. After being refined by his heavenly flame, the body of the Northern Dragon King would become even more terrifying. This tempering process might appear simple, but it lasted for a total of 10 days. Xiao Yan did not rest during this period as he continued to use the purifying demonic lotus flame to grill the Northern Dragon King's body. After 10 days of grilling, the originally strong body of the Northern Dragon King seemed to have shrunk by three layers. Even though his body had shrank, it still appeared a little stronger than an ordinary person. Xiao Yan calmly studied the Northern Dragon King's body, which seemed like black metal, from outside of the cauldron. Even though no dochi surrounded it, the body's glaring appearance was still incomparable. The blood within the body had been grilled until it has entered all the muscles and bones. This body will really be a perfect killing machine. Xiao Yan smiled as he examined the black body, which radiated a pressure. He smiled and even his black eyes contained a strange smile. He immediately waved his hand and the purifying demonic lotus flame that had been wrapped around the body slowly paled. Bang. The moment that the purifying demonic lotus flame completely vanished, the northern dragon king suddenly opened his tightly shut eyes within the fire cauldron. A familiar pair of scarlet eyes belonging to the Northern Dragon King appeared and a strange sinister laugh followed. Xiao Yan, thank you for helping this king complete this temperament. In order to thank you, I shall show you just how frightening this body is. TSK TSK, if you need someone to blame, blame it on your arrogance in merely scattering this king's soul. Our ancient void dragon's body is our soul and our soul is our body. The strong body that was covered in a black metal-like luster within the fire cauldron wildly laughed at the sky. A punch was thrown forward and caused the fire cauldron to collapse. His large hand reached for Xiao Yan. The dead Northern Dragon King was revived. Chapter 1553, Northern King A sharp frightening wind whistled through the chamber. The black metal-like fist of the Northern Dragon King was just like the sickle of a death god as it mercilessly shot towards Xiao Yan's head. This sudden unexpected change would have caused anyone else to turn pale in shock, but the smile on the face of that skinny figure standing in front of the fire cauldron did not disappear just glanced at the Northern Dragon King, who had broken free from the cauldron, and extended his finger before pressing it down from some distance away. Bang. After Xiao Yan pressed his finger down, the Northern Dragon King, who was rushing over, suddenly stiffened. Wave after wave of pink flames suddenly erupted from his body without warning. They wrapped around his body before invading from all possible entrances. They swiftly swarmed into the Northern Dragon King's head before wrapping around the lingering soul that was controlling his body. Bastard, what have you done to his king? The sudden unexpected change caused the Northern Dragon King to feel shocked and furious. He let out a stern roar. 
Northern Dragon King, you have overestimated yourself by attempting to use a technique that hides your soul in front of me. Xiao Yin merely smiled as the Northern Dragon King let out a shocked and furious roar. His spiritual strength was many times stronger than this Northern Dragon King. How could he make a simple mistake like missing a soul fragment? However, what had just occurred was what he had hoped would happen. Although a body refined by an ordinary refinement method became tougher and became immune to pain, a puppet was ultimately only a puppet. It did not possess its own fighting experience. Xiao Yan was naturally unwilling to use the Northern Dragon King's body to refine such a basic puppet. With his current strength, he would refine the best puppet he could since he wished to refine one. A perfect puppet not only required a metal-like body and an immunity to pain, it also required a great fighting experience and many killing methods. However, a puppet was normally controlled by its owner. If the owner ignored it, the puppet would become dull regardless of how strong it was. This type of puppet was far from being perfect. In order to resolve this weakness, one needed to construct the puppet with as much intelligence, or rather battle experience, as possible. The Northern Dragon King had fought in an uncountable number of battles throughout his life. He was an extremely experienced fighter. As long as his soul fragment was refined and merged with the puppet, the puppet that would be formed would truly become a killing machine. Back then, Xiao Yin had shattered the soul of the Northern Dragon King, but he had left this soul fragment hidden within the Northern Dragon King's body alone. This soul fragment had inherited the viciousness of the Northern Dragon King. It had been hiding during this period of time and had only rose to cause trouble after Xiao Yin had tempered the body until it was extremely strong. Unfortunately, this remnant soul was unaware that this was a trap to lure him out. Only by merging the soul fragment with this body would the puppet be perfect. I have finally found you. Xiao Yin glanced at the Northern Dragon King, who had been surrounded by a pink flame, and faintly smiled. He could sense that the heavenly flame had surrounded the Northern Dragon King's remaining soul. Don't. The Northern Dragon King seemed to have detected something at this moment. Shock flashed across his eyes. Before he could finish speaking, however, Xiao Yin had indifferently waved his hand. The purifying demonic lotus flame surged forward and swallowed the soul fragment like a tornado. Its terrifyingly high temperature refined it within a couple of minutes. After the Northern Dragon King's final soul fragment was refined, a somewhat illusory air flow suddenly appeared within the purifying demonic lotus flame. After which, this air flow slowly drifted under Xiao Yan's control before merging with the head of the puppet. After the illusory flow entered the Northern Dragon King's head, the hollow eyes of the puppet gradually revealed a cold golden luster. This luster was set off by the puppet's black metal-like body. Looking from a distance, it appeared extremely majestic and emanated a great deterrence. Moreover, its originally somewhat stiff body gradually replaced. This loosening was not a form of weakness. Instead, it hit the puppet's frightening strength, which could erupt at a moment's notice, in a place where one's eyes could not reach. Allowing the puppet to be more effective when it erupted and killed. Xiao Yan signed in relief as he observed the black metal figure standing in front of him. He flicked his finger. A drop of essence blood shot out of his finger. Finally, it landed on the puppet's brow before transforming into a faint blood seal. A mental connection was also formed when seal appeared. In the future, you shall be called. Northern King. That strong-looking black figure's face moved after hearing Xiao Yan's words. Finally, an emotionless hoarse voice was slowly emitted from its mouth, understood, Master. This puppet was different from those Sky Demon puppets in the past. The Sky Demon puppets did not possess an intelligence. They needed to be controlled by people when fighting others. However, this Northern King would automatically attack with just a thought from Xiao Yan. Moreover, it would not look sluggish like a regular puppet would when fighting against others. It appeared as though it was no different than if the Northern Dragon King had been revived. The current Northern King should be comparable to a five-star Doshan. Xiao Yan fondled his chin. His eyes continued to observe the Northern King. A puppet that could match a five-star Doshan, there was no telling just how much of a commotion such news would stir if it spread. However, Xiao Yan still felt a little unsatisfied. The Northern Dragon King had vaguely reached the sixth star of the Doshan class, and with the unusually strong body of the Northern Dragon King, the limit of this puppet should be higher. A puppet is unable to unleash Do Qi. It completely relies on the strength of its physical body when attacking. With the current physical body of the Northern King, refining it with the purifying demonic lotus flame would not do much. In the past, the Earth Demon Puppet had relied on absorbing lightning in order to raise its strength. Xiao Yan had used a similar refinement method for this puppet and had refined some special ingredients into the Northern King's body. In other words, the current Northern King would possess the ability to absorb lightning. Moreover, the limit of this absorption was far from what those Sky Demon Puppets in the past could compare with. Hence, the only thing he needed to consider was where he could find a sufficient lightning strength. If he were to rely on refining medicinal pills to attract pill lightning, Xiao Yan would not be able to break the Northern King through to the sixth star of the Doshin class even if he worked himself to death. Perhaps it is time to head to that place. Xiao Yan mused for a moment before he softly laughed. He did not remain any longer as he turned around and walked out of the chamber. The Northern King followed close behind him like a shadow. Xiao Yan immediately came across Kai Lin in the courtyard after exiting the quiet room. She also turned her head after detecting him. A stunned expression flashed across her eyes when she saw the Northern King behind Xiao Yan. The body of the Northern Dragon King had undergone a drastic change after the purifying demonic lotus flame had refined it for over ten days. 
With its black metallic-like body, no one would recognize it as the infamous northern dragon king of the ancient void dragon tribe with just a glance. The refinement was a success. Xiao Yan nodded. He did not remain for long. After briefly explaining the situation to Kai Lin, he led the northern king into the air and swiftly rushed into the empty realm outside of the dragon island. Rumble. The low and deep roar of thunder roar echoed in the distance within the dark empty realm. If one swept one's eyes around, one would find a glowing silver light near the edge of the darkness where huge thunderbolts crazily whistled by like huge dragons. Xiao Yan's body remained suspended in the realm. His eyes swept over the extremely huge lightning pool in front of him. This place was where he had refined the Sky Demon puppets back then and also where he had met the headmaster of the Inner Academy, Mang Tian Chi from the Lei Clan, for the first time. At that time, Mang Tian Chi had appeared extremely miserable since he was being chased by those strange black lightning beings. At that time, Xiao Yan only knew that those black lightnings were terrifying and that he could not touch them. This time around, his target were those black lightning beings, who had forced Mang Tian Chi to flee in horror back then. He needed to rely on the lightning strength of this lightning pool in order to raise the strength of the Northern King to a truly perfect level. Let's go. His arc black pupils observed the thunderbolt surging within the lightning pool. Xiao Yan faintly smiled as his body took the lead to fly forward. The Northern King's black body followed close behind him. Back then, Xiao Yan had needed to be extremely careful when he had entered the lightning pool of the empty realm. He had been afraid of attracting tens of thousands of lightning strikes at the same time, but now he appeared quite at ease in this strange region that was filled with a frightening strength. His body steadily floated through the lightning pool. The wildly flashing thunderbolts would suddenly come to a halt when they were still hundreds of feet from Xiao Yan before turning tail and running with some panic. They were able to detect a relatively frightening existence within the somewhat strong body. Xiao Yan did not pause along the way. He rushed to the deepest part of the lightning pool. With the purifying demonic lotus flame protecting his body, the lightning strength did not dare to charge forward. From the looks of it, this third-ranked heavenly flame did live up to its reputation. The lightning pool of the empty realm was extremely vast, but with Xiao Yan's speed, he had reached the deepest part within less than ten minutes. No wonder even Headmaster Mang Tian Chi could only turn around and flee back then. Xiao Yan glanced at his dim surroundings after reaching the deep regions. He then shifted his eyes to examine a black lightning cluster, which appeared like huge dragon as it slowly wiggled within the darkness. Even with his current strength, his expression involuntarily became grave. The grave expression lasted for a moment before Xiao Yan slowly sighed. Some joy rose onto his face. If the Northern King absorbed this lightning, it would be able to reach a perfect level. At that time, it could even fight against an elite six-star Doshen. This kind of help would be very useful to Xiao Yan. Chapter 1554, Devouring Black Demon Lightning Black Demon Lightning Xiao Yan's feet paused outside of the region filled with black lightning. His eyes studied the black thunderbolts that clustered together before shock involuntarily flashed across them. Who would have expected black demon lightning, which could only be attracted after a tier 9 medicinal pill was refined, to exist in such vast numbers in this pool? This world was indeed filled with all sorts of mysteries. Xiao Yan was not unfamiliar with this black demon lightning. He had once summoned it after refining a pill back at the small pill tower. However, that black demon lightning was insignificant when compared to the black demon lightning in this lightning pool. Fortunately, Xiao Yan's strength far surpassed what it had been back then. Otherwise, he would only have been able to flee after seeing such a number of black demon lightning. The strength of nature is indeed unpredictable. Xiao Yan shook his head, but he did not immediately let the northern king absorb the lightning strength. There was a lot of black demon lightning in this place. If one carelessly activated all of them, they would be a little troublesome to deal with. Hence, he sat down outside of the black demon lightning region with his legs crossed and began to observe the situation within the lightning pool. This observation lasted for an hour. An hour later, Xiao Yan finally sighed in relief after confirming that no accidents had occurred. A thought passed through his mind. The northern king behind him took a step forward without any hesitation and slowly headed to the deepest part of the lightning pool. Bang. The northern king immediately attracted the attention of a black demon lightning after he entered the deepest part of the lightning pool. A hundred-foot-large black thunderbolt, resembling a giant python, slowly wiggled above the head of the northern king. A sizzling lightning glow was emitted from the body of this black demon lightning. Under the control of Xiao Yan's mind, the northern king halted before lifting its head to look at the black thunderbolt. After which, it slowly extended its hand and touched the lightning. The black demon lightning did not dodge this attack. Instead, it appeared to have been provoked. It moved and ruthlessly smashed into the northern king's arm. The northern king's black metal-like body suddenly unleashed a strange suction force after the black demon lightning touched its arm. It actually sucked the black demon lightning into its body. Chi 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 The northern king's hair stood up like many needles after the black demon lightning was brutally dragged into its body. Circular black sparks continued to wildly flicker around its body. A strange sound was continuously emitted, causing the somewhat quiet part of the lightning pool to appear exceptionally deafening. Xiao Yan's eyes were somewhat anxious as observed the Northern King lingering within the black lightning. A moment later, a joy surged into his eyes. 
He sensed the unusually wild and violent strength of the black demon lightning madly rage within the Northern King's body before finally merging with it. That wild and violent energy invaded the Northern King's muscles, bones, cells. The lightning strength was indeed effective on the Northern King. Under this refinement, the originally black body of the Northern King had become a little duller. The muscles on its body filled with a strength visible to the eye. The effect is quite good. The energy from the black demon lightning had ultimately merged with the Northern King's body. This merger caused Xiao Yan to feel some joy. Before a smile could surface on his face, all the hairs on his body ended up standing up. He lifted his head, only to find that many huge black bolts of lightning had encircled the Northern King's body like huge dragons. Crackling sparks flashed. The lightning was filled with a wild and violent force that numbed one's head. They were still attracted. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head once the lightning moved. A thought passed through his mind and the Northern King, which had been surrounded by many bolts of black demon lightning, suddenly pressed its foot down on empty space. Its body was like a cannonball as it shot forth. Boom. The actions of the Northern King had undoubtedly detonated the stalemate. The many bolts of black demon lightning moved at the same time. Many huge black thunderbolts chased the Northern King at a shocking speed. After which, one of them ruthlessly smashed into the Northern King's body. Bang. A black demon lightning collided with the Northern King's body. The bolt of lightning disappeared in a flash and was absorbed by the Northern King, but the huge force from the thunderbolt sent the Northern King flying for tens of thousands of feet. This kind of strength caused Xiao Yan to feel speechless. Even an ordinary one-star Dosheng would feel a headache after being assaulted by one of these bolts of black demon lightning. Fortunately, the Northern King physical body had already reached a relatively frightening level. It didn't even lose a hair after being sent flying by tens of thousands of feet. After which, Xiao Yan made it sit down, allowing the many huge strands of black demon lightning to charge into it. Bang bang bang. Clear loud sounds repeatedly appeared within the deepest part of the lightning pool. Numerous tendrils of black demon lightning pounced on the Northern King like many huge dragons, but each time the black demon lightning came in contact with the puppet's body, a black glow would flash before disappearing. Subsequently, the black lightning arcs flashing around the Northern King's body became even denser. Xiao Yan clicked his tongue and praised as he watched this assault from outside the deepest region. His heart felt extremely comfortable. The strength of the Northern King's physical body had even surprised him. The ancient Void Dragon's body was extremely outstanding to begin with, and this Northern Dragon King was considered one of the top individuals among them. After devouring the Western and Southern Dragon Kings, the strength of the Northern Dragon King had been raised even further. If one were to simply compare the strength of one's physical body, it was likely that even Ziyan would be somewhat inferior to the mutated Northern Dragon King. Of course, Xiao Yan also understood that when Ziyan's Dragon Phoenix bloodline completely activated, no one in the whole world would be able to compare with the strength of her body. After being strengthened through various procedures and the refinement of a purifying demonic lotus flame, the physical body of this northern king was relatively frightening. Hence, it did not show any signs of reaching its limit even after absorbing so many bolts of black demon lightning. This puppet could be considered an ultimate creation. The sky demon puppets that he had obtained back in the Doshing remains where the great heaven creation palm had come from or piles of trash. The body was the most important material when it came to refining puppets. After the puppet was successfully refined, it would not be able to use Do Chi, so it could only rely on its physical body. However, a strong body like the body of the Northern Dragon King was extremely hard to find. The owner of the Doshing Remains' actual strength was likely far inferior to the Northern Dragon King. Naturally, the ingredients selected by him would not be top quality. According to the speed, the Northern Dragon King's strength should become a six-star Doshing within half a month. Xiao Yan smiled. This rate was extremely shocking, but he soon slowly withdrew his focus. He was preparing to shut his eyes and recuperate when an arm-sized black demon lightning unconsciously drifted over. Finally, it collided with his body in front of his stunned eyes. This tiny black demon lightning naturally did not pose much harm to Xiao Yan. A pink fire seedling swept out of his body when the lightning made contact. Then, the flame devoured that black demon lightning. Ha! Huh. The flame and the lightning caused Xiao Yan to feel slightly startled. He was just about to study the interaction of the black demon lightning when he suddenly sensed an unusually pure energy surge into his body. Finally, this energy spread throughout his limbs. Moreover, Xiao Yan was stunned to find that this pure energy contained a slight numbing feeling when it flowed by his internal organs. Sparks of an electric flow quietly invaded him, causing the organs in his body to emit an unusually relaxed feeling. This is, the devouring power of the Nihilite devouring flame. This sudden energy caused Xiao Yan to feel startled. Iwa, delicious. A fire glow flashed onto Xiao Yan's shoulder. A cute palm-sized little E appeared. He widened its bright big eyes as he looked at those black demon lightning in the distance. A somewhat transparent glob actually appeared at the corner of his mouth before he hurriedly wiped at it away. He then sucked with his small mouth and an unusual devouring power erupted. Over a dozen bolts of black demon lightning from a short distance away swiftly rushed toward Xiao Yan as though they had been swept over by a tornado. They were then devoured by little E on Xiao Yan's shoulder. Chi Chi Some black-colored lightning arcs flashed over little E's body after he swallowed the dozen-plus strands of black demon lightning together. 
At the same time, a shockingly pure energy once again materialized within Xiao Yan's body without warning. Finally, it scattered to his limbs and bones. This time around, Xiao Yan had gained an understanding of the source of this energy. His heartbeat suddenly quickened. The blood demon lightning was extremely violent. Even though the energy within it was extremely shocking, he had never dared to even think of absorbing it. He might possess the purifying demonic lotus flame, but this thought had still never crossed his mind. However, little he possessed a tiny bit of the devouring power of the Nihilite devouring flame and was able to absorb this energy. Gulp. Xiao Yan's throat slowly rolled. After the energy, which caused his body to feel numb, quietly merged with his body, he discovered that his strength, which had not increased ever since he had left the demonic flame realm, had once again slightly increased. Xiao Yan stiffly lifted his head. He looked at the densely packed cluster of black demon lightning in the distance as an extremely heated expression suddenly filled his eyes. Since Little E could refine and devour black demon lightning, which was lethal in the eyes of others, these bolts had become a perfect source of nourishment in his eyes. All of these are mine. Xiao Yan licked his lips somewhat greedily as a joyous low roar was emitted from his throat. Chapter 1555, Nine Mysterious Golden Lightning Within the empty realm lightning pool, Xiao Yan forcefully suppressed the excitement in his eyes after a long while. He looked at Little E on his shoulder. The only one who could endure the black demon lightning's wild and violent energy assault was this fire spirit. The crystal droplet on the corner of Little E's mouth became even denser when Xiao Yan glanced over. He immediately rubbed his flabby hands on his face and flew forward. Finally, he appeared in the air above a cluster of black demon lightning a circular pink flame that emitted a devouring power spread from his body. Any strand of the black demon lightning that touched this fire circle would meet a suction force that could not be resisted. They were unable to escape regardless of how they struggled. Finally, all of them flew along the edges of the fire circle before entering Little E's small body. Crackle. The surface of Little E's body began to flicker with many black arcs after the many bolts of black demon lightning had been devoured. The black demon lightning that entered his body was swiftly refined by the purifying demonic lotus flame and then turned into an extremely pure energy that spread apart. While Little E was wildly devouring the black demon lightning, Xiao Yan remained sitting in the empty space. Wave after wave of an unusually pure and powerful energy began to appear within his body without any warning. He focused his mind and controlled this energy, circulating it along route designated by the flame mantra qi method. Finally, this energy transformed into powerful dou qi that merged into every part of Xiao Yan's body. Xiao Yan had shut his eyes and had focused his mind. He could clearly hear the countless cells within his body emitting a voice filled with desire and joy as this energy was shuttled around. Just one black demon lightning was comparable to an entire day of training for Xiao Yan. It was impossible to even compare the effectiveness between the two because they were truly vastly different. If it is possible to absorb all of this black demon lightning, it not be difficult to reach the advanced level of the fifth star of the Doshin class. Xiao Yan glanced sideways at the black demon lightning, which filled the deepest parts of the lightning pool, with narrowed eyes. A faint smile lifted onto the corner of his mouth before he shut his eyes. He began to refine and absorb the powerful energy surging from his body at an increased speed. The quiet deepest parts of the empty realm lightning pool were currently emitting waves of roaring thunder. Many giant python-like black thunderbolts whistled down. Their might covered this area as tens of thousands of thunderbolts moved together. In front of this spectacular spectacle, even an elite Doshen would feel extremely tiny. There were two whirlpool-like existences within the Black Lightning Sea. Many black thunderbolts whistled around these two spots, causing them to be surrounded. Regardless of how ferocious the bolts were, the two regions were like bottomless pits that could not be filled. All of the bolts of black demon lightning, regardless of quality, would eventually disappear with a black flash of light. Those two gluttonous individuals tirelessly and crazily devoured clusters of black demon lightning. A figure was seated at the edge of the deepest region of this lightning pool. Many black lightning arcs would occasionally flee from his skin, setting off his black clothes and hair, giving him an exceptionally mysterious and unfathomable appearance. This devouring was destined to last for a long time. Fortunately, the amount of lightning within the lightning pool in the empty realm had already reached a relatively frightening extent after evolving over an uncountable number of years. Otherwise, they would have been devoured by these two black hole-like existences within a short period of time. The lightning pool was hidden within the endless empty realm where seldom a person traveled. Even elite Doshengs, who occasionally barged into this realm, would not dare to simply enter the lightning pool. Hence, Xiao Yan's training progressed unusually smoothly without anyone disturbing him. Time flew by during this training. Within the blink of an eye, one month had quietly passed. During this one month, there was no telling how many bolts of black demon lightning the Northern King and Little E had devoured. That enormous, seemingly endless, devouring caused the number of black demon lightning within the deepest part of this lightning pool to become a lot fainter. Of course, after devouring such a vast amount of black demon lightning, both the Northern King, Little E, and even Xiao Yan had naturally gained incomparable benefits. The Northern King's body had become a slightly deeper shade of black after being refined for an entire month. The black color possessed an unusual demonic force. At a glance, it appeared like a continuously rotating black hole. An attack that landed on it would be devoured by the black hole. The strange black glow lingered around the Northern King's body. From a distance, it appeared as though an extremely thin layer of black-colored armor had been formed on his body. 
The armor was deep and dark, causing the Northern King to appear a little mysterious. The current body of the Northern King, which could only be described as terrifying, would be able to fight equally with a genuine six-star Doshen. Moreover, it had inherited the rich battle experience of the Northern Dragon King, forcing its opponent to truly regard it as an elite six-star Doshen. After the Northern Dragon King's body had been strengthened to this level, it seemed to have vaguely touched a limit. Regardless of how it absorbed the Black Demon Lightning, the effect was extremely insignificant. Xiao Yan could only helplessly shake his head. Regardless of how perfect it had been made, a puppet was ultimately a puppet. It was already extremely difficult to strengthen it to such an extent. It would likely be far too difficult to make it even stronger. While the Northern King had obtained a wonderful result, Xiao Yan and Little Yi, who had madly devoured Black Demon Lightning for a month, had also made significant gains. Xiao Yan had not only risen an initial 5-star Doshin to an intermediate 5-star Doshin, he had also reached the peak of the intermediate level. It was not impossible for him to reach the advanced level within a short period of time. As for Little E, his body was still as tiny as before, but it was possible to vaguely see some black lightning arcs flashing through the pink flame on his body. After devouring such a large amount of black demon lightning, tendrils of black demon lightning had actually begun to appear within the purifying demonic lotus flame. This caused the offensive strength of the purifying demonic lotus flame to significantly rise. Xiao Yan was relatively satisfied with his gains, but the problem the Northern King had experienced also occurred to Xiao Yan a month later. After his strength had been raised to the intermediate level of the fifth star of the Doshin class, Xiao Yan's body seemed to have developed a resistance for the Black Demon Lightning. The obvious increase in his strength from earlier had diminished, so he had no choice but to withdraw from his training state. Xiao Yan opened his eyes, which had been shut for a month, A, B, C. There was also a faint black arc of lightning flashing within them. His mouth was slightly widened as a low lightning roar was emitted from his throat. Who? Air, which contained some black lightning, was released from Xiao Yan's mouth. He stood up as waves of a clear cracking sound were emitted from his body. The majestic and endless strength he felt seemed just like a huge dragon had hidden itself within his muscles. The huge dragon could rise with just a thought and unleash a frightening destructive force that would make one speechless. I was just about to step into the advanced level of the fifth star of the Doshin class, how unfortunate. Xiao Yan briefly examined his body before he shook his head in regret. He beckoned with his hand. A red light and a black light rushed out of the deepest part of the lightning pool. In a flash, it appeared beside Xiao Yan. These lights were the Northern King and Little E, who had been devouring the Black Demon Lightning for a month. Xiao Yan's eye swept over the Northern King whose body seemed to be covered in a black crystal. The crystal flickered with a mysterious luster as an aura, which caused even him to feel wary, gradually spread apart, causing others to not want to underestimate it. Perfect. Xiao Yan's finger touched the Northern King's arm. From this touch, he understood that if a huge dragon was hidden in his muscles, there were ten or more of them hidden in the Northern King's skin. Such a puppet could only be described as perfect. Xiao Yan's eyes shifted to Little Yi after observing the Northern King. Little Yi's appearance did not appear to have changed much, but there seemed to be black arcs of lightning present. The Northern King has already reached its limit. The Black Demon Lightning is unable to raise its strength anymore. My body has also begun to form a resistance against the Black Demon Lightning's energy. The effects of continuing to train will greatly diminish. Xiao Yan's mulled over the matter. A moment later, he finally felt like leaving. After having been away for a month, Kai Lin and the rest would have become a little worried. This might be a good place to train, but it was impossible for him to remain here for much longer. It is time to leave. Xiao Yan softly sighed. He lifted his head and once again glanced at the lightning pool. He had just turned his body when the deepest part of the lightning pool, which had gradually quietened down because Little E and the Northern King had ceased devouring the lightning, suddenly fluctuated. Immediately, black lightning flickered through the pool. They swarmed toward the dark region in the middle from all directions. Xiao Yan was startled after the lightning move. He immediately frowned. His eyes scanned the deepest part of the lightning pool. There seemed to be an unusual pressure growing there. This pressure felt similar to the pressure Black Demon Lightning emitted. However, it was many times stronger. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at that area. His eyes flickered. A moment later, he slowly rose into the air and absorbed Little E into his body. He made the Northern King walk in front of him as they slowly headed toward the Dark Region. The strange pressure increased as they approached the Dark Region. In the end, Xiao Yan's footsteps came to a sudden halt. His dark black eyes contained a trace of shock as they stared at the middle of the lightning sea. A huge dragon, which seemed to be made of gold, was entrenched at that spot. Golden thunderbolts shot from the surface of its body. This is, the nine mysterious golden lightning that can only be attracted by a tier 9 golden pill, highest tier 9 medicinal pill. A, it says one month but shouldn't it be two? The paragraph above says a month later Xiao Yan experienced the same problem as the northern king did. The northern king didn't have this problem until a month in though. Is it supposed to just be the same month of time instead of a month later? B. True. But I guess the author forgot about the one month before. Actually no, two paragraphs earlier, Lin Dong seems to have awoken to deal with the Northern King. 
C. Ye he awoke to deal with the northern king, but the paragraph right before this one states this, Xiao Yan was relatively satisfied with his gains, but the problem the northern king had experienced also occurred to Xiao Yan a month later. That sentence makes it seems like he woke up, dealt with the northern king, then went back to training, then experienced the same problem as the northern king a month later. Chapter 1556, Gathering Spirits If one were to rank the nine mysterious golden lightning like a heavenly flame on the heavenly flame ranking, this lightning would boast a position equivalent to the purifying demonic lotus flame or even the knee lighty devouring flame. This nine mysterious golden lightning would only appear after refining a tier nine golden pill. It was an earth-shaking matter each time this lightning appeared. The world would quiver and even elite doshengs would appear tiny and insignificant under the might of this lightning. Within some of the ancient books, there were records of the unusual natural phenomenons forming when an alchemist, who had reached the peak, refined a tier 9 golden pill. The most frightening aspect of this unusual phenomenon was the nine mysterious golden lightning. Even an ordinary elite dosheng would be turned into dust if the expert touched it even a little. Of course, the nine mysterious golden lightning was extremely rare even during the golden age of the ancient era. It had been thousands of years since the nine mysterious golden light had appeared on the Dochi continent. In other words, the tier 9 golden pill had not appeared on the Dochi continent for thousands of years. However, probably no one in the world could refine this divine medicinal pill. Even Xiao Yan could only remain quiet before these words. Given his medicinal refinement skills, he might not dare to say that he was the best on the continent, but it would not be difficult for him to be ranked among the top three. However, the highest tier medicinal pill that he had ever refined was a tier 9 treasure pill. He had never attempted to refine the tier 9 mysterious pill. Even less needed to be said about the higher ranked tier 9 golden pill. Hence, the legendary nine mysterious golden lightning was something he had only ever read about in the ancient books. Although he had never seen it, he was still able to recognize the nine mysterious golden lightning at first glance because of his sharp spiritual perception. This place has actually produced a nine mysterious golden lightning. Even with Xiao Yan's fortitude, he involuntarily felt his breathing became a little difficult at this moment. It was a long while later before his mouth finally emitted a low mutter without him even realizing it. His voice was filled with shock and disbelief. The huge golden lightning dragon lay in the deepest part of the lightning sea. Its eyes were tightly shut. Golden lightning arcs continued to flash over its body. An extermination-like energy quietly spread, causing the empty realm to appear extremely distorted. The densely packed bolts of black demon lightning lingered 10,000 feet away from the golden lightning dragon, as though they were worshipping their king. Gulp. Xiao Yan involuntarily swallowed a mouthful of saliva as he examined the scene. That faint sound was exceptionally loud in this completely quiet realm. Hence, many bolts of the black demon lightning suddenly turned and charged at Xiao Yan like many furious pythons. Xiao Yan merely withdrew once the black demon lightning being started to charge over. His eyes rapidly flickered as he turned around and fled. He was not afraid of the black demon lightning, but he could not afford not to be afraid of the lightning dragon, which appeared to be in a slumber. He could sense a terrifying aura emanating from the dragon's body. He admitted that he was far inferior to that aura based on his guess, if one used human levels to measure the lightning dragon's strength, this lightning dragon was likely equivalent to a seven-star doshan. This level was something that Xiao Yan could not fight against. Hence, he did not hesitate to turn around and flee after discovering the level of the dragon's aura. Bang bang. Xiao Yan's fleeing attracted an increasing number of black demon lightning beings, so they chased after him. In an instant, the deepest parts of the lightning pool seemed to have churned. Xiao Yan had barged into their holy land and seemed to have infuriated them. Bolts of black demon lightning surged from all directions, headed towards Xiao Yan. Under the assault from such a number of black demon lightning beings, even Xiao Yan ended up feeling his scalp go numb. He waved his hand and the northern king appeared above his head. Xiao Yan's shoulder subsequently shook as Little E appeared. After which, Little E flew below him. Both the northern king and Little E guarded Xiao Yan from above and below respectively. The waves of black demon lightning beings arrived after Xiao Yan summoned Little E. However, a suction force erupted from the northern king and Little E when they were a hundred feet away from Xiao Yan. All of these bolts of lightning were absorbed into the duo's bodies. Let's go. Xiao Yan did not dare to remain still after easily blocking the attacks of the black demon lightning beings. A pair of bone wings appeared on his back. He was just about to hurriedly flee away when the pores all over his body suddenly opened wide. He hurriedly turned around and coincidentally saw the golden lightning dragon within the lightning pool slowly open its eyes. Lightning flashed and thunder roared within the dragon's eyes, as though the entire world had shot into those huge dragon eyes. This is bad. That big fellow has awakened. Dragon's pair of cold emotionless eyes stared at Xiao Yan, causing him to feel as though his head was about to explode. The green-red bone wings on his back were flapped with great force as his body turned into a ray of light which fled from this lightning pool. Rumble. The golden lightning dragon widened its huge mouth after seeing Xiao Yan flee at such a rapid speed. A thousand-foot-large golden lightning emitted a crackling sound as it shot out at the speed of light. Within a flash, it had caught up to Xiao Yan. The golden lightning, which rushed at Xiao Yan from behind, caused his eyes to narrow. This speed left no room for him to escape. He decisively turned his body around. 
Majestic Do Chi swiftly gathered on the surface of his body like an enormous black hole-like swirl. With a wave of his hand, the northern king was placed in front of him. Little Li also flashed with a fire glow as he appeared on Xiao Yan's shoulder again. His small face currently revealed a rare solemnness. Xiao Yan was not given the opportunity to sigh in relief after forming many layers of defenses. The golden lightning filled his eyes before it ruthlessly struck the northern king's body. Bang! That powerful collision sent the northern king's body backwards. Xiao Yan hurriedly pressed on its back, but he was unable to block the huge force. Instead, he was also sent flying. Although the northern king's body was sent flying, its ability to absorb lightning strength once again appeared. One could see many golden lightning arcs leaping around its body. They were like tiny insects that continuously burrowed into its body. At the same time, Xiao Yan had been struck by the lightning since his hand had been touching the northern king's body. That frighteningly wild and violent energy shook and destroyed the Dou Qi swirl on the surface of his body. Fortunately, Little E quickly stepped forward. He completely unleashed his devouring power and ruthlessly sucked in these golden-colored lightning arcs. Chi Chi The enormous golden lightning wrapped around Xiao Yan, Northern King, and Little E. Many huge lightning arcs continuously flickered. The surrounding black demon lightning beings, which had been rushing over, hurriedly came to a halt before fleeing into the distance. None of them dared to even come close to the golden lightning. Xiao Yan clenched his teeth while surrounded by the lightning arc. After Little E had devoured the golden lightning, an extremely destructive and mighty energy surged into his body. This was the energy that Little E had feed back to him. Xiao Yan hurriedly focused his mind on top of feeling shocked. He firmly controlled this vast and mighty energy, directing it through his medians. Wherever this energy passed, tiny golden arcs would flash before his body would emit waves of piercing pain. Even after being filtered by Little E, the energy from this nine mysterious golden lightning still caused Xiao Yan to suffer. Fortunately, the interior of his body had already been strengthened by the black demon lightning. Hence, he did not need to worry about any danger despite suffering a bitter sensation. A golden lightning glow flickered. Xiao Yan tried his best to refine the wild and violent energy within his body. After a couple of minutes, the cold perspiration on his face finally diminished. That rebellious wild horse-like energy gradually turned into waves of floodwater like pure dochi that flowed into his bones. Xiao Yan suddenly discovered that his strength, which had ceased rising earlier, had actually began to once again grow at a slow pace. If this trend continued, he would likely reach the advanced level of the five star of the Doshin class within a short moment. This sudden surprise caused Xiao Yan's face to involuntarily reveal joy. However, this joy had yet to spread when he was awoken by a crack sound. His eyes hurriedly shifted to the northern king, only to find that its skin, which was covered in golden lightning arcs, had cracked and formed a faint gap. What a terrifying nine mysterious golden lightning. Even the body of the northern king cannot endure it. Xiao Yan's heart immediately became cold after seeing the crack that had formed. If Little Li had not used his fire spirit to refine the lightning, even Xiao Yan would not dare to absorb this destructive energy. He immediately waved his hand and hurriedly put the northern king into his storage ring. Xiao Yan had spent a lot of effort in order to refine this puppet. He would really feel his heart ache if the northern king were to be destroyed in this place. Xiao Yan's body rapidly withdrew after he stored away the northern king. Little E on his shoulder unleashed his devouring power to its limit. Finally, he absorbed the rest of the golden lightning into his body all at once. Immediately, the surface of his small body exploded and formed many golden lightning glows. The purifying demonic lotus flame within was unleashed to its limit to madly refine this lightning. I have broken through. Xiao Yan's body suddenly shook as an increasing amount of vast and mighty energy surged into Xiao Yan's body. A joy rose within his eyes. His strength had been elevated to the advanced level of the fifth star of the Doshin class by relying on the strength of this nine mysterious golden lightning. He had, at the very least, saved half a year's of training. Hurry and leave. Xiao Yan's body hurriedly withdrew as he relied on Little E to swallow the last bit of the nine mysterious golden lightning. His eyes glanced at the deepest part of the sea of lightning as he withdrew. Many huge lightning arcs suddenly exploded from the golden lightning dragon's large body. A dragon roar containing a great misery reverberated across the sea of lightning in an earth-shaking manner. The black demon lightning beings around it withdrew into the distance in fear. A spiritual aura is gathering. This nine mysterious golden lightning is actually trying to form a spirit. This understanding caused Xiao Yan's rapidly withdrawing figure to suddenly pause. His eyes quickly flickered. Although this nine mysterious golden lightning was extremely terrifying, it did not possess an intelligence. In other words, it could not be called a spirit. This so-called spiritual gathering was actually the formation of intelligence. If this nine mysterious golden lightning succeeded, it would turn into an existence similar to the purifying demonic lotus flame of the past, a nine mysterious golden lightning with intelligence. Of course, this was not something that Xiao Yan desired. However, the nine mysterious golden lightning would enter an extremely weak state while forming a spirit. Even with Xiao Yan's mental fortitude, his heart began to pound at a greater speed as he thought of its weakened state. Chapter 1557 The Strength of the Nine Mysterious Golden Lightning From this, one could gain an understanding of just how terrifying the body of the Nine Mysterious Golden Lightning was. However, everything required to increase one's lower also carried a risk. 
If there was a high risk involved, a greater reward would naturally follow. Even if Xiao Yan did not use the nine mysterious golden lightning to break through to the sixth star of the Doshin class after absorbing it, just having it in his hands meant that Xiao Yan would possess a killing weapon against an opponent who had reached the seventh star of the Doshin class. The temptation that came from such a powerful weapon caused Xiao Yan's calm heart to pound despite the risks that accompanied it. Although Xiao Yan's strength had reached the peak level within the continent, his opponents were not ordinary beings. Having another trump card in his hand was equivalent to having another life. It is really the case of seeking treasures from danger. Xiao Yan slowly withdrew the excitement within his heart. His eyes continued to flicker as he glanced around the deepest part of the lightning sea. After hesitating within his heart for a short moment, he finally made up his mind. He would act if he found an opportunity, but if it was still extremely difficult to subdue the nine mysterious golden light in its weakened state, he could only choose to withdraw. Xiao Yan focused his mind after making his decision. His eyes swept over the many lightning arc that were exploding on the enormous body of the golden lightning dragon deep in the sea of lightning. While the nine mysterious goldening lightning was emitting a miserable roar, the surrounding black demon lightning began to flee into the distance. At this moment, they did not even feel like chasing Xiao Yan. Instead, they stayed 10,000 feet away from the nine mysterious golden lightning. Even though they did not possess any intelligence, their instincts told them that the nine mysterious golden lightning was experiencing an extremely critical moment. Crackle A golden bolt of lightning that was one-fifth the nine mysterious golden lightning ruthlessly exploded on the surface of its body. A golden lightning arc filled with an exterminating strength wildly wiggled. This retaliation explosion caused even something as strong as the nine mysterious golden lightning to struggle. However, some spirituality began to slowly rise within the dragon's icy cold emotionless eyes. This caused it to appear to have gained a little more life and to no longer appear as cold as a statue like it did earlier. Xiao Yan involuntarily licked his lips upon witnessing this change. It was unexpected that this nine mysterious golden lightning had to endure such a ferocious retaliation in order to form a spirit, but if it was able to endure, it would likely become quite a terrifying existence in the future. There were all sorts of mysteries in this world. An example was the Bodhisattva ancient tree. It might only be an ancient tree, but at its peak, it was rumored to have even exchanged blows with an elite Dodi. Similarly, the Bodhisattva ancient tree did not possess much intelligence. The stronger a natural spiritual object was, the more difficult it was for it to form a spirit. This was the case for the Bodhisattva ancient tree, and it was no different for the nine mysterious golden lightning. Bang bang. After a spiritual aura rose within the eyes of the nine mysterious golden dragon, the retaliation within its body became even more intense. A thunder-like explosion reverberated from its body. Each terrifying explosion caused Xiao Yan's scalp to numb. Against these wild and violent explosions, the spirituality within the nine serene golden lightning dragon's eyes was scattered. What a terrifying backlash. No wonder the Bodhisattva ancient tree is unable to form a spirit. If it does, there is no telling just how frightening the retaliation force would be. Xiao Yan felt speechless as he watched the spiritual aura within the eyes of the nine mysterious golden lightning blast apart. From the looks of it, this nine mysterious golden lightning might not succeed in forming a spirit. Woo. The surrounding black demon lightning being seemed to have also sensed this through their instincts while this thought flashed through Xiao Yan's heart. A mysterious sound of sadness was emitted from the sea of lightning. Countless bolts of black demon lightning gathered together and pounced toward the nine mysterious golden lightning. The many arcs of black demon lightning turned into tiny black electric sparks that invaded the nine mysterious golden lightning's body upon contact. After their entry, the intense explosions happening in the body of the nine mysterious golden lightning seemed to have weakened. It seemed as though these black demon lightning beings were using themselves to block the retaliation explosions happening within the body of the nine mysterious golden lightning. The spirituality within the eyes of the nine mysterious golden dragon became denser as many black demon lightning beings pounced over. At the same time, its originally bright golden body dimmed. The retaliation forces had caused it to grow weaker. Roar. The bolts of black demon lightning deep within the sea of lightning became even crazier while the nine mysterious golden lightning let out a sharp miserable roar. They fearlessly charged into its body, but as the spirituality within the nine mysterious golden lightning's eyes became denser, the explosions happening within the dragon's body became even more uncontrollable. The exterminating ripples that dispersed from it caused even Xiao Yan in the distance to feel afraid. Looks like this big fellow is about to fail. Being a non-related party, Xiao Yan appeared quite calm. His eyes swept over before he shook his head. The retaliation explosions that had been unleashed within the nine mysterious golden lightning's body had soared many times over. According to this trend, the bolts of black demon lightning were unable to suppress the lightning explosions regardless of how they pounced over. Once they failed to suppress these forces, the intelligence and spirit that the nine mysterious golden lightning had formed after much difficulty would be blasted apart. Xiao Yan softly sighed after clearly envisioning the end. The nine mysterious golden lightning had been formed after an unknowingly long period of time. It was indeed a pity for it to fail to form a spirit. The heavens might have blessed it with great strength, but they had also deprived it of other rights. Bang bang bang. The nine mysterious golden lightning appeared dim as it lay deep in the sea of lightning. Its body, which appeared to be made of gold, had also became a lot more illusory it no longer had the ability to resist such a frightening backlash. 
The surrounding black demon lightning being ceased charging forward when the nine mysterious golden lightning deflated into the lightning sea as though it had accepted its fate. They lingered around the dragon and emitted deep whines. Their voices were filled with misery. Ugh. Xiao Yan sighed after watching the nine mysterious golden lightning weaken. The dragon was no longer able to cause him to feel the danger he had felt earlier. The spiritual formation has failed. Xiao Yan shook his head. He stepped through empty space and rushed down. After which, he appeared deep within the sea of lightning. He looked at the 10,000-foot-large golden lightning dragon from close proximity. The dragon was looking at him with a pair of extremely dim eyes. It did not launch any attacks. Wine. However, the black demon lightning beings furiously rushed over when Xiao Yan had barged in again. They whistled and charged over, but little E rose from Xiao Yan's shoulder. Only then did these charging bodies came to a halt, as though they were extremely afraid of the baby. Give me your strength and I will help you form a spirit. Xiao Yan's body floated in front of the nine mysterious golden lightning. His tiny body was just like an ant. However, his calm voice caused the dim dragon eyes of the nine mysterious golden lightning to fluctuate. Great strength is the biggest obstacle to the formation of your spirit. Xiao Yan's hand gently pressed on a dragon scale in front of the nine mysterious golden lightning eyes. Immediately, a pink flame surged from his finger. After which, he violently pulled. A bright golden lightning glow was immediately pulled out of the nine mysterious golden lightning's body. The golden lightning vaguely gathered into a giant lightning dragon. The extraction was unexpectedly smooth. One reason was that the nine mysterious golden lightning was extremely weak. The second was that it did not retaliate even a little, as though it had understood Xiao Yan's words. In order to possess intelligence, it was willing to abandon its strength. It was already tired of this kind of blurry feeling of existence. What a terrifying destructive force. The pink flame on Xiao Yan's palm soared. It transformed into a huge fire net that firmly restrained the golden lightning dragon. This was the strength within the nine mysterious golden lightning's body. The destructive properties inside had greatly exceeded Xiao Yan's expectations. Even his body would explode if he were to absorb this destructive energy. Roar. The golden lightning dragon wildly struggled within the fire net. It wanted to escape, but it clearly did not possess the ability to do so without being driven by someone or something. Seal. Xiao Yan slid his finger across the air in front of him and a bloodline flew out. After which, a formation swiftly formed on the fire web. A fire glow shook in the fire net, which had wrapped around the golden dragon, began to rapidly shrink. Finally, it turned into a miniature lightning dragon that entered Little Yi's body. This destructive strength was something that only Little Yi's fire spirit could endure. Xiao Yan only sighed in relief after completing this task. His eyes returned to the nine mysterious golden lightning in front of him. Since its strength had been extracted, it had turned into a hundred-foot-large golden dragon. Xiao Yan's hand gently rubbed the dragon head of this nine mysterious golden lightning. His hand formed a seal and the spiritual aura around him swiftly gathered before turning into a spiritual seed that slowly entered the body of the nine mysterious golden lightning. Currently, the nine mysterious golden lightning was only an existence equivalent to a dozun. There was no retaliation as its spirit formed at this moment. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw the spiritually soaring within the dragon eyes of the nine mysterious golden lightning. Obtaining intelligence was only too easy after giving up its power. In the future, you will be the only nine mysterious golden lightning that possesses intelligence in this world. Xiao Yan once again patted the nine mysterious golden lightning. After which, he suddenly turned around. His body turned into a bright light that rushed out of the lightning pool. The dragon eyes of the nine mysterious golden dragon studied the back of the figure flying away from the deep lightning pool. At this moment, it was just like a small beast that had just been born. It firmly remembered the first person it had seen and would never forget him. Chapter 1558, Change A bright light shot over from the lightning pool in the empty realm. It escaped the lightning pool within a couple of flashes. After which, a figure turned around and looked back. He only quietly sighed in relief after verifying no unusual changes had occurred behind him. This human figure was naturally Xiao Yan, who had quickly left after obtaining the strength of the nine mysterious golden lightning. The process of obtaining the energy had been unexpectedly smooth, so the burden weighing on his heart was only removed now that he had successfully left the lightning pool. A joy that could not be hidden surged within his eyes. He had obtained a rich reward during this trip to the lightning pool. Not only had he successfully strengthened the Northern King until it was comparable to a six-star Dosheng, he had even leaped from the initial level of the fifth star of the Dosheng class to the advanced level of the fifth star of the Dosheng class. Of course, the greatest reward was the destructive force that he had removed from the nine mysterious golden lightning. Xiao Yan lifted his hand. The pink flame churned and Little E appeared in a flash. At this moment, its small flabby hands had gained a golden dragon symbol. A destructive force, which caused one's skin to turn numb, rippled and spread from the symbol. Iwa. Little Yi's bright large eyes furiously gored at Xiao Yan. His mouth emitted a tender cry. He was a little upset that Xiao Yan had actually sealed such a dangerous thing within his body. It should be known that the strength of the nine mysterious golden lightning was something that even the purifying demonic lotus flame had difficulty refining. Additionally, this strength was arrogant and untamable. It would explode if one were careless. 
At that time, one would really end up suffering. He he, relax, everything is fine. Xiao Yan laughed. He rubbed Little Yi's head and comforted him. After which, he examined the golden dragon symbol with an expression of contemplation. Even though he knew that the symbol contained an extremely vast and mighty energy, he felt as though he did not know what to do with it. The energy within it was filled with an extremely rich extermination force. Even an elite seven-star Dosheng would not dare to absorb it. Even less needed to be said for him. It is extremely difficult to refine this thing even by relying on Little Yi's purifying demonic lotus flame. It seems that I can only temporarily place it in Little Yi's body and use the demonic flame to constantly refine it. I do not believe that I cannot do anything to it. Xiao Yan made up his mind after musing for a moment. He quickly swung his hand and returned Little Yi to his body. Temporarily keeping this thing might not be a bad decision. It would help out if he were to suddenly find himself in a lot of trouble. I have been away for so long. I should return to the Dragon Island first. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind. The green red bone wings on his back spread. His wings were flapped and his body rushed into the horizon of the nothingness like a falling star with lightning-like speed. By the time Xiao Yan had returned to the Dragon Island, the completely new island had caused him to feel a little shocked and startled. Numerous mountains stood on the vast island. Occasionally, some enormous ancient void dragons would fly next to the lingering clouds. Deep dragon roars continuously reverberated around the Dragon Island. The current Dragon Island was the combination of the four great Dragon Islands. Not only was it huge, it was also the first time that such a large number of tribe members had gathered together within the last few thousand years. These tribe members had been segregated to the four islands in the past and seldom had the opportunity to appear in the same place. Xiao Yan's figure was suspended high in the air. His spiritual perception swept across the island and a brow was involuntarily lifted. From his senses, there were nearly ten elite doshengs on the Dragon Islands, not any weaker than the Sky Mansion Alliance. It is indeed worthy of being the ancient Void Dragon tribe. Even though it has yet to recover its peak strength, it still cannot be underestimated by others. It seems that the claim that the ancient Dragon tribe could contend against an ancient clan like the Gu clan or the Han clan at its peak was not empty words. Xiao Yan praised and nodded. The four great Dragon Islands had many experts to begin with. Although many had died undergoing the Great Unification, there were not many losses in terms of the peak Doshen. Now that the four great Dragon Islands had reunited, all of these experts naturally submitted to Ziyan. This lineup was naturally quite impressive. By just relying on this lineup, it was likely that no one could challenge the ancient Void Dragon's position in the magical beast world. Even the current Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe would have some difficulty challenging them. Xiao Yan naturally felt a great joy in his heart since the ancient Void Dragon tribe was able to retain such strength. Given his relationship with Zi Yan, the relationship between the Sky Mansion Alliance and the Ancient Void Dragon Tribe would also be quite tight. With the secret aid of the Ancient Void Dragon Tribe, the position of the Sky Mansion Alliance would become extremely steady and unshakable. The guards in the air above the Dragon Island patrolled the sky more frequently than before. Section after section of ancient dragon guards flapped the dragon wings on their backs, overlapping as they patrolled the island. Xiao Yan, who was floating in the sky and feeling amazed at the change of the Dragon Island, was also detected by them. Immediately, a dozen-plus figures swiftly flew toward him, but the caution on their faces quickly became respectful after discovering Xiao Yan's identity. They bowed to Xiao Yan from some distance away before withdrawing. Their respectful actions caused Xiao Yan to smile. His body moved and rushed down to the Dragon Island. Within a couple of flashes, he had appeared in a quiet courtyard. Xiao Yan The human figure that had suddenly appeared startled Kai Lin and Zi Yan in the courtyard. They quickly recovered and cried out in pleasant surprise. Within less than two months, the Dragon Island has actually experienced such a drastic change. It seems that you, the Dragon Emperor, have some skill. Xiao Yan looked at Zi Yan and laughed. Chi, you have been missing for nearly two months. If you had still not come back, we would have ended up dispatching people to the lightning pool in the empty realm to look for you. Zi Yan curled her mouth. She did not display the prestige of the Dragon Emperor in front of Xiao Yan. Her tone was no different than a little girl. Your strength has increased again. Kai Lin by the side was extremely perceptive. She sensed Xiao Yan's change the moment he appeared, causing her to cry out in surprise. Advanced 5-star Dosheng, I had a lucky encounter within the lightning pool in the empty realm. Xiao Yan smiled but did not explain the encounter in detail. There was a countless number of black demon lightning beings deep within the lightning pool. An ordinary 4 or 5-star Dosheng would not be able to easily charge into it. He did not wish the ancient dragon tribe members to meet a mishap in the place if news of his growth spread. Moreover, the 9 mysterious golden lightning was still there. Although its strength had diminished, it was only a matter of time before it would recover its strength given its mysteriousness. A nine mysterious golden lightning with intelligence and a strength at the seventh star of the Doshin class was something Xiao Yan would have to flee from as quick as possible. Kai Lin and Zi Yan could only bitterly laugh after Xiao Yan confirmed that his strength had increased. Within less than two months, Xiao Yan had leaped from the initial stage of the fifth star of the Doshin class to the advanced level of the fifth star of the Doshin class. This speed was a little too terrifying. Xiao Yan naturally understood their thoughts, but he did not explain anything to them. 
He had been lucky enough to met such a large number of black demon lightning beings and had been able to rely on Little Yi's fire spirit body as a medium to refine and absorb the energy within them, enabling him to significantly strengthen. In other words, this was an opportunity that had been formed from his accumulated luck. Currently, the ancient void dragon is proceeding on the right track. I think that there is nothing for me to do. Hence, I think that it is time for us to return to the Alliance. Xiao Yan glanced at Ziyan and informed her of his thoughts. Are you leaving? Ziyan frowned upon hearing his words. She nodded a little unwilling and said, it's just as well. The Sky Mansion Alliance has just defeated the Hall of Souls and is in the limelight. It is true that you cannot stay away for long. Additionally, the matter of the tribe joining the Alliance has more or less been settled. You should inform the upper echelons of the Alliance when you return this time around. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after hearing these words. He stared at Zi Yan and said, the ancient dragon tribe has just completed its unification. You should be recuperating during this period of time. There is no need for you to get involved in the mess that is the Central Plains. Xiao Yan clearly understood that forming an alliance with the ancient void dragon tribe would be a good thing for the Sky Mansion Alliance. However, if he thought about the alliance from Zi Yan's perspective, this was not a good decision. The internal conflict within the ancient void dragon tribe had just been resolved. If they chose to recuperate, they would be able to recover much faster. The Sky Mansion Alliance possessed many enemies, including an ultimate faction like the Han clan. Choosing to form an alliance with the Sky Mansion at this moment would undoubtedly drag the tribe into various messes. The Ancient Void Dragon Tribe will always repay all favors. You have saved our Ancient Dragon Tribe from danger twice. Every member of the tribe will never forget your favors. Regardless of what kind of trouble you get into, the Ancient Void Dragon Tribe will always be your friend. Zi Yan's pretty eyes looked up to Xiao Yan. The words that came out of her mouth caused Xiao Yan to feel a little stunned and speechless. He he, this was what the elders said. I was merely borrowing their words. The grave expression on Zi Yan's face remained for a moment before it was broken by her saucy smile. Xiao Yan only bitterly laughed after seeing her smile. This girl. Relax, this is a decision the entire tribe has made. Even though I am the Dragon Emperor, I cannot block their decision. This is a reward the ancient Void Dragon tribe will give to you as a friend. Zi Yan continued to sweetly smile. Xiao Yan could only nod his head since Zi Yan had put it this way. Saying anything more would be putting up an act. At this moment, the Sky Mansion Alliance did indeed need such a powerful ally. Help me thank the various elders. I will definitely return to the Dragon Island in the future if I have the time. Xiao Yan waved his sleeve and a spatial crack appeared beside his body. You can send someone to the Dragon Island if there is anything you need. The ancient dragon tribe will do its best to help you. Zi Yan slightly smiled as she replied. Xiao Yan loudly laughed and nodded. Without adding anything, he stepped forward into the crack. Kai Lin's delicate figure flashed behind him and followed. The spatial crack slowly disappeared after she entered it, leaving behind Zi Yan, who was staring at the disappeared crack at a loss. Chapter 1559, Calm Xiao Yan felt a different emotion once he returned to the Sky Mansion Alliance. During the few months Xiao Yan had been away, the reputation of the Alliance had continued to rise. The Alliance had remained humble and patient even after defeating the Hall of Souls, causing many factions to quietly nod in approval. Whether a faction was powerful not only depended on the strength they rebelled against in adversity, it also depended on if they would erode because of success. Fortunately, the Alliance had endured their success. Hence, no one doubted their great strength. There had been no news relating to the Hall of Souls during these past few months. The intense friction from the past had suddenly dwindled, as though the faction that had once stood as the overlord of the Central Plains intended to fade away from the everyone's sight. The upper echelons of the Alliance remained extremely cautious of the Hall of Souls even though the faction remained quiet. After having exchanged blows with the Hall of Souls for so many years, the upper echelons of the Alliance were well aware of their nature. Hence, no one believed that this mysterious faction would give up so easily after suffering such a loss. However, the thing that caused them to feel some doubt was that they were unable to obtain any useful information despite sending out large numbers of spies to observe the actions of the Hall of Souls. Thus, the Alliance became more cautious while feeling doubtful. The silence from the Hall of Souls vaguely caused them to feel the pressure of a brewing storm. The little fairy doctor and Qing Lin, who had originally followed Xiao Yan to the Beast region, had also returned by the time Xiao Yan had came back to the Alliance. From what the two ladies knew, he learned that the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe had withdrawn after he left that day. After which, the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe decided to form an alliance with the Sky Mansion after a month of discussion. The Sky Mansion Alliance had gladly agreed to this suggestion after another discussion. Although the strength of the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe could not compare with the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe, it was still one of the three large tribes of the Magical Beast world. Additionally, their numbers far exceeded the people from the tribes like the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. This kind of powerful ally was what the current alliance needed the most. The alliance between both parties had undoubtedly stirred quite a commotion across the Central Plains and the Beast region. Some of the other tribes within the Magical Beast world, which had gained some ill thoughts toward the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe, had no choice but to suppress their intentions after the alliance was formed. They had heard about the strength of the Sky Mansion Alliance. The only tribe within the Beast region that could compare with the alliance was likely the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. 
If the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe possessed such an ally, its position would become unmovable. At that time, even the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe would likely not dare to launch a campaign and attack like it had last time. The Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe benefited from the Alliance while the Alliance's strength once again increased. It was the first time that a faction within the Central Plains had been able to pull one of the three great magical beast tribes into an alliance. The reach of the Sky Mansion Alliance had extended to the magical beasts within the beast region. After returning to the Alliance, Xiaoyan had also mentioned to a small number of top individuals that the Ancient Void Dragon Tribe had agreed to an alliance, causing every expert to rejoice. The Ancient Void Dragon Tribe was still a relatively mysterious and powerful existence even in the eyes of many people within the Central Plains. The might of the Ancient Void Dragon at its peak was still etched deep within some people's memories. This alliance was indeed shocking news to the Sky Mansion. This alliance, which would help the Sky Mansion, did not require much of a discussion. It was almost agreed to on the spot. However, this shocking news was ultimately not announced. Keeping such a powerful ally hidden would allow the Sky Mansion Alliance to surprise others. Moreover, this would also allow them to provide the Ancient Void Dragon Tribe some time to recuperate. Without the provocation of the Hall of Souls, Xiao Yan's life had once again become unusually free after he had returned to the Alliance. Kai Lin had been in a retreat for many years. Now that she had returned to Xiao Xiao, both mother and daughter remained sweetly pressed together. Xiao Yan felt helpless upon seeing them. He was also unable to interfere in the matters of the Alliance. Hence, his days were quite relaxed. During these free days, he spent all of his attention on training and on the nine mysterious golden lightning energy within Little Yi's body. Xiao Yan coveted this strength, but he did not dare to easily absorb it. Hence, he studied this thing day and night during this period of time, but the nine mysterious golden lightning did not become any gentler despite tirelessly studying it. Instead, it gradually agglomerated into a fist-sized golden lightning bead as Little Yi refined it with the purifying demonic lotus flame. This golden lightning bead floated above Little Yi's right hand after it was formed. Regardless of what method Xiao Yan or Little Yi used, they were unable to refine it. Using the purifying demon lotus flame to fiercely burn it basically did nothing. Xiao Yan felt extremely helpless in the face of such a situation. All he could do was give up on such thoughts before allowing the golden lightning bead to return to Little Yi's arm. After Xiao Yan had failed to resolve the issue of the golden lightning bead, he had ended up with even more free time. During this period, he had accepted a mission from Yao Lao and led a section of experts from the Alliance to reaffirm the locations of the Hall of Souls branch halls that had been found. However, during the month of searching, he had discovered that these branch halls had become empty. The souls and all the soul essence that had been inside was no longer there. The Hall of Souls had probably expected the Alliance to act like this and had decisively abandoned all the branch halls that had been, been discovered. Xiao Yan could not do anything more with this situation. After having experienced the matter of the Man Hall being destroyed back then, it seemed like the Hall of Souls had become wiser. After a series of pointless searches, Xiao Yan destroyed these branch halls before returning with everyone empty-handed. However, Yao Lao faintly smiled because of this result. He was not overly surprised. Based on the information we have obtained, the Hall of Souls has given up any branch halls that we have discovered. The things inside have also been removed. However, the thing that confuses me is why the Hall of Souls has clearly withdrawn even if they are just worried about the Alliance destroying these branch hall. Within a stone pavilion in the Star Realm, Yao Lao looked at Xiao Yan, who had just lead a group back, and slowly explained his reasoning. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. Some of the branch halls were extremely small. It was impossible to arouse one's interest in campaign to destroy it, but even these small branch halls had been cleared until only dust remained. They had been cleared a little too much. I have already sent someone to the beast region to request the nine serene deep ground python tribes help in investigating this matter. They are large in numbers and will have a much easier time investigating things compared to us. There must be a hidden motive for the Hall of Souls. Yao Lao informed Xiao Yan in a deep voice. There is definitely a reason for anything abnormal. This Hall of Souls. I wonder just what they are planning to do. Xiao Yan frowned. He could vaguely sense that the motive of the Hall of Souls this time around was quite important. It is pointless to engage in random guesswork. We should wait for the final results of the investigation. Yao Lao shook his head. The feeling of only being able to wait was indeed terrible. Xiao Yan nodded. He suddenly glanced at Yao Lao as he softly inquired, Teacher, the medicinal ceremony of the Yao clan is about to begin, right? Yao Lao's hand, which had just lifted a teacup, suddenly trembled upon hearing these words. He was quiet for a moment before nodding. In one month. Yao Lao's expression became complicated after his he replied. He had never returned after he had left the clan back then. Now, he needed to return again. Before both his parents had died, he had promised to train with great effort and carve both of their names onto the clan tablet. The clan tablet was for meritorious service within the Yao clan. Only those within the clan who possessed great achievements could leave their names on it. All the members of the Yao clan viewed this as their life's goal. This was no different for Yao Lao back then. Yao Lao had been roaming the continent alone for many years. Although he had obtained some achievements, he understood that it would not be easy for him to fulfill the promise he made to both of his parents after returning to the Yao clan. Some of those fellows within the Yao clan would definitely do their best to stop him. Yao Lao's hands, which were holding the teacup, slowly clenched after thinking about them stopping him. 
Xiao Yan smiled when he saw Yao Lao's complicated expression. He said, Teacher, you can do as you like with the clan tablet. Leave everything else to this disciple. Xiao Yan's voice slowly became calm, but it contained an intense confidence and in his determination. When he had been a youth back then, Yao Lao had spread his wings to carefully protect the baby eagle like youth. The tender eagle had gradually grown during on its journey and had had soared to the sky. Beneath this tender eagle's wings, no one would be able to hurt his teacher, who was in his twilight years. Yao Lao's eyes felt moist as he looked at the smiling young man. The pleased expression on his face became even denser. He widened his mouth before finally sighing a soft, helpless sigh, you stubborn little fellow. Xiao Yan smiled. He lifted his head and looked at the southern sky. The Yao clan was rumored to have the best alchemist within the continent. He really wanted to personally experience. Chapter 1560, Yao Clan Medicinal Ceremony One month swiftly flowed by in a quiet fashion. This one month was as calm as one could imagine. Even with the nine serene deep ground python tribe helping to investigate the Hall of Souls, the results had not been extremely happy. The Hall of Souls seemed to have decreased the size of its faction this time around. Even though the spies from the nine serene deep ground python tribe were able to find some Hall of Souls branch halls, they were unable to venture any deeper because of the defenses that had been tightened over ten times. The Sky Mansion Alliance felt somewhat pressured because of this situation, but it was impossible for them to gather their strength to destroy all the branch halls. Everyone knew that this war would eventually end with one party being eliminated from the Central Plains. This party could be the Hall of Souls or it could be the Sky Mansion Alliance. Neither party dared to make this gamble. Hence, everyone could only just watch and wait at this moment. The day the medicinal ceremony of the Yao clan would be held slowly arrived under the buildup of this quiet pressure. The main mountain in the Star Realm. It is fine if only Xiao Yan and I to head to the Yao clan this time around. The Alliance must pay attention to the Hall of Souls at all times. Everyone should carefully guard the Alliance land in order to handle any unexpected changes. Clouds drifted above the main mountain while Yao Lao looked over the upper echelons from the Alliance and laughed. Although they were a little worried about Xiao Yan and Yao Lao heading to the Yao clan alone, Feng Zunjia and the others could only nod their heads after Yao Lao insisted. Take good care of the Alliance. Xiao Yan looked at Kai Lin, who was holding Xiao Xiao, as he spoke. I. Kai Lin slightly nodded. With her current strength, other than Xiao Chen and the ancestor from the Pill Tower, no one in the Alliance surpassed her. Xiao Yan felt more assured with her remaining with the Alliance. Haha, all right. Everyone, there is no need to send us off any further. Yao Lao slowly rose into the sky as he laughed to everyone. Subsequently, he turned around and hurried out of the Star Realm. Xiao Yan's body flashed behind him and quickly followed. The Yao clan was situated in the Xinglong mountain range, which were nestled in the far south of the Central Plains. From a certain point of view, that area could be considered outside of the Central Plains. Hence, it appeared extremely far. However, the height of a mountain was unimportant. The main factor was who lived there. This was also the case for this mountain range. Although the Xinglong mountain range was considered a wild region since it was filled with poisonous insects and ferocious beasts that were rare to the Central Plains, this area was still quite lively because of the Yao clan. Moreover, this mountain range was filled with many rare medicinal ingredients. Plenty of alchemists would travel this great distance to find the medicinal ingredients they needed to refine a pill in this mountain range. Hence, this Xinglong mountain range was quite lively. The medicinal ceremony was the most important event of the Yao clan. It was not held on a fixed day. It would change depending on how various events developed. In summary, this medicinal ceremony was somewhat similar to the pill gathering of the pill tower. From a certain point of view, it could be considered a gathering of peak alchemists on the continent. Only this gathering would reveal who the top-ranked alchemists were on this continent. Other than the members of the Yao clan, those who could join the medicinal ceremony were alchemist gurus from the Central Plains, who boasted great reputations and skills as alchemists. However, usually very few individuals were invited. After all, the alchemists who could catch the eye of the Yao clan were existences as rare as a phoenix feather or a unicorn horn. Nevertheless, this did not hinder the medicinal ceremony from being grand. The sole reason for this grandness was to name the top alchemist on the continent. The Star Realm was extremely far from the Xinglong mountain range where the Yao clan was located, but the long journey only took half a day for Xiao Yan and Yao Lao. Hence, the fog-covered Xinglong mountain range appeared in front of their eyes around evening. What a dense natural energy. This Yao clan has really found a good spot. Even Xiao Yan involuntarily praised the Xinglong mountain range after arriving here for the first time. The clouds churning in the air above the mountain range were not ordinary. They had been formed from natural energy. One would train faster if one trained in this place. This mountain range was nurtured by an ancestor from the Yao clan for a couple of centuries in order to facilitate this fertility. Yao Lao's eyes scanned this familiar yet foreign mountain range with a complicated expression. This was the first time he had returned ever since he left back then. He softly sighed and slowly began to descend. Finally, he landed near a deep stream in the deepest part of the mountain range. There was a few thousand foot tall stone archway quietly standing on the opposite side of the stream. An ancient aura spread from the archway. The middle of the archway was a distorted space. This was the entrance to the Yao clan's realm. 
There was a continuous stream of people flying down from the sky or from deep in the mountains. These people would land outside of the huge stone archway. They would then take out a jade token and hand it to some guards who were wearing the robes of the Yao clan before being allowed in. Let's go. This medicinal ceremony is the Yao clan's greatest event. Some of the nearby fractions that rely on the Yao clan are allowed to enter and observe it. This period of time is very lively for the Yao clan. Yao Lao's eyes swept over those figures entering the spatial door before speaking. I. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His body flashed and appeared outside the archway. A couple of figures stood there like statues. Their sharp eyes shot over as they cried out. This is an important area of the Yao clan. You are not allowed to trespass. Who are you? The eyes of these few people were extremely sharp. They managed to identify that Xiao Yan did not belong to a nearby factions from just glance because even the chiefs of the factions that came would present a humble expression. However, this person's calm appearance in front of them did not display any respect or fear for the Yao clan. Those human figures coming and going around the deep stream halted. Their eyes were curious as they looked at Xiao Yan and Yao Lao. Sky Mansion Alliance, my teacher, Yao Chen, has been invited to participate in the medicinal ceremony. Xiao Yan glanced at the few of them. His foot gently stepped forward as a monstrous aura suddenly erupted from him. It forced those few individuals back. Those people from the various neighboring factions immediately inhaled a cold breath. Only those chiefs with greater experience revealed an expression of understanding. Private conversations immediately began to spread. It is actually Yao Chen from the Sky Mansion Alliance. Does that not mean that this person is Xiao Yan, who defeated the chief of the Hall of Souls? It is unexpected that even he has come. It is rumored that Xiao Yan is the champion of the Pill Tower's Pill Gathering. He possesses an extremely high attainment in terms of alchemist skills. He, in terms of Dou Qi in combat, it is likely that he is very strong. However, if he wants to compare alchemist skills at the door of the Yao clan, he is really asking to suffer. That is difficult to say, difficult to say. The expressions of those few guards changed slightly after hearing the surrounding soft voices. Xiao Yan's name was extremely well known even among these ancient clans. The declined Xiao clan still managed to produce such an outstanding individual. This was a miracle. Xiao Yan glanced at all of them but didn't feel like finding fault with them. He randomly threw a jade token over. A guard received it and studied it for a moment before sighing in relief. A light pillar shot out and struck the large door. A spatial fluctuation appeared, giving it a distorted feeling. Misters, please, there will be someone to lead the both of you into the clan once you enter. This time around, these guards appeared a lot more respectful. Strength was always honored in this world. Xiao Yan's strength was comparable to the Grand Elders within their Yao clan. They did not dare to offend him. Xiao Yan nodded. He turned around and glanced at Yao Lao behind him. Yao Lao inhaled a deep breath of air and slowly nodded to him. After which, the both of them moved and rushed into the distorted space at the same time. Their vision became slightly dazzled after they entered the spatial fluctuation. The mountain range in front of them turned into lush green plains. There were many huge bird beasts with wings that were thousands of feet in size resting on the green ground. Misters, please come this way. Xiao Yan and Yao Lao had just landed when a member of the Yao clan wearing armor swiftly walked over. He lead them onto a huge bird. At this moment, there was already a couple hundred figures standing on it. It was extremely lively on the bird. Xiao Yan, who had experienced a similar process in the Gu clan, was familiar with such a situation. He did not chat with anyone. Instead, he and Yao Lao headed to a spot with fewer people and quietly studied the huge planes. The huge bird flapped its large wings after the two of them boarded. Finally, it stirred a wild wind as it whistled up into the sky. It then swiftly flew toward the deeper parts of the Yao clan's realm. This flight continued for around half an hour. Only then did Xiao Yan sense the speed of the huge bird slow. His eyes looked into the distance and saw a cloud part. A towering mountain that penetrated the cloud appeared in his sight. It was vaguely possible to see clusters of large halls and buildings on the huge mountain. Countless smoke pillars slowly rose into the sky, filling the air with a rich pill fragrance. The large bird circled the large mountain before finally landing in a square. Xiao Yan and Yao Lao slowly descended. Yao Lao looked at the familiar surrounding and became a little absent-minded. Xiao Yan did not interrupt Yao Lao's absent-minded state. He quietly stood beside Yao Lao with both of his hands in front of him in his sleeves. His eyes narrowed, and he completely ignored the surrounding strange glances. The two figures standing in the square appeared exceptionally glaring in front of the people coming and going. Hence, after a couple of minutes, a somewhat familiar elderly laugh was slowly transmitted into Yao Lao's and Xiao Yan's ear. I was wondering who it is that doesn't know the rules. It is actually the two of you, however, Yao Chen, this elderly self is really a little surprised that someone like you, who was expelled from the clan, possesses the face to return. The footsteps of the surrounding individual slowed. They looked at the old man, who was slowly walking over with a cold smile. All of them wisely stepped back. Yao Wangui. Xiao Yan slowly relaxed both of his hands that had been inserted into his sleeve. He lifted his eyes and glanced at that somewhat familiar old man. His voice was calm as the corner of his mouth was lifted into an ice-cold arc. 
Chapter 1561, Fight The human crowd within the square spread like flowing water. Immediately, a group of figures wearing the robes of the Yao clan slowly walked over. Their gazes contained some surprise and disdain as they swept over Yao Lao's body. There was a somewhat shady-looking old man with blade-like lips in the leader's position. This person was the person in charge of meeting out punishments within the Yao clan. Xiao Yan had met him outside the demonic flame realm back then. He was also an elder of the Yao clan, whom Yao Lao had a deep grudge against, Yao Wangui. Yao Chen. Chi, isn't he that useless person who was expelled from our Yao clan? He is already a bunch of old bones, yet he doesn't know how to quietly wait for his end. He must have come to our Yao clan to be humiliated. That's right. Haha, <laughs> elder, given your status, what is there to talk about with this abandoned person? Those human figures clustered around Yao Wangui understood that he really disliked the duo in front of him after hearing his condescending words. Many flattering and bootlicking voices appeared one after another. Yao Wangui's position within the Yao clan was extremely high. If one were to gain his recognition, one's position within the clan would soar. Hence, this Yao Wangui had never lacked such people beside him. Yao Wangui enjoyed when many people praised him. Hence, regardless of where he went within the clan, there was a large group of people following behind him, flattering him. Although these people might not even recognize the people they ridiculed at times, they were very good at recognizing Yao Wangui's expression. As long as he showed an unfriendly expression, they would not show any mercy in criticizing the other party. After all, would anyone really dare to touch them within the Yao clan? While these people were merciless with their words, the eyes they used to look at the duo in front of them also became harsher, as though acting like this would allow them to be recognized by Yao Wangui. Those not from the Yao clan present in the square quietly shook their heads. These ancient clans had sealed themselves away and usually viewed everything that happened within the central plains with disdain. However, those from the central plains were clearly aware of the reputation and status that Yao Chen currently held within the central plains. The Sky Mansion Alliance's Chief the Sky Mansion Alliance was a powerful faction that could even force a strong faction like the Hall of Souls to withdraw from its position as Overlord. It was also a faction that was without a doubt the current Overlord of the Central Plains. Although the Yao Clan was powerful, those who were aware of the situation understood that even the Yao Clan did not possess the qualification to look down on the Sky Mansion Alliance. Moreover, no one would forget the most extraordinary aspect Yao Chen, who was already extremely old, was not his achievements nor was it the current Sky Mansion Alliance. Instead, it was his disciple. His disciple had become the champion of the Pill Towers Pill Gathering a couple of years ago, making a name for himself in the Central Plains at that time. After establishing a name for himself, he had continued to rely on his own strength to merge with the Pill Tower, the Flower Sect, and the Burning Flame Valley to establish the current Sky Mansion Alliance with its powerful lineup. Its might was comparable to the Overlord of the Central Plains, the Hall of Souls. During the many subsequent years of fighting, the Alliance had become even stronger and had even become a powerful existence within the Central Plains. In the Fallen Mountain battle half a year ago, he had even fought the Chief of the Hall of Souls alone and won. Since then, the position of Overlord in the Central Plains had shifted. Just listening to the many achievements was enough to cause one's blood to boil. If a man born in this world was able to achieve these, he could be considered a man among men. The name of that disciple was Xiao Yan. The chiefs or grand elders from the various factions within the Central Plains in the square exchanged glances with each other. After which, they withdrew some distance with a complicated expression in their eyes. They did not open their mouths to help Yao Wangui just because this was the home of the Yao clan. This old fellow Yao Wangui is really asking to suffer. Some people, who noticed the cold arc on Xiao Yan's face after his teacher was harshly mocked, involuntarily thought and gloated to themselves. Teacher, leave everything to me. All you need to do is place the names of your parents on the clan tablet when the time comes. The smile on Xiao Yan's face was a little dense as he turned his head and softly laughed. Yao Lao did not reply. However, his slightly trembling beard revealed the waves within his heart. What arrogant words. Yao Wangui, who still had a smile on his face because of the flattering voices around him, formed a chilly expression in his eyes. He coldly laughed, an abandoned person does not possess the right to leave his name on the clan tablet. Yao Chen, you should stop dreaming. Elder is right. Allowing you to participate in the medicinal ceremony is already the greatest kindness of our clan. Yao Chen, you should know your limits and not demand for more. Do you think the clan tablet is something that an abandoned person like you can leave his name on? Chi, Elder Wang Gui, why don't you head to the Elder Council and ask them to expel these two and prevent them from dirtying your eyes? Those people by the side joyously praised when they saw Yao Wang Gui about to burst out in fury. Have all of you said enough? Xiao Yan continued to smile as he looked at the members of the Yao clan, whose mouths were filled with evil words. He softly demanded an answer. You should be a little wiser to the situation. A skinny man standing near Yao Wangui glanced at Xiao Yan. However, before he could finish speaking, he suddenly sensed a strong force coming down from above his head. After which, his body suddenly fell. His head was ruthlessly smashed into the ground. The ground split apart as fresh blood shot out of him. This sudden unexpected change caused everyone to feel startled. By the time they had recovered, they could only see a leg stepping on that fellow's head. They shifted their eyes and the smiling face of a young man appeared in their sights. What swift speed! 
The hearts of many in the square trembled slightly. They did not even manage to see Xiao Yan attack. That person had not even said all that he had wanted to say before his head was buried in the floor. Xiao Yan, you are really bold. This is my Yao clan. Yao Wangui was also startled by this change. His expressions had swiftly become dark and solemn as he cried out in a sharp voice. Bam. His cry had yet to cease when another person, who had spoken viciously earlier, rolled through the air. After which, a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out with some shattered teeth. Only after he landed on the ground did everyone see a heart-chilling blood-red handprint on his face. The crowd around Yao Wangui finally revealed shocked expressions in their eyes upon seeing the miserable fate of those two. They hurried to lean closer to Yao Wangui, but before they could shift a foot, many afterimages suddenly flashed in front of them. A continuous stream of slapping sounds echoed away at the same time. Soon after, the bodies of everyone in that group except Yao Wangui flew back. The fresh blood and teeth that covered the ground caused one to swallow one's saliva. In the blink of an eye, the ground was covered with fresh blood. Those individuals who had fearlessly humiliated Yao Lao earlier, were all hugging their faces and rolling around like dead dogs. Sharp screeches were emitted. Xiao Yan. Yao Wangui's face turned gloomy. His eyes also became completely red. Xiao Yan's actions were not only teaching a lesson to these young fellows, it was also giving him a slap in front of a countless number of people. This was the first time that he had encountered such a humiliation in so many years. Good, good, what an arrogant little bastard. Do you think that you are qualified to challenge my Yao clan just because there is the so-called Sky Mansion Alliance behind you? You had yet to even appear when this elderly self dominated the continent. Yao Wangui furious low roar reverberated over the square. Yao clan guards, capture this arrogant person. Yao Wangui suddenly pointed at Xiao Yan and sternly cried out. Understood. Some human figures immediately appeared after Yao Wangui's cry sounded. Dozens of figures in black metal armor and holding long spears surrounded Xiao Yan. A low cry sounded and they attacked together. Sharp Dou Qi whistled toward the fatal spots around Xiao Yan's body. Bang. Spear shadows flashed, but before they could approach Xiao Yan, an extremely terrifying fire wave surged out of Xiao Yan's body. Wherever the wave spread, it shifted under the long spear covered in a powerful Dou Qi. Those dozen plus figures flew back after having suffered a serious blow. The black armor on their bodies turned into ashes, revealing many startled faces. What a powerful aura. Did this fellow really rely on his own strength to defeat Han Miesheng? Yao Wangui's eyes suddenly shrank after he detected this frightening fire wave. He immediately felt some disbelief. When he had met Xiao Yan back then, Xiao Yan had only been a two-star Doucheng. How was it possible for Xiao Yan to improve so quickly within a short few years? This elderly self shall see just what right you have to act atrociously in my Yao clan. Although Yao Wangui felt shocked in his heart, he was also considered one of the top experts within the Yao clan. He was extremely furious because of Xiao Yan's arrogant actions. He stepped forward. The powerful aura of a four-star Doshing erupted without restraint. Those surrounding individuals were forced back a couple dozen meters. Even the chiefs and grand elders of some of factions displayed grave expressions. Although this Yao Wangui possessed very little magnanimity, there was no need to dispute his strength. Xiao Yan glanced at Yao Wangui, who had unleashed his strength to the limit. Not only did he not appear solemn, he also slowly shook his head. He lifted his foot and gradually walked toward the Yao Wangui. While he stepped forward, an aura that was ten times more frightening than Yao Wangui's aura erupted in all directions. It caused the expressions of many to immediately change. Back then, I told you that your life is mine. Chapter 1562, Aggressiveness Five Star Doshen The frightening aura that suddenly swept across the square quickly resulted in shocked expressions surging into the eyes of many experts. There was vaguely an additional hint of fear and respect when they looked at the young figure. Such strength could be considered a peak existence even in an ancient clan like the Yao clan. Xiao Yan from the Sky Mansion really lives up to his reputation. The in individuals from the various factions exchanged glances with each other. They could see grave expressions and exclamations in each other's eyes. No wonder the Sky Mansion Alliance had developed a tighter bond during these years. With a core individual like Xiao Yan as their main support, this alliance would not be as weak as those other temporary alliances. Yao Wangui's expression became extremely ugly as Xiao Yan's aura erupted. He did not expect that Xiao Yan to have not only caught up to him within these short years, he had even tossed him far behind. A five-star Dosheng, Yao Wangui was no match for an opponent of this level. Yao Wangui's expression was extremely gloomy. The aura that surrounded his body, appeared just like a mountain as it pressed down on him, causing him to feel a great pressure. He did not doubt that if he fought with Xiao Yan, he would be defeated within ten exchanges. Swoosh swoosh. The eruption of the aura belonging to a five-star Doshing stirred many Yao clan experts on this huge mountain. The rushing sound of wind continued to appear in the air above the square. They looked at the ground below, which was covered in fresh blood, and were initially startled. Their faces were quickly filled with fury. Regardless of what happened, these people were all members of the Yao clan, yet they had been beaten into this state in front of their doorstep. It was clear that the Yao clan was not given any face. Elder Wangui. 
What has happened? Many pairs of eyes turned shifted to Yao Wangwei while feeling furious. Elders, you are all just in time. This Xiao Yan is extremely arrogant. He actually dares to launch ruthless attacks on the members of our clan within our territory. Quickly capture him. Otherwise, our Yao clan will really lose face in front of so many guests. Yao Wangwei rejoiced and hurriedly cried out upon seeing the figures in the sky. Xiao Yan. That Xiao Yan from the Xiao clan. The elders from the Yao clan in the sky exclaimed a question upon hearing Yao Wangwei's voice. They were familiar with Xiao Yan's name. Their eyes glanced at Xiao Yan. The surprise in their eyes became more intense when they saw that the terrifying aura originated from him. Xiao Yan, the relationship between the Xiao clan and the Yao clan could be considered good back then. Your actions today are a little overboard. A yellow-robed elder in the sky spoke with a somewhat gloomy expression. If you respect others, others will respect you. If you humiliate others, others will humiliate you. Xiao Yan faintly laughed. His expression did not alter because of the many Yao clan's elders floating in the sky. His eyes were merely locked onto Yao Wangui. The icy cold smile formed on the corner of his mouth became even denser. Yao Wangui, there are certain words you cannot randomly utter at times. Xiao Yan, what do are you planning on doing? Yao Wangui's expression became cold upon seeing this smile. He sternly cried out. His eyes were also extremely sharp. Although Xiao Yan was ruthless when he had attacked those from the clan earlier, he had ensured that they were left alive. Hence, his heart thought that Xiao Yan was a little afraid of the Yao clan. Now that so many helpers had appeared, he had naturally become confident. Apologize to my teacher. Xiao Yan grinned and demanded an apology. Yao Wangui narrowed his eyes as he let out a dense smile. His status was many times greater than Yao Chen's status. How was it possible for him to apologize in front of so many people? Xiao Yan, Elder Wangui might share some blame in this matter, but you have already hurt so many people. You have likely vented your anger. Why don't each of you take a step back? An elder of the Yao clan frowned. He was clearly aware of Yao Wangui's character. Asking him to apologize was an extremely difficult request. Xiao Yan slowly shook his head. The members of the Yao clan were all extremely proud individuals. Those from the Gu clan were considered well-bred compared to them. Xiao Yan did not like this kind of ridicule and provocation. Since he wished to eliminate such ridicule, the only solution was to frighten those fellows into keeping their mouths shut. One could only use the most brutal method when facing such wretched individuals. It was to beat them up until they kept their mouths shut. If you are unwilling, I shall have no choice but to act. Xiao Yan's soft voice caused the faces of Yao Wangui and those elders in the sky to change. Before they could speak, Xiao Yan's body had turned into a ray of light that shot toward Yao Wangui. Xiao Yan, stop this violence. Those many elders from the Yao clan immediately cried out in union upon hearing his words. Before they could intervene, pink light suddenly shot out of Xiao Yan's body. Finally, it turned into a fire baby that floated in the sky. The fire baby widened its mouth. A terrifying pink flame spread. The annihilation force contained within it caused those elders to withdraw with shocked faces. There was no lack of extremely experienced individuals among these elders. Many exclamations quickly sounded. Purifying Demonic Lotus Flame While those elders in the sky were being blocked by Little E, Xiao Yan's figure appeared in front of Yao Wangui in a ghost-like fashion. After which, his finger shot toward Yao Wangui. Xiao Yan, stop! The cry of an elderly figure suddenly appeared around the square while Xiao Yan was attacking Yao Wangui. Everyone was surprised to see a large cluster of fire clouds erupt from the top of the mountain. An old red-haired man was partially visible as he rushed over. It's Elder Wanhua. Waves of exclamations immediately reverberated around the square when everyone saw the red-haired old man. It was unexpected that even this person had been disturbed. A six-star Doshen. Xiao Yan frowned when the red-haired old man appeared. He glanced at Yao Wangui in front, whose face had revealed a wild joy and a dark ruthlessness. Xiao Yan's eyes once again turned icy cold. His attack did not weaken. A sharp wind rose from his finger as it ruthlessly pressed toward Yao Wangui. Little bastard, do you think that this elderly self is afraid of you? Yao Wangui became furious upon seeing that Xiao Yan continued to come toward him. Dou Qi whistled out of his body. His somewhat ancient and yellowish hand was accompanied by a strange wind as it furiously slammed toward Xiao Yan, withered glory palm. Xiao Yan lifted his eyes as Yao Wangui resisted. Both of his fingers were curled slightly. He then pressed them forward with lightning-like speed and heavily struck onto the old man's palm. Bang. The sharp wind on Yao Wangui's palm was swiftly eroded upon contact as a heart-piercing pain was transmitted from his palm. A bloody hole was formed while a frightening wind flipped his body. His feet staggered back a thousand feet. Two deep gullies appeared in the square. A mouthful of fresh blood was also miserably spat from Yao Wangui's mouth as his body stabilized. This elderly self will kill you. Yao Wangui's eyes turned blood red after he had been defeated in a single strike. A furious roar sounded. His feet immediately stomped on the ground as his body appeared in front of Xiao Yan with lightning-like speed. A large patch of white powder was scattered before it wrapped around Xiao Yan's body. Sizzle sizzle. 
A sizzling sound was emitted after the white powder that had landed on the ground. The tough stone floor was immediately turned into nothing. Clearly, this powder was an extremely potent poison. Bang. Before a ruthless expression could appear on Yao Wangui's face after he scattered the poisonous powder, a hand covered in a pink flame extended out of the poisonous powder. It reached toward Yao Wangui's neck with lightning-like speed. Xiao Yan. The red-haired old man, who was hurrying over, had a fury appear in his loud cry upon seeing the scene. He had not expected Xiao Yan to completely ignore even his words, so he clenched his hand. A fiery red Dou Qi rapidly gathered there. In the blink of an eye, this Dou Qi turned into a thousand-foot-large fire spear. He shook his arm and the huge spear ruthlessly shot towards Xiao Yan at an extremely shocking speed. Bang. Xiao Yan's foot stomped violently on the ground. A magma pillar a couple of thousand feet wide shot up and actually shattered the huge spear. However, the fiery-haired old man had managed to rush over while Xiao Yan was attacking. His body moved and appeared a short distance in front of Xiao Yan. The shock and fury within his eyes increased after seeing that Xiao Yan was reaching for Yao Wangui's throat with one hand. Without uttering a single word, his palm slammed toward Xiao Yan. His speed had caused the palm to not appear real as it rushed forward. A terrifying spatial fluctuation spread out as though it possessed a real form. Xiao Yan's expression was icy cold as he stared at Yao Wangui, who wanted to withdraw in panic. He glanced at the red-haired old man out of the corner of his eyes and let out a cold snort. With a flick of his finger, a black figure appeared beside him. After which, the black figure swung both of its hands and collided with the fiery-haired old man in front of everyone's eyes. Clang. The collision of their palms caused an invisible wind to erupt. The hard square was immediately covered with densely packed cracks. The air trembled and the two figures staggered two steps back. While the intense collision was occurring behind him, Xiao Yan's eyes were growing colder as he continued to stare at Yao Wangui. His hand was extended a little further and wrapped around Yao Wangui's throat. A huge force surged, causing Yao Wangui's expression to become pale and terrified. Everyone felt their hearts chill as they watched Yao Wangui struggle like a dead fish within Xiao Yan's hand. This fellow was really far too ferocious. Even the combined might of so many Yao clan elders was unable to slow him. Chapter 1563, Elder Wanhua Xiao Yan, this is the Yao clan. The red-haired old man furiously glared at Xiao Yan before he sharply cried out after seeing Yao Wangui struggling with all his strength in Xiao Yan's hand. This elder, I have no intention of causing trouble during my stay in the Yao clan. However, if anyone bullies my teacher and me, I will not simply accept it lying down either. Xiao Yan's eyes were icy cold as he stared at the shocked and horrified Yao Wangui in front of many people. His voice was low and deep as he spoke. Little E in the sky swiftly descended as Xiao Yan's voice sounded. After which, he stood on Xiao Yan's shoulder. The purifying demonic lotus flame surrounded him while a horrifying heat spread. It caused the faces of many to feel slightly startled. It was the first time they had ever seen such a mysterious heavenly flame. As little Li came rushing down, the somewhat strong black figure beside Xiao Yan shifted a step and coincidentally blocked the red-haired old man. The red-haired old man was extremely strong and was a genuine six-star doshen. Only the northern king could block him. Even the corner of Elder One was eyes twitched after seeing the lineup beside Xiao Yan, especially when his eyes scanned the cold and indifferent black body in front. A fear rose within his eyes. During the exchange earlier, he had discovered that even he was unable to obtain the upper hand. This Xiao Yan really lives up to his name. He already possesses such strength despite being so young. Moreover, there are so many powerful existences beside him. Such an outstanding talent has actually appeared in the declined Xiao clan. How envious. The fury on Elder One was face was slowly withdrawn. He studied Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's achievements did not lose to even old demons like them. Among the younger generation across the entire continent, it was likely that no one could beat him. Xiao Yan, today is an important day for my Yao clan. If Yao Wangui has offended you in any way, can you let him off on account of our Yao clan? The surrounding individuals were slightly startled after hearing Elder One was words suddenly become much gentler. They looked at Xiao Yan in a strange fashion. They had not expected an expert from the sixth star of the Doshin class to not be able to subdue Xiao Yan. Elder Wan Hua. The elders from the Yao clan revealed a different expression upon hearing Elder Wan Ho's words, causing them to involuntarily cry out. From the way they saw it, if Elder Wan Hua attacked, he would definitely be able to capture Xiao Yan. At that time, it would show these guests that no one was allowed to offend the prestige of the Yao clan. However, Shut your mouths. I know what I am doing. Elder Wanhua furiously chided them. His expression sank when these people interrupted him. Other people might not be able to tell, but he clearly understood that even if he acted personally today, it would be difficult for him to gain an advantage against the cold and indifferent figure beside Xiao Yan. Moreover, there was still little E holding the purifying lotus demon flame from the side with malice. Although those elders felt a great unwillingness in their hearts, all of them merely shut their mouths after hearing Elder Wanhua's stern cry. With the exception of the clan head, no one could surpass his position within the clan. Xiao Yan was also surprised that this elder, who clearly possessed quite a high position within the Yao clan, would actually utter such words. 
His gloomy expression quickly became a little warmer. Xiao Yan, you didn't come to the Yao clan just to find trouble with Yao Wanghui, did you? Elder Wanghua once again asked a question after seeing Xiao Yan's expression grow warmer. Teacher. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His eyes shifted to Yao Lao. Clearly, he was only intent on listening to his teacher's opinion. Everyone shifted their eyes upon seeing Xiao Yan's gaze. Finally, their eyes paused on Yao Lao who had yet to speak since the beginning. Since Elder Wanghua has personally stepped forward, we would really be going overboard if we continue to insist. Yao Lao was quite calm in front of the many gazes. He faintly smiled as Bi replied. He was aware that it was naturally impossible to truly kill Yao Wanghui right now. After all, the Yao clan would definitely not sit back and do nothing then. Since Elder Wanhua had given him a path to step back, he was willing to take it. In any case, he had already achieved the deterrence he wanted. Elder Wanhua sighed in relief after hearing Yao Lao's words. His eyes were a little complicated as he glanced at Yao Lao. He had never expected this abandoned person the clan could do without would actually end up with such achievements. Not only did he step into Doshing realm, he had even taught a disciple who had surpassed him. This disciple of his made the geniuses of the Yao clan pale in comparison. If I paid a little more attention back then, the current situation would perhaps have been completely different. Elder One was sighed within his heart. If the clan had paid a little more attention to Yao Lao, it was likely that he would have developed some lingering feelings for the Yao clan. In that case, the relationship between the Sky Mansion and the Yao clan would have been quite good. How regretful. Xiao Yan nodded after Yao Lao opened his mouth. His eyes glanced indifferently at Yao Wanghui in his hand. After which, he randomly tossed him toward the group of elders. The elders hurriedly received him in a miserable fashion. Elder Wanhua. Both my teacher and I represent the entire Sky Mansion Alliance on our trip to the Yao clan. My teacher is the chief of the alliance. His status is not like the others. Hence, I hope that those elders, who think that their status is a little superior, control their attitudes. My Sky Mansion Alliance might have only been established for a short period of time, but we will not allow anyone to randomly criticize us. Xiao Yan turned his head, looked at Elder Wanhua, and spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan did not feel the least bit of fear and respect in front of this Yao clan elder. In terms of strength, the other party might not be able to defeat the Northern King. Moreover, if they were to really engage in a life and death battle, Xiao Yan was confident he could take the other party's life. Hence, Xiao Yan was not overly courteous when he uttered these words. Everything was measured in terms of strength. Elder Wanhua was clearly aware of the strength of both parties. Hence, he did not appear to be offended by Xiao Yan's words. In terms of overall strength, the Sky Mansion Alliance was not inferior to their Yao clan. If one were to discuss the top-level strength, the alliance, which possessed the ancestor of the Pill Tower, Xiao Chen, Xiao Yan, and the Northern King, was comparable to the Yao clan. Currently, from just the perspective of the strength between both parties, neither was stronger than the other. This was something many elders were clearly aware of, but they were unwilling to admit this in their hearts. Elder Wanghui is rather hot-headed. There are times when he involuntarily says offensive words. This elderly self will reprimand him after this. Everyone who has come today are guests. Regardless of what faction the both of you have come in behalf of, our Yao clan will treat you according to the way guests should be treated. Elder Wanhua was clearly many times better than Yao Wanghui in terms of magnanimity. His polite words caused many to slightly nod. Such a way of speaking clearly suited the prestige of a large clan. Yao Wanghui revealed a flush red expression, but he did not dare to say anything. If Elder Wanhua had not hurried over in time earlier, he would have embarrassed himself in public if he could even keep his life. Elder Wanhua ignored him. He waved his sleeve and rays of light shot out. The lights accurately shot into the mouths of those individuals who had spoken wickedly and had been beaten by Xiao Yan. After which, he commanded in a faint voice, for being disrespectful to guests, all of you are exiled from the Medicine Mountain for ten years. Iron guards, bring them away. A couple of figures rushed over after his words had just sounded. After which, these figures brutally grabbed those pale-looking individuals and tossed them outside like dead dogs. Haha, <laughs> Alliance Chief Yao, young friend Xiao Yan, may I know if the both of you are satisfied with this punishment? Elder Wanhua glanced between Xiao Yan and Yao Lao as he laughed in a faint voice. Xiao Yan admires Elder Wanhua's impartiality. Xiao Yan also revealed a smile on his face. He cupped his hands politely to Elder Wanhua. How could he not understand Elder Wanhua's intentions? These small fries were for him to randomly vent his anger, but Xiao Yan would not be able to pursue the offenses of Yao Wanhua. After all, the other party had already punished the members of their Yao clan in public. It is already quite late. If everyone plans on observing the medicinal ceremony, please follow me to the top of the mountain. Haha, I have heard that young friend Xiao Yan was once the pill gathering champion. It is likely that you are also extremely accomplished in terms of pill refinement. However, the Yao clan's medicinal ceremony operates on an even higher level than the pill gathering. Each medicinal ceremony is the peak gathering of alchemists on the Dochi continent. If young friend Xiao Yan can emerge victorious in the medicinal ceremony, the title of the top alchemist on the continent will belong to a different surname. Elder Wanhua fondled his beard. His tone contained a faint pride. In terms of Dochi strength, he would have to view Xiao Yan as an equal. However, when it came to alchemist skills, his pride was accidentally expressed. 
After all, the Yao clan specialized in medicinal refinement. Xiao Yan merely smiled when he heard the pride within Elder One Wu's voice. He randomly said, I was taught my alchemist skills by my teacher, but I am curious to learn about the top alchemist gurus within the Dochi continent. It would really be my honor to be able to spar with them. Haha, ha, you will definitely have a chance. Anyone who possesses the ability to join the medicinal ceremony can do so. Elder One Wu laughed. After which, he ceased speaking. His body moved and rushed into the sky. After which, he flew toward the mountain. The many elders from the Yao clan followed close behind. Xiao Yan curled his lips after seeing the backs of those Yao clan elders. Was the Yao clan planning to gain back some face through medicinal refinement? That did not appear simple. Teacher, let's go. Let us go and take a look at the so-called top alchemist gurus from the Dou Qi continent. Xiao Yan laughed. He turned his head to look at Yao Lao, who smiled and nodded. After which, the both of them rose into the air at the same time and followed those Yao clan elders from afar as they all swiftly hurried to the mountain. Chapter 1564, Hun Huzi The peak of the medicinal mountain was covered by a cloud. A strange medicinal fragrance spread, causing one's heart to feel untroubled, as though one was in a divine place. There were clusters of medicinal ingredients gathering like a sea on top of the medicine mountain. There was an incomparably huge stadium floating in the air above the medicinal ingredient sea. There were four huge medicinal cauldrons at the four corners of the square. A pill fragrance slowly rose from them as a smoke charged into the cloud. There were many human figures standing on this floating stage. Many lively conversations were being emitted. Their eyes were all looking to the north. There were many stone chairs neatly arranged there. Pretty female servants shuffled around the two sides of the stone chairs like butterflies. Those agile hands filled all the jade cups on the stone tables. Swoosh swoosh. Xiao Yan and Yao Lao rushed to the top of the mountain. Their eyes swept around. They were about to find a random spot to take a seat when Elder One was stood from a stone chair at the side. He loudly laughed, Alliance Chief Yao Chen, young friend Xiao Yan, this way please. Yao Chen. Xiao Yan. The Sky Mansion Alliance, huh? It is unexpected that even those two have come. According to the rumors, it seems that this Yao Shen was once someone from the Yao clan, but he was subsequently expelled from the clan for some reason. Something like this actually happened. He, if this is really the case, does that not mean that the current Yao clan deeply regrets their decision? The laughter of Elder Wanhua immediately attracted many pairs of eyes to the location of Xiao Yan and Yao Lao. The current Sky Mansion Alliance was extremely well known and was appearing like the new overlord of the Central Plains. Most people present had heard about the chief of the alliance in name and its spiritual leader. Many private whispers began to pop up. Xiao Yan completely ignored these various cases. All he did was simply look at Yao Lao. Ha ha, it is just as you have said. We represent the Sky Mansion Alliance. If they do not give us a good position, they would be looking down on our alliance. Yao Lao laughed. Xiao Yan smiled upon hearing his explanation. After which, their bodies flashed and appeared a short distance from Elder Wanhua. They found a position and sat down. The sharp female servants by the side hurried forward and served them. Elder Wanghui smiled at the both of them after they had sat down. Those other elders beside him felt a little unnatural. These elders were all senior representatives of the Yao clan. If Yao Chen had continued to remain in the Yao clan, he would have had to greet them upon sight, yet the current reality allowed them to understand that they would likely be the ones who would have to greet him. The chief of the Sky Mansion Alliance was a position was comparable to the head of the Yao clan. There is nothing interesting to see during the start of the medicinal ceremony. It is merely some young fellows within the Yao clan displaying their skill. The main event of the medicinal ceremony is after that. Yao Lao looked down at the incomparably large stone stage below and softly laughed. He immediately looked at Xiao Yan and said, If you can emerge victorious in that final competition, the position of the top alchemist on the continent will belong to you. I don't really care about my position, but the Yao clan is really extremely arrogant. I am only planning to use the alchemist skills that teacher has taught me show them that their reckless and foolish actions back then have caused the Yao clan to lose a true genius. Xiao Yan smiled as he responded. His alchemist skills had already surpassed Yao Lao, but the reason he was able to attain such an achievement was because of the teachings of Yao Lao. If he were able to emerge victorious in such a place, no one within the Yao clan would dare to stop Yao Lao from leaving his parents' name on the clan's tablet. You little fellow. Yao Lao smiled as he chided him. However, his face was filled with a pleased expression. The heavens had really blessed him with such a disciple. Even though your alchemist skills have already reached the pinnacle, it will not be an easy matter to emerge victorious in this medicinal ceremony. Yao Lao's expression became grave as he said, those who can participate in the final competition between alchemists are basically the top individuals of this world. It would be impossible to even find alchemists of this within the pill tower. Xiao Yan gently nodded. He naturally did not think that those who could participate in the alchemist competition were mediocre individuals, but the stronger his opponent, the more interested he was in competing. Ever since that enjoyable match with others during the pill gathering back then, Xiao Yan had not been able to compete with others in terms of medicinal pill refinement in such an environment for a very long time. Moreover, the opponents this time around would be many times stronger than the opponents of the pill gathering. The human traffic around the stone stage expanded while Xiao Yan and Yao Lao were chatting. 
Subsequently, various noises shot toward the sky. The buzzing voices caused even the clouds in the sky to scatter a little. The voices spread before a gong sound rang through the sky. Many members of the Yao clan swiftly stood up. Their respectful voices spread in a mighty manner. Welcome clan head. The clouds in the sky churned as the vast and mighty greeting reverberated before they separated. A white-robed, white-haired old man slowly stepped forward. His hand landed against the air and emitted waves of mysterious fluctuations. Space seemed to have solidified at this moment. Clan head of the Yao clan. A grave expression flashed through Xiao Yan's eyes as he stared at this white-haired old man, who was filled with a warm friendliness. He could sense an unusually powerful aura radiating from the old man's body. This aura was many times stronger than Elder One was aura. This is the clan head of the Yao clan, Yao Dan. He is currently a seven-star Doshan. Yao Lao's eyes were a little complicated as he looked at the white-haired old man. Regardless of what happened, the blood of the Yao clan still flowed within his body. His heart felt some emotion when seeing the clan head of the Yao clan. Seven-star Doshan. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. This should be the strongest person within the Yao clan. He was indeed a little stronger than the strongest in the Sky Mansion. The foundation of an ancient clan was indeed something to be envious of. Haha, ha, those who have come are guests. The clan head of the Yao clan, Yao Dan, revealed a warm smile on his face as he stood in the sky. He cupped his hands to the densely packed crowd. Then, his eyes suddenly leaped over everyone and paused on Yao Lao. Those flickering eyes contained a complicated emotion. Xiao Yan, who was seated beside Yao Lao, also sensed Yao Dan's gaze. His expression did not change, but a black light flashed beside him. The Northern King once again appeared. Its indifferent eyes stared at Yao Dan. It was just like a wild beast, which would suddenly become violent and start killing if prompted. Yao Lao slowly lifted his head. His eyes looked directly at Yao Dan as he faintly smiled. He cupped his hands together and greeted, Greetings to Clan Head Yao Dan. Yao Chen, we have all been mistaken. Yao Dan's eyes focused on Yao Lao before immediately shifting to Xiao Yan. His eyes paused on the northern king beside Xiao Yan and he let out a soft sigh for an unknown reason. He took a step forward and appeared beside the main seat as many Yao clan elders respectfully welcomed him. Haha, old man Yao Dan, are you finally willing to exit your retreat? Yao Dan was just about to sit when another voice that was ancient and experienced slowly propagated through the sky. There was also an extremely dense medicinal fragrance contained within this voice. After which, everyone saw a green light flicker in the distant horizon. Within a couple of breaths, a pale green medicinal cauldron quickly cut through the air and arrived. There was an old man in ordinary linen robes on the medicinal cauldron. A walking stick made from medicinal ingredients was held in his hand. Many jade bottles hung on this walking stick, emitting clear clanging sounds as they shook. Old man Shen known, it is unexpected that even such an elder has appeared. Surprise flashed within Yao Lao's eyes when he saw this person. Xiao Yan by the side was startled before he seemed to have recalled something. The grave expression in his eyes soared. Although the name of this old man Shen known was not very famous, he was an extremely elderly expert within the alchemist world. Even Yao Lao could only be considered a junior when compared to him. It was unexpected that this person, who had been missing for many years, would actually appear in this place. It is indeed worthy of the medicinal ceremony. Xiao Yan gently licked his lips. His heart suddenly became boiling hot. Being able to compete with such a person in terms of alchemy skills was really something that would make one's heart boil. Haha, old fellow, you are actually still alive. Yao Dan softly laughed, but his expression was not the least bit surprised. Old man Shen Nong stood up from the medicinal cauldron. He waved his hand and stored the cauldron away. His old and experienced eyes swept around him before pausing on Xiao Yan. He let out a soft exclamation before laughing, I have not come out for many years. It is unexpected a new face has appeared within the central plains. A spiritual strength that has reached the perfect heavenly state despite being so young. How surprising. Greetings to Elder Shen Nong. Xiao Yan smiled. He calmly cupped his hands together and laughed in front of the many pairs of eyes present. Old man Shen Long smiled as he nodded. He was just about to take his seat when he suddenly frowned and turned around. He looked behind him. A black cloud had suddenly surged over at a shocking speed. Within the blink of an eye, it had turned into a black-clothed middle-aged man. Following the appearance of this person, the entire plaza immediately began to emit a low buzzing sound like the wail of a soul. Hun Huzi of the Hun clan. I have come uninvited. Hopefully, clan head Yao Den does not hold it against me. The black-clothed man faintly smiled. His steady voice spread throughout the square. Hun Huzi. Yao Lao, who was beside Xiao Yan, shook upon hearing this person's name. A cold glint surged into his eyes. Chapter 1565, The Start of the Medicinal Ceremony Hun Huzi, his teacher acquainted with him. Yao Lao's reaction had startled Xiao Yan. His eyes scanned the black-clothed middle-aged man in the sky as he gently frowned. It was another person from the Hun clan. These people always appeared in such a mysterious fashion. Do you still recall the small tower's incident back then? The person from the Han clan who had hid within the small pill tower, and in the end, betrayed and wounded his teacher before eventually escaping. 
Yao Lao's deep voice contained an endless hatred. That person is Han Huzi. Xiao Yan's heart shook as he exclaimed. I. Yao Lao slowly nodded. His eyes observed Han Huzi in the sky as he continued in an icy cold voice, this person has an extremely high position within the Han clan. Even Han Miesheng can cannot compare to him. Unexpectedly, even he has been attracted by the Yao clan's medicinal ceremony. Han Huzi is relatively important to the Han clan. If I am not mistaken, he should be the mastermind behind the evil scheme of collecting so many souls. If we can eliminate him, it would be equivalent to breaking an arm of the Han clan. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes upon hearing this information. A chill flashed through his eyes. Xiao Yan was only too happy to eliminate the Han clan. If he found the opportunity, he would try to see if he could kill this Han Huzi. However, you should not be careless. This Han Huzi has a great attainment in terms of medicine refinement. Otherwise, he would not have been selected by the chief of the small pill tower back then as a disciple. Adding so many years of training, his alchemy skills have probably already reached a profound and unfathomable level. Yao Lao softly informed Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan nodded. If one were to describe someone who could attain such a position within the clan as a mediocre person, even a little child would not believe this description. Xiao Yan would naturally not underestimate his opponent. Han Huzi, why has this fellow come? Our Yao clan did not invite him. Humph, the Hall of Souls has been capturing souls for so many years. It has even ruthlessly attacked alchemists and snatched their souls. Han Huzi is definitely involved in that matter. We cannot allow such a person to participate in our Yao clan's medicinal ceremony. The appearance of Han Huzi immediately attracted the intense reaction from many elders of the Yao clan. Many furious gazes were thrown toward Han Huzi as stern cries rang out. The clan head of the Yao clan and the leader's seat and elder Wanhua exchanged glances with each other. They discovered that the both of them were frowning. Clearly, Han Huzi coming uninvited had exceeded their expectations. The Yao clan had always maintained a distance with the Han clan. This ancient clan was much older than them. Regardless of what kind of changes the other ancient clans underwent during the past thousands of years, only the Han clan continued to remain mysterious and strange. The frightening strength it occasionally displayed caused one to involuntarily feel fear. Adding the mysterious disappearance of the Ling clan and the Shi clan, the Yao clan, Lei clan, and Yan clan began to act more cautiously with the Han and Bu clans. Hence, their hearts felt some displeasure when they saw that Han Huzi had actually come uninvited. However, it was fortunate that they clearly understood the current situation. Hence, their faces still retained a smile as hosts. Haha, looks like the friends from the Yao clan do not seem to welcome me. This does not seem to match the reputation of liking to entertain guests. Han Huzi placed both of his hands behind him as he stood in the sky. His eyes shifted to Yao Dan as he faintly laughed. Han Huzi, my Yao clan did not invite you. Moreover, the current Han clan and Gu clan do not have a relationship with the other ancient clans. These actions of yours are not like before. It might even deepen the doubt we feel for the Han clan. Elder Wan Hua replied in a deep voice. It is precisely because we are unafraid of you deepening your doubt that I have come today. Han Huzi smiled and said, This medicinal ceremony is considered the greatest alchemist gathering on the continent. Haha, I am also interested in the position of the top alchemist on the continent. If Elder Wan Hua has the qualification to give me this qualification, I will leave immediately. Arrogant. Han Huzi's words immediately caused some elders in the Yao clan to furiously cry out. Haha, my Yao clan is unqualified to give you the name of the top alchemist on the continent. The only thing one can rely on to obtain this name is one's own alchemist skill. Yao Dan faintly laughed and said. Since you are so interested in the name of the top alchemist on the continent, you should remain here. Our Yao clan is not a clan that slights its guests. As long as you obey the rules of my Yao clan, you are the guest of the clan. Otherwise, even if you are the chief alchemist of the Han clan, I will perhaps have to intervene and restrain you. A sharp murderous intent flashed across Yao Dan's elderly face when he spoke until this point. The might of a clan head caused one to quietly feel awed. Clan head, isn't this a little inappropriate? The surrounding elders of the Yao clan were startled when they heard that Yao Den would allow this Han Huzi to remain behind. The medicinal ceremony is the grandest activity within our Yao clan. We cannot simply expel our guest in front of so many people without a reason. That would lead to others thinking that our Yao clan is overbearing. Although we must take precaution against the Han clan, there are currently many people gathered within this Yao realm. Don't tell me that someone would dare to try something inappropriate. Yao Den waved his hand and calmly said. The old me will monitor him closely. If there is anything wrong, this elderly self will personally attack and kill him. Hearing Yao Dan's insistence, everyone could only nod as a reply. Clan head Yao Dan is really magnanimous. Han Huzi softly laughed. The corner of his mouth was curled as a strange smile swiftly flashed within his eyes. His body moved and he appeared on a stone chair in front of many pairs of eyes. This position was coincidentally a short distance away from Yao Lao and Xiao Yan. Yao Chen, you have accepted a good disciple. Even though I have remained deep within the Han realm, your disciple's name is still extremely well known. Han Huzi's eyes shifted to a stone chair before landing on Yao Lao. A strange smile surfaced on the corner of his mouth as he spoke. Who can compare with Han Huzi, who has betrayed his teacher and destroyed his ancestor, in terms of being infamous? 
Yao Lao smiled and shook his head as he replied. Ha, huh, I have been a member of the Hun clan since I was born and possess the bloodline of the Hun clan. The matter of destroying my ancestor has nothing to do with me. As for betraying my teacher, ha ha, I never thought of that old fool as my teacher. Hun Huzi merely shook his head in a somewhat serious fashion after listening to Yao Lao's ridicule. Both of his eyes narrowed into a dangerous arc. He casually said, Yao Chen, you should actually be thanking me. If you had not caught my eye back then since I wanted you to work for my Hun clan, your soul would have long since been destroyed. How would you have found the time to wait for your disciple to rescue you? Haha, ha, but it doesn't matter. Since you have escaped, all we need to do is recapture you. At that time the whatever Sky Mansion Alliance will finally understand just how naive it is. Yao Lao's expression became gloomy after hearing these words. Xiao Yan's expression by the side did not change. He softly laughed but did not speak. With a random wave of his sleeve, the northern king beside him suddenly shot forward. It appeared beside Hun Huzi in a flash. A sharp kick ruthlessly slammed toward Hun Huzi like a large sharp blade. Humph. The attack, which had suddenly arrived, startled even Hun Huzi for an instant. He had not expected Xiao Yan to be so ruthless. Xiao Yan did not utter a single word before simply attacking, but Hun Huzi was not an ordinary person. He immediately let out a cold snort. The space surrounding him became distorted as his figure strangely disappeared. The next time he appeared, he was on a stone chair in the distance. Bang. The northern king's kick smashed the stone table and chair into dust. After which, it stopped moving. Its eyes were indifferent as it glanced at Han Huzi before returning to Xiao Yan's side and standing as still as a statue. Xiao Yan held a jade cup in his hand while a pretty female servant obediently walked forward to fill it with a fragrant medicinal wine made by the Yao clan. He took a gently sip and suddenly laughed, cold individuals who have betrayed their teacher should stay far away from me. Haha, <laughs> what a great Xiao Yan. A smile surfaced on Huzi's face as he sat in the stone chair some distance away. His smile was dense and bone-chilling. A frightening energy fluctuation slowly spread from his body as he stared at Xiao Yan, causing the expressions of many elders from the Yao clan to change. Han Huzi, today is the great ceremony of our Yao clan. Fighting is forbidden. Those who break the rules will be expelled from the Yao realm. Yao Dan, who was sitting in the leader's seat, took a passive attitude as the two dealt with their conflict. He lifted his head and spoke in a faint voice at this moment. Haha, since clan head Yao Dan has opened his mouth, I will naturally listen. The smile on Han Huzi's dense face hardened when he heard this command before it immediately widened. However, the cold glow within his eyes became denser. This old fellow had chosen not to speak when Xiao Yan had attacked. He had instead chosen to step forward and display his impartiality when Han Huzi retaliated. This was clearly being biased against him in front of so many people. What a great Yao clan. Han Huzi coldly laughed in his heart. The expression in his eyes also became stranger. Yao Den ignored Han Huzi's expression. His eyes slowly swept around him. His eyes paused as they swept over Xiao Yan. After which an indifferent voice slowly spread. It was just like thunder as it echoed around the mountaintop. It is time. Let the medicinal ceremony begin. Chapter 1566, Challenge The Yao clan specialized in alchemy, possessing the largest alchemist organization in the world. Although the Yao clan would feel some pride in their hearts when dealing with the alchemists from the central plains, it must be said that they did indeed have the ability to back up this pride. Perhaps it was due to their bloodline, but it was extremely easy for those in the Yao clan to learn how to refine medicinal pills. Moreover, the clan did not lack individuals with outstanding training talent. Hence, it might be true that the Yao clan did not have a large number of alchemists with skills equivalent to those alchemist grandmasters quite famous in the Central Plains, but, a, b, it was not hard to find outstanding individuals within their clan either. Since they were in possession of such capital, they would inevitably feel pride when compared to other alchemists. Of course, this was merely describing the middle level among the alchemist tier. The Yao clan did not hold much of an advantage in terms of the true alchemists that stood at the top of all alchemists. After all, their bloodline strength might allow them to have an easy time learning alchemist skills, but it was impossible to rely on to reach the peak of the alchemist world. At times, such talent might even become an obstruction to reaching the peak level. This could perhaps be considered a slight disadvantage of the bloodline strength. All alchemists were divided from tier 1 to tier 9. Tier 1 was the lowest level while tier 9 was the highest. Those tier 9 alchemist gurus were further divided into three levels, the treasure pill guru, mysterious pill guru, and golden pill guru. The current Xiao Yan had already reached the treasure pill guru level after having refined a tier 9 treasure pill back then. Of course, this had not been verified by any organizations. At this level, a faction could no longer help him verify his tier because those of his tier were already at the peak of the alchemist world. A mysterious pill guru was considered the peak of the alchemist world on this continent. There was hardly any of them. It had been nearly a thousand years since someone had become a golden pill guru, so no one was able to refine a tier 9 golden pill. Above the golden pill guru was the legendary D class. D was the ultimate and no one could surpass it. For most of those present, the first part of the medicinal ceremony was entertaining to watch. The younger generation of the Yao clan did indeed possess a talent that would cause an ordinary alchemist to envy. Those who had stepped onto the stage were tier 6 or even higher tiered alchemists. 
Many cauldrons rose, giving the square an extremely spectacular appearance. Of course, from the perspective of those like Xiao Yan, a pill refinement of this level was just like a group of adults watching some small children fight. There was nothing for them to observe. Hence, they merely shut their eyes and recuperated while there was an uproar over the appearances of many medicinal pills. The first part of the medicinal ceremony lasted for a couple of days. Only then did it come to an end. Fortunately, those present were not ordinary individuals. Many did not even shift their bodies during these few days. Xiao Yan's eyelids slowly opened just before the first portion of the medicinal ceremony came to an end. He glanced over the young individuals from the Yao clan and slightly nodded. After a few days of observation, he had seen just how strong the Yao clan was. Many of their young possessed extremely great talent. If they were lucky, they would be able to gain a seat within the alchemist world in the future. Moreover, by possessing such outstanding new blood, the Yao clan would continuously prosper. Of course, there was naturally a limit to this. If the Yao clan did not produce an elite Dodi following the flow of time, their bloodline strength would gradually be exhausted like the Xiao clan. At that time, the Yao clan would likely be no different than an ordinary clan. Even though that time would come, it was still in the distant future. Thinking of such things now would be worrying for no reason. While observing event over the last few days, Xiao Yan had also seen some familiar figures. That Yao Xing Ji, who had given Xiao Yan the invitation for the medicinal ceremony, had been discovered by Xiao Yan. Currently, Yao Xing Ji's alchemist skills had grown after the last few years of training. He had squeezed into the top five during this medicinal ceremony, which was quite a good result. That champion position had been obtained by that man called Yao Tian, whom Xiao Yan had met outside the demonic flame realm back then. He should be the most outstanding person among the younger generation of the Yao clan. The medicinal pill he had refined had actually attracted a nine-colored pill lightning, which surpassed everyone else. Even some of the elders within the Yao clan smiled upon seeing the colors. However, when their eyes unintentionally landed on Xiao Yan, who was recuperating with his eyes shut beside Yao Lao, the smile on their faces would quickly disappear before turning into melancholy. They had long since heard that Xiao Yan was already able to refine a tier 9 medicinal pill. The pill lightning he had attracted was the black demon lightning. Yao Tian's nine-colored pill lightning paled in comparison to him. The atmosphere of the stadium did not quiet down after the competition between the younger generation of the Yao clan was completed. Instead, it suddenly overflowed with excitement. Those many boiling eyes leaped over the stadium and finally landed on those stone chairs. They understood that the main event of the medicinal ceremony was these important individuals standing at the peak of the alchemist world. Haha, it is finally about to begin. Yao Lao slowly opened his eyes at this moment. He sensed the temperature of the stadium suddenly rise before laughing. Xiao Yan also grinned. His hand gently touched the jade cup. After observing things for a couple of days, he had unknowingly felt a little itch in his hands. Other than you, those participating in the main event will likely be Han Huzi, Old Man Shen Nong, and Elder Wan Hua. These three individuals are all extraordinary people. In terms of experience, even I am greatly lacking compared to them. Yao Lao said. Yao Dan is not participating. Xiao Yan glanced at Yao Dan in the leader's seat and asked. Being the head of a clan, he must naturally wear a pride that belongs with his title. Yao Lao laughed. He immediately spoke in a grave manner, however, his alchemist skills are not any weaker than the four of you. The clan head of the Yao clan is the leader of the biggest organization in the alchemist world. It would be impossible for him to convince others if he did not have some ability. Xiao Yan laughed. He naturally understood Yao Lao's meaning. Moreover, regardless of how arrogant he was, he would not carelessly underestimate a frightening expert whose strength had reached that of a seven-star Doshan. While Xiao Yan and Yao Lao were softly chatting, Yao Dan, who sat in the leader's seat, slowly stood up. At this moment, all the eyes present gathered onto him. Haha, the appetizer is over. It is finally time for the main event. This elderly self understands what everyone is thinking. Yao Dan smiled faintly and continued as everyone focused on him. There will be four people competing in this medicinal ceremony. I will not talk any more about these four individuals. I'm sure that everyone here knows them. The final victor among them will gain the title of the top alchemist of the continent. I think that no one will object to the victor taking that title. The four of you, please take the stage. Haha, <laughs> clan head Yao Dan is really forthright. I have long heard that the medicinal ceremony is the top alchemist gathering across the Do Chi continent. The reason I have come here today is to challenge everyone. My Hun clan is a little interested in this title as the top alchemist of the continent. Therefore, I wish to come here and take it. Hun Huzi's figure took the lead as he appeared in the air after Yao Dan's voice sounded. His calm laughter was provoking. Humph, the Yao clan is a clan which refines medicine. It is perhaps better for this title to remain in the Yao clan. Elder Wan Hua coldly snorted. His body flashed and appeared in the air. He did not give in as he faced Hun Huzi. Cheers rose from the surroundings the moment Elder Wan Hua appeared. This was the home ground of the Yao clan. Naturally, they were unwilling to see someone from the Hun clan snatch away this unusually grand title. Although this elderly self does not have much interest in such vanity, allowing the title of the top alchemist on the continent to land on you is a great insult to the alchemists from my generation. Old man Shen Nong stepped into the air. The walking stick formed by medicinal grass shook in his hand, causing the jade bottles to collide and emit a clear sound. 
He floated in the air. His tone was calm, but it was obvious that he greatly disliked Han Huzi. After all, the Han clan had an extremely terrible reputation among alchemists. Elder Wanhua, Han Huzi, Old Man Shen Nong, these three are definitely giants within the current alchemist world. This is really going to be an exciting show during this face-off. The stadium immediately turned into an uproar as everyone looked at the three individuals in the sky. Countless pairs of alchemist eyes were filled with excitement. The level that the three people above them had reached was something that they had been pursuing all their life. Han Huzi glanced at Elder Wanhua and Elder Shen Nong before smiling. He placed both of his hands behind him. The demeanor of a guru was displayed without a doubt. If one did not discuss character, the attainment of Han Huzi in terms of alchemist skills was indeed something that others would look up to. Three of them have already appeared. Who is the last person? Countless pairs of eyes rotated over the three figures, but they quickly slid away. After which, they paused on a black-clothed young man in a stone chair. Xiao Yin smiled as he stood up in front of those many pairs of eyes. His body shook as an afterimage appeared. His body also appeared in the sky as a clear laugh spread. I have long since heard that Elder Han Huzi has stolen skills from the Pill Tower. Now the Pill Tower is also a member of the Sky Mansion. Being someone from the Sky Mansion, Xiao Yin wishes to represent the Pill Tower in challenging Elder Han Huzi. Please try your best to teach me a lesson. Chapter 1567, Life Spirit Flame Many people quietly started to sweat after hearing Xiao Yan's clear laughter. His words were relatively awful. It seemed that the Sky Mansion Alliance and the Han Clan did indeed resent each other. What razor-sharp tongue, if it is about challenging me, even your teacher Yao Chen does not possess the qualifications. Han Huzi faintly laughed, but his face did not reveal the slightest anger because of Xiao Yan's words. It seemed that he boasted an extremely good temperament. However, the eyes he used to look at Xiao Yan were densely cold. There was a vague murderous intent surging in them. Ugh, teacher said that I should be able to deal with you. Hence, there is no need for him to intervene. Xiao Yan fondled his, a, b, chin. The smile on his face was quite brilliant. Nevertheless, the words he spoke clearly did not give Han Huzi any face. Haha, in that case, I am rather curious. Han Huzi softly laughed. After which, he ceased uttering any unnecessary words. With a wave of his sleeve, a black flame erupted from his body in all direction. It formed a thousand-foot-large black fire cauldron in the sky in front of him. There was a strange devouring power vaguely emitted from the fire cauldron. Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame Xiao Yan, Elder Wanhua, and Old Man Shen Long suddenly focused their eyes. They cried out in deep voices as they looked at the fire cauldron being formed by the black flame. It is unexpected that such a heavenly flame has actually landed in the hands of the Han clan. Old Man Shen Nong frowned. His eyes were filled with a grave expression as he looked at the black fire cauldron. Being one of the elders within the alchemist world, he was clearly aware of the might of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. Summon the heavenly flames within your bodies. My Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame craves their taste. Han Huzi smiled as he looked at Xiao Yan and the other two and laughed. It is merely the seed flame of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, yet you actually act so domineering. Xiao Yan softly laughed. Although the feeling that the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame within Han Huzi gave him was far stronger than that of the Chief of the Hall of Souls, it was still unable to reach the frightening level of the true Devouring Flame. Clearly, the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame in this person's hand was also a seed flame. Han Huzi narrowed his eyes slightly upon hearing Xiao Yan's tone. He had not expected Xiao Yan to be able to identify the flame this quickly. However, he immediately laughed. Xiao Yan was able to recognize his Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, but Xiao Yan was unaware that his Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame was not an ordinary seed flame. The Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame was extremely mysterious. Only a few rare individuals were even aware that the seed flames of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame could be separated into different levels. Among the many ordinary seed flames were two types of mysterious seed flames. They were called the Heaven and Earth Seed Flames. The Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame in his hand was the Earth Seed Flame. This so-called Earth Seed Flame could be considered a baby form of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame from a certain point of view. Its might was far from what the ordinary seed flame in the hands of the Chief of the Hall of Souls could compare with. Although such a seed flame was relatively powerful, if the mother of the flame was damaged, the many seed flames connected to it would automatically disappear and turn into essence energy that would gather in the main body. Such a matter was considered a secret. Even Yao Lao and Xiao Yan had never heard of this information. Hence, they were only able to identify the heavenly flame in Han Huzi's hands as a seed flame. They could not identify that it was the boss of the seed flames, the earth seed flame, but even if they had recognized it, Xiao Yan's expression would not pale. The purifying demonic lotus flame within his body had mutated after merging with so many heavenly flames. Forget about this Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame only being a seed flame. Even if the true Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame were to descend, Xiao Yan might not even fear it. Whether you can swallow our heavenly flames will depend on your ability. Elder Wanhua coldly snorted. He immediately waved his sleeve. A faint black wind suddenly whistled out of it. The wild wind swiftly moved through the air. If one were to look carefully, one would discover that it was not a fierce wind, rather it was a mysterious flame. 
9 Serene Wind Flame Xiao Yan was a little surprised as he glanced at the wild wind flame that had been summoned by Elder Wanhua. It was not the first time he had seen this 9 Serene Wind Flame. When he had met Yao Xing Ji back then, Yao Xing Ji had been carrying this heavenly flame, but from the looks of it, it seemed that this heavenly flame had been taken back. Haha, old man Wanhua, you are becoming more proficient in your usage of this 9 Serene Wind Flame. Old man Shen Nong laughed out loud after seeing Elder Wanhua summon the heavenly flame. The medicine grass walking stick in his hand gently pressed down on empty space. He laughed, in that case, this elderly self will also have to perform. After uttering these words, the medicinal ingredient walking stick in his hand self-ignited without the presence of a flame. A liquid-like green flame slowly rose. Finally, it swelled with the wind. Layer after layer of a fog rose from the green liquid-like flame. The countless mysterious medicinal ingredients slowly grew while the fog rose. They emitted a life force, which caused one's expression to change. This is, the Heavenly Flame ranked 5th on the Heavenly Flame ranking. Life Spirit Flame Surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he observed the spreading life force. A strange expression flashed through his eyes. The Life Spirit Flame was ranked 5th on the Heavenly Flame ranking. This Heavenly Flame was extremely mysterious because most flames were filled with a destructive force despite their many forms. However, this Life Spirit Flame did not display an overly strong destructive force. Instead, it was filled with a life force. It was rumored that when such a heavenly flame was used, any medicinal ingredient seeds within it would swiftly sprout and grow. In other words, one would not need to worry about searching for medicinal ingredients with such a heavenly flame. As long as one possessed sufficient seeds, one would be able to obtain the medicinal ingredients one needed. Thus, this flame was extremely mysterious. Moreover, this life spirit flame was considered a longevity flame. The person who obtained it would have a lifespan comparable to those magical beasts famous for their long lives, but the only disadvantage was that this flame was not suitable for combat. It did not really increase one's fighting strength. Xiao Yan had also heard about this life spirit flame, but this was the first time he saw it. That rich tempting life force caused one to feel relaxed and full of energy. Han Huzi's eyes stared intently at the life spirit flame in old man Shenlong's hands. A greed flashed across his eyes. Everything in this world possessed a limited lifespan. If one could obtain this flame of life, one would be able to greatly extend one's life. That allure was relatively intense even to someone like him. It is actually the life spirit flame. Old man Shenlong, you are quite lucky. Elder One Wu's expression was also a little envious as he stated with a smile. When this life spirit flame was formed, its intelligence would be relatively high. Normally, it would not appear in the shape of a flame. Instead, it transforms into various medicinal ingredients. After which, it simply quietly takes root in the soil. At times, it was impossible to identify it even if one were to walk past it. Only those who were extremely lucky would be able to find it in the soil. Haha, I was merely lucky and unexpectedly found it while I was searching for medicinal ingredients. Old man Shen Nong fondled his beard and smiled as he replied. Being able to obtain such a heavenly flame was quite a joyous thing for someone like him, who did not like to compete with others. I heard that young friend Xiao Yan has subdued the rumored purifying demonic lotus flame. I wonder if this is true. The eyes of old man Shen Nong suddenly landed on Xiao Yan as he laughed. Xiao Yan was looking at the green sea of fire above his head with a strange expression from a short distance away. Haha, I am merely just lucky like elder. Xiao Yan smiled. A fire glow rose on his shoulder. Little E appeared in a flash. Immediately, his eyes revealed an expression of disdain as he glanced at the other three clusters of heavenly flames in the sky. The only one that could appear in such a form was Little E. This is. Heavenly Flame Spirit. The few people in the sky revealed a slightly different expression upon seeing Little E on Xiao Yan's shoulder. Their eyes became a little grave. They could sense an intelligence that was not inferior to that of humans from Little E. Being existences that stood at the peak of the alchemist world, they naturally understood just what a heavenly flame spirit represented to an alchemist. The legendary heavenly flame constitution would allow the heavenly flame in the spirit's hand to reach a near-perfect extent. That level was something that even people like them, whose spiritual strength had reached the perfect heavenly state, could not compare with. Although the heavenly flames in their hands were quite strong, they had still yet to reach the extent of forming a heavenly flame spirit. My Hun clan has targeted the purifying demonic lotus flame for so many years, but it has unexpectedly ended up landing in your hands, but it doesn't matter. These things will sooner or later end up being taken back by us. Han Huzi's eyes flickered while a chill surged within them. Young friend Xiao Yan is really blessed. Back then, this elderly self once tried to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. However, I was nearly killed within the demonic flame realm. Old man Shen Nong fondled his beard and laughed. Xiao Yan smiled. After having experienced the demonic flame realm, he naturally understood just how difficult it was to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. If he had not possessed a remnant of the purifying demonic lotus saint's soul, it was likely that he could only flee far away. Although old man Xing Nong was an outstanding alchemist, one could not rely on alchemy when trying to subdue the purifying demonic lotus flame. If the four of you have prepared, please open your cauldrons and refine your pills. 
Yao Dan in the leader's seat withdrew his envious gaze from Little E as he spoke in a clear voice. Xiao Yan faintly laughed after hearing command. Little E on his shoulder widened its mouth. A thumb-sized pink fire cauldron flew out. It swelled with the wind and turned into a thousand-foot-large fire cauldron that floated in the sky. Many fire dragons lingered around the fire cauldron. A low and deep dragon roar echoed from it, and in an instant, the temperature of the stadium swiftly rose. Chapter 1568, Alchemy Contest The other three individuals withdrew some distance away while Xiao Yan's fire cauldron expanded. They separated this wide sky into four areas. Hun Huzi's body flashed and appeared above the black fire cauldron. After which, he sat down. With a wave of his sleeve, tons of medicinal ingredients flew out in all directions. In an instant, a rich medicinal fragrance immediately spread through the sky. While he began to refine a medicinal pill, Elder Wanhua in the distance had used the Nine Serene Wind Flame to form a fire cauldron. At their level, they could do without medicinal cauldrons because they could randomly use their heavenly flames to form high-quality medicinal cauldrons. The person who had created the biggest commotion was Old Man Long. The liquid-like green flame sea swiftly spread before he sat down within the sea of fire. He waved his sleeve and many medicinal ingredient seeds containing a strange fragrance swiftly scattered. Finally, they fell into the sea of fire. After which, the seeds swiftly sprouted in front of many stunned eyes. After which, they rapidly grew within the fiercely burning flame. Old Man Shenlong smiled as he looked at the rapidly growing medicinal ingredients. He flicked his finger and ripples formed in the sea of flames. They swiftly agglomerated into droplets of a pure green liquid. It was vaguely possible to see traces of fire seedlings rising from the liquid. A rich life force seeped out it. The green liquid stopped above many medicinal ingredients. After which, a drop quietly dripped down after this fire liquid entered these medicinal ingredients, the medicinal ingredients appeared to have consumed a catalyst. Their rate of growth soared. Within a dozen minutes, the many seeds turned into various rare medicinal ingredients before they grew some more. They moved joyously within the green sea of flames. It is indeed worthy of being the life spirit flame. Xiao Yan in the distance involuntarily praised after seeing this mysterious scene. Other than possessing a weak combat ability, this life spirit flame was really the heavenly flame that was the dream of all alchemists. It would truly be a divine object in the hands of the Pill Tower or the Yao Clan. Although Xiao Yan understood that spurring the growth of the medicinal ingredients would greatly exhaust the user, many of these medicinal ingredients required at least a hundred years to grow. This exhaustion was not worth mentioning compared to such a long period of time. Xiao Yan withdrew his attention after praising the flame. He looked at his huge pink cauldron, and with a wave of his hand, densely packed medicinal ingredients flew out of his storage ring. Finally, they stopped around the fire cauldron. The number of various medicinal ingredients were terrifying, causing many alchemists to feel somewhat speechless. Compared to the way these four individuals refined pills, the pill refinements earlier, including the nine-colored pill lightning Yao Tian had attracted, felt small and insignificant. Go. Xiao Yan's shoulder shook after summoning the medicinal ingredients. Little Li flew out and entered the fire cauldron. Then, a crack was formed in the fire cauldron. A suction force surged and swallowed the thousands of medicinal ingredients floating in the sky. After which, a flame suddenly grew within the fire cauldron. He actually wishes to refine so many medicinal ingredients together. Even the faces of those elders from the Yao clan involuntarily twitched upon seeing these ingredients fly into the cauldron. The required composition of the thousands of medicinal ingredients that needed to be refined were all different. Could it really be possible to simply throw them all into the fire cauldron together? Yao Lao in a VIP seat merely grinned as he watched Xiao Yan. He had a relatively confident in Xiao Yan since Xiao Yan's skills as an alchemist had long since surpassed his teacher. Just how on earth did this fellow train? He is about our age, yet this fellow possesses the qualification to compete with Elder Wanhua, Ugh. Many of the members from the younger generation from the Yao clan below the stage had clustered together, but the extremely proud youths from the Yao clan were currently suffering a great blow as they looked at the sky. Even Yao Qian, who had obtained the best result during the earlier part of the medicine ceremony, displayed a gloomy expression. Although he was very dissatisfaction in his heart, the enormous gap between Xiao Yan and him could not be ignored. Besides Yao Tian, the icy cold Yao Ling, who had been doted by everyone, was also watching the calm young figure in the sky with pretty eyes. This was the first time in so many years that she had seen someone similar to her age compete in terms of pill refinement with the elders of the alchemist world like Elder Wanhua. Such an achievement was something that caused even a blessed genius like her in the Yao clan to involuntarily feel an admiration within her heart. Yao Xing Ji, he did not appear this strong when we met him in the Gu clan, A, B, back then, did he? Yao Ling turned her head to look at one of her suitors beside her. At that spot was another person from the Yao clan, the one who had given Xiao Yan the invitation to the medicinal ceremony, Yao Xing Ji. At that time he was merely an ordinary Dozun. Although his spiritual strength was powerful, it had not reached such a frightening level, unexpectedly, he has already reached such a level within a short few years. Yao Xing Ji bitterly laughed. There was an unknown feeling in his voice. When he had met Xiao Yan back then, Xiao Yan boasted a similar strength. If the both of them were to engage in an alchemist match at that time, it would have been difficult to predict the victor. However, who could have imagined that there would be so a vast gap between the two of them when they next met? 
His spiritual strength already belongs to the same level as Elder Wanwa. Perfect heavenly state. Yao Ling's pretty eyes looked at the figure in the sky. An unusual glint flickered in them. Her soul was different from an ordinary person since she had been born. The clan head had once said that if she was sufficiently lucky, she might even be able to step into that legendary D-state soul. She had always been proud of her spiritual strength. Even her extremely talented older brother was weaker than her in terms of spiritual strength. Xiao Yan was the only person in the same generation to surpass her in terms of spiritual strength. The thousands of medicinal ingredients in the sky were all swallowed by the fire cauldron before Xiao Yan sat down. Being in possession of the heavenly flame spirit, his control while refining pills was a lot more relaxing than the others. With little E helping to perfectly control his heavenly flame, refining medicinal ingredients was a simple and ordinary task. A fierce pink flame wrapped around the fire cauldron like a huge fireball. Every couple of minutes, many small fireballs would rush out of the fire cauldron. Finally, they would rotate around the fire cauldron. These fire clusters were encasing different medicinal liquids and powders. All of them were necessary medicinal ingredients refined until they were very pure. The three others in the sky were also refining a large number of medicinal ingredients while the number of fire clusters floating around Xiao Yan's fire cauldron was increasing. Although they did not possess a heavenly flame spirit and were unable to catch up to Xiao Yan when it came to the effectiveness of their refinement, they were still gurus. Refining medicinal ingredients was a basic task. It was clearly not a problem to them. Many alchemists in the stadium watched the extremely smooth medicinal refinement methods in the sky. Their faces were completely immersed while a wild heat glowed in their eyes. This medicinal ingredient refinement continued for around a day before Xiao Yan finally took the lead to open his eyes. He looked at the densely packed fire clusters floating around the fire cauldron before he let out a deep breath and gently waved his hand. Many fire clusters rushed back into the fire cauldron. Soon after, a shocking energy fluctuation wildly spread from the medicinal cauldron. Even the fire cauldron had shook until it emitted a buzzing sound. Soon after Xiao Yan had completely refined the medicinal ingredients, Han Huzi opened both of his eyes. He threw the many medicinal liquids that he had refined into his fire cauldron. After which, his hand seal changed. A loud cry sounded, the world's strength, listen to my order. After Han Huzi's cry sounded, a wild wind suddenly swept through the sky. An endless naturally energy gathered around the fire cauldron from all directions. Finally, it was devoured by the suction force being emitted. This terrifying devouring made the energy form a mottled energy storm, which crazily howled in the sky before it was completely devoured by the fire cauldron. This terrifying pill refinement aura caused many people to quietly swallow a mouthful of saliva. They had not heard that they needed to absorb natural energy when refining pills because extra energy would at times break the equilibrium of the medicinal properties, resulting in failure. However, this thinking clearly belonged to an ordinary person. The Yao clan elders and some alchemist gurus revealed shock on their faces at this moment. Even Yao Dan in the leader's seat showed an extremely grave expression. Gathering natural energy to refine pills, this method, he is actually planning to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. The activity caused by Han Huzi was detected by Xiao Yan and the other two. Elder Wan Huan knit his eyebrows. He let out a cold snort and changed his hand seal. A stern cry also sounded, natural energy, gather. Many members of the Yao clan were excited to hear Elder Wan was cry. He was also planning to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. Haha, since the both of you have acted in such a grand fashion, this elderly self must naturally not fall behind. Elder Shen Nong laughed upon seeing the energy gather. He waved his sleeve and the surrounding natural energy once again became chaotic. Waves of majestic energy were dragged into the fire cauldron in front of him. Since the three of you are in such a mood, Xiao Yan can only join all of you. Xiao Yan faintly smiled as he watched the natural energy get dragged around in a chaotic fashion. The seal formed by his hands changed. A frightening suction force was emitted from his fire cauldron that forcefully dragged energy in, fearlessly snatching natural energy. The many alchemists present watched as waves of thunder roared and energy storms erupted in the sky. Their hearts were startled. The four of them were actually refining legendary tier 9 mysterious pills. Such a scene was indeed an extremely rare occurrence. Chapter 1569, Snatching Energy The four of them are all refining tier 9 mysterious pills. Yao Den watched these unusual phenomenons form in the sky from the leader's seat. His expression involuntarily became a little strange. With his eyesight, he was able to see through the battle of these four individuals. He might not be aware of the other's abilities, but he at least understood Elder Wang Huo well. Elder Wang Huo's alchemist skill might be quite great, but his chances of successfully refining a Tier 9 mysterious pill likely did not exceed 20%. Moreover, the refinement of a Tier 9 mysterious pill required the absorption of a relatively terrifying amount of natural energy. Although the energy within a 5,000 km radius of this medicine mountain was extremely dense, it was clearly impossible for it to support the formation of four Tier 9 mysterious pills. Based on his estimates, even if all of the energy within a 5,000 km radius of this medicine mountain was absorbed, it would be somewhat difficult to refine a Tier 9 mysterious pill. Moreover, these fellows were refining four of them together. If it was so easy to refine a Tier 9 mysterious pill, it would not be so rare in this world. Yao Den slightly shook his head. 
He did not think that any of the four individuals would be able to successfully refine this pill in his heart. Hence, the four of them would likely fail and end up in a draw during this competition. Of course, his eyesight was sharp, and it was possible for him to look quite far ahead. However, the others did not possess such eyesight. Hence, all of them revealed shocked and joyous expressions as they stared at the sky. This unusual pill refinement scene was really extremely rare. Yao Lao also frowned as he sat in his seat. Although he was aware that Xiao Yin had obtained an extremely rare tier 9 mysterious pill medicinal formula from the first elder of the pill tower before leaving, he had not expected Xiao Yin to pick it as his target this time around. Although a tier 9 treasure pill and a tier 9 mysterious pill was only a one word difference, the gap between them was like the heavens and the earth. Although it was rare to find an alchemist who could refine a tier 9 treasure pill on the continent, it was not impossible, but in the last hundred years, Yao Lao had never heard of anyone successfully refining a tier 9 mysterious pill. From this point, it was possible for one to vaguely understand the difficulty of refining a tier 9 mysterious pill. The energy in the distant sky crazily whistled before gathering into four huge tornado. One side of the tornado was connected to a fire cauldron while the other was wildly absorbing the rich natural energy. This natural energy continuously poured into the fire cauldron. The people around the stadium suddenly felt the dochi within their bodies showing signs of breaking free from in the face of this all-out suction from the four individuals. Immediately, a shock rose in their hearts. They hurriedly pulled back in panic, afraid that the dochi within their bodies, which they had obtained after much hard work, would be dragged away by the four storms in the sky. If that occurred, their losses would be far too great. This unusual phenomenon in the sky continued for a total of three days. During this period of time, everyone lost track of the amount of energy that had been absorbed. They could only sense that the flowing energy in the surrounding air had become a lot thinner. The medicinal ingredients around the stadium had even begun to show signs of turning into a withering yellow. Their energy had been forcefully sucked away. Refining a tier 9 mysterious pill could basically be described as man creating a divine object. The energy needed to form it was frightening large, enough to shock many elite doshengs. It had once been recorded in the ancient books that wherever a tier 9 mysterious pill was born during the ancient era, everything within a 5 km radius would turn barren because all the energy had been absorbed by the medicinal pill. This energy requirement was the reason why a tier 9 mysterious pill would possess a shocking intelligence the moment it was born. Of course, there was still some difficulty if it wished to reach the level of the ancestor from the small pill tower. The ancestor's formation was partly due to luck. Moreover, the pill had merged with its owner's soul when it had been formed, resulting in the ancestor of the pill tower undergoing a transformation. After thousands of years of training, it had finally reached its current stage. Normally speaking, the ancestor was considered a completely unique existence. Although the members of the Yao clan felt some heartache for those medicinal ingredients that had turned yellowish, there was nothing they could do. Some of the Yao clan elders had quickly intervened and hurriedly placed some seals on the more precious medicinal fields around the medicine mountain. Otherwise, this medicine mountain would end up barren once the competition was over. The endless devouring continued for a total of three days. By noon of the third day, everyone suddenly sensed the non-stop whistling in the sky suddenly become much quieter. They lifted their heads and saw the four huge tornado quietly disappear. Four thousand foot large fire cauldrons floated in the sky. An extremely shocking energy fluctuation vaguely spread from them. The ripples caused even the expressions of Xiao Yan and the three others to appear unusually grave. If the energy were to explode, they would at least be seriously injured if they even managed to keep their lives. All the energy within a 5,000 km radius has been absorbed. Yao Den grabbed at the empty air in front of him before helplessly shaking his head. The energy contained in the air had reached a frighteningly low amount. It would require at least a couple of months in order for the medicine mountain to recover its richness. There is insufficient energy in this place, the pill refinement has failed. The many elders from the Yao clan felt neither able to laugh nor cry. The embryonic form of the medicinal pills within the medicinal cauldrons of the four figures in the sky were only half complete, but the surrounding natural energy within a 5,000 km radius had all been absorbed. There was no longer enough energy to support their pill refinements. The perfect heavenly state only allowed the four of them to control the natural energy within a 5,000 km radius. Of course, if their souls had advanced to the legendary D state, things would be completely different. At that time, one would be able to control the energy wherever one's spiritual perception could reach for one's own use. It was rumored that during ancient times, those ultimate experts, whose souls had advanced to the legendary D state, could control nearly half of the central plane's energy with their thoughts. Just thinking of this level caused one to feel frightened. The eyelids of Xiao Yan and the three others in the sky were opened at this moment. They looked at the half-completed embryonic medicinal pills within their medicinal cauldrons and frowned. If they were unable to continue drawing energy from the surroundings, just their own Do Qi alone not enough to fill this huge pit. Looks like no one will be able to succeed this time around. Elder One Hua bitterly laughed and shook his head. He, that may not be true. Elder One Hua's words had just sounded when a strange laughter surfaced from Han Huzi in the distance. The seals formed by his hand suddenly changed. Finally, his hand ruthlessly slammed against the fire cauldron in front of him. Three clusters of black flame pillars erupted and turned into three crazily rotating black holes in the air above the fire cauldron. A frightening devouring force surged. The vast and mighty energy that was absorbed by the fire cauldrons belonging to the other three during the last few days had turned into many light pillars that were forcefully swallowed by the black holes. 
Unhuzi, how dare you? The expressions of the three immediately became gloomy upon seeing their energy being sucked away. They had not expected this Hun Husi to be this bold. He had directly targeted them. Old man Shen Nong and Elder Wan Hua furiously cried out. The life spirit flame and the nine serene wind flame immediately swept out and ruthlessly collided with the black holes, but this sudden assault caused the black holes to rotate with increasing speed. The devouring power erupted and swallowed both of their heavenly flames. Old man Shen Nong's and Elder Wan Hua's expressions immediately became ugly after seeing that their obstruction was futile. The life spirit flame might be ranked quite high, but it was more famous for its aiding ability. If they were to really battle, it was impossible for the life spirit flame to be a match for the Nihilagi devouring flame. The nine serene wind flame was merely ranked tenth. It was extremely difficult for this flame to make up the gap between it and the Nihilagi devouring flame. Haha, <laughs> the both of you actually wish to stop my Nihilagi devouring flame with these types of heavenly flames. You must be dreaming. Han Huzi loudly laughed, but his laughter had just sounded when his expression changed. His eyes hurriedly shifted to the black hole above Xiao Yan's fire cauldron. He saw a fire glow shoot out from that fire cauldron. After which, it turned into a fire baby. The fire baby wore an expression of disdain as he waved his small hand. A pink flame surged and wrapped around the black hole. The devouring power of the black hole was eroded by a mysterious purifying force the moment it met the pink flame. The Nihilite devouring flame possessed a devouring power while the purifying demonic lotus flame possessed a purifying force. Although it was difficult to determine which was stronger, the purifying demonic lotus flame in Xiao Yan's hands not only possessed a heavenly flame spirit, it was also a genuine essence flame. On the other hand, Hun Huzi merely controlled a seed flame. It might not be an ordinary seed flame, but it was obvious that it could not compete with the purifying demonic lotus flame that Little E had transformed into. Hun Huzi, thank you for your gift. I will accept the energy within this heavenly flame. Xiao Yan slightly smiled. He purified that black flame into pure energy and poured it into the fire cauldron. Light surged within the fire cauldron and the embryonic medicinal pill became more solid. This brat. Han Huzi's expression sank as he sat in the distance. He had not expected to not only be unable to devour any energy, he had also lost a bit of energy for his seed flame. After suffering such a loss, he could only cease targeting Xiao Yan. Although his Nihi Lighty devouring flame seed flame was hard for old man Shen Nong and Elder Wanwa to deal with, it was clearly far from sufficient to deal with Xiao Yan's purifying demonic lotus flame. Humph, you will not be able to remain pleased for long. Han Huzi's eyes flashed as he coldly laughed. The seal formed by his hands changed and the black holes devouring the energy from old man Shen Nong's and Elder Wan was cauldron suddenly started to devour more. With an increasing amount of energy pouring in, his embryonic medicinal pill became brighter. According to the speed, it was actually showing signs of forming. Soon. A joy flashed across Han Huzi's face when he saw it solidifying. However, the moment joy appeared, a pink flame suddenly rushed over. It turned into a fire baby that stood on his fire cauldron. The baby curled his mouth in disdain. After which, he slammed his palm on the cauldron cover and subsequently grabbed the embryonic pill in front of Han Huzi's stunned eyes before escaping a smoke. You are seeking death. The dullness continued for an instant before Han Huzi's furious roar suddenly rippled across the sky. Chapter 1570, Pill Rain The change of the situation was extremely comical. Little he had suddenly charged into Han Huzi's fire cauldron and grabbed the embryonic medicinal pill that had yet to take shape. This had not only caused Han Huzi to become furious, even Xiao Yan was stunned. This matter had nothing to do with him. Little Li had taken his own initiative. Yao Dan and the many elders from the Yao clan on the stadium watched the scene with a stunned expression. A moment later, their faces twitched. They had comical expressions of wanting to laugh but forcing themselves not to. No one have imagined that Xiao Yan's heavenly flame spirit would be so extreme. Han Huzi had merely snatched some of their energy. Yet, it ruthlessly charged into the other party's fire cauldron and snatched the embryonic pill away. You deserve it. Han Huzi's actions early had irritated the elders from the Yao clan, so they laughed in a soft gloating fashion. Yao Dan, who was in the leader's seat, shook his head without knowing whether or not he ought to laugh or cry. A proper medicinal pill competition had ended up in this strange situation where the competitors snatched from each other. This caused one to feel helpless. This little brat really doesn't follow an ordinary path. Yao Lao chided with a smile. He was unaware that this matter was completely unrelated to Xiao Yan. In front of many gazes, little E in the sky flashed and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. That small fleshy face was laughing. His hands were hugging a light cluster that was larger than his body. If one saw through the light cluster, one would vaguely see a baby-like light figure. This was the embryonic form of the medicinal pill Han Huzi had been refining. Xiao Yan, I will rip you into pieces today. The sound of wind and thunder exploded a short distance away. Han Huzi's face was densely cold. His demeanor from earlier had been destroyed by little E. This was the first time that he that such a thing had happened to him. The embryonic pill he had refined after much hardship had been taken away by little E even before he could see its shape. The fury within his heart could not be described with words. After Hun Huzi's furious cry sounded, a black flame suddenly shot out of his fire cauldron in all directions before it turned into a black fire dragon that crazily rushed towards Xiao Yan. 
Its huge mouth was filled with an endless devouring force. Hun Huzi, since you like energy, this elderly self shall give some to you. A green sea of flames suddenly swept over from below after the black fire dragon rushed forward. Countless huge trees grew almost instantly. After which, they appeared like vines as they entangled the black fire dragon. Old man Shen Nong, you actually dare oppose me. Although this sudden attack did not really harm black fire dragon, it had still managed to obstruct it. Hun Huzi's expression immediately turned cold once the dragon was slowed. He looked at old man Shen Nong in the distance and cried out in a stern voice. This elderly self has already lived for so long. I have never been afraid of anyone. If I have the ability, I wish to eliminate a traitor like you who has betrayed your teacher. Otherwise, you bring shame to the face of all alchemists. Old man Shen Nong coldly laughed as he replied to Han Huzi's sharp cry. His tone appeared quite sharp. Given your strength. Are you sick of living, old fellow? I have not even begun targeting that life spirit flame of yours, yet you dare to provoke me. Han Huzi's eyes were dark and cold. A savage smile lifted on the corner of his eyes. He clenched his large hand and the black fire dragon roared at the sky. It opened its huge mouth toward the green sea of flame below. A devouring power erupted as it swallowed the green sea of flames into its body. Woo. A pale black tornado was ruthlessly swung ruthlessly into Han Huzi's body just as he was about to swallow the sea of flames. A flame exploded and actually sent the black fire dragon flying. Wanhua, is your Yao clan trying to become enemies with my Han clan? Han Huzi's expression became extremely terrifying after being obstructed again. A devouring look shot toward Elder Wanhua in the distance as he demanded in a dense voice. The competition has nothing to do with the clans. Don't tell me that only you are allowed to attack me and I am not allowed to do the same. What a joke. Elder Wanhua waved his sleeve and ridiculed Han Huzi. All right, all right. The corner of Han Huzi's eyes twitched. He ended up laughing from extreme anger. His arm continued to tremble from anger. Strange black flames wiggled like poisonous snakes deep within his eyes. These flames were about to escape from his eyes when Han Huzi appeared to have thought of something. He hesitated for a moment and withdrew his gaze. He coldly laughed, you are thinking of blocking me with the strength of the both of you. The black fire dragon suddenly rushed forward after his voice sounded. It firmly wrapped around the tornado that the nine serene wind flame had turned into. The two enormous creatures wildly churned in the sky. Hot rain made of fire descended from the sky. Fortunately, with the intervention of the elders from the Yao clan, the medicine mountain was not destroyed by the rain made of fire. Xiao Yan watched the three great heavenly flames engage in a chaotic battle a great distance away. He involuntarily felt a little surprised that old man Shen Nong and Elder Wan Hua would intervene and lend him a hand. It seemed that it was really not easy to deal with Han Huzi. There is not much time. I must first extract the energy from this embryonic pill. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's heart. After which, he returned his focus to the embryonic pill from earlier. The energy needed to refine a tier 9 mysterious pill was far too shocking, but if he added Han Huzi's embryonic pill, he would gain a higher chance of success. Snatching the energy from someone else's embryonic pill was an action that could not be undertaken by a regular alchemist because the two types of medicinal pills were different. The pill refinement would end in failure if they were randomly mixed. However, Xiao Yan did not worry about such a concern. With the purifying ability of the purifying demonic lotus flame, anything that entered Little Yi's body would be turned into the purest energy. This included the various medicinal properties in the embryonic pill. Little Yi Little Yi, who possessed a mental connection with Xiao Yan, was aware of the thought that had passed through Xiao Yan's mind. He widened his mouth and devoured the embryonic pill. A vast and mighty energy crazily surged within his body before rapidly swelling. He transformed into a giant baby that remained suspended in the sky. Chi Chi After Little Yi's body swelled, the light cluster within his body brightened. The light cluster then transformed into a huge light pillar that shot into the fire cauldron. The frightening energy contained within the light pillar was so vast and mighty that it caused one's expression to change. Bastard The embryonic pill had finished being refined. Han Huzi, who had some connection with it, immediately sensed something. His eyes turned blood red. A furious cry sounded. His figure charged into the black fire dragon. When his body entered it, the fire dragon's strength immediately soared. The dragon tail was swung, exploding the green sea of fire and the black fire tornado apart. Xiao Yan frowned as he looked at Han Huzi, who had charged over with a surging killing intent. He flicked his finger, and a black light flashed and appeared beside him. The northern king's feet ruthlessly slammed against empty air. Its body appeared like a cannonball as it collided with the black fire dragon. An unusually intense battle erupted. The cluster of light within Little Yi's body slowly dimmed after Xiao Yan summoned the Northern King to fight Han Huzi. Finally, it disappeared. The energy inside his body had been purified and had poured into Xiao Yan's fire cauldron. It's still not enough. Even though the energy within the fire cauldron had become as viscous as a liquid after having devoured Han Huzi's embryonic pill, it still did not show any signs of forming. Xiao Yan frowned upon noticing this resistance. The energy that a tier 9 mysterious pill required was far too frightening. Xiao Yan, the medicinal properties of my embryonic pill were disturbed by Han Huzi. 
Today, I shall give you a blessing. Whether you can refine the tier 9 mysterious pill that I have sought for all my life will depend on your luck. Old man Shen Nong in the distance quickly saw through Xiao Yan's situation while Xiao Yan was feeling a headache because of the issue of energy he waved his hand and a cluster of light flew out of his medicinal cauldron. Finally, it shot toward little E. Thank you Elder Shen Nong. Xiao Yan rejoiced upon seeing the light shooting over. He cupped his hands and thanked old man Shen Nong. Ugh, I have not seen a tier 9 mysterious pill be born for hundreds of years. This time around, I will treat this as an eye-opener. Elder Wan Huo by the side hesitated for a moment after seeing what old man Shen Nong did. Finally, he softly sighed and tossed the embryonic medicinal pill in his medicinal cauldron to Xiao Yan in front of the stunned gazes of many Yao clan elders. Thank you very much. Xiao Yan took another glance at Elder Wan Hua. His heart had formed a good impression of this member of the Yao clan, the first good impression of the entire clan. He cupped both of his hands and ceased delaying. After which, he tossed the two embryonic medicinal pills into Little Yi's body. They immediately turned into two vast and mighty light pillars that shot into his medicinal cauldron. After an incomparably mighty energy poured in, the liquid energy surging within the fire cauldron rapidly melted. A faint light slowly appeared in the middle of the cauldron before filling with liquid energy. Rumble. Dark clouds began to cover the clear sky the moment this tiny light spot appeared. The black mass covered the land. Black thunderbolts, which carried a destructive force, rapidly shuttled through the clouds. The deep roar of rumbling thunder caused many people to reveal stunned faces. It was the first time they had seen such terrifying pill lightning. Xiao Yan lifted his head. His eyes were wildly heated as he looked at the black lightning that covered the sky. His sleeve suddenly shook and the fire cauldron's cover was automatically flipped. A wave of medicinal fragrance that would not scatter swiftly spread apart. In the end, it formed various beads of different lusters that descended from the sky, as though a grand pill rain was occurring. The divine scene made the hearts of many alchemists involuntarily quiver. They actually began to kneel down. Yao Dan in the leader's seat inhaled a deep breath of air as he watched the scene. His voice trembled slightly as he softly muttered. Pill rain descends, Mysteria pill appears. Chapter 1571, Borrowing Jade Da da. Pills poured down from all over the sky and landed on the square, emitting a clear rain droplet-like sound. This kind of pills might not be considered medicinal pills but they are formed from pure energy. Consuming it would be greatly beneficial to one's body. Xiao Yan's body was suspended in the sky. Even with his calmness, his eyes involuntarily revealed an expression of wild joy. He had heard about the phrase, pill rain descend, mysteria pill appears. However, it was the first time he had personally witnessed such a mysterious scene. It has, actually really succeed. Xiao Yan received a medicinal pill with his hand, which trembled slightly. This result had completely exceeded his expectations. Even with his current ability, his chances of success in refining a tier 9 mysterious pill would not exceed 40%. However, if one was to really discuss about this pill refinement, there was indeed some element of luck within it. A medicinal pill contained the energy of four embryonic pills. This kind of matter could be described as extremely rare. The four embryonic pills contained various different medicinal properties. Although most of the medicinal strength had been turned into pure energy after Little Yi's refinement, there was still a trace of medicinal property lingering within it. These slight medicinal properties would merge into Xiao Yan's embryonic pill and mix together. Adding the fierce refinement by the purifying demonic lotus flame, it had underwent a slight change that no one could expect. The result of that change seemed to have made up for some imperfection within the embryonic pill and result in the successful refinement of this pill. If any one of these various coincidences were to be not exist, it was likely that even if Xiao Yan had absorbed the energy from the three embryonic pills, he would likely end up failing. However, there was no ifs in this world. Everyone present would not bother about this kind of imaginary ifs. They could see with their own eyes that Xiao Yan had actually successfully refined a tier 9 mysterious pill. The tier 9 mysterious pill, which no one had successfully refined in hundreds of years, had descended in front of their very own eyes. Rumble. The black lightning like huge python wildly shuttled through the thick dark clouds in the sky. That ferocious heavenly might cause the necks of many to shrink. They were afraid that the black thunderbolt would descend onto their heads. Bang. The thousand feet large fire cauldron suddenly trembled while dark clouds churned in the sky. Immediately, a light pillar erupted into the sky. It was vaguely possible to see an egg-like light cluster within the light pillar. The enormous light pillar was inserted into the thunderclouds in front of many pairs of eyes. Immediately, the thundercloud churned intensely. Many black lightning lingered around the light pillar in a densely packed manner like some howling black pythons. Finally, they ruthlessly smashed towards the cluster of light egg within the light pillar. Bang bang bang. This earth-shaking like strike caused even the entire medicine mountain to tremble. A deafening sound continued to appear unceasingly. Xiao Yan's expression was anxious as he looked at the cluster of light egg under the lightning that covered the sky. Within it was the tier 9 mysterious pill. Once it experienced this lightning tribulation, it would be able to break out and appear. No one was able to aid it in such a matter. Even Xiao Yan could only choose to observe from the side. A tier 9 mysterious pill was different from other medicinal pills, which allowed others to block the pill lightning. 
This kind of mysterious pill required the energy within the lightning to allow them to become completely perfect. Under Xiao Yan's anxious eyes, the cluster of light egg within the light pillar not only did not shatter but had instead become even brighter. Traces of black lightning arcs continued to flash over the egg. Crack. Those wild and fierce explosions continued for over 10 minutes before it gradually showed signs of weakening. The lightning had only just weakened when a slight cracking sound was emitted from the egg. Everyone immediately felt their hearts shook. Their eyes stared intently at the egg. It was possible to see a small crack line suddenly spreading on its surface. Crack crack crack. After the appearance of the first crack line, a domino effect seemed to have been created. An increasing number of crack lines appeared on the egg. Trace of light seeped out from within, causing the egg to be filled with a glaring light. Boom. A black thunderbolt suddenly rushed down from the sky just as the crack lines gradually covered the egg. It ruthlessly smashed onto the egg itself. Immediately, the many crack lines suddenly spread. Finally, it emitted a bang and finally exploded apart. A shocking medicinal fragrance spread in the sky the moment the egg exploded. The medicinal fragrance lingered and agglomerated into the shape of many medicinal herbs, which covered the sky. This appeared extremely mysterious. Swoosh. A light figure suddenly flashed and appeared in the sky while everyone were absent-minded because of this unusual scene in the sky. Immediately, it swiftly rushed out of the medicine mountain with lightning-like speed. The rich medicinal fragrance behind it was so dense that it also appeared to have a form. That is the Tier 9 mysterious pill. It is actually intending to escape. The entire mountain turned into an uproar after this light figure appeared. Countless of people suddenly stood up. Their eyes were heated as they looked at the light figure in the sky. Greed surged from deep within their eyes. There was hardly anyone who could remain calm in the face of the temptation from a tier 9 mysterious pill. Humph. However, an icy cold snort resounded over the sky while greed rose in some people's hearts. This immediately caused their hearts to turn cold. They woke up and hurriedly and quickly withdrew their feet, which was about to step forward. It was likely that trying to snatch the Tier 9 mysterious pill from the hands of someone who had defeated the Chief of the Hall of Soul was not a simple task. A pair of green red bone wings appeared behind Xiao Yan after deterring these people who were ready to cause trouble. His body moved and he appeared in front of the light figure. His hand slammed forward in the process. Yellow Spring Palm An enormous energy handprint suddenly descended from the sky while being accompanied in intense wind pressure. It ruthlessly smashed onto the light figure. The handprint scattered the light on the surface of the figure. A trembling naked figure appeared in front of everyone's eyes. The figure had long black hair with a delicate and gentle beautiful body. Those pretty large eyes contained some horror as they looked at Xiao Yan. That pitiful appearance stirred the protective desire of many people. It already knows how to use this method to confuse others after having just been born. A tier 9 mysterious pill really lives up to its reputation. Xiao Yan's eyes were surprised as he looked at the naked beautiful lady. However, he simply laughed softly and said, a medicinal pill does not have any gender. You have turned into this appearance of yours a moment ago, right? After hearing Xiao Yan's words, the originally pitiful looking beauty was immediately startled. Her body pulled back hurriedly. Xiao Yan took a stride forward and directly appeared in front of the lady. He pointed with his finger and it landed on his forehead with lightning like speed. A spiritual imprint appeared. Following which, the lovely figure of the lady trembled and it gradually became illusory. Finally, it turned into a round medicinal pill the size of a dragon eye with various unusually fragrance lingering over it. Xiao Yan took out a jade bottle from within his storage ring. After placing a few layers of spiritual seals on it, he finally carefully placed this tier 9 mysterious pill inside. This pill had an extremely vast and mighty energy. Unfortunately, it did not know how to use it. Otherwise, even Xiao Yan would not have such an easy time subduing it. Seeing this, Xiao Yan placed the medicinal pill into his storage ring. Many people below revealed an expression of disappointment. However, the former ignored them. He turned around and looked at Han Huzi, who was still engaged in an intense battle with the Northern King. He involuntarily laughed and waved his hand. The northern king pulled back and floated beside him with indifferent eyes. Ha ha, thank you for the gift. Xiao Yan laughed and cupped his hands together towards Han Huzi, old man Shen Nong and elder Wanhua after having kept the northern king. Old man Shen Nong and elder Wanhua smiled faintly upon hearing this. However, Han Huzi's expression was distorted. He did not expect that the embryonic pill, which he had bitterly refined for a couple of days had ended up aiding Xiao Yan. There are talents in every generation. Young friend Xiao Yan's accomplishment in terms of alchemist skills is really breathtaking. It is likely that no one in this alchemist world will be able to compare with you. You are indeed worthy of being the top alchemist. Old man Shen Nong beckoned with his hand. The green sea of flame in the sky turned into a medicinal herb's walking stick and appeared in his hand. He glanced at Xiao Yan and laughed. This Yao Chen is indeed taught an incredible disciple. If I have known this, I would not have allowed Yao Wangui to randomly do as he pleased back then. The many elders from the Yao clan had complicated expressions upon hearing these words. They looked at each other and could only sigh quietly. Regardless of how proud they were, they had no choice but to admit this at this moment. 
Clan head Yao Dan, Xiao Yin still have another request to make today. Xiao Yin glanced at Yao Lao. After which, he looked at Yao Dan on the leader's chair, cupped his hands together and said. I know what you wish to say. Yao Dan's expression was a little complicated. He sighed softly, glanced towards Yao Lao and said, Yao Chen, from today onwards, you are perhaps the most outstanding talent within the Yao clan. You can leave whatever you like on the clan tablet. Thank you clan head Yao Dan. Yao Lao's hand trembled gently. His long cherished wish was finally realized at this moment. Even with his calmness, his heart was still extremely excited. Haha, clan head Yao Dan, I also have a request to make today. Han Huzi in the sky suddenly opened his mouth and laughed with a strange expression the moment Xiao Yan sighed in relief. Oh. Yao Dan frowned slightly. He looked at Han Huzi's expression. A caution surged into his heart. Please speak. The smile on Han Huzi's face became even stranger upon seeing this. He licked his mouth. His next words, however, caused the expressions of everyone to change drastically. I wish to temporarily borrow the Tushi Ancient God Jade from the hands of the Yao clan. Chapter 1572, Shocking Change A rock stirring a giant wave. After Han Huzi uttered these words, the stadium, which had turned into an uproar because of the birth of the Tier 9 mysterious pill, became completely silent. The expressions of all the elders from the Yao clan turned gloomy at that instant. A cold glow flashed within their eyes. Each of the eight ancient clans had one part of the Tushi Ancient God Jade respectively. All of the clans treated it as a great treasure and kept it safe. Even an ordinary elder would not be able to see it. This matter might not appear unusual in the eyes of those who were unaware of it but those who did looked at Han Huzi as though they were watching a lunatic. How would it be possible for the Yao clan to loan such a treasure to him? Could it be that this person had gone crazy? This fellow. Xiao Yan knitted his brow tightly as he looked at Han Huzi. The strange smile on the latter's face caused him to feel that something was not quite right. Uttering such words to the Yao clan was undoubtedly challenging the prestige of the Yao clan, given this fellow's tier 6 Doshin class strength, it was impossible for him to escape from the hands of Yao Dan. Something is not quite right. Xiao Yan's many years of experience had also allowed him to become extremely sensitive. He felt that something was not quite right. This Hun Huzi was not a fool. He should understand just what kind of treatment he would receive from the Yao clan by uttering such words. Yet, he was unafraid. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily sunk slightly after he thought of this. His body moved and he appeared beside Yao Lao. His expression was grave as he softly said, be careful. Yao Lao also nodded gravely. He could sense that this Hun Huzi was a little strange. Elder One Wu's expression was dark and solemn as he stood in the sky. His eyes were filled with murderous intent as he looked at Han Huzi. Once Yao Dan gave the order, he would immediately attack with all his strength and kill this person, who dared to challenge the prestige of the Yao clan in front of so many people. Han Huzi, do you know what you are saying? Yao Dan looked at Han Huzi in the sky from his leader's seat without any expression. However, there was a sharp chill flashing over his eyes. His voice did not contain any emotions as it was slowly emitted from within his mouth. Haha, ha, clan head Yao Dan, the Tushi ancient god Jade is something that brings disaster. It will only bring a calamity to you if it remains in the Yao clan. Handing it to me in exchange for your safety might be a little better, right? Han Huzi laughed. It was as though he did not feel the murderous intent surging within Yao Dan's eyes. Han Huzi, you are acting too fearlessly. Today, I will first capture you and get the clan head of your Han clan to come and bring you back. The expressions of Elder Wan Hua turned completely gloomy as Han Huzi's words sounded. A furious cry sounded. Vast and mighty Do Chi suddenly swept out in all directions. His body flashed and he appeared above Han Huzi's head. A large flame wind gathered into a huge palm as it ruthlessly smashed towards the ladder. It is almost time. Han Huzi merely smiled faintly in the face of the ferocious attack from Elder Wanhua. He lifted his head and looked at the distant sky before muttering to himself. Immediately, a strange grin appeared on the corner of his mouth. The black flame deep within his eyes surged out wildly like a furious dragon, which had been suppressed for a long time. After the black flame surged, Han Huzi's aura also soared suddenly. Bang. Han Huzi waved his sleeve as he stood in the sky. That ordinary palm collided with the enormous wind flame palm. After which, everyone were shocked to find that the wind flame palm was completely devoured into Han Huzi's upon contact. On the other hand, that elder Wanhua, who had a shocking aura, seemed to have suffered from a serious blow. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out and his body flew backwards. Finally, it landed miserably onto the stadium below, smashing and forming a huge deep pit in the process. Haha, <laughs> I have accompanied all of you to play for such a long time. Just treat this as some interest. Han Huzi's long air fluttered in the absence of any wind as he stood in the sky. Both of his eyes had already been completely covered by a black flame, giving him an exceptionally strange appearance. His faint voice resounded over the entire stadium as this occurred. 7 Star Dosheng Everyone's expression had changed drastically at this moment. They looked at Han Huzi in the sky with disbelief. The aura that the latter had emitted earlier had far surpassed Elder Wanhua. This fellow has actually been hiding his strength. 
Don't tell me that he really intends to snatch the ancient jade of the Yao clan. Yao Lao softly said. His expression changed as he watched the scene. Xiao Yan's expression had become extremely grave at this moment. Both of his eyes stared intently at Han Huzi. Since the very beginning, he actually failed to discover that this person was hiding his strength. Even in his fury from having the embryonic pill being snatched away, he was actually able to suppress his strength. This fellow is really scheming, however, could it be that he really wished to snatch the ancient jade from the Yao clan with just his strength? Yao Dan's expression had finally turned completely dark and cold as he stood on the leader's seat. He slowly stood up and stared intently at Han Huzi. He spoke in a dense voice, send the signal. Inform the Yen clan and the Lei clan. Tell them, we have found the perpetrator responsible for the disappearance of the Ling and Shi clan. Everyone had a change in expression after Yao Dan's words sounded. Even Xiao Yan's body trembled suddenly. They lifted their heads and looked at Han Huzi in a shocked manner. It was really, done by the Han clan. Understood. Although those Yao clan's elders trembled after being frightened by Yao Dan's words, they still quickly took out a scroll and swiftly opened it. A spatial fluctuation quickly spread. However, this spatial fluctuation was about to agglomerate into a spatial tunnel when it seemed to have to disturb by something. Immediately, it shook intensely. The tunnel, which had just been formed, disappeared in an instant. Many people in the Yao clan felt their hearts turn cold upon seeing this scene. Some of the elders were quick to react and hurriedly let out the emergency siren within the clan. Immediately, a commotion broke out in the neighboring mountain range had. Densely packed Yao clan's warriors hurriedly broke through the air and arrived like a swarm of locusts. Hun Huzi, what have you done? An elder of the Yao clan cried out in a stern voice. Ugh, it looks as it is completed. Hun Huzi smiled slightly while standing in the sky. He did not even give those Yao clan's warriors, who had hurried over, another glance as he spoke casually, nothing. I have merely locked the Yao clan's realm. A commotion was stirred below after these words sounded. Those various experts, who had come to observe the medicinal ceremony, had a drastic change in expression. They took out their spatial scroll and quickly tore it apart. However, the result was exactly the same as what had happened earlier. Something big is about to happen. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of cool air. His expression had become unprecedentedly ugly. He did not expect that the Hun clan's target would actually be the Yao clan. Moreover, no one had expected that they would come when the Yao clan was holding the medicinal ceremony. Yao Dan's expression was gloomy. His finger pressed on a storage ring and directly shattered it into dust. The ring could specially transfer the fluctuation to the Yen clans and the Lei clans' heads. Only the three clan heads could possess it. Haha, <laughs> clan head Yao Dan, there is no need to waste your effort. Han Huzi laughed. Yao Dan ignored his words. His eyes stared at his finger and indeed saw that the fluctuation, which had appeared at that spot, had begun to randomly roam around like a headless housefly. Clearly, it could not be transmitted out of this place. Yao Dan's heart had completely sunk upon seeing this. Han Huzi, my Yao clan and the Yen clan has already built a spatial tunnel. If they discover that the tunnel has vanished, they will definitely know that something has happened to my Yao clan. The Gu clan will definitely not sit back idly and watch when news spread. If our four clans were to join hands, your Hun clan will definitely be destroyed. Yao Dan's heart might have sunk but he was after all the head of a clan. He immediately recovered his calmness and spoke in a deep voice. My Hun clan is able to eliminate the Ling and Shir clan without the Gu clan detecting anything. Naturally, we can also let your Yao clan quietly vaporize from this world, Hun Huzi spoke in a faint voice. With just you. Yao Dan's body slowly rose into the sky. The frightening aura of a seven-star Doshing erupted without being held back. That powerful pressure was actually even stronger than that Hun Huzi. This strength was indeed worthy of the head of a clan. Elder Hun Huzi, this is a matter between your Hun clan and Yao clan. It has nothing to do with us. I hope that you will show mercy and allow us to leave. We will definitely repay you in the future. Those many chiefs and elders from the various sects, who had come to observe the medicinal ceremony, hurriedly cried out respectfully when Yao Den rose to the sky. At this moment, they had also felt some panic. The previous example of how the Shur and Ling clans were completely wiped off allowed them to understand that they would definitely die if they were to be dragged into this matter. Haha, that is only naturally. Those who are not from the Yao clan can leave. I will not stop you. Han Huzi smiled warmly and said after hearing this. Thank you, elder. Many people from the various sects rejoiced upon seeing this. They did not dare to utter any unnecessary words as they turned around and rushed towards the entry to the Yao realm with all their strength. Xiao Yan looked at the backs of these people and frowned slightly. Having dealt with the Han clan many times before, Xiao Yan naturally understood just how ruthless these people were. It was clearly impossible for them to allow anyone to leave. Haha. This thought had only just flashed across Xiao Yan's heart when countless of black light flashed over the distant horizon. Miserable cries immediately sounded. Howl howl. Everyone was shocked to see an endless black flame seeping out from the emptiness while the black light flashed in the distance. Finally, it spread in all directions and covered this entire place. Everything became dark almost instantly. This is, the genuine Nihilite devouring flame. 
Xiao Yan looked at the black flame seeping out from within the emptiness. His eyes suddenly shrunk. Little Li had also opened its eyes within his body. That tender little face was unusually grave. Clearly, even it had sensed an intense danger. Hun Huzi was suspended in the sky. There was a monstrous black flame behind him. He smilingly lowered his head and looked at Yao Dan. Both of his arms were slowly widened. The smile on his face became increasingly strange. Yao Dan, I am honored to announce to you that the Yao clan is finished. Chapter 1573, Actual Form The black flame blotted out the sun. This entire place was enveloped by it. Under the cover of this black flame, everyone below suddenly felt the Dou Qi within their bodies beginning to gradually disappear. It was as though there was something invisible continuously devouring the Dou Qi within their bodies. This discovery immediately caused countless of people to become terrified. From the fate of those who had attempted to flee earlier, it was clear that the Han clan did not intend to leave behind any survivors. Hence, this entire mountain range had become chaotic at this moment. No one could have expected that an ordinary medicinal ceremony would actually end up turning into this. Be careful, the entire place is filled with extremely tiny Nihilite devouring flame. Even Dou Qi cannot block this thing. Xiao Yan's hand landed on Yao Lao's shoulder. Pink flame covered the both of them. The fire lotus deep within his eyes rotated. Based on his eyesight, this place was current filled with tiny black light spots which could not be detected with the naked eyes. These light spots would land on one's body like maggots in one's bones. After which, they would continue to devour the Dou Qi within one's body. In the face of this kind of devourment, it would be completely useless for these people to use Dou Qi to cover their bodies. Those black light spots would quietly merge into the Dou Qi defense the moment they made contact with it. The realm has been sealed. It looks like the Hun clan does not intend to leave anyone alive. Yao Lao spoke with a grave face. Are these people finally planning on acting after being quiet for such a long time? Xiao Yan frowned tightly. It seemed that they had terrible luck. They had actually walked directly into the hands of the Hun clan. However, they did not have any choice. Even if they could guess that the Hun clan would attack the Yao clan, they would not be able to guess that the Hun clan would strike at this moment, when it was most impossible for them to act. Looks like the low profile the Hun clan has kept during this period of time is related to this matter. They had also been unusually quiet when the Shur clan had vanished the last time. Yao Lao was a little vexed as he said. He had actually failed to consider this. Originally, he thought that after the Yao clan, Yan CLA, and Lei clan formed an alliance, their lineup would cause the Hun clan to carefully consider their actions before they act. Unexpectedly, they had still failed to block the schemes of the Han clan despite this. No wonder the Han clan did not dispatch any experts despite seeing the Sky Mansion Alliance destroy the Han clan. It is likely that despite being cautious of the Gu clan, they were also preparing to attack the Yao clan. Xiao Yan also nodded. Now that this had happened, he had also gained answers to some of the doubts that he had before. It was not that the Han clan did not wish to kill him. Instead, it was because the latter had more important things to do. Between the matter of killing Xiao Yan and dealing with the Yao clan, the Hun clan would naturally choose the latter. In their eyes, Xiao Yan might be strong but he was still far from able to reach the level of the Yao clan. What should we do now? Yao Lao asked in a deep voice. If this situation today was not handled properly, the both of them would end up meeting a mishap. From the way the Hun clan was able to quietly eliminate the Ling and Shur clan, the former's strength should have far exceeded their expectations. All we can do is wait quietly and observe the situation. If the Hun clan really intends to attack, the Yao clan will definitely retaliate. At that time, we will take the opportunity to find a way to escape. Xiao Yan replied in a deep voice. He did not have some grand thought of rescuing the Yao clan. This was because they were currently unable to even take care of themselves. Where would they get the mood to bother about the Yao clan? Whether the Yao clan could overcome this great calamity would depend on their fate. Yao Lao also nodded quietly. Although he was also a member of the Yao clan, his feelings for them was far too thin. He might feel a little terrible that the Yao clan had met with such a disaster but he would not demand that Xiao Yan rescue them because of it. In his heart, Xiao Yan's position was far more important this foreign and cold clan. Yao Lao floated in the sky. He looked at the monstrous black flame in the sky that spread to the horizon. His expression was also extremely gloomy. He could sense an extremely terrifying aura from within. All members of the Yao clan, listen up. Activate the heaven transforming Yao formation. Yao Den inhaled a deep breath of air. A decisive stern cry resounded. This time around, he could sense a danger that he had never detected before. Such a danger allowed him to understand that the survival of the Yao clan would be determined today. The hearts of all the members of the Yao clan trembled after Yao Dan's stern cry sounded. The heaven transforming Yao formation was the Yao clan's guardian formation. This was the first time it was activated since the ancient times. From this, one could tell just what kind of great danger had befallen the Yao clan. Buzz buzz. All the elders from the Yao clan rapidly shot out numerous light pillars that shot into this mountain range at this moment. Immediately, the mountain shook. Many huge light pillars broke out from the mountain. Finally they entwined with each other and formed a huge strange formation. All the precious medicinal ingredients on this moment withered the moment this formation was formed. Endless energy erupted and poured into that large formation. Swish swish swish. 
At this moment, almost everyone from the Yao clan and gathered the Dou Qi within their bodies into a light pillar, which shot into the huge formation from all directions. The light formation brightened and a terrifying pressure similar to that of a walking huge dragon that was in a slumber for thousands of years, was emitted. The entire Yao realm trembled intensely as this pressure was released. Vast and mighty energy continued to gather in the direction of the formation. What a terrifying pressure. By being within the large formation, even Xiao Yan's expression had become grave as he looked at the bright glaring huge light formation. This kind of pressure could likely be comparable with an eight-star elite Doshen. The foundation of this Yao clan was indeed extraordinary. This is the Yao clan's guardian formation. It has never been activated. Unexpectedly, this time around. Yao Lao's expression was complicated as he looked at the light formation and said, it is rumored that this formation was created by the Yao clan's founding ancestor. A trace of his soul fragment had been left behind. If it is activated, it might be able to block the Han clan. Founding Ancestor The corner of Xiao Yan's eyes twitched. The only one who could be called the Yao clan's founding ancestor was likely the elite Dodi, who had founded the Yao clan. Ha ha, is this the Yao clan's guardian formation? Its strength is indeed much stronger than the Ling and Shi clan. Han Huzi looked at the somewhat frightening energy surging within the large formation below. He turned around in front of the many pairs of eyes and bowed towards the monstrous black flame. He respectfully said, Nihi Lighty sir, you might perhaps have to intervene in order to break this formation. After Han Huzi's respectful voice sounded, it was possible to see that the black flame behind him had actually begun to wiggle slowly. The black climb climbed and slowly agglomerated into a human figure. Finally, it appeared in front of the countless pairs of eyes. Black flame covered that figure while many strange black symbols covered his body. His eyes appeared just like black holes and were filled with a terrifying devouring power. He stepped on the black flame and stood in the sky. Due to him being covered by the black flame, his appearance was somewhat vague. However, waves of extremely ancient and strange aura slowly appeared in this place when it appeared. Woo woo. The Nihi Lighty devouring flame all over the place emitted some strange wine after the black flame person appeared. It was as though they were respectfully welcoming their owner. Nihi Lighty devouring flame. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at seemingly demon-like figure. His heart suddenly pounded intensely. Given his understanding of the heavenly flame, he was naturally able to immediately identify that this figure was the actual body of the Nihi Lighty devouring flame. The true Nihi Lighty devouring flame. This Nihi Lighty devouring flame has actually also formed a heavenly flame spirit. Yao Lao looked at Xiao Yan. His mouth was dry. This Nihi Lighty devouring flame and the purifying demonic lotus flame in the demonic flame realm were similar existences. It was even a little stronger than the purifying demonic lotus flame. What a terrifying aura, this fellow is stronger than even Yao Dan. Xiao Yan licked his mouth. A great storm surged within his heart. This was the first time that he had ever met such a powerful heavenly flame. It was likely that this fellow had existed for an even longer time than the purifying demonic lotus flame. The demonic god-like powerful figure slowly lowered his head in front of the countless pairs of shocked eyes. He looked at the large formation with a vast and mighty strength below. Monstrous black flame churned intensely above his head. Finally, it turned into densely packed black fire rain that descended towards the large formation from all directions. Chi Chi White smoke began to erupt from the formation as the black fire rain fell. Everyone could sense that the energy within the formation was being devoured by the fire rain. Yao clan, you will still be able to survive if you surrender. We still have some use for your Yao clan. Black fire rain came pouring down from the sky. The lush green mountain range immediately turned yellow. It appeared as though all life had been devoured. At the same time, a hoarse voice, which caused even one soul to tremble, was slowly emitted from that demon-like figure. It will not be so easy to swallow my Yao clan. Yao Dan's face revealed a ferocity at this moment. He let out a stern cry and countless of light pillars gushed out from the medicine mountain and directly charged into the formation. From the corner of Xiao Yan's eyes, he could clearly see that there was actually various different medicinal pills packed densely together within the light pillar. The frightening numbers caused him to inhale breath of cold air. It seemed that the Yao clan had completely used all of their collection. With the surging of a sea of medicinal pills into the formation, a decisive expression also surged onto Yao Dan's face. Tens of thousands of pills forming the sky. In the name of the pills, founding ancestor return. Chapter 1574, Yao Di's Soul Fragment Bang bang bang. Countless medicinal pills rushed into the large formation from all directions. They were quickly turned into powerful energy. At the end, one could see that the energy within the large formation seemed to have turned into a liquid sea. Lightning-like loud sound was being emitted as it flowed. Founding Ancestor Return Yao Dan's hands formed many seals. His expression was ferocious as he suddenly cried out sternly. Crash. After the stern cry sounded, a swirl quickly appeared at the middle of the formation. An endless amount of liquid energy continued to surge into it. At the same time, an extremely ancient aura also slowly spread from within the swirl. The swirl rotated rapidly before quietly disappearing. At this moment, a linen-clothed illusory elderly figure appeared. Buzz. 
All the members of the Yao clan suddenly felt their souls trembling violently the moment the illusory old man appeared. A kind of pressure that originated from their bloodline immediately caused the countless figures present on this mountain to kneel down. Founding Ancestor The many Yao clan's elders were so greatly affected that tears flowed from their eyes. Their faces appeared a little crazy because of the excitement. Under the stimulation of their bloodline, the figure was just like a god, which they could not offend, in their hearts. Is this the Yao clan's founding ancestor soul fragment? Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he looked at the figure. Even with his perfect heavenly state soul, he felt some difficulty breathing under the figure. This was merely a soul fragment that had remained for a seemingly endless amount of time. It was difficult to imagine just what kind of level a true elite Dodi would possess. Yao Lao's body trembled slightly as stood beside Xiao Yan. He looked at the illusory figure at the middle of the large formation with eyes that were filled with fear and respect. Hun Huzi's eyes also became grave as he stood in the sky. The pressure that the illusory figure gave him was incomparably strong. This Yao clan was indeed not as easy to deal with as the Ling and Shi clan. Regardless of how it struggled, however, it would also have difficult escaping from the same fate. Ugh, Yao Di. Those black hole-like eyes of the black flame human figure beside Hun Huzi also stared at this illusory figure. A moment later, he emitted a soft sigh with some unknown feelings. Unfortunately, the ultimate expert from back then is currently just a soul fragment. Founding ancestor, please bless our Yao clan. Yao Din knelt down in the sky and let out a low respectful cry. Yao clan. The old man in rough linen clothes within the formation let out a low mutter. The long flow of time had left his little remaining memories to become increasingly blurry. However, it was fortunate that he still had a memory of the clan he had founded. Those extremely ancient eyes slowly swept over the area below. Finally, a mutter was emitted. It has actually declined until such an extent. An ashamed expression immediately rose onto Yao Dan's face after hearing the low mutter of the illusory old man. Although the current era was different from the ancient era, he did not voice any excuses. This is. Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. The illusory old man did not speak to any of the members of the Yao clan. He slowly lifted his head and looked at the black flame, which covered the sky. A lost expression once again flashed across both of his eyes. He waved his sleeve and a light appeared on the formation. Those black flames, which were adhered onto it while devouring energy, were being forcefully scattered by him. Without a complete memory and without a complete soul. Your muddy state is just like that of a puppet. The Yao Di has actually also turned into such a state. It's just as well. By capturing this remnant soul of yours, it would at least surpass that of a million complete souls. The Nihi Lighty devouring flame smiled faintly in the sky. His tone did not contain the least bit of fear and respect. His hand was extended and his finger, which was covered with black symbols, pointed below. Bang. The entire place immediately crumbled as the Nihi Lighty devouring flame pointed his finger forward. A huge black flame finger that seemed to cover half of the mountain range, descended from the black flame, which spread over the sky. It ruthlessly pressed towards the formation this entire space seemed to have completely cracked under the finger. The expressions of many turned ashen upon seeing this terrifying might. The black finger descended from the sky. However, it was just about to land on the large formation when the linen-clothed old man finally lifted his hand. A medicinal cauldron that did not lose to the huge finger in size appeared above the formation. The medicinal cauldron was covered with various mysterious lines. At a glance, it appeared as though it was real. An ancient aura spread from it. Hum. The huge finger heavily pressed onto the large cauldron. Immediately, a humming sound resounded across the sky. Grug. Some of the weaker individuals immediately spat out a mouthful of fresh blood under the frightening humming sound. Some of their eardrums were even blasted apart. Blood continued to flow out from their ears, giving them an extremely miserable appearance. The large finger scattered as the two collided. That medicinal cauldron had also become a lot more illusionary. The old man's figure had also paled slightly. Clearly, he had exhausted a great amount of energy. Just how many times a mere soul fragment can block me? The Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame laughed faintly after his attack failed. His finger continued to press on the empty air. Immediately, the entire area shook. A couple of huge fingers descended from the sky and continuously struck violently onto the huge cauldron. Hum hum hum. A couple of crack lines were actually formed on the huge cauldron as this earth-shaking sound appeared. Everyone from the Yao clan, pour all of your Dou Qi into the formation. Yao Dan's expression had changed drastically after seeing that the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame was actually unafraid of the founding ancestor soul fragment. He let out a stern cry. Immediately, the Dou Qi within his body turned into a bright light pillar that shot into the formation. Countless light pillars also erupted from the other places. Immediately, the huge cauldron once again became real like. Moreover, it had actually directly flew out of the formation and whistled towards the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame in the sky this time around. Han Huzi's expression changed after he saw the huge cauldron rushing over. His body hurriedly hid behind the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. You have the strength of the Yao clan, so do I. The tone of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame was still calm. With a wave of his sleeve, the entire Yao realm immediately began to tremble. 
Everyone was shocked to see that there were dense black flame clusters rising from outside this formation. Finally, they entered the black flame in the sky. Immediately, countless of miserable cries resounded over this place. It's the descendant citizens of the Yao clan. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically. Those densely packed light clusters encompassed countless of wildly struggling human figures. These people were all the descendant citizens of the Yao clan. The moment they were being sucked into the black flame clouds, Xiao Yan could see that their bodies were turned into blood, which were completely devoured. What ruthless method! He didn't even let those descendant citizens off. Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly. There were at least millions of descendant citizens in this Yao realm. Yet, all of them were devoured by the Nihilite devouring flame. Hun clan, Yuru Hun clan will be an irreconcilable enemy of my Yao clan. The shocking change outside of the formation was also detected by Yao Dan. His eyes cracked slightly as his vicious and mad roar resounded over the entire place. The Nihilite devouring flame completely ignored Yao Dan's roar. He clenched his hand and a blood ball was formed. Immediately, it swelled at a terrifying speed. The members of the Yao clan could clearly sense a familiar scent from within the blood ball. Explode. The Nihilite devouring flame waved his hand after the blood ball swelled to 10,000 feet. Finally, it heavily collided with the huge cauldron flying over. A blood light covered the entire sky at that moment. Everyone seemed to have turned deaf at that moment. However, the blood red color, which filled their eyes, allowed them to understand that this extermination light clash was not an illusion. Bang. An indescribable frightening energy attack swept wildly from the sky. Many crack lines were formed from the explosion upon contact. Finally, it completely disappeared under the wild devourment of the black flame. The remaining annihilation force swept down and ruthlessly smashed onto the formation. Boom. The formation trembled violently as this force swept down. A liquid-like energy filled it as it scattered at a shocking speed. The formation is about to break. Looking at the increasingly pale large formation, the hearts of everyone from the Gu clan quickly became icy cold. They did not expect that this formation that was formed from the strength of their entire clan was actually unable to block this terrifying existence. The rough linen clothed illusory old man at the middle of the formation also softly sighed as he watched the scene. His mutter drifted into everyone's ears. This calamity cannot be avoided. His figure suddenly rushed out of the formation after his voice sounded. It turned into an illusory ray of light that cut through the black flame cloud with a speed exceeding the speed of light. Finally, it shot into the body of the Nihilite devouring flame. Bang. The collision between the two merely emitted a somewhat soft muffled sound. However, the body of the Nihilite devouring flame trembled intensely. Soon after, his tone finally revealed a little fury for the first time. You, damn old ghost, disappear from this world. Black flame surged out from within his body in all directions. Immediately, a slight sound was emitted. It was as though a soul was shattered. The sound was soft but the bodies of all the members of the Yao clan stiffened at this moment. They could sense that there was something which was quietly vanishing from their bloodline. Founding Ancestor Yao Dan's scarlet eyes dully looked at the sky. It was as though his belief had crumbled at this moment. Crack. The formation began to tremble even more intensely in front of the stunned expression of everyone from the Yao clan. Finally, it emitted a crack sound and exploded in front of many shocked eyes. The formation has been broken. Chapter 1575, Tunling, Devouring Soul Even this Yao clan's guardian formation had finally crumbled under the frightening energy assault that could destroy the world. It turned into countless of light spots that poured down from the sky. The luster emitted from them highlighted the many dull and stunned faces below. Despite having used all of their strength, they were still unable to change their fate. Many people felt terrified and hopeless under that demon god-like figure in the sky. Xiao Yan's expression was solemn as he watched the scene. The Dou Qi within his body began to circulate quietly. A black light flashed beside him and the Northern King once again appeared. He also took a couple of steps back and stood beside Yao Lao. This danger was likely the most intense one he had ever come across. Even he did not have an absolute confidence to escape from this dragnet placed by the Hun clan. Yao Lao withdrew his eyes, which were looking at the sky. There was some moisture in them. Even though he did not have a deep feeling towards the Yao clan, the illusory figure from earlier was a godlike existence towards all the members of the Yao clan. Anyone with the bloodline of the Yao clan would sense an extremely important thing had suddenly disappeared after witnessing its complete destruction. You should leave first if anything goes wrong. The Sky Mansion Alliance cannot do without you. Moreover, you still have to rescue your father. Yao Lao spoke in a hoarse voice. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly but he did not speak. Those dark black eyes of his, however, revealed a determined expression. Teacher, be rest assured. Xiao Yan softly uttered those words after musing quietly. However, he did not know just what he meant by, be rest assured. Yao Dan, who stood in the midair, slowly stood up in front of the countless pairs of eyes. The disappearance of that soul fragment had caused a huge hole to appear in his heart. However, he was after all the clan head. Hence, he swiftly suppressed his lost feeling. A low voice resounded beside the ears of all the members of the Yao clan. 
All clan members, now is the time when the fate of our Yao clan will be determined. The only thing we can do is to risk everything to preserve our bloodline. All elders, fight alongside me. Human figures rushed out from the mountain range in all directions after Yao Dan's final stern cry sounded. There were not only elders of the Yao clan present. Even some of the younger generation of the Yao clan had charged forward with reddened eyes. They understood that if they were unable to endure through this calamity, the Yao clan would completely disappear in history. The Yao clan was their root. Once they lose this root, they would end up roaming around without a home. All the glory and pride that they once had would be annihilated. Charge Yao Dan's body trembled as he looked at the densely packed human figures charging up the sky. Monstrous Dou Qi erupted from within their bodies without holding back. Finally, it turned into a 10,000 feet large Dou Qi pillar that whistled out. Its momentum was shocking as it rushed towards the Nihilite devouring flame in the sky. Swoosh swoosh. Countless of Dou Qi pillars of different strength rushed forward together behind the 10,000 feet large Dou Qi pillars. They were accompanied by a determination as they shot towards the Nihilite devouring flame from all directions. Xiao Yan's eyes became grave as he watched the Dou Qi, which had covered the sky. This kind of mighty retaliation was indeed worthy of the Yao clan. However, that person was far too terrifying. From his guess, the actual body of the Nihilite devouring flame had likely reached the extremely frightening 8 or even 9 star Doshin class. Otherwise, it would be impossible for him to destroy the Yao clan's guardian formation. Moreover, even the Yao Di soul fragment had been scattered. The strength of the Hun clan is actually this frightening. No wonder it was able to quietly eliminate the Ling and Chir clan. Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly. Moreover, the Nihilite devouring flame was the only one which had appeared this time around that mysterious clan head has yet to appear. Perhaps he was preventing the Gu clan from detecting anything. Even though this was the case, just this alone had forced the Yao clan into such a state. The strength that the Han clan hid was really shocking. Han Huzi looked at the bright Dou Qi pillars that filled his eyes from the sky. His expression was slightly altered. If he was to even touch such an attack, it was likely that he would immediately be seriously injured. After all, this attack had basically gathered the full strength of the entire Yao clan. The eyes of Nihilite devouring flame beside Han Huzi, who was wrapped within a black flame, also fluctuated slightly because of those black hole-like eyes. Clearly, even he did not dare to easily slight this retaliation from the Yao clan. His palms, which was covered in strange symbols, were once again extended from within the black flame. After which, they formed many seals with lightning-like speed. The black flame that covered the sky churned intensely. Finally, it formed a hundred thousand feet large black hole swirl. An indescribable frightening devouring force appeared the moment the swirl was formed. It erupted in all directions as it did so. Bang bang. In the face of such a frightening devouring power, the land within a hundred thousand feet immediately crumbled. Many ten thousand feet large crack lines spread from the ground. They were just like ferocious wounds, which covered the spacious area. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Many large dochi pillars continuously charged into the black hole like swirl. A low and deep explosion resounded within the back hole. Such a frightening energy assault caused even the incomparably large swirl to form some intense fluctuation. The black flame over the body of the Nihilite devouring flame continued to explode and form clusters of flames the moment the black hole fluctuated. His body staggered dozens of steps backwards. Han Huzi's expression changed upon seeing this. It is indeed not easy to deal with this Yao clan. That Yao Di soul fragment might have been scattered but it had ended up causing the Nihilite sir to be injured. Now, the clan has gathered all of its strength and attacked. Even someone as strong as him has been pushed back. Han Huzi's eyes flickered rapidly. The body of the Nihilite devouring flame also stabilized. The black flame lingering over his body had diminished significantly as compared to earlier. It seemed that he was not feeling good about the all-out retaliation of the Yao clan. The Yao clan is not bad. You are indeed much stronger compared to the Ling and Chir clan. However, this will not change your final fate. The Nihilite devouring flame steadied himself and looked downwards. His ancient hoarse voice was slowly emitted at the same time. After the hoarse voice of the Nihilite devouring flame slowly sounded, the black flame, which spread across the sky, slowly revealed many egg-like balls. Black flame surrounded the ball. Many faint black light suddenly seeped out from the black flame cloud layer and rushed into that egg. Bang. Bang. Those densely packed light eggs suddenly exploded as the blood light entered. Immediately, many sharp screech resounded over the sky. Densely packed black fire figures poured down from the sky like a storm. After which, they crazily charged towards the mountain range below. Everyone within the mountain range had a drastic change in expression as they looked at the black flame figures hurrying over in close proximity. Immediately, they circulated their dochi. However, their dochi had only just risen when a black light flashed in front of them. Many people felt a pain in their chest. After lowering their heads, they saw that there was already a huge bloody hole on their chest. Fresh blood and internal organs shot out from it. What are these things? Xiao Yan's expression was a little gloomy. He randomly rabbed a black flame figure. These things possessed the bodies of a human. However, those hollow scarlet eyes and the sharp wild beast-like claws allowed him to understand that there was quite a big difference between these things and humans. 
These things are able to devour the flesh and dochi of people. Yao Lao exclaimed. There were also a couple of black flame figures that had been blasted into clusters of black blood under his feet. The entire mountain range descended into chaos in the face of these strange black flame creatures' attack. Intense fights broke out everywhere. Miserable screeches continued to appear while scarlet blood dyed the land red. Yao Den looked at the Medicine Mountain, which had swiftly descended into chaos, from the Madare. His expression was extremely gloomy. With a wave of his sleeve, frightening Do Chi began to erupt and directly killed the hundreds of black flame creatures near him. After which, he grabbed with his hand and caught hold of a black flame creature. His eyes suddenly shrunk after he observed it for a moment. Finally, he violently inhaled a breath of cool air. Tunling Clan. How is it possible that such a clan still exist? Won't they completely eliminate it during the ancient era? Tunling Clan. Below him, Xiao Yan, who had heard Yao Dan's shocked roar, knitted his brow slightly. He mused for a moment while feeling some uncertainty. After which, he exchanged glances with Yao Lao and saw that the other party also had a lost expression. Clearly, the latter was also unaware of this so-called Tunling clan. Haha, you are indeed worthy of being the clan head of the Yao clan. Now, do you understand why my Han clan has attacked you? Han Huzi laughed in a faint voice. His eyes were extremely sinister as he looked at Yao Dan. No wonder, no wonder your Hun clan continues to exist since the ancient times despite the gradual decline of many clans. Yao Dan was incomparably shocked as he looked at the Nihilite devouring flame in the sky. It appeared as though he had discovered some extremely frightening thing. Soon after, his body suddenly appeared below. With a wave of his hand, dozens of young members of the Yao clan were grabbed in his hand. Elders of the Yao clan. Self-destruct and destroy the realm. We can die but we must ensure that the seeds of the Yao clan's bloodline survives. Many experts from the Yao clan in the sky trembled after hearing this heartbreaking stern cry. Grief and determination flashed across their faces. Between the destruction of the clan and sacrificing themselves to retain their bloodline, they did not hesitate to choose the latter. At this moment, Xiao Yan also inhaled a deep breath of air. He grabbed Yao Lao's arm. Both of his eyes were stern. It was time. Chapter 1576, Clan Extermination War The many experts from the Yao clan in the sky suddenly emitted an extremely bright luster from within their bodies. The Dou Qi within their bodies had become extremely wild and violent at this moment. They actually intends to self-destruct. Han Huzi's expression changed slightly upon seeing this. If this many experts were to self-destruct, even the sealed realm might be torn open. However, the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame had already turned into countless of Tunling at this moment and was unable to stop them. Humph, it is not so easy to escape under the eyes of our Han clan. Han Huzi's eyes became gloomy. He rapidly took out a scroll with a rising black flame from his storage ring. After which, he suddenly tore it apart. Black flame surged and directly formed a flame tunnel. Many figures rushed out from within it and appeared in the sky of this chaotic place. Haha, it is unexpected that you have actually ended up in such a state in this meeting of ours. Waves after waves of vast and mighty dark chilly auras spread over the sky after the many black figures came out from the tunnel. Such a might caused the hearts of everyone in this already dangerous state to sink. Had the Hun clan's experts finally showed themselves? The activity in the sky was also detected by Yao Dan. He suddenly lifted his head and gathered towards the leader of the many black figures. There were two elders standing at that spot. At this moment, the two of them were smilingly looking at him. Their smiles were filled with an iciness. Hun Jing, Hun Yan, two of the four demon saints of the Hun clan has actually appeared together. Your Hun clan really thinks highly of my Yao clan. The elder leading the group laughed faintly upon hearing the low and vicious voice of Yao Dan. He said, Yao Dan, the alchemist skills of your Yao clan does still have some use for our Hun clan. If you agree to the Yao clan being an affiliated clan of my Hun clan, you might still be able to preserve some bloodline. Even if my Yao clan was to sacrifice our last drop of blood, we will definitely not live in a humiliating manner under your Han clan. Yao Den spoke in a dense voice. Being a member of the Yao clan, they possess their own pride. No one would agree with that whatever affiliation. In that case, we can only kill all of you. The elder was unsurprised at Yao Dan's words. He grinned slightly and waved his hand. He spoke in a soft voice, do not leave any survivors. Understood. The many experts from the Han clan behind immediately revealed a ferocity in their eyes upon hearing this. They let out a savage laughter. Immediately, majestic Do Chi erupted and rushed downwards from all directions. Explode. Seeing the experts from the Hun clan attacking, the light on the body of an elder of the Yao clan suddenly became extremely bright. Immediately, an extremely wild and violent energy wildly exploded in the sky. Some of the experts from the Hun clan, who had been struck, immediately spat out blood and pulled back rapidly. Bang. 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 After the first expert from the Yao clan self-destructed, it seemed to have suddenly lit the blood of the many members of the Yao clan. Immediately, light surged within the bodies of many. Finally, they shot through the sky like falling stars and self-destructed at the same spot simultaneously. Boom boom. A frightening extermination storm had flattened this entire mountain range in an instant. 
Tens of thousands of feet large deep streams crack lines began to spread like a spider web. In the face of such a frightening self-destruct attack, the realm, which had originally been completely sealed, had actually once again become distorted, there were some tiny cracks vaguely appearing. Continue. Yao Dan's eyes revealed a joyous expression after seeing that the space had finally been altered slightly. However, an endless sadness was hit under this joy. Who would have expected that this Yao clan, which had been completely peaceful a day ago, would actually end up with tens of millions of descendant citizens being killed and many clan members being dead or seriously injured? The danger of the clan being exterminated still covered over them. At this moment, the only thing that they could do was to for their clan members to self-destruct and enable the bloodline to continue. After hearing the stern cry, many experts from the Yao clan continued to unhesitatingly self-destruct. Humph. Hun Jing in the sky let out a cold snort. He waved his sleeve. Monstrous black aura surged out with lightning-like speed. It immediately turned into a large hand that threw those members of the Yao clan, who wanted to self-destruct at a certain spot, far away. In this way, those Yao clan's experts, which had exploded in the other areas had sacrificed themselves to no avail. Wan Hua. Yao Dan cried out explosively after seeing Hun Jing intervening. Elder Wan Hua, who was covered in blood a short distance away, had directly shot upwards after hearing Yao Dan's cry. A couple of extremely powerful elders from the Yao clan also followed. The Dou Qi within their bodies had boiled completely at this moment. Their auras suddenly soared as their Dou Qi boil. This would be their final battle. A battle to protect the members of their clan. I can stop them alone. Han Huzi laughed coldly after seeing Elder Wan Hua and the rest use a secret technique to cause boil their Dou Qi and cause their aura to soar. His body moved and appeared in front of Elder Wan Hua. He waved his hand and black flame surged. Just his strength alone was sufficient to drag Elder Wan Hua and the others into a battle with him. Seeing that miserable and tragic battle, Xiao Yan had also involuntarily tightened his fist. Was this the clan extermination war? The Xiao clan back then had likely also experienced the same scene. In order to ensure that their bloodline lived on, these people were willing to give up everything. They did not feel any regret even if they had to self-destruct. At this moment, the private grudge between all of them had already vanished. Those clan members who once had some conflict with each other, were willing to self-destruct in order to protect the other. Dam Hun Clan The scarlet color within Yao Dan's eyes became even more intense after seeing that even Elder Wan Hua's group had been held back. His eyes swiftly swept around the place and finally paused in the direction of Xiao Yan a short distance away. His body immediately moved and appeared in front of the latter. With a wave of his hand, over a dozen members of the Yao clan appeared beside Xiao Yan. These people were a little familiar to Xiao Yan. This was because they were the group of young people who had obtained the best result on the medicinal ceremony. Xiao Yan, the experts from my Yao clan will self-destruct to tear open the realm and provide you with a chance to escape. I have never begged anyone in my life but this time around, I beg that you help me preserve some of the Yao clan's bloodline. Yao Dan's eyes were blood red as they stared at Xiao Yan. His voice spoke in an anxious and hurried manner. A short distance from Xiao Yan was that old man Shen Nong, who had quite a good relationship with him. However, he did not choose the latter. This was because his instincts vaguely told him that only Xiao Yan had the ability to help him preserve the bloodline. Moreover, he did not have any other choice at this moment. In order to preserve a little of the clan's bloodline, he was willing to even self-destruct. This sudden unexpected occurrence caused Xiao Yan to be startled. He looked at the blood-red eyes of Yao Dan and felt his heart become stuffy. Regardless of what had happened, the latter was still a qualified clan head. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He glanced at Yao Lao. The latter's eyes were a little moist. However, he did not say anything. Clan head, allow me to stay. I will fight with these damn bastards. Bloody tears crossed Yao Tian's face. He had personally saw his father being killed by a couple of experts from the Han clan. At this moment, all he knew was that he should try his best to kill the members of the Han clan and take revenge for his father. Slap. A slap was violently swung onto Yao Tian's face after his words sounded. Yao Tian looked at Yao Tian ferociously. He roared like a wild beast, what can you useless individuals do by staying behind? Countless members of the clan has self-destructed to provide you with the opportunity to escape. How can you face them? Yao Tian held his half-swollen face. He bit his lips. Blood continued to seep out from the corner of his mouth. Yao Ling by his side, who was just like a goddess in the hearts of the younger members of the Yao clan, was also crying. After having experienced the unexpected occurrence today, they finally understood that they were just like a flower protected in a greenhouse by the clan. All of you will obey everything Xiao Yan says. In order to ensure that the bloodline of the Yao clan continues, you will have to die if you are asked to. Xiao Yan sighed softly. This is really a heavy burden that had inexplicably appeared. He was unable to even take care of the Xiao clan. Where would he find so much energy? However, he needed to rely on the strength of the Yao clan in order to tear open the sealed realm. Hence, he had no choice but to agree. Clan head Yao Dan. I will do my best. Old fellow, I will also do my best to help. Old man Shen Nong, who had flew over, softly sighed. Prepare yourselves. I will block Han Jing and Han Yan. The other elders of the Yao clan will help you tear open the space. Yao Dan rubbed off the blood on his face. 
His eyes swept over Yao Tian and the others. His expression was also extremely calm. Finally, he smiled and stomped onto the ground. His body shot out and the Dou Qi within it completely boiled. Finally, he appeared like a brilliant falling star as he shot towards Han Jing and Han Yan in the sky. This lunatic. Han Jing Duo's faces became cold after seeing Yao Dan charging over with all his strength. Both of them attacked and the color of the sky changed. Bang. 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 After Han Jing Duo were engaged into a miserable big battle with Yao Dan, the many Yao clan elders in the sky once again rushed forward. After which, they wildly exploded at the same spot. Boom boom boom. After the space trembled, that spot in the space began to become increasingly distorted. Traces of black flame symbols seeped out from within the space and finally exploded apart in the face of the wild and violent energy assault. Let's go. Pink flame quickly surged out from within Xiao Yan's body the moment the black flame symbols cracked. A fire barrier was formed. After which, it locked Yao Tian, Yao Ling, and a dozen over figures inside it. The northern king behind protected Yao Lao. Their group speed was unleashed until the limit as they hurried towards the space where the black flame symbol was torn with lightning-like speed. Chapter 1577, Borrowing Flames Bang! Bang! A thunder-like explosion continuously resounded within this realm. Following the appearance of each explosion, there would be an expert from the Yao clan exploding the Dou Qi within his body and blast himself into pieces. In the face of such a wild and violent energy attack, even one soul would not remain. Xiao Yan's group unleashed their speed to their limit as they crazily rushed towards the area where the explosions were most centralized. The seal at that spot had already been blasted apart. It would no longer be difficult to tear open the space. Those experts from the various sects were also closely following behind Xiao Yan. They understood that it was impossible for them to successfully escape alive by relying on their own strength in such a chaotic period. However, the Hun clan's aim was to eliminate all the living creatures within the Yao clan. It was naturally impossible for them to simply allow Xiao Yan and the others to leave. While Xiao Yan's group traveled, the Tuling creatures covering the entire area as well as the experts from the Han clan had immediately changed their target. They rushed and surrounded Xiao Yan's group from all directions. Xiao Yan's expression turned cold after seeing the figures, which were rushing over from all directions. He was just about to attack when old man Shen known from behind threw the medicinal herbs walking stick in his hand. Immediately, a green sea of flame spread rapidly. It emitted some swish sound as countless of towering trees appeared. Those huge trees with flames surrounding them were like vines that entwined around the figures, which were hurrying over. Xiao Yan sighed in relief as old man Shen Nong attacked. This caused the speed of Yao Tian's group to soar once again. Nihi Lighty Sir, stop Xiao Yan. That brat also has a Tushi ancient god Jade in his hands. Han Huzi, who was being entangled with Elder Wanhua and a few others, hurriedly cried out after seeing Xiao Yan's group charging across the sky and was becoming increasingly closer to that particular space. Humph, do you think that I can make many copies of myself? The Nihi Lighty devouring flame snorted coldly after hearing Han Huzi's cry. His voice appeared to be filled with some displeasure. Han Huzi was quiet after hearing this. He smiled in embarrassment. The Nihi Lighty devouring flame might be the most powerful person present but he not only needed to split his attention to stabilize the spatial seal but he had also suffered an injury from the soul fragment of Yao Di during the big battle earlier. Additionally, he had currently turned into countless of Tunling. Where would he find the strength to split his focus? Leave it to me. Han Jing, I'll leave this old ghost Yao Dan to you. Trying to block the both of us with just your strength alone is nothing but fantasy. One of the four demon saints of the Han clan from a battlefield in the sky mockingly glanced at Yao Dan, who was in a somewhat crazy state, in front of him. His body flashed and an afterimage appeared. After which, he escaped from the fight and directly rushed towards the spot where Xiao Yan's group was like an old eagle. Xiao Yan. He he, this name is not unfamiliar to me. There has been many rumors about you within the Han clan. If it is not because the clan is preparing our plan, I would have already come out and meet you. You are the only person in many years who had been able to cause my Han clan to suffer losses time and time again. Han Yan's speed was extremely terrifying. Within a couple of breaths time, he had appeared in front of Xiao Yan's group and laughed coldly. Xiao Yan's expression sunk as he looked at another tiger appearing to block their path. The strength of this Han Yan was extremely terrifying. Based on his senses, this fellow had likely reached the advanced seven-star Doshin class. He was much stronger than even Yao Dan. Life Spirit Flame Old man Chen known from behind also had a change in expression because of the appearance of Han Yan. Soon after, he immediately attacked. The large sea of green flame gathered and turned into a huge fire beast with four limbs. After which, it charged violently at the latter. Life Spirit Flame Haha, I am also quite interested in it. After capturing you this time around, this Life Spirit Flame will belong to me. Han Yan laughed faintly as he faced the sharp attack by the huge beast. His large hand was suddenly clenched. Monstrous Dochi gathered and directly formed a huge palm, which slammed onto the large beast. A frightening force actually scattered the fire beast with a strike. The force was the wind did not diminish as it grabbed towards Xiao Yan's group. The combat strength of this life spirit flame is indeed insufficient. Old man Shen Nong involuntarily laughed bitterly after seeing that the attack by the life spirit flame was useless. 
He looked at the huge palm that fell from the sky and hurriedly increased his speed. Swoosh. The speed of Xiao Yan's group soared as the huge palm grabbed at them. They narrowly dodged it. However, some of those behind them were unlucky. In the face of the huge claw, even the one-star peak Doshing experts present amongst them had collapsed under the palm and exploded into a cluster of blood fog. Xiao Yan did not have the time to be bothered about the many miserable cries emitted from behind him. His eyes stared intently at Hun Yan in front of him. The position of this person was coincidentally where the spatial seal had been shattered. In other words, if they wanted to tear open a spatial crack, they must defeat this old fellow. However, trying to defeat a top expert who had reached the advanced seven-star Doshin class posed quite a difficulty to the current Xiao Yan. Northern King Xiao Yan's eyes flickered. He threw Yao Tian, whom he had held in his hand, towards Yao Lao. A thought immediately passed through his mind. That statue-like northern king, who had been following behind him, unhesitatingly turned into a ray of black light that charged forward. A wind containing a frightening strength directly covered Han Yan. Ha! Huh. Is this a puppet? A surprise flashed across Han Yan's eyes as he faced the unusually sharp attack from the northern king. Even he had seldom seen such a powerful puppet which did not show any signs of being unfamiliar with combat. Its physical body might be strong but a puppet is ultimately a puppet. Although Han Yan was surprised, he did not withdraw even a little. Monstrous Do Chi surged. He waved his hand and the Dochi changed into a thousand feet large Dochi hand, which easily received the northern king's sharp attack. Occasionally wind churned as he struck his palm forward. The vast and mighty Dochi forced back the northern king. Its incomparably hard body revealed some half-inch deep scars. Given the strength of the northern king, it was a little too difficult for it to fight against an expert at the advanced seven-star Doshin class. Little E. Xiao Yan cried out while the northern king was stopping Han Yan with all its strength. Little E quickly rose from Xiao Yan's body. Finally, it completely merged with Xiao Yan's soul. Purifying demonic lotus flame came erupted from Xiao Yan's body in all directions following the merger. His body had once again turned crystal clear. Even the bones and internal organs in his body had been covered by a pink crystal layer. Extermination Fire Body Xiao Yan had unleashed his strongest attack of his the moment he began fighting. He understood that an ordinary attack was completely useless against such an expert. Extermination Fire Lotus Xiao Yan suddenly clenched his hand after the fire body was formed. Six different colored heavenly flame formed a spiraling shape in his palm. After which, they mixed with each other. Within a short moment, it had formed a fire lotus with five different colored. An extermination-like aura spread the moment the fire lotus was formed. Go. Xiao Yan's arm shook the moment the fire lotus was formed. The extermination fire lotus was accompanied by a brilliant fire tail as it shot out with lightning speed. Finally, it exploded a short distance from Han Yan. Bang. An earth-shaking energy explosion resounded over the place. A firestorm, which was filled with an exterminating force raged wildly. Any tooling that was within a thousand feet from the storm would be struck by the waves. Their bodies would immediately turn into black blood, which vaporized under the high temperature. Humph, you do have some ability. However, if this is your trump card, you should just obviously hand over the two Shi ancient god jade in your hands. I can still allow you to die peacefully. The firestorm swept over the sky. However, that icy cold voice of Han Yan continued to be slowly emitted from within the storm. Everyone could see a monstrous black vapor surging from the middle of the firestorm, it actually managed to block the raging firestorm. Han Yan stepped on the empty air at the middle of the black vapor. He took a step forward at a time. His clothes fluttered in the absence of any wind while he wore a dark and dense expression. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly after seeing the unhurt Han Yan. This was the first time that he had used the extermination fire lotus while unleashing the extermination fire body. He did not expect that he was still unable to seriously damage Han Yan in spite of this. The strength of an advanced seven-star Dosheng was indeed extremely terrifying. The aura of that old man is a little unsteady. It looks like that attack of yours from earlier has still managed to hurt him. However, it is still insufficient to seriously injure him. Old man Shen Nong spoke with a grave expression. Xiao Yan, we must escape as soon as possible. Otherwise, if those experts from the Yao clan were to be completely exterminated, we will also have difficulty escaping this place. Yao Lao cried out in a deep voice. Xiao Yan nodded quietly. His eyes looked at Han Yan, who was wearing a cold smile on his dense face. He suddenly exhaled and spoke in a deep voice, Elder Shen Nong, Yao Tian, lend me the heavenly flames within your body. Old man Shen Nong and Yao Tian were started upon hearing this. However, they did not have time to ask questions at this moment. The former was open-minded. He waved his hand and the medicinal ingredient walking stick in his hand landed in Xiao Yan's hands. Yao Tian hesitated for a moment before quickly spitting out a cluster of dark brown flame. The flame vaguely agglomerated into a turtle shape. This was naturally the heavenly flame ranked 13th on the heavenly flame ranking, the turtle spiritual earth flame. Xiao Yan held the walking stick with one hand and grabbed the turtle spiritual earth flame with the other. His crystal clear body vaguely emitted a mysterious luster. Under this condition, both little E and him had been completely merged together. From a certain point of view, he was currently in possession of the constitution of a heavenly flame spirit. 
as long as their owners do not resist, he would be able to use the heavenly flames that he had never refined before. However, their strength would naturally be a little weaker as compared to those that he had refined. At this moment, however, there was no time for him to think of this. Xiao Yan alone possessed six types of heavenly flames. If these two types of heavenly flames were to be added, the fire lotus that was formed would be an unprecedented fire lotus formed by eight types of heavenly flames. Its might would definitely be extremely terrifying. Chapter 1578, Eight Colored Fire Lotus The life spirit flame and the turtle spiritual earth flame were quickly turned into two clusters of different colored flames in Xiao Yan's hands. There was a little resistance being vaguely emitted. After all, the two types of heavenly flames already had their respective owners. Even though their owners did not resist, their instincts would still pose some resistance. Moreover, this was the case despite Xiao Yan having transformed into possessing a heavenly flame constitution. If an ordinary person was to hold them, it was likely that they would have already exploded instead of acting in such a docile manner. Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he detected the slight resistance being emitted from the two clusters of essence flames. He flicked his finger. A wisp of pink flame was extended from his finger. After which, it wrapped the two clusters of essence heavenly flames. Immediately, the fire glow around the two clusters of heavenly flames showed a slight sign of stiffening. Even though these two heavenly flames did not possess any intelligence, they were still being frightened to the point of not daring to move in the face of the frightening purifying demonic lotus flames purifying strength. Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart after seeing the two clusters of essence heavenly flames becoming quiet. He curled his hand and six flames were once again formed. Xiao Yan flicked his finger while these six flames were slowly merging. The life spirit flame and turtle spiritual earth flame were shot into them. Bang bang. The flame, which was quietly being gathered, emitted a low and deep sound following the entry of these two heavenly flames. Waves after waves of frightening energy wildly whistled from within. It actually showed a vague sign of being about to explode. Xiao Yan's expression became a little grave as he sensed the change within the flame. Even though he currently possessed the heavenly flame spirit constitution of little e, he was indeed a little too unfamiliar with these two heavenly flames. There was naturally some difficulty in merging them. However, this did not cause Xiao Yan to panic. His perfect heavenly state spiritual strength poured into the flame like flood water. Immediately, the wild and violent nature within became like a large tank of cold water being added to boiling water. It immediately became quiet. Immediately, the wild violence scattered. The fire once again agglomerated under Xiao Yan's control. At the same time, the Dou Qi within Xiao Yan's body continuously surged into the flame like flood water. The addition of two types of heavenly flames had increased Xiao Yan's Dou Qi exhaustion many times over. An exhaustion of that extent was something that even the current Xiao Yan had difficulty supporting. With an increasing amount of Dou Qi being poured into the flame, layers after layers of seemingly real ripples began to be formed within it. A partial lotus shape was had vaguely appeared with the flame. A kind of fluctuation that frightened even Xiao Yan quietly spread from it. The might of an angry Buddha lotus flame being formed from eight types of heavenly flames could really be described as having the ability to destroy the world. Han Yan, who had been held back by the fearless northern king, had also detected the frightening fluctuation as it spread. His expression finally experienced a change as he looked at Xiao Yan in a grave manner. Those eyes of his were focused on the eight colored flame on Xiao Yan's hands. His eyes involuntarily twitched. Even he could sense a danger from that force. This brat is indeed extremely strange. He is merely a five-star Dosheng, yet he is able to unleash such a frightening attack. A cold glint flashed within Han Yan's eyes. He suddenly slammed his palm onto the body of the Northern King. The sudden increase in his strength directly caused the chest of the Northern King to sink a little. If it was not because it was a puppet, this palm would have already taken his life. Even though this was the case, that ferocious palm wind still caused the Northern King to fly back by a thousand feet. After which, Han Yan's body moved and directly pounced onto Xiao Yan. Stop him. Yao Lao's expression changed upon seeing this. He let out a cold cry and a Dochi pillar shot out. However, such an attack was completely ignored by Han Yan. It was scattered with the wave of his sleeve. Red Poison Palm Old Man Shen Nong had a grave expression after seeing that the obstruction was futile. His body rushed forward and his hands swiftly swelled. It also turned bright red in color. An unusual phenomenon was vaguely emitted from it as it smashed towards Han Yan. Humph. Faced with Old Man Shen Nong, Han Yan could only let out a cold snort. He flipped and lifted his hand. Those five fingers became charred black. He randomly slammed his hand forward and collided with the bright red palm wind of old man Shen Grug. The collision between the two emitted an unusual fragrance. Immediately, old man Shen expression paled. A mouthful of fresh blood was spat out. His body also miserably fly backwards. Clearly, he had suffered a big loss upon contact. A group of little shrimps actually dares to try and escape from the hands of my Hun clan. In your dreams. Hun Yan laughed coldly after he defeated old man Shen with a strike from his palm. His body flashed and he appeared in front of Xiao Yan. His black fingers were just like the fingers of a death god as they grabbed towards Xiao Yan with lightning-like speed. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at Han Yan's claw wind. The latter would land on his body in an instant. 
The sharp wind easily tore through the Dochi defense on Xiao Yan's body. After which, it heavily landed on his body. Thud thud. The black fingers cut across, bringing with it some blood and sparks. The clothes in front of Xiao Yan's chest had directly turned into dust. A layer of tough dragon scale covered his body. However, five deep wounds had already appeared on the dragon scale at this moment. Fresh blood continued to flow out from his wound. If it was not because of the protection from the Dragon Phoenix Ancient Armor, it was likely that Xiao Yan's stomach would have been torn apart by this strike. Xiao Yan's face turned pale after suffering this heavy blow. Hun Yan's claw wind had directly sent him flying backwards. However, an icy cold smile flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he flew backwards. His mouth widened slightly, explode. Hun Yan's eyes suddenly shrunk after the soft voice was emitted. His sight stilled at the spot a couple of centimeters from him. There was a palm-sized fire lotus slowly rotating there. A brilliant eight-colored fire lotus was rotating at that spot. It appeared incomparably beautiful. Han Yan's expression changed drastically as he looked at the fire lotus, which was in close proximity. Before he could react, however, a bright luster had erupted from within the fire lotus. Countless of light pillar containing an extermination force erupted. They shot out from the fire lotus in a densely packed manner. Any person struck by the fire lotus would be turned into ashes almost immediately. From the looks of it, it was fortunate that Xiao Yan had borrowed Han Yan's strength and flew backwards. Otherwise, it was likely that he would be shot by these extermination light pillars. Hun Yan was the first to be struck. His body was penetrated by many light pillars. However, it did not turn into dust at this moment. Monstrous Dochi continued to surge from within his body as it tried its best to block the erosion of the extermination force. However, the fire lotus, which had been merged from eight types of heavenly flames, was not simple. An extermination like fire lotus was emitted from within the fire lotus after the light pillar shot out. The bright light in the sky appeared just like a bright sun. Intense piercing light had basically covered the entire Yao realm. Bang. An indescribable extermination like force swept in all directions across the sky. The mountain range below, which was already full of holes, had turned into a red ground. The terrifyingly high temperature had melted the entire mountain range. Xiao Yan grabbed Yao Lao and the others. Their bodies flew backwards as the purifying demonic lotus flame formed a huge fire barrier in front of them. Only then did the group avoid it getting implicated by the attack. The extermination force lasted for quite a long time before it gradually faded. A black smoke fell from the middle. Finally, it violently landed below, smashing the ground and forming a 10,000 feet large pit. Xiao Yan's eyes looked into the distance. He could vaguely see Han Yan within it. The latter was wrapped in a black vapor. However, his aura had become a lot weaker than before. Clearly, he had at the very least been seriously injured. Old man Shen known by the side inhaled a breath of cold air. His eyes were filled with shock as he watched the scene. It was difficult for him to imagine that Xiao Yan was actually able to force an advanced seven-star Doshing until such an extent. Hurry and leave, the space at that spot had already been torn apart by the remnant force. Xiao Yan's face was pale. The piercing pain transmitted from his chest caused his body to tremble. He swung his hand and tossed the life spirit flame and turtle spiritual earth flame towards old man Shen Nong and Yao Tian as he cried out in an anxious voice. His current condition was also extremely terrible. An eight-colored fire lotus exhaustion was far more terrifying as compared to what he had imagined. Even his current self could only use it once. However, he would end up being unusually weak. A weakened person had almost no chance of surviving in this situation with danger lurking all around. Only after hearing Xiao Yan's words did everyone realize that the middle ripples from the extermination force had actually been torn apart, forming a spatial crack line that was a couple of dozen feet in size. They immediately braced their attention. Quick. Xiao Yan took out a jade bottle from his storage ring. He randomly poured the medicinal liquid inside onto the injuries on his chest and once again urged. Taking the lead, he extended the bone wings on his back and rushed into the spatial crack with lightning-like speed. Now was the best opportunity to escape. Stop them. Hun Yan's body swayed as he rose from the ground. His expression was ferocious as he roared. It was unexpected that even with his strength, he had actually been forced into such a miserable state by Xiao Yan. Bang bang. All the remaining experts from the Yao clan actually began to crazily self-destruct after seemingly having sense that there was hope for Xiao Yan's group to escape. The waves from the explosions completely blocked those experts from the Han clan, who wanted to free themselves to stop Xiao Yan's group. Han Jing, who was exchanging blows with Yao Dan, had a gloomy face upon seeing the scene. Unexpectedly, that brat was even able to force back Han Yan. However, Yao Dan appeared to be aware of his intentions just as he was planning to free himself to block the group. A crazy and ferocious smile surfaced on Yao Dan's face. After which, the Dou Qi within his body suddenly became wild and violent. Xiao Yan, thank you very much. Yao Dan turned his head as the Dou Qi within his body reached the limit of its untamed violence. He looked at Xiao Yan, who had grabbed Yao Tian, Yao Ling, and the rest as he entered the spatial crack. Those crazy scarlet eyes of Yao Dan revealed a smile that seemed to have been relieved of a great burden. After which, an extermination explosion that was not weaker than the eight-colored fire lotus explosion from earlier once again resounded within this blood-covered realm. Chapter 1579, Escape 
the frightening extermination storm swept apart within the Yao realm. Other than a small number of extremely powerful individuals, most of those who were struck by it were turned into ashes in an instant. The might from the self-destruction of a seven-star Doshin could really annihilate the world. This old lunatic. Faced with this extermination storm that spread across the place, those experts from the Hall of Soul, who were originally planning on stopping Xiao Yan's group had no choice but to quickly withdraw. Even someone as strong as Hun Jing and Hun Yan could only step back and stay low at this moment. The storm continued for a couple of minutes before it gradually weakened. After the extermination ripples disappeared, a hundred thousand feet large hole appeared on the ground below. The bottom of the hole was completely black. It was as though one could not see the bottom. Such a frightening destructive force caused the eyes of Han Yan and the others to shrink slightly. Han Jing's and Han Yan's eyes immediately turned towards the direction which Xiao Yan's group had fled towards as the storm scattered. However, they merely saw a spatial crack that was slowly being repaired. Xiao Yan and the others had already vanished. Clearly, they had fled from the spatial crack. Damn it. Han Jing's expression was gloomy upon seeing this scene. He let out a soft curse and suddenly grabbed towards the spot where Yao Den had self-destructed. Immediately, a glow flew over. Finally, it turned into an ancient jade that appeared in his palm. From its appearance, it was something similar to that Tushan ancient god jade in Xiao Yan's hand. It seemed that this was the ancient jade that belonged to the Yao clan. Why have you let that brat flee? Han Huzi's figure also appeared beside Han Jing as he spoke with a sunken expression. Elder Wanhua and the rest had already been completely killed at this moment. The former did not have much ability to resist in front of a seven-star Doshan. Han Jing held the ancient jade. He lifted his eyelid and looked at the extremely miserable Han Yan who had headed over. At this moment, green and white intertwined on his face. He did not expect that he had actually been turned into such a miserable state by Xiao Yan even after attacking personally. This brat does indeed have some ability. No wonder he is able to cause our Han clan to suffer losses time and time again. Han Yan's eyes were gloomy. However, he did not shrink from his responsibility. The destructive force that Xiao Yan had unleashed earlier was something that even an ordinary seven-star Doshin would not be able to produce. Moreover, from the information that they had obtained, Xiao Yan did not possess such a fighting ability. There was nothing to laugh about him suffering such a loss. We must not allow them to flee successfully. Although we are now no longer afraid of the Gu clan learning of this news, that Brett does possess a Tushi ancient god Jade in his hand. We will be able to save a lot of trouble in the future if we obtain it. Han Huzi said. He had been played by Xiao Yan while he was refining pill earlier. Now, it was only natural that he did not wish to see the latter escape. We should resolve the matter of the Yao clan first. Our mission is to collect the bloodline strength of the Yao clan. As for Xiao Yan's group, Humph, how can it be so easy for them to escape? There are still Hun Sha and Hun Tu outside of the Yao clan's realm. Send the news to them. Ask them to dispatch one of them to kill Xiao Yan. Hun Yan spoke coldly, if it is not because the both of them needs to help Nihi Lighty Sir to stabilize the spatial seal, it would be impossible for that brat to tear open a spatial crack and flee. I. Han Jing also nodded. He glanced at this realm, which was filled with a bloody stench. A cruel smile involuntarily flashed across his eyes as he spoke in a dense voice, with this bloodline strength from the Yao clan, it will be able to extend our Han clan for another thousand years. At that time, once our plan succeeds, the clan head will become the first person in thousands of years to step into the Dou Di class. At that time, the entire Dou Qi continent would be under the rule of our Han clan. Even the Gu clan can only grovel at our feet. Originally, this day would have come much earlier. In the end, it was hindered by the Xiao clan. Back then, our attack on the Xiao clan had caused our clan to suffer quite a serious loss. We have only recovered until our peak after recuperating for so many years. Otherwise, we would not need to be overly afraid of the Gu clan. Han Huzi's tone was ferocious as he said. Everything is worth it to eliminate the Xiao clan. That clan is far too difficult to deal with. If they were to join hands with the Gu clan in the future, it might really be possible for them to threaten our Han clan. We must eliminate them. Moreover that Xiao Xian, even our clan head at his peak is afraid of him. We must not allow such an enemy to remain. Han Jing spoke in a deep voice. A frightened expression flashed across his eyes when he mentioned that name. It was as though he had recalled the earth-shaking miserable battle back then. Han Yan took out a medicinal pill and swallowed it. His eyes were dark and cold as he looked at the lingering battles still present below. He involuntarily let out a dark and cold smile. Start collecting the bloodline strength. With these bloodline, the clan head might be able to advance another level. At that time, our Han clan will launch an all-out attack. The space hundreds of kilometers away from the Shennong mountain range suddenly became distorted. A spatial crack line appeared. Immediately, many miserable looking figures continued to rush out from it. Everyone only heaved a sigh of relief after landing on the mountain. They had finally escaped from the prison where they would have to die. Are you alright? Yao Lao wiped off his cold sweat. Being able to escape from the realm sealed by the Han clan was considered a miracle. However, he quickly turned his eyes towards Xiao Yan. His expression changed slightly after seeing the injury on the latter's chest. I'm alright. Xiao Yan clenched his teeth. His hand rubbed over his wound. Wisps of pink flame entered his injuries. Immediately, white smoke was emitted. 
Traces of black vapor was being forced out from the wound by the purifying demonic lotus flame. Xiao Yin finally sighed in relief after resolving the eroding qi present within his injury. He stuffed a medicinal pill into his mouth and recuperated for a moment. Only then did he turn his head and looked at the unusually quiet mountain range behind him. No one could have imagined that the realm within this mountain range had already turned into a complete bloodbath with corpses lying all over it. Beside Xiao Yan, those dozen over younger generation of the Yao clan, whom Xiao Yan had rescued from the Yao realm, were kneeling towards the mountain range with expressions that were full of grief. A couple of ladies amongst them had involuntarily cried. Having been constantly living under the protection of the Yao clan all their lives, they had never felt so helpless and hopeless before. Compared to the others, Yao Tian and Yao Ling were a little calmer. Although there was still an endless despair within their eyes, they did not display it on their face. The both of them had matured greatly after experiencing this great change. Mr. Xiao Yan, there is nothing that we can do to repay this great favor of yours. If there is a change in the future, the Yao clan will definitely repay you with our lives. Yao Tian turned around, cupped his hands tightly towards Xiao Yan and spoke in a deep voice. Beside him, Yao Ling had also gathered her pretty eyes onto Xiao Yan and bowed slightly. All of you should continue living. There is no need to repay anything. If it is not because those elders from the Yao clan had sacrificed their lives to fight, no one would be able to escape. Xiao Yan waved his hand. His heart also felt some pity towards the misfortune that had befell Yao Tian's group. From today onwards, Yao Tian was no longer the brightest star of the Yao clan. The latter would be just like him and needed to rely on his own strength. Whether Yao Tian could revive the clan would determine on his own ability. What should we do next? Yao Lao sighed and asked. The Han clan is far too brutal. There are many chiefs and elders from the various sects on the central plains who have been killed by them this time around. If news of this spread, the Han clan will definitely become the common enemy of everyone. However, these factions are just like ants from the perspective of the Han clan and they will have difficulty catching its attention, Xiao Yan revealed an expression of deep thought. A moment later, he said, we must head to the Gu clan. Currently, the only one able to fight with the Han clan is the Gu clan. They will definitely not stand idly and watch after such a thing had happened. At that time, only by combining with the Yan and Lei clan will it be possible to restrain the Han clan. Otherwise, the other ancient clans will also have difficulty escaping this great calamity. From the way the Han clan was able to easily eliminate the Yao clan, even the Yan and Lei clan would likely end up with the same fate. Of course, the Sky Mansion Alliance would likely end up with an even more miserable fate. In terms of foundation, the alliance still had some gap when compared with these ancient clans. Xiao Yan had never believed that the Han clan would let the Sky Mansion Alliance off. Hence, he must think of a solution as soon as possible. Otherwise, when the Han clan attacks the alliance, the result would not be any better than the scene today. Teacher, you should first return to the alliance and make arrangement. Raise the defense level to its highest. Those that need to be shifted should proceed secretly. Tell everyone to be cautious. Yao Lao hesitated upon hearing this. Finally, he nodded. Given his strength, he would not be able to provide Xiao Yan with much of a help by following the ladder. Instead, he would only be a burden. The Shenong mountain range is not longer safe. I shall accompany you to the Sky Mansion Alliance. I heard that that old demon from the Pill Tower is also there. It has been many years since I have seen him. I really wish to meet him. Old man Shen Nong hesitated for a moment before speaking. The Hun clan was also targeting him. If he continued to remain alone, he would really be unlucky if the Hun clan was to discover his trail. Xiao Yan was also startled upon hearing these words. He immediately rejoiced. This old man Shen Nong was not only a six-star Doshang but his alchemist skills was something that few could match. If he could stay at the alliance, the strength of the alliance would soar greatly. Xiao Yan was naturally happy to see such a situation. Yao Tian, both you and your sister should head with me to the Gu clan. The both of you will need to explain the matter of the Yao clan in order for those elders from the Gu clan to believe. The remaining people should head to the Sky Mansion Alliance first. What do you say? Xiao Yan looked towards Yao Tian and Yao Ling and asked. We will listen to Mr. Xiao Yan's orders. Yao Tian and Yao Ling exchanged glances before nodding their heads. Although Xiao Yan was not very old, they clearly understood in their hearts that there was indeed an extremely great gap between them and Xiao Yan. In that case, let's get going. Xiao Yan sighed softly. His internal injuries had been significantly recovered during this short period of time. His voice had just sounded when his expression suddenly changed. He turned his head abruptly and looked at a mountain a short distance away. There was a figure carrying a huge dark red ghost blade on his shoulder leaning on a huge tree. Those savage red eyes appeared just like a bloody sea. Ugh, have I been discovered? A ferocious smile rose on that figure's face after he detected Xiao Yan's gaze. An evil aura suddenly soared. Chapter 1580, Devour Someone from the Han clan. Xiao Yan's eyes were focused on the human figure on the distant mountain. Yao Lao and the other looked over. Their expressions immediately changed drastically. It was unexpected that there were actually experts from the Han clan present on this Shenong mountain range. It's Han Sha, one of the four demon saint. His strength is comparable to Han Jing and Han Yan. Old man Shen Nong was quite familiar with these people from the Han clan. 
Hence, his expression changed slightly after seeing the monstrous evil aura. He sighed softly, this Hun clan has really dispatched all of its experts to destroy the Yao clan. Unexpectedly, there is really someone who can tear open the spatial seal placed by Nihi Lighty Sir. The figure in the distance stepped on the empty air. In a flash, he appeared in the sky above them. He looked down at Xiao Yan's group and focused his eyes onto Xiao Yan. His mouth was involuntarily parted into a smile. Those dense white teeth contained a stern evil aura giving them the appearance of belonging to a savage beast. You are Xiao Yan, right? I have heard that the old man Han Yan has suffered a loss in your hands. The members of the Xiao clan are indeed extraordinary. Fortunately, my Hun clan had decisively killed the Xiao clan. Otherwise, this world would currently be faced with a completely different situation. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at this black-clothed human figure. Although the latter had a dense smile on his face, his pair of eyes were filled with an indifferent evil aura. Clearly, this person was not some soft-hearted person. What should we do? Yao Lao asked in a soft voice. It is unexpected that they had encountered a wolf after escaping from a tiger's den. This fellow was obviously not an ordinary person. No one present was a match for this person if they fought. Xiao Yan's eight-colored fire lotus might be terrifying but it could not be used continuously. Moreover, from the situation when he had used it earlier, even an eight-colored fire lotus would have difficulty kill an expert of this level. Should he manage to escape, their group would really have a difficulty fighting him. Teacher, you should leave first. I will block him for a while. Xiao Yan exhaled slowly and said. What? Yao Lao's expression changed immediately. How could Xiao Yan alone be a match for this person? Relax, I have my own plans. All of you should hurry up and leave. After that, hide your auras. I will hurry to the Gu clan after holding him back for a while. Xiao Yan softly said. He immediately clenched his hand. A jade bottle appeared in it. There was a dragon eye sized medicinal pill floating within it. A shocking energy gathered like a crystal within the bottle while an unusual fragrance spread. Tier 9 Mysterious Pill Yao Lao only sighed in relief after seeing that medicinal pill. However, his eyes still contained some worry. The energy of a tier 9 mysterious pill was extremely terrifying. It would require many aiding medicinal pills to help in the refinement after one consumed it. Hence, even with Xiao Yan's strength, he did not dare to easily swallow it. Moreover, he would definitely have to fight with Han Sha after swallowing the pill. This would mean he would not have the attention to refine the medicinal strength. In that case, it might cause his body to suffer a relatively severe damage. Although he was worried in his heart, Yao Lao also understood the present situation. They would still have a chance to survive if they escaped. If they remained behind, however, it would not only end up distracting Xiao Yan but they might really be eliminated by this fellow. You should be careful. Shatter this jade if you manage to escape. I will be able to feel it. Yao Lao finally stiffed a jade piece into Xiao Yan's heart while his heart struggled for a moment. After which, he let out a low cry and took the lead to rush forward. Old man Shen Nong behind hesitated for a moment before grabbing the youths from the Yao clan and quickly followed. Where do you think you are going? Han Sha frowned after seeing that Yao Lao and the others were actually fleeing. The ghost blade formed by blood in his hand was swung downwards. A 10,000 feet large blood blade glow shot through the sky and sharply hacked towards Yao Lao's group. Clang. The blade glow flew past with lightning-like speed. However, a black figure appeared in front of it while it was still a thousand feet from Yao Lao's group. Both arms of the figure were crossed and it forcefully received that sharp blade blow. Bang. Although they had received the blade glow, that frightening force had directly pushed that figure into the mountain range below. An entire mountain shook and collapsed. Huge rocks rolled and a loud rumbling sound appeared. The speed of Yao Lao's group once again soared after Han Sha's attack was blocked. Within a couple of flashes, they had rushed out of the mountain range and swiftly disappeared into the horizon. Useless people. It is fine that they have escape. Just capturing you will do. Han Sha's brow was lifted after he saw Yao Lao's group successfully fleeing. However, he could not be bothered to give chase. He turned his head and his eyes suddenly paused on the tier 9 mysterious pill in Xiao Yan's hand. A greedy flashed within those eyes. Xiao Yan, hand over that medicinal pill and I will give you an easy death. What do you say? Otherwise, I will extract your soul and burn it for hundreds of years. I don't think you wish to suffer a fate worse than death. Xiao Yan merely smiled coldly in the face of Han Sha's words. He squeezed his hand and the jade bottle burst apart. The medicinal pill within it immediately turned into a ray of light. Before it could flee, however, Xiao Yan caught it with great reflex and directly stuffed it into his mouth. Bang. After the medicinal pill entered his body, the clothes over Xiao Yan's body had directly been turned into ashes. Densely packed dragon scales appeared over his skin. Waves after waves of indescribable energy continuously surged out from within his body like flood water. At the end, the energy had actually agglomerated into an armor over Xiao Yan's body. What a powerful energy! Under the vast and mighty energy, Xiao Yan's body began to tremble continuously. The inside of his body felt as though he had just swallowed many huge dragons. It was a complete mess. 
Wild erosion spread over every part of his body. Under the uncontrolled violence of this energy, even Xiao Yan's perfect heavenly state soul had been humbled. Roar. An endless energy galloped through the interior of Xiao Yan's body. Finally, it turned into an earth-shaking roar that resounded over the entire area. The surrounding mountains had once again collapsed in the face of the furious roar. Yao Tian and Yao Ling also hurriedly stepped back. He, interesting. Swallowing a tier 9 mysterious pill requires many other things to aid in its refinement. This action of yours is no different from committing suicide. Han Xiao lifted his brow after detecting the energy erupted from within Xiao Yan's body. He immediately shook his head and laughed coldly, I have given you a path to take but you refuse to. Do not blame me for being ruthless. Han Xia suddenly stepped forward as his words sounded. His body appeared in front of Xiao Yan almost immediately. The blood-colored large blade in his hand emitted a swoosh sound as it tore through the air and slashed onto Xiao Yan's neck was an extremely shocking speed. The blood light was rapidly magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes. He clenched his hand and a mighty energy agglomerated into a huge heavy ruler. Since he was unable to dodge, he would directly clash head-on with Han Xia. Clang. An unusually sharp wind spread as the blade and ruler collided. The mountain where the two of them stood on had been split into two. It collapsed with a bang while the entire mountain range trembled. Xiao Yan's figure was directly forced back by thousands of feet. A sweetness rose on his throat. However, both of his eyes were unusually excited. The earlier clash had exhausted quite a lot of energy, greatly relieving him of the feeling of being about to explode within his body. Again. Xiao Yan did not fear Han Sha as the medicinal strength continued to surge out from within his body. He moved and took the lead to appear in front of Han Sha. The heavy ruler in his hand did not contain any skill. It directly used the most brutal method to hack downwards violently time and time again. The vast and mighty energy had basically agglomerated into a 10,000 feet large ruler glow. The mountains were split wherever it passed. Clang clang clang. Han Sha's expression was a little ugly as he faced Xiao Yan, whose Dou Qi had erupted violently after swallowing the tier 9 mysterious pill. The blood blade in his hands danced, forming many afterimages and receiving those heavy mountain-like ruler strikes. However, his body would descend by thousands of feet each time the heavy ruler fell. This caused his eyes to become a little gloomy. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan was actually so lively even after experiencing the big battle within the Yao realm. I will just watch how long you can be arrogant for. A tier 9 mysterious pill might be powerful but you do not have the time to refine it. The energy will completely damage your body. At that time, I will see how you will continue fighting. Although Han Sha had been pressed into a disadvantage by Xiao Yan's seemingly mad attacks, Han Sha was unusually calm. He let out a cold laughter while putting up a defense. Xiao Yan completely ignored his cold laughter. The excitement in his eyes grew increasingly intense as the heavy ruler in his hand fell in a crazy fashion. His strikes became increasingly heavy. The entire Shenong mountain range had been destroyed into a complete mess at this moment. Clang. Another mountain-like powerful strike fell and Han Sha's arm had become a little numb. His body fell backwards by 10,000 feet. Many mountains were shattered to dust along the way. His expression also became weaklier. Haha, <laughs> how enjoyable. Let's fight again another day. The math excitement in Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly vanished as he sent Hunsha flying with a ruler strike. He laughed towards the sky. The pair of bone wings on his back was flapped as he immediately turned around and flew towards another direction. At that direction black figure had grabbed Yao Tian and Yao Ling as it flew to the horizon. It was the Northern King, which Xiao Yan had ordered to secretly take the duo away while Xiao Yan was holding Hunsha back. Bang. Han Sha stomped his foot onto a mountain. Immediately, it was covered in cracks. Finally, the mountain was blasted apart and his body was stabilized. His face was dark and cold as he watched Xiao Yan flee into the distance. A low roar erupted, Xiao Yan, regardless of where you flee to, I will capture you, cut off your flesh and extract your soul. Han Sha moved as those vicious words sounded. He turned into a bloody light as he rushed forward with great speed. From the looks of it, he was clearly not intending to allow Xiao Yan to escape. Chapter 1581, Flee A deep thunder-like sound suddenly appeared in the vast sky. Immediately, a bright light that caused one to be stunned flashed across the sky. In a flash, it appeared in the horizon. The rumbling explosion caused many experts along the way to raise their heads in shock. Soon after the bright light flashed across the sky, a monstrous evil aura suddenly spread across the sky from behind. A black light flew past. The monstrous evil aura caused many experts to be frightened. Even some of the sects did not dare to pay attention to it. Just a random wave of a hand by that kind of expert would likely eliminate the entire faction. The chasing conducted by such an expert was not something that they could observe. This fellow really doesn't give up. The bright light flashed through the sky. The figure inside paused momentarily and frowned upon sensing the murderous aura from behind. That figure was naturally Xiao Yan who had fled after exchanging blows with Han Sha. However, he did not expect that the latter would actually continue to follow him. From the looks of it, the latter did not show any signs of giving up. 
Mr. Xiao Yan, there is still half a day's journey from this place to the Gu realm. That fellow is catching up. Edo Qian, who was in Xiao Yan's hand, did his best to block the wind pressure from their great speed and cried out loud. Xiao Yan nodded slightly and frowned. The energy of the Tier 9 mysterious pill could only be described as terrifying. Currently, the interior of his body had already been damaged by the wild and violent energy until it was extremely miserable. Even though Little E had already done its best to refine the energy, it was still a little insignificant. If it was not because of his strong body, his body might have already exploded from the energy. Despite this, it was clearly not a long-term solution. How would he escape from Han Sha if the energy from the Tier 9 mysterious pill was to injure his body? The both of you should prepare to leave first. The condition inside my body is quite bad. If I'm afraid the Han Sha will catch up soon if I bring the two of you along with me. One of you should be able to keep your life if you leave now. That fellow's target is me. It is likely that he won't chase you. Xiao Yan mused for a moment and spoke in a deep voice. Even with the support of the energy from the Tier 9 mysterious pill, his speed would be slower than Han Sha if he brought two people with him. I'll follow you. Yao Tian and Yao Ling spoke almost at the same time after Xiao Yan's words sounded. They were aware that it was most dangerous to follow beside Xiao Yan. However, they wished to leave the safest position to the other party. What a touching scene. However, there is no time for argument now. Xiao Yan frowned and said. Yao Tian and Yao Ling were stunned as he heard this. The latter immediately threw a palm onto Yao Tian's chest. A gentle force pushed the latter away from Xiao Yan. However, Xiao Yan did not stop her. With a wave of his sleeve, he sent Yao Tian flying through the sky. A voice was transmitted into the latter's ears, hurry up and leave. Yao Tian steadied his body in a miserable manner. His eyes were completely red as he looked at Xiao Yan Duo flying into the distance. Without uttering any unnecessary words, he turned around and hurried in another direction. You are really decisive. Xiao Yan hugged Isa Ling's delicate waist. Pink flame wrapped around the both of them. Their speed suddenly soared. Yao Ling's face was a little flushed as her delicate waist was being tightly hugged by Xiao Yan. That cold frost on her face had also diminished slightly. She turned her head and looked at the face beside her. This was a face that was far from the handsome look of her brother Iso Tian. However, it caused her eyes to flicker. Given her cold and haughty nature, she had seldom felt any admiration for a person of the opposite gender during these years. This person was the only exception. The time which both parties had been in contact was quite short. Xiao Yan was serious and casual while he was. A beauty loves a hero. Regardless of how cold the beauty was, it was impossible for her to be an exception to this rule. Xiao Yan did not have the time to be bothered with the thoughts of the beauty in his embrace. At this moment, most of his thoughts were focused on suppressing and refining the out-of-control vast and mighty energy in his body. At the same time, he must maintain his speed. These various matters was quite a big test to him. Separate her. Huh? From far behind Xiao Yan, Han Sha, who had a gloomy expression, quickly swept his eyes over Xiao Yan's and Yao Tian's back. Finally, he let out a cold snort and continued chasing after Xiao Yan. These members of the Yao clan who had escaped were completely useless to them. However, it was different when it came to Xiao Yan. The latter had the two Shi ancient god Jade in his hand. This was something the Han clan must obtain. I wish to see just how long you can last for. One party fled while the other chased in the sky. This continued for a couple of hours. During this period of time, the two parties had basically crossed half of the central plains. Although they had caught the attention of many experts along the way, no one dared to intervene in the face of Han Sha's shocking aura. All they did was simply watch the both parties flying through the sky. Following the flow of time, Xiao Yan's condition had clearly become increasingly worse. The crystal-like seemingly endless energy gathered within the meridians of his body. It firmly sealed off the many meridians. Even though Little E was doing its best to refine the energy, there would be an endless amount of energy crystals continuously appearing. The energy crystal slowly swelled and a vague pain was felt in Xiao Yan's unusually tough meridians. The energy of a tier 9 mysterious pill was actually this frightening. Mr. Xiao Yan Yao Ling looked at Xiao Yan's miserable expression. Although the strength of her Dou Qi was not very strong, her spiritual strength was quite powerful. Hence, she had also sensed that Xiao Yan's spiritual strength had become exhausted as it continued to weaken. If something becomes amiss later on, I will send you away. Xiao Yan forcefully braced his attention. Currently, his body was not only filled with external injuries but the inside of his body was also a complete mess. It was already quite difficult for him to last until now. Yao Ling gently bit her lips. She suddenly extended her snow-white wrist and handed it to Xiao Yan. She softly said, My constitution is a little unique. Hence, my blood possessed the effect of nourishing spiritual strength. Mr. Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan was immediately startled upon hearing this. His eyes glanced at the exquisite and attractive face of Yao Ling. The latter looked at him seriously. That appearance did not seem like she was lying. There is actually such a strange constitution, no wonder it is said that this lady might have a chance to step into the D-state spiritual strength. It is likely because of this constitution. A thought passed through Xiao Yan's mind. He did not utter anything unnecessary as he bit on Yao Ling's wrist. His teeth pierced into the blood vessel. 
A great amount of bright red blood was sucked into Xiao Yan's mouth. Xiao Yan violently shuddered after the blood, which contained a little unusual sweetness entered his mouth. The blood had turned into a mysterious energy immediately upon entering his mouth. It spread swiftly and surged towards the center of his brow. His originally exhausted spiritual strength was actually being wrapped by a faint blood light. A feeling that was fuller than when he was at his peak suddenly appeared. What mysterious blood! A sleek redness swiftly rose on Xiao Yan's face. Both of his eyes brightened. He could clearly sense that his soul was greedily devouring the blood. This was the first time he had ever felt such a sensation. My spiritual strength might advance further if I sucked your blood dry. A thought from an unknown source flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. It was quickly eliminated by Xiao Yan in the next instant. He looked at Yao Ling, who was gently biting her red lips while wearing a pale expression, and involuntarily slapped himself violently within his heart for the beast-like thought. He slowly relaxed his mouth and wiped off the blood from the corner of his mouth. After which he muttered in an apologetic manner, Thank you very much. Yao Ling shook her head slightly. Her pretty eyes looked behind her as she pressed her eyebrows together and said, That fellow has become faster. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly upon hearing this. He discovered that the sound of rushing wind far behind had become increasingly deep. Clearly, Han Sha had begun to feel impatient and had used some unknown method to increase his speed. Hold tight. This place is already quite close to the Gu clan. We will be safe once we arrive. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. His eyes had become stern. The green-red wings on his back were flapped and his body turned into a lightning that swiftly hurried into the horizon. Brat, I will not give you the opportunity to seek refuge in the Gu clan. Han Sha's face appeared extremely gloomy as he gave chase from behind. He did not expect Xiao Yan's speed to suddenly increase after having slowed for a moment. Immediately, the seal formed by his hands changed. Black Dou Qi erupted in a monstrous fashion and turned into a black bat that was thousands of feet in size. A mouthful of essence blood was spat out. It adhered onto the bat. The bat flapped its wings. One could hear a swoosh sound as it completely vanished. This is bad. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically the moment Han Sha's figure disappeared. He grabbed Yao Ling in his embrance and suddenly lowered his body. Qi. Xiao Yan's body had just descended when a blood glow rushed out from the space above his head. It brushed past his head as it flew past. Xiao Yan, where will you flee to? The space fluctuated and a dense-looking Han Sha broke out from it. His eyes were ferocious as he stared at Xiao Yan. The blood blade in his hand was swung and a huge blood glow, which was tens of thousands of feet in size, cut through the air. It had the might of shattering the land as it slashed onto Xiao Yan Duo. The blood glow was rapidly magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes. His face was extremely gloomy. His shoulder shook and Little E appeared in a flash. A golden lightning dragon was quickly wiggling on Little E's arm. However, Xiao Yan was just about to use the strength of the nine mysterious golden lightning as a final retaliation when an elderly figure suddenly appeared in the space in front of him. A cry resounded from that figure. Trying to murder in the territory of my Gu clan. Hun Sha, you are really a little too arrogant. Chapter 1582, Pushback The figure which appeared in front of Xiao Yan was wearing green long robes, his hair was completely white. A smile hung on his fair-looking face, giving him a somewhat immortal-like feeling. Han Sha, you should restrain yourself now that you have reached the territory of the Gu clan after such a long chase. The green-robed old man smilingly looked at Han Sha, who murderous aura filled the air, and laughed. From the way he spoke, it seemed that he had already sent Xiao Yan being chased by Han Sha since a long time ago. Gu Dao, the three immortals of the Gu clan. Han Sha's expression was gloomy as he looked at the green-robed old man. A solemn expression surged onto his face. It was unexpected that he had ended up meeting such a troublesome person the moment he had arrived. My target is him. It has nothing to do with the Gu clan. The green-robed old man, who was called Gu Dao, smilingly shook his head upon hearing this. He said, Ha ha, this won't do. Xiao Yan is considered half a member of the Gu clan. It is impossible for me to hand him over to you. Han Sha, you should hurry up and leave. Fighting in this place is disadvantageous to you. Xiao Yan was startled after seeing Gu Dao recognizing him upon sight. Since when did he become half a member of the Gu clan? Little fellow, you have taken the opportunity to take Sun Air's virginity back in the demonic flame realm. Don't tell me that you intend to deny it. Gu Dao turned his head and spoke faintly, appearing as though he was aware of Xiao Yan's doubt. Xiao Yan widened his mouth. His face revealed a rare embarrassment. However, he quickly recovered and spoke in a deep voice, Elder, the reason I have come to the Gu clan this time around is to inform your clan that the Yao clan had already been destroyed by the Han clan. The culprit behind the extermination of the Ling and Shi clans is also them. The smile on Gu Dao's face diminished slowly. His eyes turned towards Han Sha and he softly said, You are indeed the ones behind it. This news was quite shocking to him. However, he did not feel any sense of disbelief. After all, they had already made some guesses after those incidents had occurred. However, they did not have the evidence and were unable to prove their guess. The thing that caused him to be furious was that these people had actually struck again. You are really full of nonsense. 
relax, your Gu clan will sooner or later meet the same fate as them. Hun Xiao laughed coldly but did not deny the claim. I'm afraid that you do not have such a big appetite. Gu Dao frowned slightly. There was a chill surging within his voice. One's appetite is not simply shown by using words. Han Sha's laughed loudly. The bat wings behind him were flapped. The space fluctuated and he directly appeared in front of Gu Dao. That blade blade was swung with a swoosh swoosh sound. A sharp blood colored blade light engulfed Gu Dao. Han Sha. We have not exchanged blows for hundreds of years but it seems that you have not made much improvement. If it is not because your four demon saints of the Han clan rely on your numbers, my Gu clan's three immortals will not fear you even a little. Gu Dao merely laughed faintly in the face of the unusually sharp attack from Han Sha. He clenched his hand and a hundred feet large green rod appeared in his hand. The rod danced and the energy of this entire place was stirred. It turned into an endless number of ferocious rod shadows that collided with Han Sha's blade blow. Clang clang. The rod and blade clashed. An extremely shockingly sharp storm swept out from the seemingly ordinary clash. The space within radius tens of thousands of feet in size had been shaken until it shook intensely. Wild wind swept over the plains. Sand flew and rock moved. Xiao Yan held Yao Ling and swiftly pulled back. He landed on a mountain before swiftly sitting down. The energy of the tier 9 medicinal pill had already filled his body to the brim. If he did not think of a way to refine it, his body would sooner or later end up exploding. A tier 9 mysterious pill is indeed not something that one can randomly swallow. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. This was the first time that he had been turned into such a miserable state by a medicinal pill. Moreover, it was also the first time that he had a headache over having too much energy within his body. The seal formed by Xiao Yan's hands changed as he sat down. Little E immediately came out from within his body. It rapidly turned into a fire cauldron and wrapped his entire body within it. The purifying demonic lotus flame was finally completely unleashed. It surged into Xiao Yan's body from all directions and swiftly refined the seemingly real-like energy within his body, which had already turned into crystals. Without being attacked by an enemy, Xiao Yan was finally able to completely focus his mind on using all his strength to refine the energy crystals within his body. The effect of this all-out force had clearly brought about quite a great effect. The frightening strength of the purifying demonic lotus flame was once again unleashed. The crystals, which filled his veins, had swiftly turned into waves of torrent-like pure energy under this continuous refinement. It whistled and galloped within Xiao Yan's body. His meridians, which had been fully blocked, had once again become loose. Swish swish. The endless vast and mighty energy was slowly circulated within Xiao Yan's meridians. Finally, it turned into powerful Dou Qi, which merged into Xiao Yan's limbs. Immediately, a feeling of being completely filled once again rose within his heart. Moreover, the Dou Qi within his body had vaguely showed signs of slowly soaring. The effect of the Tier 9 mysterious pill was slowly being unleashed at this moment. While Xiao Yan was making full use of his time to refine the shocking medicinal pill energy within his body, the battle in the sky was also becoming increasingly intense. Gu Dao and Hun Sha were the top experts from their respective clans. Moreover, they were at the 7 star Doshin class. The destructive force when they fought was naturally earth shaking. However, it was unusually difficult for a victor to be decided. Damn it, why have I end up meeting this old ghost? This is the territory of the Gu clan. Any large scale battle will definitely attract the Gu clan's attention. At that time, if the other two Gu clan's three immortals were to come, he would likely have difficulty even retreating in one piece. A blood light that was tens of thousands of feet in size rose from the large ghost blade. However, it collapsed after being gently touched by Gu Qing's green rod. Han Sha's brow was tightly knitted. I must end this battle as soon as possible. A fierce glow flashed across Han Sha's eyes. The seal formed by his hand suddenly changed. That blood blade in his hand escaped and a blood light erupted. Immediately, the blade swelled to 10,000 feet. The enormous blood blade was suspended in the sky with an evil aura that seemed to have a form gathered around it. Blood light surged over the blade and his soul fluttered under this blade. Blood God Tearing Sky The evil aura agglomerated over the blood blade. Han Sha's eyes became cold. The blood blade rushed downwards and a deafening sonic boom rumbled over the sky. The space within a hundred thousand feet collapsed as the blood blade passed. A hundred thousand feet large deep gully had also appeared on the plains tens of thousands of kilometers below. The gully was not wide but it was deep to the point of appearing bottomless. Gu Dao's expression became grave as the blood blade rushed downwards. The green rod in his hand swelled rapidly before violently colliding with the blood blade. Bang. An indescribable frightening wave swept over the sky. The plains, which was tens of thousands of kilometers large had sunk by dozens of feet. Most of the mountains had collapsed and turned into dust. The destructive force from a fight between seven star doshengs was actually this terrifying. Swoosh. The blood blade flew out and its size rapidly shrunk. Finally, it swiftly shot towards the direction where Han Sha's body was located. However, the blood blade was about to touch that figure when the latter suddenly disappeared. After image. Gu Dao's eyes suddenly shrunk. He rotated his gaze, only to see that Han Sha had appeared in a flash on the mountain in the distance where Xiao Yan was at. That earth-shaking attack from earlier was merely a distraction that Han Sha had used. 
His aim was still to capture Xiao Yan. Brat, I have said that you cannot escape. Hun Sha's body appeared in front of Xiao Yan in a ghost-like fashion. He grabbed with his hand and the fire cauldron collapsed. However, Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes were suddenly opened just as the former's hand was about to land on the top of his head. An aura that was many times stronger than earlier surged towards the sky. Dark clouds immediately churned and there was a faint thunder resounding over the sky. Six Star Doshen. You have actually refined a tier 9 mysterious pill. Hun Sha's expression suddenly changed after detecting Xiao Yan's stronger aura. Murderous intent rose within his eyes. He not only did not slow but has become even faster. Have a taste of this. Xiao Yan did not reveal the slightest fear in the face of this fatal strike by Han Sha. He let out a cold laughter. Suddenly, golden dragon symbols surfaced on his arm. The thunderbolts flashing within the dark clouds in the sky dimmed after these dragon symbols appeared. It was as though they had met something terrifying. Something's wrong. Han Sha glanced at the golden dragon symbol on Xiao Yan's arm. Without knowing the reason, Han Sha felt a little unease rising within his heart. However, it was already not in time for him to stop his attack at this moment. His palm wind became increasingly sharp as he ruthlessly smashed violently down from Xiao Yan's head. Go. A death god-like palm was rapidly being magnified in Xiao Yan's eyes. In the next instant, his arm suddenly trembled and the golden dragon symbol suddenly erupted. Finally, it turned into a golden lightning that shot out from his finger at a speed, which was difficult to detect with his naked eye. Chi. The golden lightning had collided with Han Sha's palm in an instant. Immediately, the sharp wind on the latter's palm collapsed. The lightning easily penetrated through his palm. Bang. A great force that could not be resisted came striking at Han Sha the moment the lightning struck his palm. His body flew backwards. A continuous stream of blood shot out from him. This. Gu Dao, who had swiftly rushed over, was startled as he watched this scene. His eyes were filled with shock and uncertainty as he looked at the golden lightning that flashed from Xiao Yan's finger and struck its target. He could sense an energy that caused even his heart to palpitate from it. Bastard, what is that thing? Han Sha's body was stabilized in the air in a somewhat miserable manner. He looked at the charred black bloody hole on his hand. His defense from earlier was completely useless. If that strike was directly aimed at his head, it was likely that even he would be seriously injured. Swoosh. Intense sound of rushing wind was suddenly transmitted from a short distance away just as Han Sha's expression had changed. Clearly, a large group of people were swiftly hurrying over. Xiao Yan, remember this. I will definitely make you repay for this ten times over. Han Sha clenched his teeth with great unwillingness. He also understood that he had lost his last opportunity. Immediately, he let out a vicious roar towards Xiao Yan before his body turned into a ray of black light that rushed into the distance. Xiao Yan indifferently looked at Han Sha, who had disappeared into the distance. Only then did he slowly lift his arm. At this moment, his arm no longer possessed his feeling of the nine mysterious golden lightning strength. Even his current self was only able to barely control it. Chapter 1583 a shocked expression rose within Yao Ling's pretty eyes as she stood a short distance from Xiao Yan and watched Han Sha turning around and flee. Clearly, she did not expect that Xiao Yan was actually able to frighten off such an expert. Mr. Xiao Yan, have you refined the tier 9 mysterious pill? Yao Ling could not resist opening her mouth and asked. Being an alchemist, she was naturally well aware of just how terrifying a tier 9 mysterious pill was. Hence, it was a little difficult for her to imagine that Xiao Yan was actually able to refine it within this short 10 minutes. How can it be so easy? I have merely refined a portion of it. Xiao Yan shook his head. A wild joy rose within his eyes. It was unexpected that the tier 9 mysterious pill was actually this terrifying. He had only just refined a portion of it but it had already allowed his to progress from the advanced level 5 star Doshin class to the 6 star Doshin class. No wonder even Han Sha greatly coveted such miraculous pill. If I completely refine the tier 9 mysterious pill, I might perhaps be able to steadily reach the intermediate level 6 star Doshin. Xiao Yan made a brief estimation. The joy within his eyes involuntarily became denser. He must completely refine the medicinal strength within his body once this matter comes to an end. Haha, ha, it looks like I have intervened for no reason this time around. Gu Dao slowly walked through the air and finally landed beside Xiao Yan. His eyes swiftly swept over the golden dragon, which had swiftly scattered from his hand. He smiled without a change in his expression. Elder Gu Dao really knows how to joke. If it is not because of your quick intervention, my body might have already exploded from having too much medicinal strength. Xiao Yan hurriedly stood up, cupped his hands together and laughed. Oh! What kind of medicinal pill is it? Even you cannot endure it. Gu Dao expression changed slightly upon hearing this. A tier 9 mysterious pull. In order to escape from Han Sha, I have no choice but to swallow it. Xiao Yan laughed. Tier 9 mysterious pill. Gu Dao's mouth twitched slightly. He smiled bitterly and shook his head. It must be said that Xiao Yan was really blessed to the point where even he was envious. Even Gu Dao had never enjoyed a medicinal pill of this tier. Elder Gu Dao. 
The distant rushing wind sound had swiftly approached while Xiao Yam and Gu Dao chatted. Dozens of figures swiftly hurried over. Their eyes were extremely startled as they swept over the completely messy destroyed plains below. Finally, they hurried towards the mountain where Xiao Yan trio were located. They landed one after another and respectfully spoke to Gu Dao. Xiao Yan's eyes randomly swept over that group of people. He was stunned to find that the leader was actually someone he was familiar with. It was Ling Quan, whom he had some grudge against back then. While Xiao Yan had discovered Ling Quan, the latter's eyes had also glanced at him. Immediately, his expression became a little unnatural. Although he had been in the Gu realm, he had heard a great deal about the various incidents related to Xiao Yan in the Central Plains during these years. Every single one of them could let him look up to Xiao Yan. However, over a decade ago, this current giant-like existence on the Dou Qi continent did not even have the ability to fight him. The world was indeed changing far too rapidly. Elder Gu Dao, we have hurried over as fast as we could after detecting the activity here. May I know? Ling Quan seemed to be the leader of the group. He looked respectfully at Gu Dao and asked. Everything is fine now. The person who have come this time around is one of the four demon saints of the Han clan, Han Sha. Gu Dao waved his hand and spoke in a faint voice. The expressions of Ling Quan and the rest changed drastically upon hearing this. His face contained some shock. The four demon saints of the Han clan were the top experts from the Han clan. Their status were similar to the Gu clan's three immortals in the Gu clan. Other than the clan head and a few other individuals, no one could be compared with them. Just look at yourself. Xiao Yan is quite a lot younger than all of you. Yet, he is able to easily survive while being chased by Han Sha. Earlier, he had even nearly managed to break Han Sha's arm. If the younger generation of the Gu clan can produce such a person, our Gu clan will definitely prosper in the future. How would the Han clan dare to bully us? Gu Dao frowned and reprimanded in a deep voice after seeing the change in their expressions. Understood. Elder is right. Even Ling Quan did not dare to argue after being reprimanded by Gu Dao. He hurriedly nodded in agreement. The corner of his eye secretly glanced at Xiao Yan. However, he could only laugh bitterly and shake his head within his heart. Someone like Han Sha was basically like a legend in their hearts. Yet, Xiao Yan was not only able to successfully escape from his hand but was even able to injure and force him back. Regardless of how proud he was in his heart, Ling Quan had no choice but to admire this ability of Xiao Yan. Elder Gu Dao should not overly praise me. If it is not because of your intervention, Xiao Yan might not be able to stand here in one piece. Xiao Yan felt helpless at seeing Gu Dao using him as an example. His expression quickly became serious as he spoke in a deep voice, Elder Gu Dao, I wonder if you can allow me to meet clan head Gu Yuan. The matter of the Yao clan being annihilated is not a small one. The Han clan is definitely up to something. What? Ling Quan and the others by the side, who had just stood up, had a drastic change in their expressions. Both of their eyes were filled with disbelief as they looked at Xiao Yan. The Yao clan was actually also eliminated. This matter is indeed extremely critical. If you have not come and inform us, we will likely not know what have happened to the Yao clan even until now. It seems that even the clan chief is unable to sense some of the tricks of the Yao clan. Gu Dao's face was grave as he mentioned this matter. He glanced at the look of despair on Yao Ling's pretty face. He softly said, it seems that we will have to invite the clan heads of the Yan and Lei clan. The action of the Han clan this time around is clearly targeting all the ancient clans. If they did not do anything, it was likely that they would all fall into the demonic hands of the Han clan. Xiao Yan slowly nodded. This action of the Han clan had clearly placed them on the opposing side of all the ancient clans. However, no one knew who would have the last life. Gu Dao did not say anything more as he was aware of the seriousness of the matter. After sending Ling Quan and the others back to Gu City, he immediately led Xiao Yan and Yao Ling to swiftly enter the Gu realm without stopping. The news had expectedly stirred a huge commotion after it was spread into the Gu realm. All of the experts within the Gu clan were stirred by the commotion. The Yao clan had unknowingly been destroyed by the Han clan. This technique had already exceeded the ability of the Gu clan. Could it be that the Han clan was really planning some schemes? The many elders from the Gu clan had all arrived in a hall with an extremely grave atmosphere. On the leader's seat was Gu Yuan, whom Xiao Yan had met once before. His expression was extremely deep. At a glance, he appeared just like an ordinary person. However, at Xiao Yan's current strength, he was vaguely able to sense just what kind of terrifying strength was hidden within this body. This person was a true peak expert of the current Dou Qi continent. There were three old men clothed in white on Gu Yuan's left. Gu Dao was amongst them. It was possible for Xiao Yan to sense a mighty aura that was not inferior to Gu Dao from them. It was likely that they were the other two of the Gu clan three immortals, who possessed an extremely high status. Xiao Yan saw some familiar faces from the many elder seats. However, the gazes that these familiar faces used to look at him were a little complicated. When Xiao Yan had arrived at the Gu realm back then, he merely had the strength of an ordinary Dozun. Although he was quite strong, it was difficult for the Gu clan to hold him in high regard. However, within a short few years, the Dozun from back then had leaped into becoming a Doshin existence. Moreover, he was a genuine six-star Doshin. There was only a mere one-star gap when compared to the Gu clan three immortals. On the right side of Gu Yuan were some of the younger generations of the Gu clan. An elegant and beautiful figure sat at the front. 
Those bright eyes were focused on Xiaoyi in the moment he appeared. Her eyes roamed gently, giving her a gentle and alluring appearance. This beauty was naturally Sun Air. Xiao Yan greets clan head Gu Yuan. Xiao Yan did not dare to be the least bit disrespectful towards this peak existence in the world. He cupped his hands together and greeted respectfully. Yao Ling beside him also bowed respectfully. Ha ha. Within less than a decade, you have actually reached such a level. There is hope for the revival of the Xiao clan. Xiao Xian will perhaps be extremely pleased if he knows of this. Gu Yuan looked at the young figure within the hall. A smile surged on his face as he nodded. His voice was full of praise. This had caused many elders to quietly laugh bitterly. There had not been a single person in the Gu clan, who had received such an evaluation by the clan head during all these years. Additionally, you should kin me uncle. Although my seniority has far surpassed yours by many times, she is ultimately my daughter. A flush quickly flashed across Sun Air's pretty face after she heard Gu Yuan's words. Many of the younger generation from the Gu clan below were greatly startled. By speaking in this way, Gu Yuan had seemed to accept the relationship between Xiao Yan and Sun Air. Thank you, Uncle Gu Yuan. Xiao Yan also understood the meaning in Gu Yuan's words. It seemed the matter of him having taken Sun Air's virginity did not escape from the sharp eyes of these old cunning foxes. Immediately, he rejoiced a little within his heart. Fortunately, his current strength could be considered amongst the top even within this Gu clan. Otherwise, it was likely that this matter would not be resolved with such simplicity. Would the Gu clan hand Sun Air, whom they viewed as the greatest treasure in the clan, to a mediocre person? Tell us about the matter of the Yao clan. Gu Yuan smiled and waved his hand. His eyes swept over Xiao Yan, finding him increasingly pleasant to look at. Only such an outstanding young man was worthy of his daughter. Xiao Yan's face became grave as the important matter was brought up. He exchanged glances with Yao Ling beside him. After musing for a moment, he suddenly asked, May I know if uncle had heard of the so-called Tunling clan? Crack. The sound of cups shattering sounded continuously within the hall the moment Xiao Yan's words sounded. The many elders lifted their heads abruptly. Their eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan. Those eyes actually had some fear within them. Xiao Yan's heart sunk after seeing the reaction of these elders. Just what was the origin of this Tunling clan? Even a clan as strong as the Gu clan was so terrified of them. Chapter 1584, The Secret of the Hun Clan Tunling Clan Gu Yuan's face had clearly trembled slightly when Xiao Yan uttered those words. He immediately inhaled a breath of deep air. His eyes stared sternly at Xiao Yan as he asked, Why would you ask this? Uncle Gu Yuan should be aware that the Han clan possessed the Nihilite Devouring Flame, right? Xiao Yan verified. Yes. Back then, I have once exchanged blows with the Nihilite Devouring Flame and seriously injured it. After which, there has been no longer any news of it. I should be recuperating. Gu Yuan nodded and replied. Xiao Yan's brow twitched slightly. He once again inhaled a breath of cold air in his heart in the face of Gu Yuan's strength. He had clearly witnessed the strength of the Nihilite Devouring Flame in the Yao Realm. Despite the Yao clan using all of its strength to summon the soul fragment of Yao Di, the latter was still destroyed by the Nihilite Devouring Flame. It was unexpected that the frighteningly strong Nihilite Devouring Flame had been seriously injured by Gu Yuan before. Xiao Yan exchanged glances with Yao Ling beside him. After which, he began to describe all that had happened in the Yao realm in detail. This included the Tuling clan that the Nihilite Devouring Flame had turned into. How could this be possible? How can the Nihilite Devouring Flame turn into the Tunling clan? Some elders exclaimed in disbelief after Xiao Yan had spoken. Uncle Gu, just what exactly is this Tunling clan? Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he looked at Gu Yuan. The latter's brow had been tightly knitted together. The Tunling clan is an extremely mysterious clan during the ancient era. According to the records in the ancient books, it had once stirred countless bloody storm over the Dou Qi continent. Gu Yuan sighed. His tone was grave as he said, it is common knowledge that the inheritance of the ancient clans relies on their bloodline strength. If the clan's bloodline strength become exhausted, the clan will be no different from an ordinary person. In summary, every ancient clan will have a time when their bloodline becomes exhausted. Of course, the precondition is that the clan does not produce any other elite Dodi again. Xiao Yan nodded quietly. It was precisely because the bloodline strength of the Xiao clan was exhausted that the Han clan had the opportunity to destroy it. There will ultimately be various kinds of mysterious things being formed in this world. The Tunling clan is one of the. They possessed an extremely terrifying ability. This was the ability to devour the bloodline strength from other ancient clans in order to extend the time before the bloodline strength of the clan is exhausted. In order to allow the clan to continue surviving back then, the Tunling clan had actually targeted the ancient clans. That was a great calamity of the Dochi continent. Many ancient clans were destroyed by the Tunling clan. Moreover, the bloodline strength within the clans were all obtained by the Tunling clan. This act of the Tunling clan had undoubtedly angered the other ancient clans. At that time, many clans had formed an alliance to fight against the Tunling clan together. That era was a time when the Tunling clan was the overlord. Their strength was far from what any other clan alone could compare with. 
While the Tunling clan was powerful, it was ultimately unable to fight against the combined strength of the many ancient clans. Finally, the Tunling clan was destroyed. The surviving members of the Tunling clan fled in all directions as they were continuously chased by everyone. Since that time, the Tunling clan had never been able to rise again. It had even slowly disappeared from the world and was never mentioned again. Gu Yuan's eyes slowly narrowed after he spoke until this point. He slowly said, I recall that the last clan head of the Tunling clan seemed to have been killed by the Han clan. Oh. Many people within the large hall had a change in expression upon hearing these words. It seemed that the Tunling clan had completely vanished from the world ever since that time. However, it seems that the Hun clan has continued to exist until now. A glint flashed across Gu Yuan's eyes. It seemed as though he had thought of something. Could it be that the Hun clan is the Tunling clan? Xiao Yan asked in disbelief. I don't think so. According to the records in the ancient books, the Tunling clan had also attacked the Hun clan back then. However, they were eventually repelled. Perhaps, the Hun clan had obtained something from the last clan head. This had allowed them to survive for so many years until now. Gu Yuan slowly said. Clan head, do you still remember those ancient clans that had declined or disappeared one after another after the Dochi continent began to seldom produce any elite Do Di? Some of the ways that those ancient clans had disappeared were quite mysterious. Now that I think about it, they were quite similar to what the Shur and Ling clan had experienced. Gu Dao expression was grave as he suddenly opened his mouth and said. You mean, those ancient clans did not decline naturally. Instead, they were destroyed by the Han clan. Gu Yuan asked. After tens of thousands of years, those ancient clans from back then had been replaced countless of times. However, it seemed that only the Han clan appear completely safe each time. Their bloodline strength appears as though it was endless, perhaps I am not the only one who finds this strange. Due to this clan being mysterious and unfathomable, however, there was no means to go about investigating it even if one wished to do so. Now that Xiao Yan have said this, we have no choice but to doubt if this Han clan possess an ability similar to the Tunling clan. If this is really the case, we will seem to be like a bloodline spring that had been domesticated by the Han clan. Gu Dao's expression was a little gloomy. His voice slowly resounded over the hall, causing a chill to rise from the bottom of everyone's hearts. There is no need to describe the Han clan as being this terrifying. Even though they possess an ability similar to that of the Tunling clan, they do not have the ability to domesticate us. Otherwise, Han Tiandi would not have been seriously injured by an all-out strike from Xiao Xian back then, Gu Yuan smiled faintly. Those elders sighed in relief after seeing his calm appearance. Since the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame has appeared, it is likely that he has completely recovered from his injuries. In this way, however, I am aware of how the Hun clan is able to avoid our probing. Gu Yuan's finger gently drew a circle in front of him. After which, he grabbed the circle in his hand and said, this is because he had swallowed the entire realm into his body. Hiss. Many people within the hall inhaled a breath of cold air upon hearing this. Swallowing the entire realm into his body. Was that really something that a human could do? He is not a human. Gu Yuan smiled calmly. A cold glint surged within his eyes. I have not fought with him for so many years. It seems that his control over the devouring power has been increasing. Back then, he still had difficulty pulling something like this off. As for the matter of the Nihilite devouring flame transforming into the members of the Tunling clan that Xiaoyan had described, perhaps he is the true reason why the Han clan is able to survive for such a long time. Clan head, you mean, the Nihilite devouring flame had devoured the last clan head of the Tunling clan. This has allowed it to gain such a mysterious ability. A white-haired old man beside Gu Dao spoke in a somewhat hoarse voice. This should be the case. Otherwise, I am really unable to think of how the Han clan is able to obtain the ability of the Tunling clan. Gu Yuan nodded. His eyes were slightly lowered and an icy cold murderous intent flashed across them. The existence of this Nihilite devouring flame was far too great of a threat to their ancient clans. They must find a way to eliminate it. The hall had also become quiet because of this. No one spoke. None of them had expected that the Han clan was actually still hiding such things. Moreover, the main reason for them to lean backwards at a loss was the existence of the Nihilite devouring flame. The Han clan had attacked the Ling, Shur, and Yao clans. It is likely that they have two aims. One is to gather bloodline strength while the other is naturally the Tushi ancient god Jade. It seems. Han Tiandi is unable to endure any longer. Gu Yuan lifted his head. His eyes looked at the empty space. Those sharp eyes seemed to have penetrated through the space and see the scene he was thinking of in his heart. Han Tiandi, Heaven Emperor. Xiao Yan muttered softly. This name was incomparably overbearing. However, this person did indeed possess the capital to have such a name. The only person standing at the peak of the top experts on the continent who could fight him was likely Gu Yuan. Uncle Gu, how do you plan to deal with them? The Han clan already possess four pieces of ancient jades in their hands. They will likely try to obtain the other four pieces. At that time, they will obtain the Tushi ancient god cave and they might even be able to obtain a secret to advance to the Dodi class. At that time, no one on the Dochi continent will be able to fight with him. The life and death of everyone will be controlled by the Han clan. 
Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at Gu Yuan as he spoke in a deep voice. Without realizing it, they had actually already descended into such an urgent situation. This slow method that the Hun clan had used to kill them off was draining their strength a little at a time. If this continued, it was likely that the most tragic scene would be enacted. Gu Yuan's expression was as deep as water. No one knew what he was thinking. The other elders of the Gu clan had also remained quiet. Although the incident that had occurred caused them to feel uneasy, if they were to decide to start a war with the Han clan, it would definitely be an extremely miserable big war. They might win or lose in this war. The victor survives while the loser would be left with nothing. Even someone as strong as Gu Yuan had difficulty making a quick decision when it came to such a choice. Uncle Gu, currently only three of the eight ancient clans, with the exception of the Han clan, still survives. If another clan is eliminated, we will perhaps only be able to sit back and wait to die. Xiao Yan finally opened his mouth and spoke in a deep voice after the pressuring silence continued for a couple of minutes. Fight and there will still be a chance to survive. Continue doing nothing and the incident that the Ling, Shur, and Yao clans had experienced will definitely descend upon us. Xiao Yan suddenly raised his voice, causing the bodies of many elders to tremble slightly. Their eyes looked at Yao Ling beside Xiao Yan. The latter's face was filled with grief. Her clan was destroyed and she was homeless. All of the usual haughtiness had vanished. The many pairs of eyes slowly shifted towards Gu Yuan on the leader's seat. It seemed that they were awaiting his decision. Gu Yuan slowly sighed in front of the many pairs of eyes. He lifted his head and looked at Xiao Yan, only to smile. Good little fellow, you are indeed bold. Someone, send a message to the Yan and Lei clan. Invite their clan leaders to come and discuss the matter of life and death. Chapter 1585, Intermediate Six Star Xiao Yan's tensed heart also let out a heavy sigh after hearing Gu Yuan's words. He had already personally witnessed the frightening strength of the Han clan. Other than the Gu clan, it was likely extremely hard to find any other faction on the Dou Qi continent other than the Gu clan, which could fight it. If the Gu clan still choose to do nothing, the Sky Mansion Alliance would likely be faced with a threat to its survival. The many elders from the Gu clan within the large hall also revealed a somewhat complicated expression after seeing Gu Yuan making his decision. They understood that the Gu clan would not be able to change its decision after today. The two largest super factions on the Dou Qi continent was finally able to fight again after a thousand years. Moreover, this time around, it would likely be a real life and death battle. The victor survives while the loser dies. Gu Yuan's decision quickly spread to the entire upper echelon of the Gu clan. In an instant, the atmosphere within the Gu realm became a little tense. Many experts were being dispatched to the central plains to closely monitor every action of the Han clan. Xiao Yan did not immediately leave the Gu realm while the Gu clan had entered into a cautious state. There was still quite a lot of energy from the tier 9 mysterious pill lingering within his body. Having these energy remaining in his body was not beneficial to him. Hence, he must swiftly refine it. Otherwise, these wild and violent energy might once again cause him body some harm. A bamboo house stood on a quiet mountain. Gentle breeze blew and the bamboo forest swayed. It appeared just like a green ocean wave. Xiao Yan Ge Ge, the medicinal ingredients you need are all here. Is there anything else that you are missing? Sun Air stood prettily within the bamboo house. Her elegant clothes could not hide her alluring beautiful figure. Her unusually exquisite pretty face contained a gentle smile. Any heroic-like person would become soft under that smile. Many jade boxes were floating in front of Sun Air. Various shocking energy was vaguely scattered from within the jade boxes. Clearly, they were not ordinary things. Xiao Yan randomly glanced with his eyes before focusing on the most beautiful figure. He stepped forward and hooked with his arm. The delicate wrist was unceremoniously pulled into his embrace as he laughed, I am still lacking a beauty. Sun Air's pretty face turned slightly red upon hearing Xiao Yan teasing her. She glared at him, only to appear extremely exchange antying. This caused Xiao Yan to feel his eyes becoming a little heated. The temptation when this goddess-like beauty in the hearts of the younger generation of the Gu clan revealed such a bewitching expression was really irresistible. Sun Air gently leaned in Xiao Yan's embrace. Her somewhat icy cool hand suddenly removed Xiao Yan's clothes gently. A couple of finger-large red bloody scars were revealed. It had been left behind by one of the four demon saints of the Han clan, Han Yan, back at the Yao realm. Although the injury had been turned into a couple of shallow bloody scars, it was still possible to guess just how serious the injury was back then. Sun Air's finger touched these bloody scar. Those crystal-like clear eyes revealed a little heartache. She gently clenched her teeth and softly said, These fellows from the Han clan really deserve to die. Haha, it is only a small wound. Xiao Yan laughed. He quickly held Sun Air's face and directly bit on her gently lips. After which, he finally laughed loudly and released her face, which had become embarrassed. His body moved and he appeared on the bed. With a wave of his hand, the many jade boxes split apart and turned into various medicinal ingredients, which floated in front of him. Sun Air, help me stand guard. I need some time to refine the mysterious pill's medicinal strength in my body. Try to prevent anyone from disturbing me during this period of time. Xiao Yan's expression became grave as he entered into a serious topic. 
He let out a low cry and little E swiftly appeared on his shoulder. It widened its mouth. A fire cauldron flew out and directly absorbed all of these floating medicinal ingredients. The redness of Sun Air's face slowly diminished after she saw Xiao Yan began his refinement. She nodded gently and softly withdrew from the room. She flipped her hand and shut the door. Only then did her hand touch her lips. Her eyes revealed a gentle expression. Haha, young miss. An elderly laughter suddenly sounded from behind Sun Air while she was being absent-minded. Sun Air hurriedly turned around and looked at Ling in a short distance behind. Her pretty face reddened as she immediately grinned and said, Old Ling. Ling Ying smiled kindly. He walked to Sun Air's side and his eyes looked into the room. Suddenly, he muttered to himself, Young Mrs. Eyesight is indeed far from this blurry old eyes of mine can compare with. Although I have sensed that young Master Xiao Yan's achievement in the future will likely be quite great back then, I have never imagined that he will be able to reach his current level. Sun Air smiled sweetly. Those sparkling pretty eyes contained some pride. She might still remain calm and indifferent when others praised her. However, if they were to praise Xiao Yan, her heart would involuntarily reveal a joy. Ugh, recalling what happened back then really leaves one absent-minded. Over a decade ago, young master was still doing his best in order to defeat Amir Nalin Yanran. Now, however, even the clan had acknowledged his achievement. Ling Yan laughed as he cherished those memories that he still remembered that he had even secretly wrapped Xiao Yan before. After all, the both of them were in two completely different worlds back then. At that time, Xiao Yan would not be able to successfully be with Sun Er no matter what. However, these decades of continuous effort had allowed the useless person from the Xiao clan back then to reach the peak of the continent. Sun Er sat on the stairs. Her hands held her cheeks and her pretty eyes appeared distant. Finally, she smiled gently. She was very fortunate that she had spent her childhood living in that small Wudan city. Regardless of whether it was now or in the future, the memories would be retained deep within her heart. The medicinal pills that Xiao Yan needed to refine were not of a very high tier. However, it was a little unfamiliar to him. This was because the medicinal pills had the effect of resolving the wild and violent force within the tier 9 mysterious pill and allow him to successfully refine the energy from it. Although it was possible to gradually refine the medicinal strength by relying on the purifying demonic lotus flame, the speed of doing so was not only slower but it would also result in quite a big loss for Xiao Yan. A tier 9 mysterious pill was not something that he could simply refine as he pleased. If it was not because he had absorbed the energy of the other three embryonic pill, which resulted in some unexpected changes, it was impossible for him to really refine a tier 9 mysterious pill. Since he had already consumed it, he must definitely maximize its effect. With Xiao Yan's current skill, he only required half a day or so to refine these medicinal pills. There were already three different colored medicinal pill floating in front of him when by sunset. The three medicinal pills were the size of a thumb. They had different colors but were filled with spirituality. Xiao Yan opened his eyes. He widened his mouth and directly swallowed the three medicinal pills into his body. His body quickly moved and hurried into the fire cauldron in the midair. Little E waved its hand and a pink fire dragon wrapped around Xiao Yan's body. After the three medicinal pills entered Xiao Yan's body, most of the medicinal strength from the tier 9 mysterious pill still lingering within it began to loosen. Adding the support from the purifying demonic lotus flame, the hard energy crystals were quickly melted. It turned into an extremely powerful liquid energy that flowed fiercely within Xiao Yan meridians. At the end, it even emitted waves of swoosh swoosh sound. Xiao Yan sat within the cauldron. His expression was solemn. With an increasing amount of energy being refined into powerful dou qi that merged into his body, his aura, which had just broken through the six-star doshin class, had gradually become firm and even showed signs of once again climbing slowly. The frightening strength of a tier 9 mysterious pill was once again unleashed. This refinement by Xiao Yan continued for ten days in the blink of an eye. During these ten days, the energy of the energy of the tier 9 mysterious pill within Xiao Yan's body had been refined a cluster at a time. Finally, it turned into churning dou qi, which merged into his body. On the eleventh day, Xiao Yan, who was in the cauldron, slowly opened his eyes. Immediately, many fire dragons rapidly entwined around his body. Finally, it turned into fire lines that were inhaled into his nose. The fire cauldron had also quietly disappeared. Xiao Yan's feet gently landed onto the ground. He shut his eyes and sensed his surroundings. A satisfied smile immediately rose onto his face. The result of this refinement was within his expectations. His strength was not only stabilized at the six-star Doshin class but he had even leaped into the intermediate six-star Doshin class. This tier 9 mysterious pill had actually allowed his strength to soar by one star. Its effect was really praiseworthy. A tier 9 mysterious pill was indeed extraordinary. Unfortunately, at this level, my body has already become quite sensitive towards the medicinal strength. Even if I consume another tier 9 mysterious pill in the future, it will likely not produce such a result. Unless I consume the even higher grade tier 9 golden pill. Xiao Yan clenched his hand. He immediately felt some regret. If the tier 9 mysterious pill still possessed such an effect, he would do his best to refine it a couple more times. After all, if he was to train normally, he would at least need many years in order to advance by one star. Yet, a tier 9 mysterious pill was able to shorten this by dozens of times. Creak. The door was slowly pushed open as Xiao Yan ended his training. Sun Air smiling walked in. 
Her beautiful figure was full of temptation under the sunlight. Xiao Yan Ge Ge, congratulations on the advancement of your strength. Xiao Yan smiled after seeing Sun Er's saucy smile. He rubbed his hands together. With his current strength, he was able to use the power of the nine mysterious golden lightning. However, there was ultimately a limit to such a strength. Hence, he should not easily use it unless it came to a critical moment. Xiao Yan Ge Ge, the members of the Yan and Lei clans have already arrived at the Gu clan. Father has said to invite you over. Oh! Have they finally arrived? Xiao Yan lifted his brow. He immediately nodded. Currently, he was not alone. There was still the Sky Mansion Alliance behind him. Even an ancient clan like the Gu clan would not easily disregard this large faction on the Central Plains. Chapter 1586, Lei Dong Other than Xiao clan, which was the first to decline, the Gu and Hun clan should be considered the strongest amongst the eight ancient clans. Ranked behind them were the Yan and Lei clan. The bloodline strength of both clans had not showed any signs of exhausting even after so many years. Hence, the clans were filled with talented individuals. Although they were unable to compare with the Gu and Hun clans, they were far stronger than the Yao, Shi, and Ling clans could match. Perhaps it was this reason the two clans were not the first to be eliminated by the Hun clan. A soft persimmon was easy to squeeze. Clearly, the Yan and Lei clan were not included in this statement. Of course, after all the easy targets were destroyed, their turn would come sooner or later. The Gu clan appeared quite lively today. Being visited by the clan heads of the Yan and Lei clans was considered an important matter even to the Gu clan. Hence, their stance was extremely solemn. It could be considered to have given both clan heads sufficient face. By the time Xiao Yan and Sun Er had arrived outside the hall, the place was already filled with people. It clearly appeared exceptionally lively. Seated on the left of the leader's seat is the clan head of the Yan clan, Yan Jin. The two of them quietly snuck into the hall. After which, they headed towards a deserted spot. Sun Er's finger pointed at a middle-aged man towards the left of the chief seat and softly said. Xiao Yan's eyes looked in the direction where Sun Er was pointing towards. One could see a bright red-robed middle-aged man seated on a high chair. The man appeared to be in his forties. He had a somewhat rough appearance. Both of his eyebrows were bright red in color. It appeared as though there were two burning flames. This person's aura is mellow and concealed. He appears just like a cluster of warm devouring flame. It is really quite incredible. However, the feeling he gives me is a little strange. Xiao Yan spoke with a grave expression. From his spiritual perception the middle-aged man appeared just like a cluster of flame. Moreover, this flame was not hot. Instead, it appeared calm. This was the main reason for Xiao Yan's expression to be grave. The thing that surprised him was that he had actually felt a familiar feeling from within the body of this clan head of the Yan clan. He might only appear to be in his forties but he is an old demon who had lived for an unknowingly long time. Sun Er laughed gently and immediately said, Xiao Yan Ge Ge, the control that this clan head of the Yan clan has over the flame has reached the pinnacle level. According to what father had said, there are two types of heavenly flames within his body. One is the rank 17th fire mountain rock flame. The other type is the Nine Serene Golden Ancestor Flame ranked 7th on the Heavenly Flame ranking. Oh! The Nine Serene Golden Ancestor Flame has actually also landed in the hands of the Yan Clan. Xiao Yan lifted his brow and spoke with a deeper meaning in his voice, in other words, the interior of his body also has a merged Heavenly Flame. I. It is a new Heavenly Flame for merging the Nine Serene Golden Ancestor and the Fire Mountain Rock Flame. Although its might could not be compared with your purifying Demonic Lotus Flame, it is able to fight equally with my Gold Emperor incinerating Heavenly Flame, Sun Er smilingly said. The reason Xiao Yan Ge Ge is able to merge heavenly flames is because of your Qi method. However, this clan head of the Yan clan completely relies on his control over the flames to merge the two heavenly flames. The difficulty involved is quite great. Xiao Yan's expression was slightly altered. This was the first time that he saw someone being able to not rely on the flame mantra to merge heavenly flames. He clearly understood the difficulty involved. Even with his current strength, it was likely extremely difficult for him to forcefully merge the two heavenly flames together by relying solely on his own strength. After all the erosion properties of the heavenly flames was far too strong. He is indeed worthy of being the clan head of the Yen clan. Xiao Yan sighed softly. He could not help but admire the ability of this Yan Jin. However, Xiao Yan also understood that merging two types of heavenly flames should likely be Yan Jin's limit. If another type of heavenly flame was added, he would likely end up incinerating himself unless he reached THF Do D class. There was no need to even mention merging six types of heavenly flames like Xiao Yan. On the right side of the chief seat is the clan head of the Lei clan, Lei Ying. His strength was similar to Yan Jin, which was at the 8-star Doshin class. He is also the strongest expert within the Lei clan. Xiao Yan's eyes once again turned towards the other side. It was possible to see the metal tower-like man suddenly sitting up. His skin was a little black. This person was extremely eye-catching. It was as though there was a huge dragon swimming under the skin. A frightening strength was vaguely emitted. It caused the feet of those close to him trembled slightly. This Lei Ying greatly coveted battles. It was rumored that he had once fought with Elder Xiao Xian back then. However, he was defeated. 
Sun Air laughed softly and said. Oh. A surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes. He was naturally unaware of these events that had occurred a long time ago. However, Ancestor Xiao Xian was basically the strongest person in this world back then. Yet, Laying actually dared to fight him. It seemed that rumors of his desire to fight was indeed true. Sun Air. A figure suddenly snuck in from outside in a suspicious manner while Xiao Yan and Sun Air were hiding in a corner and chatting away. Xiao Yan let out a low cry towards Sun Air. The both of them turned their heads and saw that the person was actually the second general of the Black Submerged Army, Gu Hua, who had entered the Heavenly Tomb with Xiao Yan and the others back then. What is it? Sun Air glanced at him in a somewhat doubtful manner. He he. Gu Hua gave Xiao Yan and Sun Air an embarrassed smile. After which, he spoke with a bitter expression, I am here to gather reinforcement. Xiao Yan Duo were startled. They looked at Gu Hua with stunned expressions, which clearly indicated that they were unaware of the latter's meaning. This was all caused by those fellows from the Lei Clan. The moment they arrived at the Lei Clan, they began to roam all around and purposefully provoke many from our black submerged army to fight with them. I in the end, those people could not restrain themselves and were angered. Moreover, they were completely beaten by the other party. How embarrassing. Gu Hua rubbed his hands together and laughed bitterly. Although I am aware that this is the character of those people from the Lei Clan, if we, as the big boss do not step forward after our subordinates are beaten, it would really hurt them. Hence, the few of us had also intervened and oust those fellows back. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled. These people. Isn't it fine that you have oust them? They are after all guests. Don't tell me that you are planning to give chase. Do you think that father and the clan head of the Lei Clan aren't aware of this? However, it is just that they could not be bothered to deal with this matter between the younger generation. Sun Air rolled her eyes and said. That's right. It is fine after we oust them. However, those fellows refused to admit defeat. They found some reinforcements that defeated Gu Sheng, Gu Yao, and I. Gu Hua's expression was a little depressed. Being defeated in his home ground would more or less hurt his pride. After all, he was one of the four great generals of the Black Submerged Army. Isn't it fine to get Big Brother Qin Yang to resolve this matter? He is the first general of the Black Submerged Army, the chief of the whole Black Submerged Army. Big Brother Qin Yang was also defeated by that person. Otherwise, I wouldn't have come to look for you. Gu Hua hesitated for a moment before he finally laughed bitterly. Oh. Xiao Yan's and Sun Er's expressions were finally slightly altered after hearing those words. The current Gu Qin Yang was an elite two-star doshen. There was actually a member of the younger generation from the Lei Clan who could defeat him. Could it be that person? Sun Er suddenly knitted her brow and asked. That's right. Gu Hua nodded in a depressed manner. He remarked, it is unexpected that he has actually become this strong. Who is that fellow? Xiao Yan asked with some curiosity. Lei Dong, the most dazzling genius within the Lei Clan in hundreds of years. He had once stayed within the Lei Realm Lightning Demon Pool for five years, lasting one year longer than the record made by Lei Ying when he was younger. Although part of the reason is because of the grooming by the entire clan, there was no doubt about his ability or talent. It is rumored that the Lei Clan is planning to groom him to be the next clan head. Sun Er mused for a moment before replying. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. It was unexpected that there would be such an outstanding member of the younger generation from within the Lei Clan. It seemed that this Lei Clan did indeed have a strong foundation. Additionally, the Lei Clan has once come to the Gu Clan with a marriage proposal. Moreover, many elders had approved of it at that time. However, this matter was subsequently temporarily shelved aside due to some other matters. The main characters of the marriage, which did not come to be, were Lei Dong and me. Sun Er spoke in a somewhat helpless manner. Ugh. Xiao Yan was startled. It was unexpected that this person had actually tried snatching his future wife. Sun Er, although that fellow greatly covers battle, this place is after all the Gu clan. If those fellows are allowed to simply return after this, we will likely end up appearing inferior when we meet them in the future. Gu Hua rubbed his hands together and laughed. Therefore, Sun Er, can you lend a hand? Boring. A completely meaningless fight for one's pride. Sun Er glanced at Gu Hua and spoke indifferently. Hee hee, if you do not wish to intervene, why don't you ask brother-in-law Xiao Yan to help her in some pride for our black submerged army? Although even the clan head is satisfied with brother-in-law Xiao Yan, the brothers from the black submerged army has the numbers. We will ensure that your wedding is extremely lively when the time comes. Gu Hua was not anxious after hearing Sun Er's words. He directly turned towards Xiao Yan and smilingly said. You. A flush swiftly rose on Sun Er's pretty face after hearing Gu Hua's words. She immediately curled his mouth and said, It seems that your target isn't me but Xiao Yan Ge -ge. Gu Hua laughed. His eyes were immediately heated as they looked at Xiao Yan. He laughed, What do you say? Brother Xiao Yan, do you want to experience the ability of the younger generation of the Lei Clan? Currently, Big Brother Qin Yang is delaying them. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled after being stared at by Gu Hua's heated eyes. His heart involuntarily felt a special feeling. After having been interacting with those old demons, it seemed as though he had already forgotten about his age. 
According to his age, he should be currently like Gu Hua and the rest, who were experiencing a period of time when they were hard-edged and arrogant. All right. We'll do as you say. Lead the way. Allow me to see just what ability the person who had attempted to snatch my wife has. Chapter 1587, Fighting There was a training ground a short distance outside the main hall of the Gu realm. This was a place where the black submerged army usually trained. It was also the place where many youths from the Gu clan loved to come. Hence, this place was quite lively. Additionally, with the arrival of the Lei and Yen clan's heads today, many of the outstanding members of the younger generation from both clans had also arrived. These young people did not join the so-called important matters. Hence, they had all gathered in this place. It was inevitable for youths to be a little impulsive. This was especially when these youths from the ancient clans met. At this moment, there was a densely packed black mass of people gathered on the training ground. Most of these people were wearing black armors. They were the renowned black submerged army of the Gu clan. Their overall fighting strength was quite powerful. At the very least, with the exception of the Han clan, none of the other two clans could beast the black submerged army in terms of overall strength. Being able to become a member of the black submerged army was the hope in the hearts of many of the younger generation of the Gu clan. Moreover, if one could stand out from amongst them, it would be possible to be promoted to the commander position. That position meant great fame within the Gu clan. Hence, the aim of many clan members since young was the black submerged army. The training ground was completely surrounded by the black armored black submerged army warriors. However, their eyes were currently containing a trace of anger as they looked at the open ground. There were over a dozen young figures standing proudly with a haughty aura at that spot. A flashing lightning symbol was present on their heads. It was the clan symbol of the Lei clan. Hee hee, it seems that the black submerged army of the Gu clan is not as strong as the rumors claim. Someone had even told me to interact with all of you before I have come. A man present on the open ground was chewing grass in his mouth. His smiling manner appeared frivolous. However, only those who had seen him attack understood that this fellow might appear like a young and idle person but he was quite strong. There were a couple of figures standing in front of the man. Moreover, all of them had familiar faces. Other than Gu Qin Yang and the two other generals, Ling Quan, and the few black submerged army commanders were also present. However, their expressions were currently a little ugly. Lei Yun, stop your nonsense. I will accompany you if you wish to fight. We will fight however you want. Gu Xing, who was one of the four great generals, spoke in a deep voice. He frowned slightly in the face of the somewhat ear-piercing provocation. Ugh, what fun is there to fight with a big block like you? Earlier, even your black submerged army first general, Gu Qin Yang, had lost to big brother Lei Dong. It seems that the younger generation of my Lei clan is even stronger than that of the Gu clan. The man called Lei Yun smilingly said. Lei Yun, you should stop using this glib of your tongue. The silver-clothed man standing in front of Lei Yun suddenly smiled and shook his head. He immediately cupped his hands together towards Gu Qin Yang and laughed, I'm really sorry, this fellow has always been straightforward. Gu Qin Yang frowned upon hearing these words. The manner in which this was spoken. Qi, the strongest person amongst the younger generation of my Gu clan is Miss Sun Er. If you really wish for a challenge, you can go to Miss Sun Er and have a try. A commander of the black submerged army involuntarily opened his mouth and laughed coldly. Ha ha, Sun Er ha. The silver clothed Lei Dong smiled slightly upon hearing this. There was an unknown feeling within his eyes as he said, I have long since heard of Miss Sun Er. It is a must for me to meet her during this trip to the Gu clan. Gu Hua had escaped earlier. He should have gone to find her, right? The expressions of those commanders from the black submerged army had a change in expression after seeing that the eyes of this person was so sharp. Haha, <laughs> big brother Lei Dong, it is rumored that both you and Sun Er had nearly gotten married back then. Coincidentally, the clan head is present. Why don't you ask him to mention about it? With your current achievement, just who is not worthy of the other? Lei Yun laughed. The expressions of Gu Yuan and the others involuntarily sunk after hearing these words. There were many people amongst the younger generation of the Gu clan who felt some infatuation towards Sun Er. Although Xiao Yan had currently caught her heart, Sun Er was ultimately still a bright pearl within the Gu clan. How could others tease her in such a manner? These people from the Lei clan are really still such a headache. A couple of figures were watching the show on the training ground from a high platform at the eastern side. They had a fire symbol on their foreheads. Clearly, they were members of the Yen clan. The one stranding in the leader's spot had a familiar face. It was Xian, whom Xiao Yan had met a couple of times before. Beside him was the veiled-faced lady named Huya, who possessed the red lotus he flame. Lei Dong had indeed improved greatly during these years. It looks like the Lei clan has put in a great amount of effort. Given his achievement, there is indeed nothing wrong to groom him as the next clan head. However, there is still a need to hone his character. Huya swept her eyes across the training ground as she whispered. Haha, what is the point of putting in any effort? It is not as though you do not know who Sun Er is fond of. Moreover, that fellow is coincidentally also in the Gu realm. Hu Xian smiled and spoke gloatingly. If he comes out, it is likely that these fellows from the Lei clan will be in for trouble. 
Xiao Yan Ha. Huaya was slightly startled upon hearing this. She softly said, it is rumored that the chief of the Hall of Soul had been defeated in his hands. I wonder if this is true. It is likely true. Before we have come, the clan head had told me to be a little closer to Xiao Yan. This is the only time I have seen the clan head holding a young person in such high regard. Han Xian replied. Oh. Hui Ye's brow was lifted. A solemn expression flashed across her eyes. The few commanders of the black submerged army on the training around had become a little furious because of Lei Yun's words while Wu Xian and Huya were chatting. Their expressions became cold. They were unable to control themselves and were about to attack when first commander Gu Zhen at the side extended his hand to stop them. His eyes turned towards Lei Yu and spoke with a deep meaning in his words. Lei Yun, sometimes, being obtusive is not a good thing. Be careful of luring trouble with your words. Oh. Is that so? Lei Yun smiled and spoke in a noncommittal manner upon hearing this. I think that should be the case. A soft laughter suddenly resounded over the training ground after Lei Yun's words sounded. Immediately, the many pairs of eyes present were turned. One could see three figures appearing on the tall stage at the north of the training ground out of the blue. These people were looking down at the training ground. Sun Er, Xiao Yan. Gu Qin Yang and the rest were startled upon seeing two of the three figures. He he, this must be Miss Sun Er from the Gu clan. She is indeed extremely beautiful and is worthy of Big Brother Lei Dong. The many pairs of eyes from the Lei clan paused on Sun Er immediately. A surprise flashed across their eyes. After which, Lei Yun could not help but open his mouth to speak. Before he could finish speaking, however, he was suddenly stopped by Lei Dong beside him. Ugh, Big Brother Lei Dong. Lei Yun was startled after he was stopped by Lei Dong. He turned his head doubtfully, only to discover that Lei Dong was solemnly staring at a black-clothed young man beside Sun Er. If I guess correctly, this friend should be Xiao Yan from the Xiao clan, right? Lei Dong's eyes stared directly at Xiao Yan. His grave eyes contained some vague excitement in them. Xiao Yan. Lei Yun's expression changed upon hearing this name. He involuntarily exclaimed, that Xiao Yan who is rumored to have defeated Han Yesheng. Xiao Yan calmly smiled as he stood on the tall stage and nodded. Chi, this brat is even more arrogant than us. What is there to be proud about defeating Han Yesheng? The other party might have purposefully allowed him to win. The usually proud members of the Lei clan felt some displeasure after seeing this manner of Xiao Yan. They began to mutter softly. Although their voices were soft, it still spread. No one knew if they had done so purposefully or accidentally. Sun Er frowned slightly as she stood on the tall stage. Her pretty face revealed a chillness. She was just about to speak when Xiao Yan waved his hand. He stepped forward and laughed softly, I heard that the few of you are here to spar and have fun. May I know if I can also join in the fun? He, are you here to help them get back at us? However, you aren't from the Gu clan, are you? Lei Dong said. His face twitched after seeing that Xiao Yan was showing signs of being about to stand up for the Gu clan. Brother Xiao Yan is the husband-to-be of Sun Er. He can be considered a member of our Gu clan. Gu Qin Yang spoke in a faint voice. The relationship between Xiao Yan and Sun Er was widely known within the Gu clan. Moreover, with Xiao Yan's current strength, even the clan head had accepted it. This matter was basically decided and no one could change the decision. Oh. Lei Dong suddenly frowned upon hearing this. He immediately licked his lips. A black lightning arc flashed across his eyes as he said. Since brother Xiao Yan is interested, please join us. Black lightning suddenly surged out from within Lei Dong's body after his final word sounded. A crackling lightning lingered around his body as an unusually wild and violent aura spread, causing the expressions of many to change. I wonder how Xiao Yan would deal with that thing. Gu Qin Yang and the others stared intently at the black lightning lingering around Lei Dong's body. Earlier, they had been defeated by this frightening black lightning. The offensive strength of this black lightning was extremely great. Even their defenses were easily broken through upon contact. Black Demon Lightning Huh? A surprise flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the familiar black lightning on Lei Dong's body. It was unexpected that the latter was actually able to control the black demon lightning. It was likely that its combat ability was also quite great. No wonder he was able to defeat Gu Qin Yang and the others. However, this did not pose much of a threat towards Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's body moved in front of the many pairs of eyes. He directly appeared in front of Lei Dong. His eyes swept over the dozen over members of the Lei clan. After which, he shifted his legs and laughed in front of the many stunned pairs of eyes, there is not much time. Why don't all of you attack together? Chapter 1588, Spar Xiao Yan's words had undoubtedly stirred an uproar in this place. Soon after, many warriors from the black submerged army cheered in Yuzhen. On the other hand, those members of the Lei clan had ugly expressions. This was the first time that they had been looked down upon. Humph, Xiao Yan, you should not act overly arrogantly. Lei Yun's smiling face had also disappeared while he cried out loud. 
There are times when trying to win with words is not good. Xiao Yin smiled slightly. His expression was calm and without ripple. He had also clearly heard what Lei Yun had said earlier. Although he did not wish to find fault with the latter, his heart involuntarily felt some displeasure at him making fun of Sonair. Moreover, he also understood in his heart that if he wished to get these wild people to obediently shut their mouths, he would need some brutal tactics. Lei Dong frowned tightly. He looked at the black-cloaked young man in front of him and vaguely felt a sense of danger within his heart. Other people might think that Xiao Yin defeating Han Mieshen was merely rumors but he clearly understood in his heart that this was indeed the truth. Moreover, he even knew that Han Mieshen did not hold back even a little. Instead, he had been defeated after using all of his strength. He had once heard the clan head casually mention that the strongest person from the younger generation in the Dochi continent was definitely Xiao Yan from the Xiao clan. Lei Dong would never forget the soft sigh in the tone of Lei Ying as he uttered these words. Such a person had actually appeared in the Xiao clan, which had declined. This really caused one to feel a great disbelief. Lei Dong was someone who desired battles. In order to train, he was able to endure for five years within the demon lightning pool without any news and suffered the bitterness from having bitten by tens of thousands of lightning during this period of time. This, along with the many resources that the Lei clan had used to groom him, enabled him to possess his current achievement. From the bottom of his heart, he was extremely unwilling to admit that his achievement could not even be compared with someone from a declined clan. Since Brother Xiao Yan has made such a request, Lei Yun, all of you should just listen to him. Lei Dong slowly exhaled and spoke in an indifferent voice. Understood. The expressions of Lei Yun and the others sunk upon hearing these words. They immediately smiled coldly and agreed. With a sudden step forward, the auras from the ten of them suddenly soared to the peak. Lei Yun's aura was the strongest amongst them. It had actually reached the high-level Banshin class. The remaining were mostly at the nine-star Dozun class. The expressions of many present were slightly altered after these ten ferocious auras surged. It was likely a little troublesome to deal with the combination of these ten people. Xiao Yan, allow my Lei clan to see if those rumors are true. Lei Yun's boldness had once again rose after the aura surged. A low cry was emitted. The ten of time rushed out almost simultaneously and they cooperated perfectly with each other. The ten individuals separated with lightning-like speed and surrounded Xiao Yan. Their expressions were grave as they quickly changed the seal formed by their hands. Ten lightning pillars, which were a thousand feet large, immediately rose. They quickly turned into ten meandering lightning dragons that were roaring furiously. Lightning Dragon Slaughter The expressions of the ten individuals hardened as the lightning dragon meandered. All of them whistled downwards at the same time. A rumbling thunder roar resounded continuously. Lei Yun and the others were no fool. They understood Xiao Yan's strength. Hence, all of them had used their strongest attack together. The strength when ten of them joined hands was quite great. Silver light flashed in the sky. Immediately, a lightning glow surged in front of the many pairs of eyes. The ten lightning dragons were accompanied by ferocious roars as they violently collided onto Xiao Yan below. Bang! Energy ripples spread from the point of collision. The tough ground immediate burst apart, covering the place with dust. We've hit. Many pairs of eyes were stunned as they watched the scene. Earlier, Xiao Yan did not even appear to have dodged. The dust over the training ground slowly settled and Xiao Yan once again appeared in everyone's sight. However, he was still wearing his black clothes and standing straight. There was not even the slightest injury on him. Even the ground with ten feet from him appeared undamaged, looking completely different from the mess in the other areas. How is this possible? The expressions of Lei Yun's group immediately became pale as they looked at Xiao Yan, who did not even take a step back. Immediately, a deep feeling of helplessness rose from them. They were actually this weak in the eyes of the other party. Your attack is still passable. The entire area was completely silent Xiao Yan merely smiled slightly. He did not even look at Lei Yun's group. His eyes turned towards Lei Dong before extending his hand and laughed, after you. Bang. Lei Dong's face was so grave that it could not be even more serious. That casual manner of Xiao Yan caused him to feel a great amount of pressure. However, he was also a decisive individual. His body rushed forward like lightning the moment Xiao Yan's laughter sounded. He clenched his hand. A black lightning rapidly surged over his arm. Finally, it swiftly agglomerated into a long black spear in his hands. Lightning arcs leaped over the body of the spear. Qi. Lei Dong was extremely quick. He appeared in front of Xiao Yan in almost the blink of an eye. The spear shadows danced immediately sharp spear winds directly covered the fatal spots around his body. A trace of extremely dark black lightning arc appeared in a partially visible manner. If it came into contact with it, a bloody hole would be formed even on the body of a three-star elite Doshen. Everyone outside the battleground held their breath as they looked at the continuous stream of spear shadows, which did not allow one to catch a breather. They were really unable to imagine just how they would deal with such rapid attacks if they were in Xiao Yan's place. This Lei Dong does indeed have some ability. Gu Qin Yang and the others looked at this scene. They involuntarily nodded. Even if it was him, it would likely be difficult for him to endure for a long time. Although this person was a little arrogant, he did have the capital to do so. However, 
This ability was perhaps not worth mentioning in front of Xiao Yan. Lei Dong's spear doesn't appear to be able to touch Xiao Yan. Gu Xing looked at the battleground and suddenly exclaimed with shock. Lei Dong was rumored to possess the strength of an advanced three-star Doshan. Adding the mutated lightning Do Qi on his body, his attack could be comparable to a four-star Doshan. However, such a strength was actually unable to even touch Xiao Yan's body. Just what level has the latter reached? Gu Qing Yang and the rest by the side nodded their heads. They exchanged glances and were able to see a shock in the other party's eyes. This was especially the case for Gu Yao, who had once exchanged blows with Xiao Yan. He had ended up laughing continuously. When Xiao Yan had first arrived at the Gu clan, he still needed to fight with all his strength in order to narrowly beat Gu Yao. Now, however, the gap between the two of them had been endlessly widened. Since even those from around were able to see the situation, Lei Dong, who was participating in the battle, had naturally also detected this. The more he fought, the more frightened he was. Xiao Yan in front of him was just like a black hole. Regardless of how sharp his attacks were, they were quietly devoured by Xiao Yan. None of them even damaged the latter. Demon Lightning Descend Lei Dong's expression was tensed. Suddenly, a ruthlessness flashed across his eyes. The sharp spear shadows in the sky suddenly paused. One could see him bite his tongue. Blood shot out. There was actually black lightning arcs flashing within the blood. The blood quickly landed on the tip of the spear and the tip of the spear quickly dimmed. Soon after, Lei Dong's spear trembled. His speed was suddenly raised to the limit as he pierced towards Xiao Yan's throat with lightning-like speed. How fast? Lei Dong suddenly raised his speed, causing the expressions of many to change. Even someone as strong as Gu Qin Yang and the rest could only see a black light flash. Qi. The contact merely lasted for only a moment. Everyone had sense a black light flashed in their eyes and a soft sound appeared. Their eyes hurriedly glanced over, only to see Lei Dong's spear being heavily pierced onto Xiao Yan's wide and wide palm. However, those sharp-eyed individuals could discover that the tip of Lei Dong's spear continued to be half an inch from Xiao Yan's palm. Regardless of how wildly Lei Dong activated his Dou Qi, he was unable to advance even a little. Lei Dong's full force attack was actually received by Xiao Yan's palm. Bang. Lei Dong's palm was suddenly smashed onto the spear as he clenched his teeth. Black lightning abruptly surged. In an instant, it charged onto Xiao Yan's arm. Before Lei Dong could rejoice, however, that black lightning quickly dimmed. It was as though there was something being devoured. A familiar taste. Xiao Yan smiled slightly as he devoured the black demon lightning that had invaded his body. He suddenly grabbed with his hand and the long spear in Lei Dong's hand exploded apart. He immediately stepped forward and approached the latter's body in a ghost-like fashion. The gentle palm randomly landed on the latter's chest. His palm shook and everyone saw Lei Dong miserably flying backwards. Thank you for the victory. Xiao Yan smiled and said after pushing Lei Dong back with a palm. The rate at which the battle came to an end caused one to be stunned. Within a short few minutes, Lei Dong's group was easily defeated in Xiao Yan's hands. Everyone in the battleground had become quiet for a moment due to this. Soon after, the many black submerged army warriors began to cheer. The noise was like thunder, which resounded over the square. Bang. Lei Dong fell miserably on the ground amidst the deafening cheer. He clenched his teeth and was just about to attack when a thunder-like laughter suddenly sounded from nowhere. Ha ha, what an excellent little fellow from the Xiao clan. These little brats does indeed have a great gap compared to you. However, I have become a little itchy-handed after watching this. May I know if you are bold enough to receive a strike from me? The clan head of the Lei clan. This old fellow really doesn't care about his seniority. Gu Qing Yang, Sun Er, and the others immediately had a change in expression upon hearing this loud laughter. They did not expect that this battle-crazy old man who biasly sided with his kin would actually be unable to resist appearing. It seemed that Xiao Yan defeating these younger generation of the Lei clan by himself had caused him to be unable to seat still. This sudden scene also caused Xiao Yan to frown slightly. He did not expect that this old fellow would actually show himself in this matter between younger generation. Relax, little fellow Xiao Yan. This elderly self will only use 50% of my strength. What do you say? Lei Ying's loud laughter once again sounded as Xiao Yan frowned. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath after seeing this old man pressing him. Without any unnecessary words, he cupped his hands together and cried out in a deep voice. Xiao Yan from the Xiao clan will seek advice from you. Chapter 1589, Peep. Haha, good, you are indeed bold. You do possess some of the courage of Xiao Xian from back then. The sky above the training ground suddenly began to fluctuate. Immediately, three figures flashed and appeared. They were Gu Yuan trio within the large hall. That loud laughter was emitted from the mouth of the metal tower-like man to the left. Sun Er frowned slightly as she stood on the tall stage a short distance away. Gu Hua at the side had a sunken face as he spoke with some irritation, just what is the clan head of the Lei clan doing? In terms of seniority, he is many times older than Xiao Yan. Yet, he actually dares to intervene. 
All of them understood that although Xiao Yan could currently be called the most outstanding person amongst the younger generation of the Dochi continent, the other part here was the clan head of the Lei clan. There were hardly anyone on the Dochi continent who could defeat the latter. Given his status, it was a little overboard for him to attack Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan Ge Ge likely has his own plans. He will not do something that he does not have any confidence in. Although her heart felt a little worried, Sun Er had a relatively greater confidence towards Xiao Yan. She was aware that the latter would not do something overly reckless. Since he dared to accept the challenge, it was likely that he did have some confidence. Gu Hua by the side laughed bitterly upon hearing this. Lei Ying was an eight-star Doshen. Just thinking of this level made them feel a little helpless. There was no need to even mention fighting him. Most people present had felt extremely stunned that Xiao Yan dared to accept Lei Ying's challenge. Immediately, everyone looked at each other. Their eyes looked at the skinny figure standing on the training ground. Forget about him. Just this boldness had caused caused many to admire you greatly. Lei Dong's expression was extremely complicated as he glanced at Xiao Yan. After which, he quietly withdrew. His full force attack did not allow Xiao Yan to take even half a step back. On the other hand, he had been defeated under the sharp palm of the other party. The cruel reality had told him the gap between the two. Lei Yun lowered his head in a dispirited manner as he stood behind Lei Dong. Earlier, the ten of them had joined hands but Xiao Yan had ultimately did not look at him in the eye. This kind of quiet face-off might cause them to be a little furious but most of the time, they felt a helplessness. They did not even doubt that if Xiao Yan really had such thoughts, it was likely that a random wave of his hand had caused the ten of them to immediately lie on the ground. However, he did not do this. Perhaps he felt a contempt against such an action. In Xiao Yan's eyes, they appeared like some insects arrogantly trying to shake a giant tree. A true expert would never be bothered with the provocation of the weak. Lei Yun thought that if he had not teased Sun Er with his words, it was likely that Xiao Yan would not even bother to look at him. Although this fellow is very strong, he really does not know his limits. The clan head is an 8-star Doshen. Even 50% of his strength is more than sufficient to deal with an ordinary 7-star Doshen. Liu Yun hesitated for a moment as he stepped back. Finally, he muttered softly. Shut up. Lei Dong cried coldly and glared ferociously at Lei Yun. He chided, don't you find that you have embarrassed yourself sufficiently? If it is not because the few of you have insisted on heading here, none of this would have happened. Even if Xiao Yan is unable to receive a strike from the clan head, he will not suffer any damage to his reputation. Instead, many will admire his courage. Lei Yun shrunk his shoulder after seeing Lei Dong becoming furious. He hurriedly shut his mouth. The latter had a relatively high prestige in their hearts. Ha ha, is that the little fellow from the Xiao clan? He does appear to be equal to Xiao Xian in terms of his boldness. The clan head of the Yen clan, who had a pair of bright red eyebrows, stood in the sky and looked at Xiao Yan below in a strange manner. He immediately laughed. Lei Ying, isn't it a little inappropriate for you to fight Xiao Yan, given your status? Gu Yuan spoke in a faint voice. Haha, it is not as though you are unaware of my temperament. I am never concerned about age and status when fighting others. All I care about is ability. Lei Ying's laughter was like thunder as it continuously reverberated in the sky. Immediately, he looked at Xiao Yan and laughed, however, since clan head Gu Yuan has put it this way, we can forget about it if you think that it is dangerous. Xiao Yan had long since heard about the great name of clan head Lei Ying. It is my honor to be able to fight with you. Xiao Yan smiled. He had surprised others by not simply taking the opportunity and withdraw. Instead, he smilingly accepted the fight. There was likely a need for the three clans to have a deep discussion over the matter of the Han clan. There might even be a need for an alliance. It is best to place both parties on equal footing when conducting such a discussion. Otherwise, there would ultimately be some unnecessary trouble. The best method to place both parties on the same footing was to display a strength that the other party would hold in high regard. Lei Ying was an 8-star Doshen. 50% of his strength could turn an ordinary 7-star Doshen into a mess. Currently, Xiao Yan had the strength of an intermediate 6-star Doshen. If he was to use some other aid, he would be comparable to a 7-star Doshen. Hence, it was not impossible to receive a strike from Lei Ying containing 50% of the latter's strength. Xiao Yan's words once again stunned many individuals. Lei Ying also involuntarily laughed out loud. He said, Good, little fellow, you really suit my taste. Gu Yuan by the side smiled slightly upon seeing this. He glanced at Xiao Yan but did not say anything more. Lei Ying slowly lowered his body from the sky. Both of his hands were crossed over his chest. Black-colored lightning glow lingered over his body. There was a vague terrifying aura spreading quietly. This caused those people around the training ground to involuntarily withdraw some distance. Their expressions were frightened as they looked at the metal tower-like figure. Xiao Yan watched Lei Ying with a grave expression. Immediately, he inhaled a deep breath of air. A thought passed through his mind and Little E swiftly merged with his soul. Immediately, pink flames seeped out from within his body. His body also became as crystal clear as pink glass. Xiao Yan had naturally unleashed the extermination fire body immediately when faced with such a powerful opponent. There are six types of heavenly flame sent within the flame. 
Yen Jin's eyes contained a strange glint as he stared at Xiao Yan. Given his eyesight, it took only a glance for him to see through the number of heavenly flames merged within the pink flame. A surprise immediately rose on his face. He had personally experienced just how difficult it was to merge heavenly flames. Just merging two heavenly flames had exhausted all his strength. He had never even imagined merging six types of heavenly flames. Many pairs of eyes gathered onto Xiao Yan's body. They looked at the body, which had suddenly turned glass-like. Many of them had startled faces. However, after they gradually sensed the swiftly rising aura of Xiao Yan behind him, this surprise quickly turned into shock. Lei Dong, who had just exchanged blows with him, smiled bitterly and shook his head. He was actually holding back. This aura likely possessed the strength of an initial seven-star Doshen. This little fellow has used the heavenly strength until its limit. A surprise flashed across the eyes of Yan Jin and the others as they muttered to themselves. Clan head Lei Ying, try receiving this attack of mine. Pride surged within Xiao Yan's heart as he once again used the extermination fire lotus and sensed the volcanic eruption like extermination force. Swoosh swoosh. A flame quickly agglomerated in Xiao Yan's palm as it struck forward. It directly agglomerated into an exquisite six-colored fire lotus at a shocking speed. An extermination ripple, which could not be restrained, was suddenly unleashed the moment the fire lotus was formed. This caused Yan Jin and Gu Yuan in the distance to exchange a sidelong glance. What a terrifying fire lotus. Gu Dao of the Gu clan's three immortals had a grave expression as he watched the fire lotus on Xiao Yan's palm. Even he could sense danger from it. It was unexpected that the fire lotus Xiao Yan had created after advancing into the six-star Doshin class would actually possess such a powerful strength. If this was used when Hun Sha was chasing after them back then, just the strength of this fire lotus would likely cause the latter to feel afraid. The fire lotus resulted in the shock of many individuals after it appeared. Even Lei Ying's expression had become slightly solemn. He felt a great interest and laughed out loud. That fan-like huge palm of his grabbed forward. Immediately, a thunder roar sounded on his palm, appearing like a thundercloud that had been struck by many times. Have a taste of my Lei clan's lightning calamity palm. A lightning blow surged over Lei Ying's palm. Finally, it suddenly turned into a compressed thundercloud. The thundercloud was beating rapidly like a heart. A an instant later, this entire place suddenly became dark. A lightning glow palm that had merely been strunk until the size of a palm, suddenly rushed out from within the thundercloud. Finally, it collided heavily with Xiao Yan's fire lotus in front of many pairs of eyes. Bang. An earth-shaking like explosion immediately resounded over the entire Gu realm as a frightening energy storm swept over the place in a manner that no one could obstruct. The frightening assault wave that had struck towards them pushed Xiao Yan back by hundreds of meters. Laying in the sky staggered a couple of steps backwards. Immediately, the silver tower-like body stepped on the empty space and actually steadied itself within the assault wave. The strength of an eight-star Doshen was extraordinary. Xiao Yan has actually received it. Many people exclaimed out loud after seeing that Xiao Yan did not suffer any serious injury despite being forced to take hundreds of steps back. This was especially the case for Lei Dong and the others. They involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air. The Lightning Calamity Palm was a rare Tian class high-level Do skill within the Gu clan. Moreover, it was unleashed by Lei Ying. Its might could easily destroy all living creatures within a 500 km radius. Yet, it was only able to force Xiao Yan to take a couple of hundred steps back. The frightening wave spread wildly in the sky while everyone were feeling shocked. Immediately, Gu Yuan waved his sleeve and the space itself had actually collapsed. A huge black hole appeared and devoured all of the wild energy wave. Gu Yuan finally clapped his hands and laughed after completing this action. Lei Ying, that lightning calamity palm of yours contains more than 50% of your strength. Ha ha, outstanding fellow. You are indeed worthy of being the descendant of Xiao Xian. Lei Ying was not irritated upon hearing this. Instead, he laughed heartily. That palm strike from earlier made him feel really good. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. Both of his hands were currently completely numb. Hence, he was unable to cup his hands together. He could only helplessly shake his head in front of the many respectful pairs of eyes around him. Gu Yuan laughed faintly as he stood in the sky. Both of his hands were immediately placed behind him. He lifted his head and looked into the empty pace. That calm voice was just like a sudden thunder that caused one to feel that their skin had been blasted apart. Han Tiendi. Given your status, why do you need to act so stealthily? Chapter 1590, Strange. Gu Yuan's voice was just like an explosion from nowhere, causing those present to stiffen their bodies. An instant later, many shocked eyes were suddenly lifted. They looked at the empty space. Dou Qi began to surge out from the bodies of those black submerged army, who were still observing Xiao Yan's battle earlier, in all directions. Han Tiendi. The name Gu Yuan continuously resounded and exploded in Xiao Yan's ear. This caused his fist to be slowly tightened. That main culprit who had nearly caused the Xiao clan to be exterminated was finally about to appear. Gu clan, be alert. The three immortals from the Gu clan rushed towards the sky at almost the same time. A stern cry reverberated throughout the place. Immediately, many rays of light flew past the mountain range. All the experts from the Gu clan appeared together. 
Immediately, a vast and mighty aura surged in the sky. That lineup caused Xiao Yan to inhale a breath of cold air. Was this the strength of the Gu clan? Gu Yuan's body was suspended in the sky while Dou Qi surged through it. Both of his hands were placed behind him. His expression was calm as he looked at the empty space. Although there was nothing there, he did not show any intention of shifting his eyes away. Elder Gu Yuan, what is it? Yan Jin's and Lei Ying's expressions had become grave at this moment. Their bodies moved and they appeared beside Gu Yuan. Their eyes looked towards the empty realm. However, they did not sense anything. Immediately, a great caution rose in their hearts. Even with their great strength, they were still extremely afraid of that person from the Han clan. Han Tiandi is really here. Could it be that they intend to attack the Gu clan? Yan Jin spoke in a deep voice. Even he involuntarily knitted his brow after uttering these words. The Gu clan was not a clan that other ancient clans could compare to. Even if the Han clan was to launch an all-out assault, it would like be extremely difficult for them to destroy the Gu clan like they did with the Ling clan. Gu Yuan did not reply. His eyes were merely focused at that spot in the space. The originally unusually noisy mountain range had become completely quiet following his silence. One could vaguely hear the sound of one's heartbeat pounding rapidly. Everyone understood just what scene would appear today if the Han clan was to really appear. That scene would be far from what the battle at the Yao clan could compare with. The silence of this place continued for a couple of minutes. However, no one dared to relax. Many pairs of eyes were staring intently at that spot in the air. This kind of quiet focus continued for a couple more minutes before that empty space suddenly formed many ripples. A soft laughter was slowly being emitted at the same time. Haha, Gu Yuan, it has been a long time since we met but your perception is still as sharp as ever. The appearance of this voice immediately caused all the experts from the Gu clan to slowly ready their bodies. Dou Qi whistled like floodwaters within their bodies. Any slight movement would quickly trigger a storm-like attack. The fluctuation of the space caused a swirl to be slowly formed. A long hand was soon extended out from within the swirl. It held the top of the swirl while a figure slowly walked out from it and finally appeared in front of everyone's eyes. The person who had walked out from the swirl was wearing a grayish-white cloth. He appeared to be in his thirties or so. His face was handsome with a pair of unusually bright eyes that seemed to be able to see through one's heart. The first impression that this person gave was that he was a refined individual. If this person held a book in his hand, he would likely appear no different from a scholar. However, it was precisely the appearance of this man, who appeared like a weak scholar, that caused Lei Ying and Yan Jin to become extremely grave. Even Gu Yuan had focused his eyes on this person. He is the clan head of the Han clan, Han Tiandi. Xiao Yan was stunned upon seeing this scene. Clearly, he was unable to link this seemingly warm and refined man with that strangest and most sinister faction on the Dou Qi continent. A couple of human figures slowly walked out from the swirl from behind this man after he appeared. The person leading at the front was covered in black flames. Surprisingly, it was the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, which Xiao Yan had met at the Yao clan back then. Behind him was all the so-called Han clan four demon saints. It was likely extremely difficult to find another lineup like this in the entire Dou Qi continent. With the appearance of these people, all the elders of the Gu clan began to reveal tensed expressions. Many defensive light barrier rose from within the mountain range. The light crossed each other, giving it an extremely brilliant appearance. Haha, the Gu clan is really very lively today. Gu Yuan, Lei Ying, Yan Jin, the four of us has likely not gathered together for thousands of years, right? The white-clothed man in the sky merely smiled slightly in the face of the countless number of defensive barriers below. His voice was gentle as he spoke. Han Tiandi, this is not a place where you should come. Gu Yuan's eyes gathered on the white-clothed man and slowly said. There is nowhere in this where I should not go. Han Tiandi laughed. The both of them acted as though they were engaged in a casual chat. Their voices were both extremely calm. Han Tiandi, is your Han clan responsible for the disappearance of the Ling, Shur, and Yao clans? Lei Ying cried out in a stern voice. Although he was already somewhat aware of the situation, he still really wished to open his mouth and ask. There are some answers that you only need to know in your hearts. Han Tiandi casually smiled and said. His eyes slowly swept over the area below. A chill involuntarily rose from deep within the soul of any individuals caught by his eyes. Although his gaze appeared peaceful, there was a completely emotionless iciness under it. It was as though everything in the world was no different from the sun mere grass in his eyes. You are indeed the one responsible. Lei Ying's and Yan Jin's faces quickly became gloomy after hearing this reply from Han Tiandi. The last Tunling King from the Tunling clan back then has likely been devoured by the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, right? Moreover, it should also be the reason for the continual survival of the Han clan until now, right? Gu Yuan's eyes looked at the human figure being enveloped in black flames behind Han Tiandi and softly said, Had I known this, I should have finished you off back then. Hehe, <laughs> Gu Yuan, you think too highly of yourself. You might be able to defeat me back then but I'm afraid that you do not have the ability to completely destroy me. The black flames that covered the human figure immediately churned upon hearing this. He let out a strange laughter. Moreover, I must thank you for what you have done. If it is not because of this thousand-year retreat, I'm afraid that I would not have been able to reach the nine-star Doshin class. 
Other than Gu Yuan, everyone else present had a change in expression upon hearing the words of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. Nine Star Fo Shen. That was basically the peak existence in this world. In other words, would it not mean that the Han clan possessed two nine star doshengs? He actually possessed the strength of a nine star dosheng. Xiao Yan's expression had turned gloomy at this moment. Two nine star doshengs. Even the Gu clan could not compare with it. No wonder the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame was able to lead a group to destroy the Yao clan. He was actually this powerful. I am already aware of this since you were able to swallow the Yao clan's realm into your body. Gu Yuan spoke in a faint voice. A mere initial nine star dosheng. If I get the chance, I will seal you forever. You will likely never be able to get such an opportunity. Hun Tiendi laughed softly. Hun Tiendi, if you intend to attack the Gu clan by leading so many people over, it is likely that this is still insufficient. Gu Yuan appeared calm. The demeanor of the head of a clan was completely exposed. Ugh, it is indeed a little insufficient. Hun Tiendi nodded and did not refute the claim. Xiao Yan frowned and watched the scene from below. Although the members of the Hun clan had appeared, they did not show any signs of attacking. However, Xiao Yan understood in his heart that these people will definitely not do anything meaningless. There must be a reason for their current action. Could it be that they are using this opportunity to place a formation or something? This thought flashed and disappeared. Gu Yuan was terrifyingly strong. He did not lose to Han Tiendi in strength. It would likely be extremely difficult for the other party to succeed in doing such a thing in front of Gu Yuan. After all, Gu Yuan was not Yao Dan. Clan head Gu Yuan, be careful of any tricks. Yan Jin spoke in a deep voice as he stood in the sky. Clearly, he also understood that this action of the Han clan clearly had some hidden agenda. Han Tiendi merely smiled in the face of Yan Jin's reminder. Both of his hands were placed behind him. He did not speak. All he did was lead his group to simply stand in the air in this manner and face off against Gu Yuan's group. This strange scene caused Xiao Yan to knit his brows tightly together. His body moved and appeared beside Sun Air. The situation was not quite right. He must focus his mind to prevent any situation from happening. Sun Air's safety was clearly most important. Be careful. Sun Air spoke in a soft voice as she looked at Xiao Yan beside her. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. He frowned tightly. The actions of the Hun clan was far too strange. This manner was as though he was purposefully restraining Gu Yuan and the others. What are they planning to do? Xiao Yan's finger were rubbed quickly together. Suddenly his fingers paused. His eyes turned towards Sun Air as he softly asked, Is the ancient jade of the Gu clan with Uncle Gu? Sun Air was startled upon hearing this. She hesitated for a moment before replying softly, No, the ancient jade is in the ancestral hall. That is the most tightly guarded place. Most of the experts within the ancestral hall should have already come out here, right? Xiao Yan looked at the experts from the Gu clan in the sky and remarked. Sun Air swept her pretty eyes around the place. Immediately, her expression was slightly altered. She had indeed discovered that many experts from the ancestral hall had been attracted out here. The aim of the Hun clan was the ancient jade of the Gu clan. Xiao Yan's expression turned gloomy after seeing Sun Air's face. He lifted his head and cried out, Uncle Gu. Be careful of the ancient jade of the Gu clan. Gu Yuan, who had been face off with Hun Tiendi in the sky, had a sudden change in expression. Before he could let out a stern cry, a hurried siren was suddenly emitted from deep within the mountain range. It was a warning from the ancestral hall. Chapter 1591, Search Ao. The hurried warning siren resounded over this world in a deafening manner. It immediately spread apart. It caused the expressions of all the members of the Gu clan suddenly changed drastically. Han Tiendi Gu Yuan's expression was icy cold. His eyes stared at Han Tiendi. The sky had suddenly become a lot dimmer. Vast and mighty natural energy whistled from behind. It connected the sky and land. Looking from a distance, it appeared just like an endless energy tide. Splashing noise resounded continuously. An energy tide was usually formed only when there was an unnatural natural phenomenon occurring. This spectacular scene was also something that the human strength could not reach. However, that energy tide, which might not even be seen in a hundred years was actually formed from a mere thought by Gu Yuan. The strength of a nine-star dosheng was actually this frightening. The seemingly endless energy tide churned continuously. That pressure, which came spreading over, caused even Hun Yan and the others who made up the four demon saints of the Hun clan to adopt an extremely solemn expression. They did not doubt that if they were to attack, it was likely that they would not even last a few exchanges against Gu Yuan. Their bodies and even their souls would be crumbed into nothing under the frightening pressure. The only ones in this world, who could remain calm in the face of the natural tide Gu Yuan had summoned were Han Tiendi and Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. Clan Head, Elder Gu Yuan has injured the Ancestor Hall Elder and stole the Ancient Jade. Gu Yuan expression was icy. A ray of light suddenly rushed out from deep within the mountain range. A somewhat miserable figure swiftly hurried forward and cried out in a sharp voice. What? The entire Gu clan turned into an uproar after this cry sounded. 
The eyes of everyone were filled with disbelief. Elder Guyang. How is this possible? Sun Er's face had also changed drastically at this moment as she involuntarily cried out loud. What happened? Could it be that Elder Guyang is a spy of the Han clan? Xiao Yan's expression was gloomy. The Han clan seemed to greatly specialized in using this trick. Gu Yang is the second elder of the Ancestral Hall. He had guarded the Ancestral Hall for hundreds of years and is extremely loyal to the Gu clan. How can it be possible for him to seal the ancient jade and flee? Sun Er muttered to herself. From the looks of it, she had once of some contact with that elder Gu Yang. Moreover, her impression of him was quite good. This is done by you. Gu Yuan's icy eyes looked at the smiling Han Tiandi and slowly demanded. Han Tiandi grinned. However, he did not open his mouth to say anything. At the same time, he did not have any intention to turn around and leave. A pair of eyes focused on Gu Yuan. As long as he stood here, even Gu Yuan would not dare to simply turn around and leave. This was because the latter understood that should he leave, there would no longer be anyone obstructing him in this place. Gu Yuan naturally understood Han Tiandi's mind. His icy chill on his face was quickly withdrawn. At this level of his, his mental fortitude was already as solid as stone. Even the loss of the ancient jade did not cause him to continue remaining furious. Seal the Gu realm. Gu Dao, the three of you will lead the Black Submerge army and begin a search. Seek Gu Dao out. Gu Yuan opened his mouth and cried. That's right. The three immortals of the Gu realm responded immediately upon hearing this. However, the three of them had just moved when the four demon saints of the Hun clan behind Hun Tiandi drifted forward. From the looks of it, they were actually intending on stopping the trio. Ha ha, Gu Yuan, these people cannot leave. Hun Tiandi laughed. This is not something for you to decide. Gu Yuan spoke in a cold voice. Immediately, he stepped forward. The seemingly endless energy tide behind him immediately churned uncontrollably. It turned into a hundred thousand feet large tidal hand as it slammed towards Hun Tiandi. The space where the palm wind passed trembled intensely. A random strike from such an expert could easily tear the space apart. Ugh, are you finally unable to control yourself and wish to fight? However, you should be aware that this has little impact on me. Han Tian Di smiled after seeing Gu Yuan's earth-shaking like attack. He lifted his palm and a black hole was formed on his palm. It swelled into a hundred thousand feet at a shocking speed and directly wrapped around this entire world. Seeing that dark black hole, even Xiao Yan and the others felt a chill rising in their hearts. They did not doubt that if they were to get entangled into it, even their souls would vanish in an instant. The large tidal hand in the distant sky violently collided with the black hole. No earth-shaking loud sound appeared. Only the slightly collapsed spatial lines and the overflowing destructive force was present. If it was not because the Gu realm had been reinforced over the thousands of years, this fight between the two would cause the space to be directly torn apart. Seeing that Gu Yuan had actually attacked Han Tiandi, the expressions of Yan Jin and Lei Ying became slightly distorted. They exchanged glances before suddenly nodding quietly. The actions of the Hub clan had clearly placed all the ancient clans as their targets. Since they dared to attack the Gu clan this time around, the Yan and Lei clan would definitely meet the same fate in the future. Attack Yan Jin's low cry sounded and the two of them shot out simultaneously. The frightening aura of an eight-star doshing surged directly into the clouds. The pressure from it caused the space itself to emit a slight creaking sound. The might from the simultaneous attack from the both of them was naturally quite strong. After all, with the exception of Gu Yuan, Hun Tiandi, and the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, they were likely the strongest expert on this continent. While Eugene Duo were about to attack, the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, who had been standing still, merely laughed. He took a stride forward, penetrated through the space and appeared in front of the two. Black flame continuously erupted from within his body. Finally, it turned into a couple of huge black dragon fists that lingered around him. A dragon roar shook the sky. Humph. Yen Jin Duo snorted coldly after seeing the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame attacked. Although the latter had already stepped into the Nine Star Doshin class, he was after all only an initial Nine Star Doshin. On the other hand, the both of them were advanced Eight Star Doshin. They were not inferior to the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame if they were to join hands. Sun Air, lead the others and search the mountain. Gu Yang has definitely not managed to escape. Capture him and snatch the ancient jade back. Gu Dao in the sky had a grave expression as he cried out sternly, all remaining elders, set up the great formation to guard the clan. Seal the Gu realm and the mountain range. Do not allow the Hun clan any opportunity to escape. The many elders in the sky responded in Yuzhen after hearing Gu Dao's stern cry. Those fights present in the sky were merely feeling each other out but they needed to take precaution against any hidden tactics of the Hun clan. Hence, they were unable to split too much attention in lending a hand. Big Brother Qin Yang, search the mountain. Sun Er had a completely grave expression at this moment. Her pretty eyes turned towards Gu Qin Yang's group as she cried out. Understood. Gu Qin Yang and the upper echelons of the Black Submerged Army immediately acknowledged upon hearing the order. Many black figures surged forward like locusts and entered the mountain range to begin an inch by inch search. Xiao Yan's expression became grave as he watched the Gu clan being faced with a great enemy in an instant. 
Although the Hun clan did not dispatch a large army this time around, the few people in the sky represented the upper echelon of the Hun clan. This lineup was many times stronger compared to when they attacked the Yao clan. Moreover, Xiao Yan also understood that although the fight in the sky seemed to be able to destroy the world, both parties were merely probing each other's strength or perhaps delaying the time. The reason that they are delaying time was clearly because of Gu Yang. The Hun clan seemed to be dragging things out until Gu Yang showed himself and hand the ancient jade to them while the Gu clan was delaying time to search for that person and snatch back the ancient jade. Hence, the most important factor in the seemingly intense fight was Gu Yang, who had stolen the ancient jade. Sun Air, what is Gu Yang's strength like? Xiao Yan's eyes looked over this mountain range. Although the black submerged army was searching all over the place, there was no reply from them even until now. He immediately frowned and asked. Advance 5 Star Doshin Class. Sun Air clenched her teeth. This Gu Yang could be considered to be one of the stronger individuals within the Gu clan. Who would have expected that he would actually do such a thing? Has his soul reached the perfect heavenly state? Xiao Yan once again asked. I don't think so. There is perhaps still some gap to the perfect level. Sun Air mused for a moment before replying. Training one's soul to the perfect heavenly state was not an easy task. Help me stand guard. Xiao Yan quickly narrowed his eyes upon hearing this. He directly sat down in the air in instruction. Seals were formed by his hands and his soul once again merged with little E. Immediately, his originally majestic spiritual strength had actually soared once again. Invisible spiritual strength spread in all direction from Xiao Yan's brow like flood water. Finally, it swiftly scanned the incomparably enormous mountain range. Xiao Yan's control over his spiritual strength could be considered to have reached the pinnacle. An endless amount of spiritual strength covered the mountain range like densely packed small snakes. Due to him having temporarily merged with little E, his spiritual strength could even penetrate deep underground and use the magma underground to detect the activity in it. With the help from little E, Xiao Yan's current spiritual strength could encompass the area within tens of thousands of kilometers around him. As long as Gu Yan had yet to escape from this mountain range, it would be impossible for him to hide from the probing spiritual perception from Xiao Yan. Sun Air could vaguely sense a kind of invisible spiritual strength penetrating through her body after she saw Xiao Yan sit down. She quickly took a couple of steps closer. Her face cautiously observed her surroundings. Sun Air, we can't find him. Gu Qin Yang and the others suddenly rushed over from all directions with ugly expressions while Xiao Yan was probing. They spoke with dissatisfaction. They had basically searched the entire mountain range but they were still unable to discover Gu Yang. Sun Air knitted her brow. She gently waved her hand. Her pretty eyes looked towards Xiao Yan. Currently, her father and the three grand elders of the Gu clan had been held back by the Han clan. Whether they could find Gu Yang would depend on Xiao Yan. Gu Qing Yang and the rest understood something after seeing Sun Air's eyes. They nodded quietly and did not utter anything to disturb Xiao Yan. This silence continued for around 10 minutes. Gu Qing Yang and the rest were about to involuntarily return to searching the mountain when Xiao Yan's tightly shut eyes suddenly opened. His palm suddenly slammed onto the ground. Immediately, a mountain that was a hundred thousand feet away suddenly exploded. Hot magma surged from it. A figure was also shot out from it in a somewhat miserable manner. Gu Yang. The expressions of Sun Air and the rest quickly became cold as they looked at the figure hiding in the magma. Chapter 1592, Snatching the Jade Black Submerged Army, Capture Him Sun Air's cold cry sounded almost immediately after the figure shot out from within the mountain. She did not find that figure unfamiliar. Spirit Restraining Net Many figures flew over the sky after Sun Air's cold cry sounded. An orderly loud roar sounded while powerful Do Chi swiftly formed into a huge Do Chi net in the sky. Finally, it came pressing over that figure from all directions. The huge net contained a special fluctuation. If one was caught within the web, one would fall into the hands of the many black submerged army's warriors and have difficulty escaping. Explode. That figure did not appear to panic in the face of the huge energy net. His hands formed some seals and dozens of ferocious wind shot out. The wind continuously shot towards the various parts of the net. Soon after, the wind whistled and actually forced the huge net back. After which, he hurriedly lifted his head and looked at the distant sky. His body moved and his speed was raised to the limit as he hurried towards the sky. It's pointless. He is extremely familiar with the black submerged army spirit restraining net. His attack completely targeted the weak spots on the net. Gu Qing Yang's expression sunk after he saw that the huge Do Qi net, which was formed by gathering the Do Qi of many warriors from the black submerged army, being torn apart with such ease. Humph, Gu Yang, you traitor. Gu Yang quickly rushed towards the sky. Gu Dao Trio had also discovered him. Their expressions quickly turned cold. However, they were just about to attack when three of the four demon saints appeared in front of them in a ghost-like manner. The last person formed a hand seal and a 10,000 feet large black light spluttered out from his palm and violence smashed onto the defensive light barrier. The frightening strength torn a cracked line on the defense barrier. Don't let him escape. The sky was a complete chaos. Sun Air waved her hand. Although the Gu clan had many experts, many of the experts were unable to leave their position on the formation due to their need to defend against the Han clan. 
However, they, who belonged to the younger generation, could act. Sun Er was the first to hurry forward after her cry sounded. Gu Qing Yang and the rest hurriedly followed from behind. We should also fight. Hua Xian on the stone platform of the training ground spoke in a deep voice after seeing the scene. His body quickly moved and the huge fire wings on his back were spread. He hurried towards the figure in the sky. Hua Ya and the few experts from the Yen clan behind him also attacked at the same time. Big brother Lei Dong, what should we do? The younger generation from the Lei clan had also become a little absent-minded from the shock of this big battle. Lei Yun hesitated for a moment before asking. All of you should remain here. I will fight. Lei Dong knitted his brow tightly and cried out softly. A silver light flashed over his body. After which, he rushed forward. The other members of the Lei clan could only nod helplessly upon seeing this. Given their strength, they would be seriously injured if Gu Yang was to even touch them. This would end up being a burden to the rest. That figure in the sky was hurrying towards the crack line torn open by one of the four demon saints of the Hun clan, Hun Yan. However, he was still a thousand feet from the crack line when a couple of sharp winds suddenly appeared from behind him. They ruthlessly struck towards his fatal spots. At that moment, he could only pause his body and wave his sleeve. The few wind disappeared. However, in that instant, Sun Air's group had arrived in a flash and surrounded him. Elder Gu Yang, why have you done such a rebellious act? Sun Air's stern cry sounded. Her pretty eyes contained some fury as she looked at the old man, who was in a messy state. He he, do you really think that I am the real Gu Yang? That old man, who was in a mess, involuntarily laughed in a strange manner after hearing Sun Air's reprimand. The gap between the hair that was hung in front of his face revealed a pair of densely cold eyes. These eyes were completely different from the friendliness of the past. Sun Air's group shrunk their eyes. Their hearts involuntarily felt a chill. This Gu Yang was indeed an elder of the Gu clan. If he was a fake, would it not mean that all the secrets of the Gu clan during the many years had been completely spread to the Han clan? Gu Yang's soul had been forcefully merged with me in the hands of Nihi Lighty Sir a hundred years ago. I have been living in isolation during these years and did not dare to appear in front of Gu Yuan and the others. Fortunately, I have finally managed to wait for this day. Gu Yang laughed strangely. His body pulled backwards after his voice sounded. At the same time, many bright dochi pillars shot out from the palm of Sun Air's group. They crossed each other and ruthlessly strike towards Gu Yang. A group of young fellows actually intends to hold me back. Gu Yang laughed out loud. His palm violently pressed under him and the space was distorted in an instant. It directly solidified and blocked the many dochi pillars. He he, I shall take my leave first. Gu Yang once again laughed after blocking the attacks of Sun Air's group. He turned around and left. However, he was turning his body when a fist containing a pink flame directly tore open the space in front of him and smashed onto his chest with lightning-like speed. The hot wind had incinerated the Dochi defense over Gu Yang's body within the blink of an eye. A blood-red handprint appeared on his chest. Trying to leave. Do you think that it is so easy? Xiao Yan stepped on the air and looked at the miserable-looking Gu Yang with a cold smile. The ferocious aura of a six-star Doshin erupted from him, pressuring Gu Yang until the latter's expression changed drastically. Elder Hun Yan, save me. The powerful aura around Xiao Yan's body allowed Gu Yang to understand that he was definitely no match for the former in a fight. The latter hurriedly cried out. Brat, how dare you spoil the plans of my Hun clan? You are seeking death. Hun Yan had naturally clearly seen the events that had transpired. He was extremely furious after seeing Gu Yang being stopped. This was especially the case when the person stopping Gu Yang was Xiao Yan, who had managed to escape from his hands. A furious cry sounded and his finger pressed on the air. An unusually deep black light shot out. Finally, it rushed forward at a speed not visible to the naked eye. Withering Death Finger Xiao Yan's body had turned into a pink glass-like manner the moment Han Yan attacked. His aura also soared suddenly. He pressed his finger forward for a couple of times, yellow spring finger. Bang bang. An incomparably huge energy finger broke through the air as Xiao Yan pressed his fingers continuously. One finger after another was pressed violently onto the unusual black light. Immediately, both parties clashed. The yellow spring finger collapsed. Due to its large numbers, it managed to forcefully receive all of Han Yan's attack after destroying five large energy fingers. Han Yan's expression suddenly sunk after he saw that Xiao Yan had directly received his attack head on. Some surprise surged within his eyes. Back when they were at the Yao clan, Xiao Yan still needed to borrow the strength of the heavenly flame in order to push him back. Now, however, the other party was already able to rely on his own strength to put up some resistance. This improvement was a little too shocking. I will just see how many figures you can receive today. Han Yan's eyes flickered. Black light surged from his finger. Xiao Yan's strength was at the most at the six-star Doshin class. It had only been raised to this level through the use of secret technique. However, Xiao Yan was still greatly lacking if he wished to rely on this to fight Han Yan head-on. Han Yan did not give Xiao Yan any time to catch his breath as he let out a cold cry. He pressed his ten fingers. Immediately, ten black light shot out and swiftly struck through the crack in the defense. After which, all of them targeted Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan's eyes hardened as he watched the scene. 
He curled his palm and gathered a fire lotus. Before his fire lotus could be formed, however, a strong figure suddenly rushed over. A punch was thrown and a seemingly mountain-like vast and mighty aura came pressing downwards. It actually shattered those ten black rays of light. Han Yen, allow me to fight with you. Attacking a member of the younger generation does not show that you are capable. Humph, Gulai, you, the black submerged king, has not improved much during these years. Han Yan's expression was altered slightly as she looked at the mountain-like heavy figure. Black submerged king. The black submerged army top general. This Gu clan does indeed have many experts. Xiao Yan was startled as he looked at the back of the figure in front of him. He had never seen this person in the Gu clan. Young friend Xiao Yan, I will leave Guyang to you. You must snatch back the ancient jade. The black submerged king swayed in the wind. He spoke in a deep voice without turning back. After which, he stepped forward and directly engaged in an intense battle with Han Yan. Xiao Yan nodded. He did not have the energy to pay attention to the fight between those two. Turning around, he looked at Gu Yang, who was in a terrible state, with a cold smile. Sun Air and the rest had also encircled around him and completely surrounded him. Gu Yang watched the encirclement around him. A ferocious expression suddenly flashed over his face. He stepped on the air and his body actually rushed towards the energy barrier in the sky. Xiao Yan's face turned cold after seeing that this person was actually planning to force his way in. Hot flame whistled out from him and smashed onto Gu Yang's body with lightning-like speed. Blood and flesh scattered immediately. Gu Yang's body was covered with blood after facing the intense attack from Xiao Yan's group. However, the ferocity and craziness on his face became increasingly intense. His seemingly crippled-like body was still a thousand feet from the barrier when it actually began to swell rapidly. He is about to self-destruct. The expressions of Xiao Yan's group changed immediately upon seeing this scene. The self-destruct from an advanced five-star Doshing had quite a powerful force. Everyone quickly slowed down. Bang. Gu Yang's body had swiftly exploded apart while Xiao Yan's group had reduced their speed. A frightening uncontrolled violent assault shattered the energy barrier in the blink of an eye. Energy raged and a blood glow suddenly shot out. After which, they rushed towards the few battlegrounds in the sky in a crazy manner. The ancient jade is inside. Stop him. Xiao Yan's sharp eyes immediately saw a palm-sized crystal clear ancient jade being wrapped within the blood glow. It was surprisingly the Tushi ancient god jade from the Gu clan. That fellow had actually chose to self-destruct in order to deliver the ancient jade. Chapter 1593, Losing the Jade Swoosh The bright light was just like a falling star as it swept through the sky with lightning-like speed, attracting the eyes of everyone present. Xiao Yan was the fastest to react. The wings behind him flapped suddenly the moment the red light tore through the energy barrier and escaped. Within a couple of flashes, he had appeared a short distance from the blood light. He curled his hand and a suction force was emitted. The speed at which the red light flew out was greatly diminished. Humph. A somewhat cold snort suddenly descended from the sky while Xiao Yan was stopping the red light. At the same time, waves after waves of dangerous feeling quickly surged out from within his heart. Bang. A feeling of danger had just appeared in his heart when the light above his head suddenly became dim. Soon after, the sky above Xiao Yan's head suddenly exploded apart. A white jade-like hand was extended from the sky. It grabbed at Xiao Yan and the destructive strength contained within the palm wind caused even Xiao Yan's exterminating fire lotus to be unable to catch up. Han Tiendi. Such a frightening pressure immediately caused this name to flash within Xiao Yan's heart. Only Gu Yuan and this person could be able to use such a frightening energy as they pleased. Withdraw. Xiao Yan did not pause even briefly in the face of the white jade-like hand. His body directly pulled backwards. He understood that with his strength, it was impossible for him to fight with Han Tiendi. It was likely even extremely difficult for him to stop this person for even a moment. The name of the ultimate expert on the Dochi continent was not simply an empty one. Xiao Yan was not slow but that large hand was even faster. It directly tore through the space and grabbed downwards. However, the space around Xiao Yan fluctuated intensely just as the large hand was about to grab downwards. Immediately, another large palm tore through the space and collided violently with the clear white large hand. Bang. The two collided ferociously. An extermination storm quickly swept apart. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically upon sensing the terrifying storm. His body hurriedly pulled back as he feared getting dragged into the fight. Hun Tiendi, since you wish to start a war, my Gu clan will accompany you till the end. Gu Yuan's stern cry, which seemed to vaguely contain a trace of fury, sounded in the sky after the large hands collided. Haha, you should have uttered these words back then when the Xiao clan had been destroyed by our Hun clan. Saying these words now, is a little too late. Hun Tiendi's faint laughter sounded in the sky. After his voice sounded, many huge spatial cracks were suddenly rapidly formed in the empty space. Black fog surged out from within in all directions. Waves after waves of unusually powerful dark and cold auras spread from within the crack line. Has the Hun clan's army been mobilized? Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly after he sensed the number of powerful auras within the crack lines. Ao. 
Black fog surged out from the cracks like floodwaters the moment they appeared. Finally, the swiftly turned into a hundred thousand feet large black seal. The black seal was suspended in the sky. The huge shadow completely covered this mountain range. Activate the formation. Seeing the huge black seal suspended in the sky, the expressions of all the experts within the Gu clan had become grave. The Hun clan had indeed come prepared. Fortunately, the experts from the Gu clan had already received their orders. Many loud cries immediately sounded. Boom boom. Light curtains suddenly surged from the mountains after the cries sounded. Waves after waves of powerful majestic energy, which caused one to shudder, turned into light pillar that whistled upwards. Finally, it flew into the sky and formed a gorgeous ancient mirror, which size was not inferior to the black seal. Light sparkled on the mirror, which was filled with a shocking energy fluctuation. Exterminating Seal The black seals in the sky shook. Suddenly, a low and sharp voice that seemed to belong to tens of thousands of individuals, was emitted from within the crack lines. Immediately, the black seal directly descended from the sky. It was as though a disaster had fell onto this mountain range. The area within hundreds of thousands of feet would have been destroyed in an instant if the black seal struck the ground. Goody's Mirror All the experts from the Gu clan maintaining the formation, had reddened faces at this moment. Their furious cry resounded over the sky. Immediately, an incomparably huge brilliant ancient mirror appeared and collided heavily with the black seal in front of many anxious pairs of eyes. Rumble The entire world seemed to have collapsed at this moment. An indescribable destructive fluctuation raged crazily. Even though the ancient world is strong, many dark black cracks had been formed at this moment. Two huge creatures had violently collided in the sky. Immediately, they collapsed under the raging storm. Grug. Many experts from the Gu clan below ended up spitting out a mouthful of blood after the ancient mirror collapsed. The space cracks, which were filled with black fog, also emitted many sharp miserable wails. Clearly, the all-out fight between the two clans this time around had resulted in quite a great loss. The extermination storm raged within the sky. Even the battlegrounds had been suppressed by it. The three immortals of the Gu clan and the four demon saints of the Hun clan withdrew their bodies while wearing frightened expressions. Despite their strength, they would likely end up dying if they were to be struck by this extermination storm. The only people who could remain fine under this extermination storm were Han Tiendi, Gu Yuan, and the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. Xiao Yan hid within the formation. He looked at the extermination fluctuation that was spreading wildly in the distant sky like a furious roaring dragon. His expression was grave. Was this an attack that was unleashed with the strength of the entire clan? That earlier attack was definitely comparable to a nine-star Doshan. After the numbers reached a certain level, it was indeed sufficient to create a significant change. Where is the ancient jade? The solemn expression on Xiao Yan's face continued for an instant before he suddenly turned his eyes. Finally, they paused on the spot outside of the expert animation storm in the sky. A weak red light was vaguely visible at that spot. While Xiao Yan saw the position of the ancient jade, the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, who was still entangled in a battle with the clan heads of the Lei and Yan clans, suddenly pulled back. The area behind him was the location of the ancient jade. Stop him. He intends to snatch the ancient jade. Xiao Yan hurriedly cried out with a change in expression upon seeing the scene. Lei Ying and Yan Jin had a slight change in expression after hearing Xiao Yan's cry. Their bodies immediately rushed forward. Lightning Calamity Palm Descending Flame Mysterious Finger The two of them unleashed a sharp attack simultaneously while their bodies moved. A huge bright lightning palm and blinding fire glow flashed through the empty space at a speed undetectable to the naked eye and swiftly hurried towards the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. Humph! The Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame had a slightly cold expression as he faced the sharp attacks from the two of them. However, he did not dodge. Instead, his body shook. Countless black spirals appeared in the space around him. Bang bang bang! A frightening attack suddenly arrived. Densely packed black hole ripples continued to explode continuously. Although the black hole had hindered the attacking speed, this was merely a way to delay time. Once the black holes completely collapsed, the lightning palm and the fire finger immediately landed on the back of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. A frightening strength exploded on the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame's back. Black flame shot out in all directions. Even with the great strength of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame, he involuntarily staggered after being struck heavily by Lei Ying and Yan Jin. His body also became paler. With the help of this force, his body appeared at the red light in a flash. His mouth widened and swallowed the ancient jade into his mouth. The Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame laughed out loud after the ancient jade landed in his hands. The four demon saints from the Hun clan rushed forward and guarded him. Their eyes were cautiously looking at Lei Ying and Yan Jin, who were giving chase. He he, have you beaten till your fill? Be rest assured this I will definitely make you repay this palm strike today many times over. The expression of the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame had become dark and cold as he looked at Lei Ying and Yan Jin and laughed in a strange voice. Lei Ying's and Yan Jin's expressions were unusually ugly. It was unexpected that the two of them combined were unable to stop the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame. Instead, they had allowed the latter to snatch his ancient jade. Let's go. 
The needy lighty devouring flame did not linger for long after getting hold of the ancient jade. His body moved and he hurried into the spatial crack. Halt. The space fluctuated just as the needy lighty devouring flame moved. Gu Yuan appeared. His expression seemed slightly gloomy. Before he could attack, the grayish white clothed Han Tiandi appeared in front of him. He had received Gu Yuan's attack with a flip of his hand. After which, his body drifted backwards. Black fog surged from the spatial crack behind him. A huge black seal was once again formed. Gu Yuan's body trembled as he looked at the black seal which was formed. The experts from the Gu clan below hurriedly formed the ancient mirror in an attempt to defend against the exterminating attack from the Gu clan upon seeing this. Gu Yuan, I have said that the Gu clan had lost the best opportunity to fight the Han clan when the Xiao clan was destroyed. Han Tiandi laughed faintly as he looked at the gloomy Gu Yuan and slowly said. The Tushi ancient god mansion will ultimately land in the hands of my Han clan. Gu Yuan, I will advance into that level, trust me. The ancient jade is separated into eight pieces. You have only obtained five of them. There is no need to act in such a pleased manner. Gu Ying cried out in a cold voice. Is that so? A strange smile surfaced on Han Tiandi's face after he heard this. He immediately spoke softly, the clan heads of the Lei and Yen clan has left their clans. Do you think that the Hun clan will not grasp such an opportunity? What? Lei Ying's and Yen Jin's body trembled upon hearing these words. Their expressions became extremely grave. Could it be that the Hun clan had also attacked the Yen and Lei clans while attacking the Gu clan? Han Tiandi merely smiled faintly in the face of the shock from the two of them. He slowly withdrew into the spatial crack line with the Nihi Lighty devouring flame and the others. Even Gu Yuan did not dare to simply attack under the deterrence from the huge black seal. That's right. Han Tiandi's eyes suddenly turned towards Xiao Yan, who was in the formation, just as his body was about to disappear into the crack line. You are Xiao Yan, right? The ancient jade of the Xiao clan should be in your hands. Ugh, half a month later, at the burial sky mountain range. Bring the ancient jade over if you wish to rescue your father. Han Tiandi completely disappeared into the spatial crack after his voice slowly sounded. The huge black seal in the sky trembled before slowly vanishing. Chapter 1594, Discussion The entire mountain range was unusually quiet as everyone watched the spatial crack in the sky slowly being closed up. Many experts in the Gu clan had gloomy expressions. Although the Gu clan was not destroyed by the Hun clan like the Ling clan, they had still lost the ancient jade. From a certain point of view, the Gu clan had suffered quite a big loss in the fight with the Hun clan. The light throughout the mountain slowly disappeared. Finally, it completely disappeared. It was fortunately that there was proper command. Otherwise, the entire mountain range would have been turned into dust in the battle. This would be considered a big loss to the Gu clan. Xiao Yan's fist was tightly clenched after he saw the light curtain disappeared. The Hun clan was indeed planning to use his father to exchange for the ancient jade. Half a month later. Xiao Yan pressed his lips tightly together. A chillness surged within his eyes. Gu Yuan's expression was gloomy as he watched the spot where the crack had disappeared in the sky. He did not speak. The three immortals of the Gu clan behind him also sighed quietly. The Han clan had indeed been hiding their strength during these years. Who could have expected that the Nihi Lighty Devouring Flame had not only been fully recuperated but had even advanced into the Nine Star Dosheng? If it was not because Lei Ying and Yen Jin had fought today, it was likely that this would be an extremely intense big battle. After the disappearance of the Han clan, the rings on Lei Ying's and Yen Jin's finger suddenly lit up as they stood on the other side. A spiritual fluctuation containing some information was transmitted into their minds. Their expressions became dark and cold as they sensed this information. The Lei clan had lost its ancient jade. The Yen clan too. The faces of the Gu clan's three immortals twitched involuntarily after hearing their words. Some shock surged within their eyes. Han Tiandi was indeed telling the truth. They had also struck the Yen and Lei clans when they were attacking the Gu clan. The ancient jades of the two clan had been places in the most tightly guarded place. The Han clan had launched such a large-scale attack on the Gu clan. Where would they find such a strength to attack separately? Gu Dao involuntarily opened his mouth and said. Based on the information I received, the clan also had an elder who had suddenly betrayed us. He stole the ancient jade and fled. Moreover, he was subsequently received by the experts from the Han clan. Lei Ying's expression was frighteningly guard. He did not expect that such an incident had also occurred in the Lei clan. We have all underestimated the Han clan. Yen Jin slowly said. The strength that the Han clan had displayed caused even him to feel a little grave. We will discuss this in the hall. Now that things had developed until this stage, there is already no room for us to retreat. Given the Han clan's techniques, it is obvious that they will not allow us to survive. Gu Yuan's expression gradually became calm. He waved his hand and allowed Gu Dao to settle the situation. After which, he turned his body and hurried towards the large hall. His voice was emitted when he entered the hall, Xiao Yan, you should also come in. Xiao Yan suppressed the churning emotions within his heart as he looked at the others entering the hall one after another. He swiftly followed. Sun Er hesitated for a moment before following him. 
Everyone were a little quiet as they watched this scene. They vaguely sensed that the peaceful days of the past was gradually about to disappear. Everyone took their seats within the hall. However, the atmosphere continued to remain solemn because of the earlier incident. Everyone, there is no need to utter any nice words at this moment. Everyone should be clearly aware of the Han clan's techniques. I have never underestimated the Han clan before but I have also never been able to clearly understand them. This is the most terrifying aspect of the Han clan. Gu Yuan sighed as he looked at the somewhat grave hall. He shook his head and said, Han Tiandi might be right. If I had been a little firmer when the Xiao clan and the Han clan were engaging in a big war, the situation would likely be very different. Xiao Yan was quiet. He did not really understand the matter back then. Hence, he was unable to say anything. The eight ancient clans had not been harmonious since the beginning. There had been many conflicts between them. Hence, no one had the right to blame any party for not lending a hand in a conflict. Moreover, they had also began to taste the result of the Xiao clan being eliminated. It is likely that even the Gu clan could not match the strength that the Han clan had displayed. Currently, there is likely no single faction on the Dochi continent that could fight the Han clan by itself. Even the Gu clan is unable to. Of course, even if my Gu clan ends up being completely destroyed, the Han clan will definitely have to pay a severe price for doing so. Gu Yuan's expression was grave as he spoke. The big battle today could be considered an initial exchange between the two clans. Although the Han clan's army did not appear, it had still unleashed an attack across the spatial crack. However, the most troublesome people to deal with were Han Tiandi and the Nihilaidi Devouring Flame. The latter had been seriously injured by him back then. No one could have imagined that he had not only fully recovered but had even stepped into the Nine Star Doshin class. In this way, he had completely broken the weak equilibrium of both parties. Both he and Hun Tiandi were at the advanced Nine Star Doshin class. There was not much of a gap between them. Unless they engaged in a true life and death struggle, no one would be able to do anything to the other. If a Nihilaidi Devouring Flame was added, he would not be able to fight with the two of them combined with his strength. Hence, forming an alliance was the only method to deal with the Han clan. The Nihilaidi Devouring Flame had once devoured a Tuling king, hence, he possessed the ability of the Tuling clan. In the eyes of the Hun clan, us, the ancient clans, are equivalent to their bloodline spring, everyone might not be happy with this status. Since that is the case, there is only one path for us to take. It is to destroy the Hun clan. A dense murderous desire suddenly surged within the hall after the words sounded. It caused one's skin to turn a little cold. Elder Gu Yuan, you mean, an alliance to fight with the Hun clan together? Lei Ying asked. There is no other choice but this. The strength that the Hun clan has displayed today is extremely great. Moreover, no one knows if there is any other trump cards within the Han clan. One really have a difficult time grasping this mysterious clan. Gu Yuan slowly said. Lei Ying and Yen Jin were quiet. If this was really the case, it would be an absolute disaster for both their clans. They would definitely not allow their clan to be a bloodline spring in the eyes of the Han clan. The matter of an alliance is possible. Currently, the Han clan already possess seven of the eight jade pieces. If they were to obtain the last piece, they would be able to know where the Tushi ancient god jade is located and open it. It is rumored that the cave has the secret to advance into the Dou Di class. If Han Tiandi is allowed to obtain it, perhaps, it will really be as he had said. He will advance into the Dou Di class, which no one had reached in 10,000 years. Yen Jin licked his mouth and said. At that time, the entire continent will completely fall under the control of the Han clan. Everyone was quiet. If Han Tiandi really advanced into that level, it was likely that all of them would lose any ability to retaliate. In front of the legendary Dou Di, even the ancient clans were not worth mentioning. At that time, it was likely that he would be able to easily eliminate all the ancient clans with the flip of his hand. The final piece of jade should be on Xiao Yan, right? Everyone's eyes suddenly turned towards Xiao Yan. They had all heard the words Han Tiandi had left behind before he left. Xiao Yan frowned slightly in the face of the many pairs of eyes. He spoke in a deep voice, I must rescue my father. Xiao Yan's voice was soft but there was an unshakable firmness within it. You should be aware of the result if Han Tiandi is allowed to open the Tushi ancient god mansion. Yen Jin's bright red eyebrow trembled and said. Xiao Yan was quiet. However, he continued shaking his head. The final piece of ancient jade will definitely remain on his body. His father had already been captured by the Han clan for over a decade. Each time he thought of this, his heart began to feel a little twisted. Moreover, he also understood that the ancient jade was the protective charm of his father. If it was not because the ancient jade was in his hand, it was likely that his father would have already met his demise. Gu Yuan's eyes stared at Xiao Yan. A moment later, he could only smile bitterly and sigh. Currently, Xiao Yan was no longer alone like he was back then. His current strength was not only able to fight them head-on but there was also an extremely powerful Sky Mansion Alliance behind him. If the three ancient clans wished to fight the Han clan, the Sky Mansion Alliance would definitely be of a great help. Hence, attempting to snatch the ancient jade was something that they could not do no matter how they looked at it. Now, the only thing we can do is to quickly gather helpers. The army will gather in half a month. We must definitely snatch some ancient jade from the hands of the Han clan. Gu Yuan sighed and said. 
Lei Ying and Yan Jin shook upon hearing this. In this way, they would truly engage in a war with the Han clan in half a month's time. Xiao Yan clenched his fist. An icy cold hand was extended from beside him and grabbed his arm. He turned his head and glanced at Sun Er beside him. Suddenly he looked at Gu Yuan and said, Uncle Gu, do you know if there is any method that can allow the ancestor of the Xiao clan, Xiao Xian, in the heavenly tomb to be revived? Gu Yuan, Lei Ying, and the others in the hall felt their hands trembled upon hearing the words Xiao Xian. That name continued to be deeply ingrained in their minds even after thousands of years. That was the only person who had nearly managed to kill Han Tiandi in the many years that had passed. From a certain point of view, Xiao Xian in the heavenly tomb is merely a soul fragment. He is only able to exist and possess his strength due to the unique aspect of the heavenly tomb. Trying to revive him. I'm afraid that it will be impossible. Gu Yuan sighed and said. If it was possible to revive Xiao Xian, they would not find it so troublesome to deal with Han Tiandi. Xiao Yan's eyes immediately revealed a disappointment upon hearing this. He was quiet for a moment before he spoke again. I wish to enter the heavenly tomb again. May I know if Uncle Gu has any way to do so? Gu Yuan was startled. He hesitated for a moment before nodding slowly. If you insist on doing so, I will be able to send you in. Perhaps, you can find Xiao Xian and see if he has any way to revive himself. Chapter 1595, Re-Entering the Heavenly Tomb A couple of figures were suspending in the air in the deep mountains of the Gu clan. Their eyes were looking towards the space above the mountain range. It seemed as though their eyes were able to penetrate through the space and look at the figure, which had once been all-powerful on the central plains. Their expressions were somewhat complicated. Xiao Yan, the heavenly tomb will open once every twenty years. If we count the time, there is still quite a while before it will be opened again. Gu Yuan placed both of his hands behind him. His eyes shifted from the space as he said, However, I will forcefully tear open a crack line in the heavenly tomb and allow you to enter. However, you must remember not to remain for more than a year in the heavenly tomb. Otherwise, you will be rejected by the heavenly tomb. I have troubled Uncle Gu. Xiao Yan nodded. One day in the heavenly tomb was equivalent to five days in the outside world. One year inside was equivalent to slightly over two months in the outside world. However, the Hun clan only gave him half a month's time. It was naturally impossible for him to remain for such a long time inside the heavenly tomb. Are you sure that you don't require anyone to accompany you in? Gu Yuan inquired again. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. With his current strength, it was likely that no one other than Xiao Xian could harm him within the heavenly tomb. Gu Yuan did not say anything more after seeing Xiao Yan's insistence. He waved his hand and the natural energy whistled past. One could vaguely hear a whistling sound being emitted. Soon after, the empty space suddenly fluctuated intensely. A dark black crack line was forcefully torn apart. There was an unusual ancient and desolate feeling spreading from within. Xiao Yan, return quickly. Gu Yuan cried out in a deep voice as he looked at the spatial crack line which he had torn apart. I. Xiao Yan nodded. He did not hesitate. His hand gently patted Sun Er beside him before he moved. He turned into a ray of light, which directly shot into the crack and disappeared. Gu Yuan's hand touched the empty space after seeing Xiao Yan vanish into the spatial crack. The crack slowly disappeared. He looked at the worried Sun Er and involuntarily laughed, relax, nothing will happen to him. Sun Er nodded gently after hearing this. The heavenly tomb was covered by a misty fog. Loneliness and silence seemed to be the only thing present in this world. The misty space suddenly became distorted. A figure stepped on the air and appeared. His eyes glanced at this somewhat familiar environment and involuntarily sighed. He merely had the strength of a Dozun when he had arrived in the place the last time. Now, however, he had already become an expert at the top of the Do Chi continent. Xiao Yan's eyes swept around him as he sighed. His vast and mighty spiritual strength spread. The pair of bone wings on his back flapped and he turned into a storm that swiftly rushed towards the deep parts of the heavenly tomb. The heavenly tomb storm, which appeared extremely dangerous in his eyes back then, did not possess the slightest threat to him now. The heavenly tomb contained countless of energy bodies. It did not lack some powerful existences. However, even these existences involuntarily revealed a shock after sensing the powerful pressure flying across the sky. None of them dared to intervene and stop the figure. All they could do was to simply watch the figure, which disappeared into the distance in the blink of an eye. With Xiao Yan's current speed and his unobstructed path, he had reached the deep parts of the heavenly tomb within a short hour. When he had first entered the heavenly tomb, he had spent many months in order to reach this place. A human figure wearing a blood-colored armor was sitting on a towering stone pillar in a chaotic rubble area deep within the heavenly tomb. A blood blade containing a rich bloody scent was beside him. There were many energy bodies present around the chaotic rubble. However, their faces were afraid as they looked at the blood-colored human figure. None of them dared to disturb him. Chi. There were many figures within the chaotic rubble region but none of them dared to speak loudly. Hence, the hurried rushing wind sound in the sky caused many of the energy bodies in this region, who had reached the peak of the Nine Change Do Zoon class to suddenly stand up. Their eyes revealed a cold glint as they looked in the direction where the rushing wind sound had come from. This was the territory of the Saint Shui Dao. Who dared to act in such a presumptuous manner? 
The blood-colored armored human figures opened his eyes as the energy bodies revealed a fierce glint. He frowned and looked at the direction where the sound had originated from. Immediately, a cold snort sounded. The blood blade beside him flew out and turned into a blood glow, which shot towards the source of the sound. Chi. The blood light shot into the dense fog. Before others could flatter him, however, the blood light was shot backwards. One could hear a clang sound as the blood blade was shot into the stone pillar below the blood-colored human figure. Even the hilt of the blade had been deeply inserted into the pillar. Haha, Saint Shui Dao, it has been many years since we have met but you need not receive me so warmly, do you? Saint Shui Dao had a change in expression when a soft laughter suddenly sounded. Immediately, a skinny figure stepped on the empty air and slowly appeared in front of him. That somewhat familiar young face caused Saint Shui Dao to be startled. It's a human. What delicious flesh. Those surrounding energy bodies had reddened eyes after seeing this figure. Their crimson eyes were filled with greed. Some of the bold ones had even involuntarily stepped forward. You are, that little fellow from the Xiao clan back then. Saint Shui Dao looked at the young figure and his eyes suddenly widened. His face was filled with disbelief. Back then, Xiao Yan was merely only a Dozun. The latter did not even have the ability to retaliate in his hand. Yet, now that they had met again, he was able to sense an extreme danger from Xiao Yan. That feeling allowed him to understand that Xiao Yan's strength had currently far surpassed him. Get lost. This is the young master of the Xiao clan. Do you dare touch him? Saint Shui Dao suddenly saw those energy bodies encircling around Xiao Yan after he was momentarily stunned. His expression immediately became cold. With a wave of his sleeve, he directly sent those energy bodies flying. Immediately, he hurried to his feet and spoke politely to Xiao Yan, it is likely that brother Xiao Yan is here to find Xiao Xian right. Haha, there are still some troublesome fellows behind. Please allow me to lead the way to avoid delaying your time. What do you say? Haha, in that case, I will trouble you. Xiao Yan smiled. He did not reject the aid of Saint Shui Dao. It was indeed possible for him to sense many powerful existences in the deep region. Although he was unafraid, he did not wish to waste time in this place. Hee hee, this is a small matter. Brother, you are a descendant of Xiao Xian. Anyone who attacks you in this heavenly tomb will only end up dying. Saint Shui Dao smiled. After which, his body floated and he rushed towards the deep region. Xiao Yan also quickly followed from behind. There were many powerful energy bodies deep within the heavenly tomb. There were even some existence comparable to elite Doshengs present. They had sent Xiao Yan the moment the latter stepped into the deep region. However, they were about to surround him and eat his flesh when they hurriedly withdrew in shock from some soft words from Saint Shui Dao. He is a descendant of the great Xiao Xian. The simple words caused those overlord level energy body existences within the heavenly tomb to have a change in expression because of shock. All of them turned around and fled faster than anything else. These old demons had existed within the heavenly tomb for an unknown number of years. They clearly understood just who was the overlord of the heavenly tomb. Xiao Yan had walked to the deepest part of the heavenly tomb unobstructed under the lead of Saint Shui Dao. He once again saw the ancient tomb which he had seen back then on a desolated plain. Brother, I will take my leave. Saint Shui Dao did not dare to step forward after reaching a spot 10,000 feet from the tomb. He spoke softly to Xiao Yan before bowing and slowly stepping back. His face was filled with an extremely rich fear and respect since the beginning. Xiao Yan watched the tomb in the distance. He involuntarily lamented. This ancestor of the Xiao clan was indeed an extremely outstanding person. Not only was he all-powerful when he was alive but he could still be considered a dominant ghost even though only a soul fragment remained. No wonder, even someone as strong as Gu Yuan could only sigh emotionally when the great name of this person was mentioned. Xiao Yan walked closer to the tomb. Both of his knees gently knelt on the ground. He cowed out to the tomb and softly said, This descendant Xiao Yan greets ancestor. Stop kneeling, little fellow. Xiao Yan's voice had just sounded when a faint laughter sounded beside him. He lifted his head and saw a figure leaning against the tomb. Black hair was scattered on his shoulder, giving him a free and easy appearance. The warm smile contained on his face was inspiring. This figure was that of Xiao Xian, whom Xiao Yan had met back then. Intermediate Six Star Dosheng, Perfect Heavenly State Soul, Purifying Demonic Lotus Flame and a couple of other heavenly flames. Xiao Xian's deep space like eyes swept over Xiao Yan's body. This glance was all it took for him to completely see through Xiao Yan. He quickly smiled and nodded slowly as he praised, Little fellow, well done. If Xiao Qian was present, it was likely that he would be a little stunned at hearing Xiao Xian's evaluation. There had never been someone in the Xiao clan back then who had obtained such an evaluation from Xiao Xian. Xiao Yan smiled. His eyes looked at Xiao Xian. The latter did not appear majestic but that skinny figure seemed to be able to fight against the heavens and earth. It caused one to feel incomparably safe. Tell me what has happened during these years. Xiao Xian sat on the ground and laughed. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. He arranged his memories and began to speak in a steady voice as he conveyed the many experiences of his during these years and the current situation that he faced. The corner of Xiao Xian's mouth was lifted into a smile as he heard the soul-stirring experience Xiao Yan had. 
His expression did not change because of any of the incidents. Currently, the Hun clan is extremely powerful. My aim in coming to the heavenly tomb is to find a way to revive Ancestor. If you can join the fight, even the Hun clan will not be able to stir any trouble. Xiao Yan's eyes were filled with some excitement as he looked at Xiao Xian and said. Chapter 1596, Essence Di Qi Revive Xiao Xian was momentarily startled upon hearing Xiao Yan's words. He immediately laughed softly and shook his head, currently, I am only a soul fragment. Moreover, from a certain point of view, I cannot even be considered a soul fragment. If it is not because of the unique aspect of the heavenly tomb, I have already disappeared from this world. As for being revived, I am afraid that it should not be possible. Although Xiao Yan was already a little mentally prepared upon hearing this, his face could not help but be filled with disappointment. Xiao Xian's strength did not lose to Han Tiandi. If he could fight, it would not be impossible to deal with the Han clan. Is it really completely impossible? Xiao Yan sighed and spoke without being willing to give up. Ugh, at least I do not know if there is any method for me to be revived. Perhaps, that legendary elite Dou Di could achieve this. Xiao Xian laughed in an open-minded manner. Dou Di. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. This had clearly broke all of his expectations. Where could one find a whatever Dou Di expert existence? If there was really one, the Hun clan would not have been allowed to act so arrogantly. Haha, do not waste your time on a person like me who is already dead. Xiao Xian smiled and shook his head. His eyes looked at the young man in front of him and the smile on his face suddenly became increasingly gentle. He said, you are able to obtain such an achievement without relying on any bloodline strength. Honestly speaking, I am already very pleased with this. The men of my Xiao clan is ultimately a little extraordinary. The Hun clan possessed the ability of the Tunling clan. This had somewhat exceeded my expectation. It was unexpected that they had hidden the Nihilite Devouring Flame. However, if this was the case, there is finally an explanation about those gradually declining ancient clans suddenly disappearing back then. Xiao Xian smacked his lips and said, given the current strength of the Han clan, even the Gu clan will have difficulty fighting with them alone. Xiao Yan nodded quietly. The current situation was really not good for them. The Han clan has also managed to obtain seven of the Tushi ancient god Jade. The final piece in your hand. Moreover, this piece will have to be used to exchange for your father, who is in the hands of the Han clan. Xiao Xian leaned on the tomb and looked at Xiao Yan. If this is the case, they will likely be able to gather all the ancient jade and they will learn the location of the Tushi ancient god mansion and open it. Does Ancestor know what exactly inside the Tushi ancient god mansion? Could it really enable one to advance into the Dou Di class? Xiao Yan frowned and asked. Dou Di. Xiao Xian softly muttered this name, which had once caused him to be incomparably persistent and hardworking. He softly said, counting the time, it is likely that there has not been any elite Dou Di appearing on this Dou Qi continent in the last 10,000 years. No one knows what is the reason for this. Although an elite Dodi was also considered the ultimate expert of the world during the ancient times, they did exist then. However, that level had now merely exist in the legends. It is impossible to examine what had happened during the ancient times. No one understands why it is so difficult to train to the Dodi class now. Back then, I have attempted to break into that illusory level when I reached the peak of the advanced 9 star Doshin class. However, I ended up returning in failure. However, I have also made a discovery through that failure. Xiao Xian's eyes had a luster flickering within them. Oh! What discovery? Xiao Yan's mind was braced. Given my strength back then, it is sufficient for me to attempt to break into the Dou Di class. However, each time I was about to break through that layer of barrier, a kind of empty feeling would surge from deep within my soul. This emptiness allowed me to understand that there seemed to be something missing in the process of breaking into the Dou Di class. This thing was extremely critical. If one could obtain it, breaking through to the Dou Di class would not be mere empty words. Xiao Xian pressed his lips together. His face was a little stern. Xiao Yan's face revealed an expression of deep thought after he heard these words. He suddenly recalled the yellow spring demon saint within the stone tablet in the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe. He had also said that there seemed to be something missing from the Dou Qi continent. Moreover, it was precisely this missing thing that had resulted in no experts breaking through to the Dou Di class within the last 10,000 years. Just what is lacking? Xiao Yan frowned and asked. The lacking item is perhaps some item but I highly suspect that it should be a kind of mysterious energy. This type of energy should have existed in the ancient times. However, it has become increasingly faint now. It might even have completely vanished. There was a wisdom flashing within Xiao Xian's eyes. He looked at Xiao Yan and said, I have called this critical energy as Essence Di Qi. Essence Di Qi. Xiao Yan muttered in his mouth. The reason he did not have such a feeling was likely because he had yet to reach the advanced 9 star Doshin class. Does Ancestor mean that the reason the ancient era could produce elite Dou Di was because it possessed the Essence Di Qi? However, this Essence Di Qi had already vanished from this world. Therefore, no other elite Dodi has appeared. This should be the case. I have once roamed most of the territory of the Dochi continent. However, I did not sense the existence of that kind of essence Di Qi. Xiao Xian nodded and said. 
In other words, would it not mean that the current Dochi continent will no longer be able to produce elite Dodi? But Han Tiendi firmly believes that the Tushi ancient god mansion will allow him to break through. Could it be that the mansion has some essence Di Qi present inside? Xiao Yan's eyes flashed and said, I do not know if the Tushi ancient god cave have any essence Di Qi. However, there was an embryonic form D tier medicinal pill within the cave. The aim of Han Tiendi is that thing. Xiao Xian shook his head and said, Embryonic form D tier medicinal pill. Xiao Yan's heart quivered upon hearing this. His expression was slightly altered. Being an alchemist, he was naturally clearly aware about the D-tier medicinal pill. In the eyes of many alchemists, the D-tier medicinal pill represented their faith and pursuit. That type of ultimate high-tier medicinal pill caused countless of alchemists to train with all their strength. Similarly, however, there seemed to be no one who could refine a D-tier medicinal pill since the ancient times. Even Tier 9 medicinal pills have become extremely rare. Although this is partly because of the loss of the inheritance of some alchemists, the main reason was because this world no longer have any essence d chi remaining. Refining a D-tier medicinal pill also requires the essence D-Chi that I have mentioned. Without it, regardless of how skilled the alchemist is, he will not have the ingredients necessary to refine it. Xiao Xian said. If I guess correctly, that D-tier embryonic pill within the Tushi ancient god Jade should be the only one left in the world. Hence, as long as Han Tiendi obtains it, it is very possible for him to absorb the essence D-Chi within it and break through the Dodi class, which no one had reached in the last 10,000 years. Xiao Yan nodded with a grave expression. Just that tier 9 embryonic pill is sufficient to cause any 9 star Doshin to become crazy. No wonder the Han clan paid such attention to the Tushi ancient god mansion. It was actually because of this. Does ancestor know where the Tushi ancient god cave is located? Xiao Yan asked with some anticipation. If they knew this answer, they would be able to wait outside of the mansion even if the Han clan really managed to gather all the ancient jade. They must snatch the D tier embryonic pill at all cost. Even if they failed to do so, they must destroy it. This was because everyone understood that if Han Tiendi was allowed to successfully advance into the Dodi class, there would be no one in the world who could fight with him. The so-called alliance was completely useless in the face of the might of an elite Dodi. I am unaware of this. The reason I am aware that there is an embryonic D-tier medicinal pill inside the Tushi Ancient God Mansion is because that information reached me when the Tushi Ancient God Jade had yet to be separated back then. However, before I could completely decipher the information within the Ancient Jade, the eight ancient clans had turned into an uproar over it and began to fight. Finally, the Ancient Jade was broken into eight pieces. Xiao Xian shook his head and said. Hence, if one wished to learn of the whereabouts of the Tushi ancient god mansion, one must definitely gather all eight jade pieces. Moreover, it also requires the eight of them to open the mansion. Xiao Yan frowned tightly. Only at this moment did he understand why these ancient clans held the ancient jade in such high regard. All of these actually relied on the ancient jade. However, things would be troublesome if the Han clan was allowed to gather all of the ancient jade. You should do things as your instincts tell you to. We are not some world savior. The reason who have trained so hard is because we hope to protect those that we wish to protect. Xiao Xian laughed after seeing Xiao Yan's solemn face. Xiao Yan understand. Xiao Yan nodded and replied respectfully. Xiao Xian patted Xiao Yan's shoulder. He said, I do really like you, little fellow. Unfortunately, you have been born far too late. Xiao Yan involuntarily smiled bitterly and shake his head after hearing this. This was not something within his control. Xiao Yan stood up. His eyes looked into the distance and watched the misty space. Suddenly, he smiled and said, Little fellow, although I am unable to show myself and help you deal with the Han clan, I can still give you something good. Xiao Yan was startled. He looked at Xiao Xian with some doubt. Clearly, he did not understand what Xiao Xian meant by something good. The heavenly tomb does not bury any mediocre person. The countless of soul fragments in this place were extremely strong individuals when they were alive. I am no longer able to provide you with much help given your current strength. However, I might be able to aid you in terms of your soul. Xiao Xian smiled. Both of his hands were spread. It was as though he was pressing on the entire heavenly tomb. This abnormal place should not exist. I have been thinking of destroying it since a long time ago. Xiao Xian turned his head towards Xiao Yan after he spoke until this point. His soft voice resounded over this realm. All the energy bodies within the heavenly tomb suddenly trembled. I will use the soul of the heavenly tomb to aid you. Whether you can break through the perfect heavenly state and advance into the D-state soul will depend on your luck. Chapter 1597, Heavenly Tomb Soul D state, soul. Xiao Yan was startled as he watched the smiling Xiao Xian. However, his mouth had turned tri due to the shock from the latter's words. Anything that was even the least bit related with the word D in this world would be synonymous with being strong. It did not matter whether it was a Do D or a D tier medicinal pill. All of these were supreme in the eyes of everyone. Similarly, the D state soul also belonged in this category. Do D, D tier medicinal pill, D state soul. Amongst the three types of D, there was a much higher possibility of one reaching the third given the current condition of the continent. After all, this level did not require one to absorb the so-called essence D Qi. 
However, this did not mean that one could easily advance into the D state soul. Based on Xiao Yan's guess, there was likely only two individuals on the current Dou Qi continent whose soul had reached the D state. They were Gu Yuan and Han Tianbi. Xiao Yan's current spiritual strength had remained at the perfect heavenly state. This level might only be a step away from the D state but many experts had never managed to cross this small step. Regardless of how they trained, they were still unable to make any progress. Being an alchemist, Xiao Yan clearly understood this. It had been some years since he had advanced into the perfect heavenly state. However, his spiritual strength had still remained at the perfect heavenly state. That feeling was as though it was impossible to fill the incomparable huge gap between the perfect heavenly state and the D state no matter how he trained. Hence, after hearing that the thing Xiao Xian was about to give him was actually the D state soul, Xiao Yan could not help but become a little dull even with his mental fortitude. This, how can this be possible? Xiao Yan was stunned for a long while before he finally recovered. He shook his head and spoke with a bitter smile. Although there were not many people in this world whose soul had reached the perfect heavenly state, yet these people still existed. However, based on the experts Xiao Yan had met, no one, other than Hun Tiandi and Gu Yuan, had stepped into that stage. It is indeed an extremely difficult task. However, it is not completely impossible. Xiao Xian smiled in a somewhat strange manner. He lifted his head. Those deep eyes looked at the misty empty space and slowly said, The heavenly tomb soul which I mention is not the soul fragments of this place. Instead, it is the soul of the heavenly tomb itself. Heavenly tomb soul. This heavenly tomb actually has a soul. Xiao Yan's heart suddenly trembled. He looked at Xiao Xian in disbelief as he exclaimed in shock. It is a strange living spirit. It is a living creature that had been formed from the gathering of countless number of soul fragments ever since the heavenly tomb was built. You can treat it as the guardian of this heavenly tomb. Of course, using the term prison warden to describe it is more appropriate. It controls this place and it also bestow upon those energy bodies the desire to devour at the same time. Xiao Xian's eyes directly stared at the empty space and spoke in a faint voice. No one, other than the energy bodies here, can detect its presence. Even Gu Yuan and the others aren't aware of it. Xiao Yan swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This was the first time that he had seen a realm with a soul. Such an occurrence was really too mysterious. The elite Dodi who had built this realm back then could be considered to possess an unpredictable and great skill. Is that fellow very strong? Xiao Yan muttered. Those people who could be buried within the heavenly tomb were all extremely strong individuals when they were alive. Since the soul of the heavenly tomb could absorb their soul fragment imprints, it was likely that this soul was somewhat extraordinary. Very strong. Xiao Xian smiled. Those two simple words caused Xiao Yan's expression to become grave. Since this heavenly tomb soul was able to get Xiao Xian to utter such words, it was likely an extremely terrifying existence. Relax, although it is troublesome, I am still able to deal with it. Xiao Xian's body suddenly rose slowly into the air. After the rise of his body, the misty fog that permeated this place quickly disappeared. A frightening pressure spread from within his body. Finally, it enveloped the entire heavenly tomb. All the energy bodies within the heavenly tomb lifted their heads in the face of this frightening pressure. Their eyes looked at the distant Xiao Xian, who was rising into the air. Their originally numb eyes actually revealed a feeling of excitement. The great Xiao Xian, is he finally about to attack it? Saint Xue Dao, who was deep inside the heavenly tomb, suddenly stood up. His body trembled as he looked at the figure slowly rising in the sky. Although this world had allowed them to survive in another form, it was not something that they wished for. The heavenly tomb soul had planted a desire to devour each other within their soul fragments, resulting in this place turning into a world where they devoured each other. In order to strengthen oneself, one must continue to devour other energy bodies. This was no different from cannibalism to them, who were once humans. The heavenly tomb of the past was merely a resting place given to the experts. Since the formation of the heavenly tomb soul, however, this world had become distorted. There had once been people who tried challenging the heavenly tomb soul. However, they were easily devoured by it. The only person in this realm that the heavenly tomb soul was afraid of was Xiao Xian, who was located deep within the heavenly tomb. A long time ago, there had been someone who had begged Xiao Xian to relieve them of their hardship. However, Xiao Xian had ignored them. As time passed, the energy bodies of this place had also gradually become disappointed. Since they were unable to retaliate, they could only quietly endure it. It was precisely because of this that their originally numb hearts involuntarily became boiling hot after they saw this sudden action of Xiao Xian. They hated this devourment of each other. They were humans, not beasts. Back then, I have my own mission and needed to remain here. Now, my mission is completed. I shall help all of you complete the petition from back then. Xiao Xian's body was suspended a hundred thousand feet in the air. The sharp wind that could shatter a soul was unable to approach him. He lowered his head and overlooked the land. That calm voice of his resounded beside everyone's ears. Lord Xiao Xian. Some of the energy bodies, which were fighting each other on the ground, suddenly stilled their bodies. Those scarlet and numb eyes revealed a fluctuation. After which, they trembled and lifted their heads to look at the figure standing with his hands behind him in the sky. Many figures on the ground began to kneel at this moment. 
Xiao Yan had also lifted his body. He watched the actions of the energy bodies within this heavenly tomb and became quiet. Being an outsider, he was unaware of just what had happened. Naturally, he was unable to understand the feeling in their hearts. However, he was at the very least able to understand one thing. This heavenly tomb soul was not well liked. Rumble The horizon of the empty space suddenly emitted a loud rumbling sound while this thought flashed within Xiao Yan's heart. The loud sound was like a roaring thunder as it swept from deep within the empty space, causing many energy bodies within the heavenly tomb to tremble intensely. Xiao Yan's eyes stared intently at the distant horizon. At this moment, he was vaguely able to sense an ocean-like deep unfathomable spiritual fluctuation suddenly appearing. This spiritual fluctuation was extremely terrifying. Xiao Yan felt as though a mountain was pressing on his from just a brief contact. Although this spiritual fluctuation was frightening, it gave him a somewhat mottled feeling. It was likely due to it having devoured too much soul fragment imprints. An invisible spiritual fluctuation gathered within the grayish and misty space. A moment later, the space shook and a hundred thousand feet large giant face suddenly appeared in the sky from the emptiness. The huge face was filled with a cold and strange expression. Is this the heavenly tomb soul? Xiao Yan muttered to himself. His expression had become grave as he looked at the huge spiritual face that was formed in the sky. Xiao Xian, we have usually never meddle in each other's matter. Don't tell me that you are planning to break our agreement today. The huge face rolled as a pair of completely emotionless eyes watched Xiao Xian, who was floating in the sky. The icy cold voice was just like lightning that reverberated over the sky. Xiao Xian watched the huge face only to smile. He softly said, your birth is a mistake in itself. It is likely that the elite Dodi, who had built the heavenly tomb back then, did not expect that a creature like you would be born here. Nonsense, I have been born according to the will of my master. I am the guardian of this realm. All of you should follow my rules if you wish to live again. The huge face churned as the heavenly tomb soul spoke indifferently. All of them have lived because of the heavenly tomb, not because of you. Xiao Xian shook his head and said. I am the heavenly tomb, the heavenly tomb is me. The heavenly tomb soul's voice suddenly became a lot sharper. You are not the heavenly tomb. Your formation is also not because of the heavenly tomb. Instead, it is because of the gathering of their soul fragment. From a certain point of view, they are your creators. Xiao Xian smiled slightly. His calm tone caused that huge face to become increasingly distorted. It looked incomparably ferocious. Since you insist on dying, I shall fulfill your wish. The huge face moved. Suddenly, an incomparably huge spiritual storm was spat out from its huge mouth. The storm rotated wildly, appearing just like the tip of a cone as it shot violently towards Xiao Xian. Xiao Xian merely stepped forward in the face of the attack by the heavenly tomb soul. He slowly headed towards the huge face. That seemingly ferocious spiritual storm penetrated through his body upon contact. It did not appear to cause him any harm. Xiao Xian's body walked to the front of the huge face without obstruction. His body suddenly revealed a kind of strange spark. That feeling was as though their soul had been burned. Hand over your spiritual essence. A strange flame spread from within Xiao Xian's body from all directions. However, the smile on his face appeared increasingly gentle. Chapter 1598, Extracting the Soul Essence Incinerating one's soul. Xiao Xian, you are crazy. That huge face suddenly revealed a great shock after seeing the strange flame rising from Xiao Xian's body. His sharp voice cried out, incinerating one's soul. You are going to completely vanish from this world. Incinerating one's soul. Xiao Yan's body trembled violently as he stood below. His expression immediately changed drastically. Being an alchemist, he naturally understood why a soul would ignite. This was a method similar to the self-destruction of one's body, which made it possible to unleash an extremely great strength for a temporary period of time. However, the price of it was one's life. This soul ignition was similar. It burns one's soul in order to obtain a sudden increase in strength. The price of it was one's soul would completely be destroyed. Ancestor Xiao Yan's body shook slightly. His eyes involuntarily turned slightly red. Xiao Xian did not mention that he would ignite his own soul. My mission has been completed. It is unimportant whether I live or die. Xiao Xian merely smiled in the face of the somewhat frightened heavenly tomb soul. After which, he ceased speaking. He lifted his hand, which contained a flame and grabbed towards the ladder from a distance. Immediately, a terrifying suction force was formed on his palm. It was possible to see an intense fluctuation suddenly being formed on the huge mouth of the heavenly tomb soul. It was as though there was something being forcefully dragged out. Do you drag me with you if you wish to die? The heavenly tomb soul roared furiously. The entire heavenly tomb had trembled under its roar. Its huge mouth was widened and an invisible spiritual spear, which was thousands of feet in size, suddenly shot out. It tore through the space and ruthless shot towards Xiao Xian. I have ignited my soul as a price. You are unable to stop me. Xiao Xian appeared extremely calm in the face of the retaliation of the heavenly tomb. He smiled slightly and directly extended his hand. After which, he clenched it gently. A sharp sonic wave erupted. The spiritual spear came to a sudden halt. 
Finally, it turned around with a wave of Xiao Xian's sleeve. Instead, it shot back towards the heavenly tomb soul in an even more ferocious manner. There was even some strange clusters of flame on the spear. It was the flame from the incineration of a soul. Swoosh. The speed at which the spear shot backwards was extremely quick. Within an instant, it had directly turned into a fire glow that penetrated through the huge face. Immediately, the flame contained on the spear seemed to have met some dried wood. It spread at lightning speed with a boom. Ah. The spreading flame caused a miserable screech to be emitted from the heavenly tomb soul. If it was an ordinary fight, the heavenly tomb soul might be slightly cautious of Xiao Xian, but it would not be terrified of him. However, the latter had incinerated his own soul the moment they started fighting. Naturally, his strength had soared. Even the heavenly tomb soul had a great difficulty fighting Xiao Xian. Moreover, the flame from the incineration of one soul had an extremely lethal effect on a spiritual body like the heavenly tomb soul. The huge spiritual face in the sky was covered by a flame. Finally, the large face shrunk rapidly. At the same time, waves after waves of uncontrolled spiritual assault continuously erupted from within his body, causing the entire place to be turned upside down. All the energy bodies were frightened to the point of fleeing far from this region. They were afraid that they would be completely destroyed if they got caught in the fight. The purifying demonic lotus flame burned around Xiao Yan's body. Although the spiritual assault was extremely strong, it was still possible for Xiao Yan to resist it with his strength. Hence, he did not step back. His eyes were tightly focused on the battle in the sky. Xiao Xian's current spiritual strength had already reached quite a terrifying level. Regardless of how Xiao Yan probed, it was impossible for him to detect a limit. Clearly, the incineration of his soul had allowed Xiao Xian to enter an undefeatable state. However, Xiao Yan involuntarily clenched his hand tightly the moment he thought of how this condition would require Xiao Xian to pay his soul as a price. The current Xiao Xian might only be a soul fragment but he was at least still surviving. After this battle, however, his soul would completely vanish from this world after it was completely ignited. Xiao Xian, I will not let you off. The huge face shrunk within the flame. A moment later, it actually turned into a human form. Scarlet Eye stared intently at Xiao Xian as a murderous desire surged. Xiao Xian completely ignored the roar of the heavenly tomb soul. Both of his hands were placed together. They swiftly formed many complicated seals. With the formation of the seals, many firelight suddenly shot out from his fingers. Finally, they swiftly entwined together in the sky and turned into a huge formation. At the middle of the formation was the heavenly tomb soul. Sizzle sizzle. Before the heavenly tomb soul could react to the created formation, rays of flames began to fall from all directions within the formation. After which, he heard some sizzling sound. Countless rays of flames penetrated through the body of the heavenly tomb soul and hung it within the formation. Bang bang. The heavenly tomb soul struggled wildly in the face of this entanglement. Waves after waves of spiritual fluctuation, which caused even Xiao Yan's expression to change, continuously smashed onto those rays of flames which entangled around him like a cannonball. However, those seemingly weak rays of flame seemed to have a great restraining effect on spiritual strength. Regardless of how powerful the spiritual attack was, it would swiftly pale upon contact with the rays of flame. You must be really underestimating Xiao Xian if you think I am unable to finish you off in this state. Xiao Xian glanced at the wildly struggling heavenly tomb soul. He smiled faintly. His voice was not loud but it had a domineering ripple. Even though the ultimate expert from back then was currently a soul fragment, he still possessed a dominating aura. Xiao Xian, let me off. We can discuss whatever you want. The tone of the heavenly tomb soul had been softened greatly after struggling futilely for a long while. It understood that Xiao Xian was far stronger than it in his current state. However, if it could delay the time, Xiao Xian would vanish even if it did not attack. There is no need for any discussion. Hand over your spiritual essence. Xiao Xian merely smiled in the face of the soft tone of the heavenly tomb soul. The countless rays of flame suddenly pierced ruthlessly into the latter's body. After which, the rays of flames were slowly withdrawn. With the movement of the rays of flames, it was possible to see a ten feet large crystal clear light cluster slowly being extracted from within the body of the heavenly tomb soul. A bright light scattered from within this crystal clear light cluster when a portion of it was exposed. Xiao Yan's hand was extended into the light cluster in front of him. A warm feeling immediately appeared within his soul. Currently, he seemed to be able to hear the greedy cry from within his soul. Is this the spiritual essence of the heavenly tomb soul? Xiao Yan muttered to himself. He had once obtained some of the spiritual essence from the Hall of Soul after destroying the Man Hall of the Hall of Soul. However, the spiritual essence back then appeared insignificant as compared to this light cluster currently in front of him. The purity of the latter was many times stronger than those spiritual essence within the Hall of Soul. Roar Roar The heavenly tomb soul emitted a wild beast-like roar after the soul essence was forcefully pulled out. It had finally become afraid at this moment. Xiao Xian, release me. I will hand the entire heavenly tomb to you. You can have everything you want. The heavenly tomb soul continued to scream under this fear. However, its scream was completely useless. Xiao Xian did not even bother to look at it. The seals formed by his hands changed rapidly and the rays of flames were enlarged. 
Finally, half of that crystal clear light cluster was forcefully dragged out from the body of the heavenly tomb soul. Xiao Xian, I am going to fight it out with you. The heavenly tomb soul finally understood that it would completely perish unless it fought all out after sensing the rapidly diminishing energy within its body. Light surged from within its body. Some flames actually began to surge. It was also forced to ignite its own soul. Bam. However, the fire seedlings had only just rose from its body when a palm suddenly descended from the sky and ruthlessly slammed onto his face. That great strength directly sent him flying. At the same time, the round crystal clear light cluster also emitted a puff sound and was dragged out from within the spiritual body of the heavenly tomb. Don't. Return it to me. A weak feeling immediately filled the body of the heavenly tomb soul after its spiritual essence was being forcefully extracted. It roared crazily as it charged towards the spiritual essence. Xiao Xian waved his hand in the face of the heavenly tomb soul, which was charging over. A frightening wind forced the ladder back, causing it to smash onto the ground. The eyes of those energy bodies in the distance suddenly became red after the heavenly tomb soul landed on the ground. Hatred flickered within those eyes. Finally, they rushed forward from all directions amidst a low and deep roar and crazily attacked the incomparably weak heavenly tomb soul. Ah. The heavenly tomb soul was naturally unable to block such a number of attack after its strength was extracted. Hence, miserable screech soon sounded. Its body was also shattered into dust. A furious soul fragment that was filled with dissatisfaction drifted upwards before gradually scattering with the wind. This heavenly tomb soul had actually ended up with such a fate. The blood red eyes of those energy bodies on the ground immediately became much clearer after the heavenly tomb soul disappeared. The desire of wanting to devour the other party when they looked at those around them had also diminished greatly. They were startled for a moment before all of them knelt respectfully towards Xiao Xian in the sky. Xiao Xian did not bother about the action of these energy bodies. The ten feet large crystal clear light cluster was suspended in front of him. His eyes looked towards Xiao Yan below and smiled slightly. Little fellow, this is all that I can do. Whether you will be able to break through to the D-State Soul will completely depend on your luck. Chapter 1599, D-State Soul Ancestor Xiao Yan looked at Xiao Xian, who was smiling warmly. His nose involuntarily felt a little soul. Refine and absorb it. Xiao Xian grinned. He flicked his finger and the crystal clearly light cluster in front of him slowly flew downwards. Bright light was continuously emitted from within. It appeared just like a warm sun. Xiao Yan watched the crystal clear light cluster suspended in front of him. The vast and mighty spiritual strength spreading within it was as deep and unfathomable as the ocean. Even his perfect heavenly state soul appeared quite tiny in front of the spiritual strength. The heavenly tomb soul was formed by the soul fragments of countless of experts after their deaths. The spiritual strength it contained could only be described as terrifying. Ancestor, Xiao Yan will definitely revive the glory of the Xiao clan. Xiao Yan inhaled a deep breath of air. He once again no Tao respectfully towards Xiao Xian in the sky. After which, he did not say anything more. He took a stride forward and directly walked into the bright light cluster. Immediately, a light flashed and swallowed Xiao Yan's entire body into it. Xiao Xian's body appeared a little pale as he stood in the sky. He looked at the crystal clear light cluster, which appeared just like a sun. A pleased smile was formed on his face. He was extremely satisfied with this descendant. Perhaps, Xiao Yan was able to finish what he was unable to do back then. There's still some time. Hopefully, I can wait until you exit your retreat. Xiao Xian muttered. He immediately sat outside of the light cluster. Those Kamais occasionally swept over the ground. All the energy bodies hurriedly looked away and back off by a great distance under his glance. The spiritual essence of the heavenly tomb soul was a great temptation to them. However, it was clear that no one dared to allow this temptation to take root under the deterrence of Xiao Xian. This place was a seemingly endless sea. Waves churned over the sea. There seemed to be waves of roars that originated from within one soul resounding over this place. Xiao Yan's body floated in the air above the sea. His eyes looked towards the sea below. There was a dense shock within his eyes. The light cluster did not appear large but he did not expect that there was another world behind it. After Xiao Yan's probing of the sea, he had ended up with a shocking conclusion. This sea was actually completely formed by spiritual strength. It was the first time that Xiao Yan had seen such a vast and mighty frightening spiritual strength. Compared to the spiritual sea, his perfect heavenly state soul appeared to be completely insignificant. Unexpectedly, the heavenly tomb soul is this terrifying. No wonder even ancestor has to ignite his own soul. Xiao Yan frowned tightly. Only at this moment did he understand why Xiao Xian would have to use this kind of mutual suicide method when attacking the heavenly tomb soul despite his ability. It was actually because even Xiao Xian did not have the confidence to defeat the heavenly tomb soul in his normal state. The heavenly tomb soul had already disappeared. All the spiritual strength is this place does not have an owner. Xiao Yan's throat rolled involuntarily. If rumors of this was to spread, it was likely that all the experts from the continent would rush over in a crazy fashion. As long as one was able to refine the spiritual strength of this place, their soul would definitely reach a relatively terrifying level. It was even possible to reach that legendary D-state soul. 
This gift that Xiao Xian had bestowed upon him was a really great one. Xiao Yan clenched his fist tightly. His eyes also gradually became determined. Now was not the time to be indecisive. The reason Xiao Xian had paid such a hefty price to provide him with this gift was to allow him to possess some ability to resist the Han clan. Xiao Yan currently did not have much time left. He must not waste it. The flow of time in this place is also different compared to the heavenly tomb. Xiao Yan lifted his head. He looked at the space and a grave expression was formed in his eyes. He discovered that the richness of the spiritual strength in this place had actually altered the flow of time. From a certain point of view, this was a heavenly tomb that had been shrunk by many times. However, the flow of time in this place was likely even slower than that of the heavenly tomb. A heavenly tomb within the heavenly tomb. Who? Xiao Yan let out a long breath. He gradually steadied his emotions. The time in this place was slower than that of the heavenly tomb. This was good for him. Otherwise, he did not know if he was really able to refine all of these vast and mighty spiritual sea within two months or so. Xiao Yan sat in the air. His body slowly descended from the sky and landed on the surface of the sea. Spiritual strength swiftly surged out from his brow. After which, a low cry sounded and it turned into a huge illusory figure that was a couple of thousand feet in size. The illusory figure covered around Xiao Yan and sat down. Fierce purifying demonic lotus flame began to spread from within the huge spiritual illusory body. It directly dyed the spiritual illusory figure into a flame-covered person. A terrifying heat spread throughout this space. Rumble. The spiritual sea, where Xiao Yan was located, began to whistle after the purifying demonic lotus flame covered Xiao Yan's spiritual illusory body. A 10,000 feet large swirl was formed below it. Spiritual strength shot out from all directions. It seemed to have suffered a kind of intense pull as it began to turn into many thousand feet large spiritual water pillar that continuously shot into the huge spiritual illusory figure. Sizzle sizzle. The seemingly real spiritual water pillar heavily smashed onto the spiritual illusory figure. However, waves of sizzling sound was erupted after the spiritual water pillar touched the purifying demonic lotus flame. Dense white fog rose. Finally, it turned into a cloud that covered Xiao Yan's huge spiritual illusory body. The spiritual strength of this place might be considered vast and mighty but it was a little modeled. After all, the heavenly tomb soul had been formed by absorbing countless of souls belonging to dead experts. However, this was not considered troublesome for Xiao Yan, who possessed the purifying demonic lotus flame. The purification ability of the purifying demonic lotus flame was extremely useful when it came to refinement. Moreover, there was also little E present within Xiao Yan's body. With just a thought, all of the purifying ability would merge into the spiritual strength within his body and refine it into the purest form. Many huge spiritual water pillars continuously leaped from the surface of the vast and mighty sea like huge pythons. Finally, they poured onto the spiritual illusory figure seated in the sky. It caused the huge illusory figure to gradually emit a fluorescent light after a fog that could cover the sun was erupted. Looking from a distance, it actually appeared like a divine statue standing in this world and was filled with a monstrous pressure. This refinement effect could cause many to be greatly shocked. The spiritual sea had also began to form many huge waves with the flow of time as it continuously rumble over this world. While Xiao Yan was devouring and refining the spiritual strength like a whale, the pressure emitted from his soul also gradually became increasingly terrifying. His surging spiritual strength gradually approached the legendary state at a steady pace. One month passed. It had been a month within the heavenly tomb since Xiao Yan had entered the cluster of light. Xiao Yan did not show any sign of exiting his retreat during this month. The interior of the light cluster did not emit any strange fluctuation. Everything was exactly the same as one month ago. Xiao Xian was quietly sitting outside of the crystal clear light cluster. Both of his eyes were slightly shut. He appeared like a meditating monk. His body had become much paler as compared to a month ago. Moreover, from his appearance, he had also began to age. Everyone could tell that he was already about to reach the end of his life. However, he continued to wait persistently. Many energy bodies on the ground watched Xiao Xian's gradually paling body. They felt some grief. The saddest thing was the fall of a hero. Xiao Xian was a matchless individual both when he was alive and when he was dead. However, he was now merely showing the lethargy of an ordinary old man. The eyes under the white eyebrow twitched. They were slowly opened. His elderly face revealed a smile as he looked at the cluster of light in front of him. His body had also become a lot more illusory at this moment. Little fellow, my time's almost up. The old man's soft mutter resounded over the sky. One month within the heavenly tomb was just like a year for Xiao Yan, who was deep within the spiritual sea. The enormous spiritual illusory figure sat on the sea. Rich cloud covered the entire world. The spiritual illusory figure had become increasingly real. At the end, it had basically been turned into a real giant that was a couple of thousand feet in size. That manner was as though it was a Xiao Yan that had been magnified by many times. Xiao Yan's breathing was just like thunder. A dense cloud surged into his nostrils like a dragon cloud. His hair was like a 10,000 feet huge waterfall. His clothes fluttered and a kind of terrifying huge wave was stirred on the surface of the sea. A king of the world-like aura seemed to be vaguely emitted from the enormous spiritual body. This aura was as though his was the overlord of souls. 
Many energy bodies quietly sigh after the final day of the second month within the heavenly tomb had arrived. This was because the elderly figure in the sky had paled until it was almost invisible. Even though this was the case, the old man continued to wait quietly. An obsession seemed to have allowed him, who had reached his end, to remain in this world. It seemed. I am unable to wait for it to happen. The already transparent-like figure in the quiet sky fluctuated slightly. Xiao Xian grinned. His eyes revealed a little regret. Little fellow, I feel extremely rest assured that the Xiao clan has you. Goodbye. Xiao Xian's eyes were slowly shut. His body also became increasingly pale. Bang. However, the space within the heavenly tomb suddenly trembled intensely while Xiao Xian's body was about to disappear. A ripple that seemed to belong to the overlord of the world swiftly spread. All the energy bodies involuntarily shuddered wherever the fluctuation spread. That pressure could not be resist. The eyes of Xiao Xian, who was about to vanish, finally revealed a pleased expression after detecting this fluctuation. This descendant Xiao Yan bids ancestor farewell. In front of countless pairs of shocked eyes, a 10,000 feet large figure, which caused one to hold one's breath, swiftly appeared in the sky. Immediately, the figure slowly knelt down towards Xiao Xian. Chapter 1600, Exiting the Heavenly Tomb The 10,000 feet figure stood in the sky. All the energy bodies in the heavenly tomb under it shrunk and trembled. The frightening pressure seemed to be about to cause their bodies to explode. Xiao Xian's body completely faded in the sky. Those old eyes were filled with a pleased expression as they vanished. The huge figure continued to kneel in the sky after Xiao Xian's body paled. It was a long time later before that huge body slowly shrunk. Finally, it turned into the size of an ordinary person and quietly stood in the sky. Ancestor Xiao Yan looked towards the spot where Xiao Xian had vanished and muttered softly. He extended his hand and gently clenched it onto the empty space. An invisible light spot that an ordinary person could not see appeared in his hand after he clenched it. This was Xiao Xian's life imprint. Only those whose soul had stepped into the D state could see such a life imprint. Otherwise, even if one's Chi had reached the advanced 9 star Doshin class, one would still be unable to detect this extremely mysterious existence. From a certain point of view, the current Xiao Xian could be basically considered to have completely vanished. That ultimate expert, who had once dominated the Dochi continent, had completely disappeared from the world. However, this was not the case from Xiao Yan's point of view after he had stepped into the D state. This life imprint might perhaps be able to bestow life to Xiao Xian again. However, even after having his soul advance into the D state, Xiao Yan was unable to do something like this. Perhaps, he would only be able to do it after he had truly advanced into the legendary Do D class in the future. Regardless of what it was, there was ultimately still a hope. This hope might be distant but it had not completely disappeared. The invisible life imprint slowly rose in Xiao Yan's palm. After which, it entered his brow and was guarded by his world-like vast and mighty spiritual strength. Perhaps, after a long time, this old man, who had given up everything for the Xiao clan, would be able to once again appear in this world. Xiao Yan gently sighed after keeping the life imprint. He lowered his head and glanced at the heavenly tomb world. Although only two months had passed, it had only been less than half a month in the central plains. However, Xiao Yan had in reality spent nearly two years within the heavenly tomb. He had only managed to completely refine the heavenly tomb soul after spending two years. Fortunately, the tomb within the heavenly tomb had a different flow of time. Otherwise, there was no telling just how the outside world would have changed by the time he exit from his retreat in two years' time. D State Soul Xiao Yan gently clenched his hand. His eyes looked into the distance and a strange state of mind rose from within his heart. This feeling was as though the entire heavenly tomb was under his control. Explode Xiao Yan extended his hand. He suddenly grabbed at the empty space. A stone mountain hundreds of thousands of feet from him exploded into dust without any warning. His spiritual strength had spread over every part of the heavenly tomb with just a mere thought. The area which it could cover was many times greater than what Xiao Yan could achieve in the past. His attack would be able to reach any spot that his soul could reach even if it was tens of thousands of kilometers away. The D-state soul in the perfect heavenly state only had the difference of a single step. However, one was the sky and the other was the earth. There was no way to compare the two. Only after truly experiencing the great strength of the D-state would one understand why many were unable to leap through this universe-like barrier despite trying to do so all their lives. This was because the two. One was a god while the other was a mortal. Perhaps it is time to leave. Xiao Yan's body was suspended in the sky. Xiao Xian had already vanished. There was nothing in this heavenly tomb that he could not bear to part with. However, due to him having devoured the heavenly tomb soul, Xiao Yan could sense that he had an absolute control over this realm. In other words, even after he left the Gu realm in the future, he would be able to easy open a spatial tunnel that leads into the heavenly tomb realm from anywhere. Moreover, anyone who wished to tear open a spatial crack and enter the heavenly tomb could only do so with his permission. From a certain point of view, Xiao Yan was just like the owner of this heavenly tomb. He could decide on who could enter and exit it. Xiao Yan felt a little surprised at this accompanying gift. Although the rich energy of this heavenly tomb was of little use to him with his current strength, the difference in the flow of time as compared to the central plains was quite attractive. 
After all, it was able to greatly increase the effectiveness of one's training. This would be an extremely good aid to both him and his faction. I have safe the need to build my own realm. Xiao Yan smiled. He was quite satisfied with this accompanying gift. After all, if he wished to build his own realm, it would not possess such a unique ability. This was because such an ability was something that only an elite Dodi possessed. Xiao Yan suppressed the emotions within his heart. His finger gently drew past the space in front of him. A spatial crack line appeared. His eyes once again swept over this realm before he stepped into the crack. The space wiggled and he disappeared in front of the countless pairs of eyes. A couple of figures were standing in the air above the vast mountains of the Gu realm. All of them were frowning as they looked at the water ripple like slowly fluctuating space. Clan head Gu Yuan, what has happened? Lei Ying looked at Gu Yuan beside him and asked in surprise. Half a month has passed. If Xiao Yan do not come out, the Hun clan might really end up killing his father. Yan Jin by the side also opened his mouth and said. Xiao Yan did not show any signs of coming out ever since he had entered the heavenly tomb. Moreover, the day that they had agreed with the Hun clan was about to arrive. The heavenly tomb has already been shut. The spatial tunnel of this place is also completely blocked. I have tried to open a spatial tunnel earlier but I was repelled by a force. That feeling was as though the current heavenly tomb possess an owner. Gu Yuan frowned tightly. The words he spoke greatly shocked everyone. There was only one owner of the heavenly tomb. It was the elite Do Di, who had created it. The heavenly tomb had remained without an owner for so many years. Although they had once thought of refining it, all of them had failed without exception. A realm created by a Do Di was far from what they were able to control. Hence, even with the mental fortitude of the two of them, they involuntarily felt some disbelief after hearing Gu Yuan's words. However, they understood that given Gu Yuan's strength, it was naturally impossible that he was mistaken. In that case, Xiao Yan Ge Ge. Sun Er's pretty face became a little pale after hearing those words from beside Gu Yuan. She was uninterested to know whether the heavenly tomb has an owner. However, Xiao Yan was currently inside. How would Xiao Yan return if Gu Yuan was unable to open a spatial tunnel? I will try again. Gu Yuan's expression was a little gloomy. With his current strength, even if the heavenly tomb really did possess a mysterious owner, it would be impossible for the latter to prevent him from entering it. The seal formed by Gu Yuan's hands changed after his voice sounded. Immediately, the energy around them swiftly turned into a 10,000 feet large giant energy hand in the sky. After which, he grabbed ruthlessly at the fluctuating space. A huge dark shadow covered the surrounding mountain range. The huge energy palm was extremely quick. In a flash, it had appeared outside the space. However, the former was about to smash onto the space when the latter's surging speed suddenly became even more intense. Soon after, a fluctuation swiftly spread from within and heavily collided with the huge palm. It actually forcefully scattered this attack from Gu Yuan. This sudden unexpected change caused everyone to be dull. What kind of strength did Gu Yuan possess? He was one of the strongest individuals in this world. Even someone as strong as Lei Ying would have to use all of his strength in order to resist this attack. Yet, this strike had actually been scattered from a mere fluctuation. This is, spiritual fluctuation. How is this possible? The shock continued for an instant before Lei Ying and Yan Jin recovered and exclaimed. Pushing back a palm strike from Gu Yuan by relying only on a spiritual fluctuation. Just what kind of terrifying spiritual strength was it? Something is wrong. Set up formation. The three immortals of the Gu clan behind Gu Yuan suddenly had grave expressions. They let out a low cry and many experts from the Gu clan swiftly flew out from the surrounding mountain range. Do Chi surged and swiftly gathered. Sir, may I know who are you? This is the Gu clan. We are only here to receive someone and do not have any other plans. Gu Dao cried out loud with a solemn expression after the formation was set up. A spatial tunnel slowly appeared in the fluctuating space after Gu Dao's voice sounded. Immediately, a figure slowly stepped forward in front of the many anxious eyes belonging to the experts from the Gu clan. Ugh, isn't this lineup a little too great to simply receive someone? That figure stepped out from the spatial tunnel. At a glance, he saw the formation being placed in the sky and the many experts from the Gu clan waiting solemnly throughout the mountains. His expression quickly became a little interesting. Xiao Yan Everyone were stunned after seeing the figure stepping out from the spatial tunnel. There was a top expert who had exchanged blows with the clan head earlier. We were just... Gu Dao sighed in relief. With a wave of his hand, he got everyone to relax slightly. He smiled towards Xiao Yan. Before he could finish speaking, however, he saw a shock suddenly surging onto Gu Yuan's face. Immediately, he ceased speaking. The one who had fought earlier was you. Gu Yuan's eyes stared at Xiao Yan. A great storm rose within his heart. Everyone, including Sun Er, Yan Jin, and Lei Ying, had stunned faces the moment they heard these words. The subsequent reply from Xiao Yan caused these stunned expressions to become even denser. That. I think so. 